it is 2023 and I am on a new account and I will start out as a level one in GTA Online. But this isn't going to be any average beginner series. Going from being broke to buying all the riches in the game. I am going to spin a wheel to determine what I am going to buy and how I am going to make money in this series. So welcome to season two of Loser to Luxury. And without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, so here we go. I am on a new account right now. I have this screen right here that says play GTA Online, create a new GTA Online character, and get 4 million GTA Online dollars to kickstart your criminal career. And that is exactly what we're going to do right here. So here we go. There's a bomb placed on this vault right here, and we'll boom. Here we go. We are inside the vault, and apparently we just get $4 million to start out in GTA Online. And there we go. Congratulations. You have been awarded $4 million to kickstart your first criminal career in GTA Online. Now, if you're wondering how you get this $4 million to start out in GTA Online, I'll explain it a little bit later. But first, let me set up my account. All right, so here we go. So the first thing that we have to do is select our criminal career. Now, in my first season of Loser to Luxury, I just chose this and the other options just from my choice. But this season is going to be a little bit different. I have a wheel pulled up right here, and I'm going to spin this wheel to determine what criminal career I am going to start out with on this account. So if you don't know these options to select from as your first criminal career, you have executive, you have gun runner, you have nightclub owner, and you have biker. Now the biker is going to be for an MC clubhouse. The nightclub owner is going to be, well, for a nightclub. The gun runner is going to be for a bunker. And then the executive is going to be for an office. And I have those first four business is right here on a wheel but let's just spin the wheel and let's see what's going to be our first criminal career in gta online and it lands on probably the best option the bunker all right so let's select gun runner right here all right so now i have to select which bunker i want and now this season is also going to be different too because last season i just selected whichever bunker i wanted to get no matter what well this year i'm actually going to spin a wheel to determine which specific bunker i am going to get and off of this this menu right here there are seven different bunkers that we can select from and I have a wheel right here pulled up the wheel of one to seven and how this is going to work is the far left is going to be number one so smoke tree road bunker going for two million two hundred five thousand dollars is going to be number one and the one right next to it to the right is going to be number two and then this one will be number three and all the way at the end right here the Polito forest bunker is going to be number seven so let's just spin the wheel and let's see what bunker we are going to to get right here and it looks like we are going to have to get the bunker labeled as number five so this is one two three four five lago zancudo bunker uh oh okay this is the one right next to the military base i was thinking this was the one i had last season but it's not okay just a little bit further up the road honestly not a great spot but it's okay we spun the wheel this is what it landed on we're getting it and then the rest after this i'm probably just going to do whatever i want so i'll get personal quarters so i can actually spawn here i do not want to have to drive all the way up here oh wait oh i can only select one of these oh 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 all right so bunker upgrade pack a gives me equipment upgrade and personal quarters this gives me a lot of stupid crap along with personal quarters this gives me even more stupid crap with stupid quarters and then this one is a staff and security upgrade i think the equipment upgrade is more beneficial for the bunker so if you don't know this if you upgrade the equipment and the staff the product that you're making from this business will increase also if i remember correctly the equipment equipment is far more beneficial than the staff upgrade. So I'm going to get bunker upgrade pack letter A and then vehicles. I can actually get some pretty cool vehicles from here. Get a technical custom, a night shark, but I am going to get the armored Karuma right here. This is definitely the most beneficial vehicle that you can get from here. So yeah, let's get the armored Karuma. And then also I want to get as many of these weapons from here as possible. So, you know, I can actually defend myself pretty decently. We're actually get some good weapons from here all right but i still have a hundred and thirty six thousand dollars and i feel like we should start out as close to zero dollars as possible so i'm gonna try to get it
get as close as I can to zero dollars. I think all I can really do left is just buy more stupid cars. Sure, I get the Vapid Saddler, get the Bravado Bison, and the Bobcat XL. I think that's the only vehicles I can get. Yeah, that's the only vehicles I can get. So essentially, we start out with four million dollars. We're gonna spend three million nine hundred fifty-one thousand dollars of it, and that's gonna leave us with forty-eight thousand dollars left in our bank account. So yeah, let's start our career. All right, so this is what my character looks like right here. Now you're not gonna be seeing this character too too much because the first thing that I'm going to do after like the main introduction is going to be going to a mask store and I am going to get the iconic mask once again but yeah just in case if we do some missions where my mask is taken off this is what I look like so yeah let's just load into the game all right and there we go we are walking out of the police station and it's time for me to punch someone right in front of the police station I can't believe those idiots didn't see me just absolutely smack that guy right in front of the police station a bunch of idiots I swear all right so now I'm going to show you exactly how you can get the expanded and enhanced version so you can get the four million dollars to start out with in GTA online and I just typed in GTA online right here and there's literally five different options you can choose from I understand how that can be a little bit confusing and out of these options you just want to select the option with the XS symbol by it if you're on Xbox I'm sure it's somewhat similar for people on PlayStation but I don't know exactly how you do it I'm on Xbox so when you're here just select any of the options that have the XS symbol buy it because that'll grant you the career builder so like this one is just the xbox one version right here and in the description you get no career builder so if you're buying gta online right here just make sure that in this description you see this option right here the career builder and you're doing this just to confirm that you actually are getting the career builder for your account yeah when i made my first loser luxury video back in january i got so many comments for people asking how to get that four million dollars in the beginning and that's how you get it so i just wanted to make sure everyone was clear on that all right so now pretty much i have to do the intro right here i have to, to get these weapons and pretty much i have to just take out these guys it auto locked on a npc all the way across the street okay now we're good yeah die 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 and you die all right there we go so yeah pretty much i just have to do that and then i have to do like one setup for my bunker and then after that i'm gonna head to the mask store to get our signature mask all right and here we go we finally made it to our bunker right here the bunker all the way right next to the military base not a great location but that's whatever the wheel landed on it all right so i'm just gonna set up my bunker right now so let me get into that all right so i finished setting up the bunker so now it is time for me to buy the iconic mask over here so let's browse the mask and we go to paper bags right here and we scroll through the paper bags until we get our iconic mask right here the zigzag paper bag this is a very expensive bag this is one thousand one hundred dollars for a paper bag but it, it, it's worth it. It's absolutely worth it. There we go. That's going to be the only thing I am buying in this series, not on the wheel. So now that we are fully set up in GTA Online, it is now time for me to figure out what we are going to buy next. Now, how this series is going to work, if you don't know already, is that I am going to spin a wheel to determine what I am going to buy next. And to determine that, I'm going to spin one of two wheels. The Wheel of Luxury, which we're not going to spin today in this video, or the Wheel of Businesses, which is going to be the wheel that I'm going to spin here today because I have no businesses aside from the bunker and after we spin that wheel and we figure out what we're going to buy next we then will spin the wheel of quick cash every episode except for this episode I'm not going to spin the wheel of quick cash for this episode but every other episode after this we're going to spin the wheel of quick cash and then we're going to spin the wheel of making money twice per episode except for this episode so for this episode all I'm going to do is spin the wheel of businesses to determine what business we're going to buy next and then I'm going to spin the wheel of making money once just to get us started since so we had to set up our account and everything but here we go i am on the wheel of businesses right now and by the way all of these wheels i'm gonna have a link to in the description below so if you want to spin the wheel also and kind of play gta online kind of like how i'm doing on this account by spinning a wheel to determine what i'm going to do to make money or whatever i'm going to buy to make money you can do that but anyways let's spin the wheel of businesses and let's see what business i am going to have to buy and it looks like we are going going to have to buy the facility okay this is actually going to be pretty fun all right so right now i'm on maze bank foreclosures and as i mentioned earlier to determine what property of whatever business that we landed on we are going to spin a wheel to determine which property we're going to get so how this is going to work for the facility is i'm going to spin the wheel of one to nine there are nine different facilities that we can get all across the map 
And how I'm going to do this one is the southernmost one right here, Lact Act Reservoir, is going to be one. And then as we make our way more north on this map, it's going to be another number. So like this one right here is going to be number two. This one all the way over here is going to be three, four, five, and so forth. This one right here, all the way at the top of the map, this Polito Bay one is going to be number nine. But let's just spin this wheel and let's see what facility we are going to have to buy. And it looks like we are going to have to get, is this one or two? This is going to be number one. Okay, not bad at all. So we are getting this one right here, the Land Act Reservoir. And I actually think this is the most expensive one too. So maybe not the best one for us to buy, but the wheel definitely has determined this. And buying this facility is going to cost us $2,950,000. And currently right now I have $47,000. So we definitely have a long ways to go before we get the facility. All right, so now I'm on the wheel of making money and I'm only spinning the wheel of making money once in this episode just because it's the intro episode i just want you all to understand how this series is going to work and we are also not spinning the wheel of quick cash we'll start that next episode so let's just spin the wheel and let's see what we're gonna have to do in this episode in order to make money and it looks like we are gonna have to go and collect the stone hatchet now this is one of a few things on this wheel that you can only do once i have the stone hatchet the navy revolver and the double action revolver on this list and these are treasure hunts in gta online and you're only allowed to do it once so we are not going to land on stone hatchet anymore in this series but that is what i'm going to have to do right now as a level one so let's get into it okay so i've made it to mods trailer all the way in sandy shores and if you don't know anything about this you go to this icon right here this m with a little target in the top right hand corner just located right here on the map and then mod just texted me when i open up this text right here from mod after a few minutes she'll text you back a bounty that you can go after so i just have to sit here and wait for mod to get back to me on that all right so i actually got the email from mod mod emails you from here on out describing the bounty that you need to go after so you don't need to read any of this at all maybe scan this to make sure you know what this guy looks like but if you get close enough it'll appear on the map and i also give you a rough range of where this guy is located so we have to head over there and go deal with this guy all right so i made it to this location so now i have to figure out where the heck this guy is all right so when you get close to this guy you hear like some bells in the distance or whatever oh, okay so this guy now wants to attack me which i mean that's fine but i don't care i'm killing him now you have the option to either kill him or take him back to mod Personally, I just want to get this over with, so I'm just killing him. If you kill him, you get $5,000, but if you take him back to mod, you get $10,000. Not too much of a difference, and we have like four or five of these to do. I forget. I would much rather just get this done quickly. All right, so mod finally got back to me on the second bounty target, and he looks like this. Okay, where are you located, guy? Oh my gosh, he's all the way in Del Perro. Oh my lord, I'm still in Sandy Shores. Well, this is going to be a fun hike. All right, I made it to this location. Where is this guy? Where? Where, where, oh, where is this guy? This is a tougher location because, well, there's so many different roads this guy could be on. I think I got this location recently on another account. Oh my god, I hear I hear jingle bells. Where are you? Which one are you? I hear the bells. What the heck? I hear the bells. I just ran over like 50 people. Wait, what? Oh, you're here? Well, that's pretty cool. I guess that you're right here, but you're not there anymore. Yo, dead. And there we go. Bounty complete. We have, um, I don't know, either like two or three more to go. All right, so Mon texted us for a third bounty target and he looks like this all right this little goober right here so we have to kill that guy so let me go find him and it looks like he's in the movie studio he's just chilling out he just wants to be a part of a film or something well i'm not allowing that to happen i'm literally killing his dreams of becoming a vinewood superstar i'm sorry mod told me to so take it up with mod in the afterlife or whatever all right if i remember correctly this guy was in here somewhere all right i hear the jingle bells where is this guy i see no one oh he's right there oh he's running he's running where are you going you ran around the corner oh my god why are you smart Wait, did he just jump the fence? Why is this guy so elusive? I don't remember these targets being so elusive. No, you're pissing me off. You're getting run over by a car. I'm stealing this car. Trying to be so elusive like that. Well, I'm literally gonna hit you like a ram truck right there. Oh my god, you're still alive? I thought you were dead. Oh no. 
I thought I didn't have the option to kill him after he surrenders like that, but apparently I still do. I ran him over, and then he was like, no, please. And then I still killed him. All right, Mod got back to me with another email. Let's check this out. Okay, what does the guy look like? Um, just another boring guy. Okay, where's this boring guy? Ah, all the way in grape seed. Okay, time to go on a journey. All right, so I made it to this location. Um, oh, jeez, there's a robbery going on right here. Should I save the robbery? You know what? This will be my quote-unquote wheel of quick cash for this episode. You know what? Uh, it'll be me saving a robbery, you know? Well, I just shot you in the arm. You Oh my god, you're still alive? Die. I, I just shot him, like, in the hip and everything. He's still alive. Dude, this guy... Okay, there we go. The robber does not, like, get injured in a normal way. Oh, okay. I can return the cash, I think, for, like, 25000 or run away with the money for, like, thirty. And honestly, I'm right here. I'm going to be staying in this area a while because I need to get the bounty. So, I'm just going to get this over with. And boom. Oh, it was only $20,000. I got a good Samaritan bonus. I should get the mayor's keys to Grapeseed for that, you know, instead of 20000 <laughs> please okay anyways where's the bounty i'm trying to find one bounty could be on that bridge i just looked at it wasn't there all right this is starting to piss me off i have no idea where this guy is i have no idea this is like extra frustrating too because like there's not a lot to explore like the del paro location there's a lot to explore like there's not a lot to explore down here so like in theory i should be getting this pretty quickly but it just hasn't been the case wait i hear the jingle bells finally why would he be all the way over here oh it's this guy it's definitely that guy yeah okay what is this guy doing Sitting here in the rain, just looking out. Like, okay, what an interesting guy. What, whatever. Um, he's dead now. All right, so I have one more bounty target I have to find. So I have to wait for Maud to send me the details on that. All right, so it's pouring down rain now, and Maud finally got back to me for the final location, and we have to find this girl. All right, so I made it to this location right here, the final bounty location. Now, where, where could this bounty be? I don't remember where a bounty could be in here. This one could be annoying, just because there's a lot of crevices that I could search you right here hey 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 oh I actually hit her all right there we go she's dead and there we go bounty complete so already we've gotten twenty-five thousand dollars for doing that which isn't bad at all but then mod is essentially telling us right here that we have a treasure chest that we can take a look at which is all the way at the lighthouse like actually at the lighthouse thank you mod for making it really inconvenient no mod actually has multiple locations where she can put that treasure stash at and she decides to put it on an island a literal island at the lighthouse like why 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 would you put it there? Whatever, I did all this work for Maud, and then Maud is like, here you go, but you have one more task, and that's to go all the way out on an island. Ha <laughs> ha! All right, I've parked close enough to this location. Now, I know this is technically a stunt job, but I could try, I guess, to land my Karuma all the way at the lighthouse, but then I couldn't get my Karuma out of there. You know what? No, 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 no. I just hyped it up. No, I got to try it. I got to try it. I'm only going to try it once. I have to try it now. Hey, what are you looking at? Oh, shoot. You had an eye patch. You can't. <laughs> it's funny because you can't really look to the best of your abilities. All right, this is definitely the hardest stunt jump in the game right here. Can I complete this stunt jump first try? First and only attempt. I'm going to get a little bit of a run up. I think this is good right in here. Probably a lot of you are confused what I'm doing, but I'm going to drive. And there's this little ramp right here. It's like blocked off. <laughs> I don't care. See, look, it's a stunt jump. And... <laughs> <laughs> we whiffed badly. It's an incredibly tough stunt jump. I remember when I did every stunt jump in the game, like, almost a year ago. This probably took me, like, 10 minutes to do. I gotta call Morris Mutual, because I peer pressured myself into doing that. And I have to pay $6,000 for that, too. Nice. Yeah, that was great. Yeah, all because I peer pressured myself. And look, here it is, right here, on the island, the chest. So, yeah, let's open this up. And, oh, a stone hatchet. Wow. Man, we're ready to go. And there we go. Treasure found. We have unlocked the stone hatchet but we're not done just yet so now we have to get 25 kills with the stone hatchet to unlock a money reward and some stupid stuff in red dead redemption 2 which i'm not gonna even touch so let me go to the city and let me go kill some people with the stone hatchet all right so i've made it to del barrel right here and i've made it to del barrel because there's a ton of civilians right in here and this is my stone hatchet so i have to go around and i have to get 20 kills with this weapon oh i lied it's 25 i'm sorry but that's two right there there's three and yeah, so I 
I just gotta quickly do this. This ability makes you invincible. Dude, you think you're cool. You really think you're cool. You dodge. You roll underneath me trying to like kill you. Like, come on, you're not cool. I can just kill you again, moron. But yeah, anyways, with this ability, like if someone were to shoot you, like let's just say the cops, what the heck just happened with that guy? That was weird. With this ability, you don't take any damage, but I mean, we're not dealing with comps right now. There's just a ton of civilians right near that I can just destroy. So yeah, I have five kills remaining. This has been incredibly quick. I think last time I tried to do this, I did it in Grapeseed. That was a dumb idea looking at it now, seeing how easy this is. Like I haven't even lost this ability once. Every time you get another kill, the bar increases even more. All right, there we go. The stone hatchet challenge has been completed. I honestly think that took me two minutes. It has never been that quick for me, so that's nice. Now, let me die to the cops, because there's no way I'm going to freaking lose the cops like this. And we got deposited $250,000. So now in my bank account, I have $340,000. So we still have a long, long ways to go in order for us to buy the facility next. But in the next upcoming episodes, we'll be spinning the wheel of making money to see what I have to do to make money. And we'll be working to make money money to buy the facility next last episode i started as a level one on a new account in gta online and the only way i am going to make money on this account is by spinning a wheel determining what i should do to make money so today in this video i will spin the wheel again to see what i will do in this episode to make money so welcome to the second episode of season two of lose your luxury and without further ado let's jump into it all right so right now i am on the wheel of quick cash and i'm going to explain to you how the rest of the episodes of loser to luxury is going to work so for every episode i'm going to spin the wheel of quick cash once and then after that i'm going to go to the wheel of making money and then i'm going to spin the wheel of making money twice per episode and we're trying to make this money for a specific item and that item is going to be determined by either the wheel of businesses or the wheel of luxury in last episode we spun the wheel of businesses and it landed on us buying a facility and then we we spun a wheel to determine what facility we had to buy and we have to buy this one right here the land act reservoirs facility coming in at two million nine hundred and fifty thousand dollars and currently right now i have three hundred and forty thousand dollars so we have a long long ways to go in order to buy this facility but how are we going to start out this episode in order to make money so the wheel is spinning and it looks like we are going to have to go to the diamond casino and we are going to have to spin another wheel at the diamond casino all right so right now i am on the wheel of making money and last episode we spun the wheel of making money only once and it landed on the stone hatchet so last episode we collected the stone hatchet and we're not allowed to do that again because that's only a one-time thing in gta so in this episode and from every episode from here on out i am going to spin the wheel of making money twice so what are we going to have to do in this episode in order to make money and it looks like we are actually going to have to do an original heist so this wheel spin includes the five original heists in the game and these are the heists that you can start up in your high-end apartment and within the expanded and enhanced version you do get a free high-end apartment but since i landed on this we'll just do the first one that we're able to do which is going to be the fleece of job but what else in this episode am i gonna have to do in order to make money and it looks like we are going to have to find the navy revolver yes we are going to have to go out and find the navy revolver which is another treasure hunt just like the stone hatchet so once i find the navy revolver this wheel spin will be taken off the wheel so we're gonna have to go out and find the navy revolver in our next treasure hunt and then we're gonna have to do the fleece of job heist but first i'm gonna have to go to the diamond casino and spin the lucky wheel all right, so we've made it to the Diamond Casino right here. Um, hello, sir. I ran into his little stand, and then he's going to open the door for me. What a gentleman. I really appreciate you. Thank you. And that happened because this is the first time I'm entering the Diamond Casino. So, yeah, I have to sit through this cutscene and whatever. So, this is going to be fun. All right, so I finished the cutscene. So, I can buy a membership here now, and it's only $500. But I got $5,000 of chips. So, yeah, I technically profited for coming here to the Diamond Casino. 
know, that's nice. But this is what the wheel spin was talking about right here. The lucky wheel. So if you aren't aware, there's a lot of different options on this wheel. We can get clothing. We can get RP. There goes my controller. You can get cash. You can get chips, which can be turned into cash. You can get a discount. You can get a mystery item. And you can get a vehicle. And the vehicle is what we're looking to get. So let's spin the wheel. Let's see what we're going to get. Can we actually land on a vehicle? I mean, come on, Rockstar. I just made a new account. Like, can you just toss me a little bow? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, we did it. We did it. We did it. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. We did it. We did it. Oh, my. Oh, my. Okay, so we won the vehicle. The vehicle is this thing right here. I'm filming this Wednesday, probably eight hours before the next event week is happening. I don't know what the next event week vehicle is going to be, but it's this truck. I have no idea what this truck is, but I have won it. Okay, low key though, I was kind of freaking out. I didn't read anything that just happened. So I have no idea what I'm supposed to do with this, but I won it. I won. I won the vehicle. I won it. I think this is only the second time that I've ever won the vehicle. Does the vehicle just automatically go into my garage? I don't even know. I, I don't remember how it works. This is like the first time in two years I've won it. I don't do this too often. So this is the vehicle that we just won off of the lucky wheel. And this vehicle is the, the classic drift Yosemite. I have never even heard of this vehicle, but it's in my garage now. All right, so this is the vehicle I just won. So it has a buy now price of $1,300,000, but it also has a trade price of $981,000, which you can get if you complete the Diamond Casino Heist finale as a lead with this vehicle, which I didn't even know you could use this vehicle during the Diamond Casino heist. That's interesting. When you really think about it, that's interesting. You can rob the Diamond Casino and essentially get in this car and get away with all the Diamond Casino's cash or gold or painting or whatever it is. And yet they're like, ah, this is also the vehicle we are just going to give away to some people for free off the lucky wheel. It's a weird dilemma there at the Diamond Casino, but I, I don't care. I want it. And I'll probably be robbing them later on. I guess I'm going to be driving this vehicle around definitely this episode i mean i was just gonna drive my armored karuma around but screw it it's yosemite time okay okay is this gonna just okay 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 we get it we get it okay you drift okay that's cool okay so this thing likes to drift let's put it at that all right, so I've made it to where I wanted to go. And I will say with this drift Yosemite, when you accelerate from a complete standstill, it, this vehicle just wants to absolutely spin its tires. Getting it to actually drive normally is pretty annoying. But once you get it to drive, you know, normally, then it's actually a pretty fun vehicle to drive. Anyways, we are here at this random barn area for no reason at all. And oh, wait, do you, do you see that? What, is, what does that say? Can you find me? Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I can. Maybe I can't. I don't know. We're gonna have to find out. All right. So in all seriousness, though, this is a clue for the Navy revolver. This is how we start trying to find the Navy revolver. So yeah, let's investigate this clue. Can you find me? Ha 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 ha. Bet. There we go. One clue out of five investigated. So now we have to investigate four other clues, which are scattered all across the map. So yeah, I'm gonna be driving this drift Yosemite even more. All right. So we've made it to the location of the first clue which is somewhere in here my controller is vibrating i can't find wherever i'm supposed to investigate though where am i supposed to investigate i it's somewhere in here but where hello i never have this oh there it is okay this is what i'm supposed to be looking at see that it's a tire we have to look at this tire no i'm kidding it's not the tire it is the grass is apparently grown over it even though this is a video game but it's supposed to be a chopped off hand but it's okay you don't need to see it you just need to know that there's a tire there all right let's find the next clue though all right so the next clue is over here right um it's right here it's this machete that's in the wall so i guess that's cool whatever that's three out of five clues investigated all right so here's the next clue right here it's a handprint on whatever the heck this is there we go it's four out of five clues investigated all right so here's the van location right here this is the final clue that we have to investigate and there we go yeah nice back your van loser all right five out of five clues investigated see now he's saying i'm sick of you sticking your nose in where it don't belong now i'm not going to lie what happens next won't be nice for you um um yeah getting paid won't be nice for me no this guy spawns in blaine county from uh like 7 p.m to 5 a.m and it is pretty much 4 a.m so i need to go to like blaine county somewhere and just chill out i guess i don't know the exact parameters of blaine county i'm not going to lie like like what is the limit 
I usually do this at the airport, the Sandy Shores airport or airfield, and I don't think I have enough time to do that. You know what? I mean, actually, maybe I do. I don't know. I, I might be risky. I don't know. We're really cutting it close. If we can get this done, this would be so nice. If not, I have to wait pretty much like 20 some minutes in order for us to do it again. All right. I'm not going to lie. The Drift Yosemite got me here pretty quickly, and it is pretty much 430. All right. So I need to get out and oh, no, no, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean I forgot to put my phone away. Oh my god. No, no, no. We're wasting time. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. No, I is it gonna spawn me there? Please spawn me back to where I was at. Okay, okay, it did. It did. Okay. The time is 440. Okay. So now we just sit here. There he is. Okay, nice. Yeah, die. Okay, bye, loser. All right, there we go. I got the Navy revolver and I already got fifty thousand dollars. Yeah, what happens next to you won't be nice. <laughs> $50,000 plus the ability to get even more money once I get 50 kills with the Navy revolver. Yeah, I think our definitions of nice kind of vary a little bit. So this guy is a little bit of a loser. This is the Drift Tampa, right? So yeah, we're supposed to spin our wheels. Yeah, just I don't think this is nice for you. I, this is not nice. Give me $50,000 along with the chance to get even more money, which we're about to get into. Um, Yeah, I, I think that's nice. All right, so in my hands right now is the Navy revolver. And well, I am back in Los Santos, downtown Los Santos, as you can see. And behind me, there's some guys that are kind of just standing here. And well, I need to get 50 kills. So unfortunately for these guys that are behind me, they're going to be a victim. Okay, my controller screwed up. I swear. I am not that bad of a shot. I swear. I, I even have auto aim too. That's not my fault. Okay, um, I think that guy escaped. But this guy is not. Okay, there we go. That's one. <laughs> Oh, no, that guy didn't escape. There we go. There's two. But I got to get 50 kills, though. So I guess enjoy this montage of me getting kills. Okay, there we go. I have completed the challenge. I got $200,000 out of that. So now I have $618,000. But now it is time for me to do the fleece of bank high. So let me go talk to Lester and let's get that set up. All right, so now it's time for me to start up the fleece of bank heist. But first, I have to go inside of Lester's garment factory and kind of go through this cutscene because apparently right now we don't know Lester, so we have to like introduce ourselves. You know, like hi Lester, yeah, blah 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 blah. All right, so after that lovely conversation with Lester, he essentially told me that he's gonna contact me about a job opportunity, which is going to be robbing the fleece of bank. So I have to wait around for him to contact me. All right, so Lester contacted me back, and now we are able to start up the fleece of bank high so let's click this right here and there's my unmasked head all right so i'm curious about something right here this is opens at rank 12 and in parentheses it says you are rank 9 but it's letting me gather like a crew or when i mean crew i mean one other person because that's all you need for a fleece of bank heist but can i like actually do this i guess the point of it is to make sure i don't join someone else's heist but uh, okay cool i guess i mean yeah but it doesn't apply to the host oh great i have to sit through these actual cutscenes spamming my controller to skip it and i can't all right here we go we are about to start up the first setup which is going to be the scope out setup i'll go out on a limb and say this is the easiest setup in the game but it's also fun because you get to run over lester like this sorry lester oh shoot okay i guess this guy's driving i didn't mean for him to drive but whatever uh, i i guess I'll, I'll ride passenger all right escort me i guess I, I don't know if i trust him to drive whatever this guy's level 16 this is by far the easiest setup in the game, but also the most boring setup in the game. But he's going to make it interesting because he just ran into someone on the opposite side of the road. I would never. Well, I guess this is going to be a little bit interesting. It's not going to be boring because this guy is driving. Dude, what is going on? I'm like on my phone and I just hear wrecking. Like what? Like actually what is going on? Oh yeah, you see a car and instead of going around the car, you drive right into the car. I, I swore you are like a magnet to cars. Um, What is your name? Zucata Tika, or what? What is it? I what an interesting name. Zucata Kika. What? Whatever. Okay, we we've made it to Fleece a Bank. 
Ah, oh, yeah. Wow. Mm, mm. What a what a great place to rob. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, that was a great meeting. So now we have to go to Lester's factory, but I get to do a little something fun. All right. So essentially, I have to do this hack. I mean, this hack is pretty, pretty easy. We have to do something like this during the finale, too, which I'm probably going to be doing this during the finale. But I mean, like, I don't need practice for this stuff. Never mind. I might need practice for this. Jeez. I'm just not paying too much attention. And I took that corner way too quickly. All right. There we go. That's all the hacks complete. Oh, and when I just tuned back, he missed his exit. That I agree with, Lester. I, I most certainly agree with that. Oh my god, he keeps missing like every turn. You have to see the minimap in the bottom left. It's a very useful tool for you. I mean, dude, you almost missed it again. Are you trying to drift? Like, I, if you're trying to drift, stop. You suck. If you're just this bad at driving, then, well, get better. I don't know what to say. This is terrible. Oh my god. I should have just not run over Lester, and I should have drove. That is my fault. This is my fault. I am complaining, but this is my fault. He missed it. I was about to miss the exit again or the turn. Give me out this car. 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 Now. Uh, okay, okay. Hello, Paige. Nice to meet you. Runner over. Okay. Now get into the car. Lester, get in. Wait, why? Are you gonna open the door up for Lester? Oh no. What I, I don't know why I thought he was just gonna open the door for Lester. I don't even think you can do that. Alright, and there we go. We made it back to my garage. That was a complete smooth drive back. And there we go, set up past. Alright, here we go. We are jumping into our next setup right here, which is going to be the Karuma setup. Now, technically, I already have a Karuma on this account, but it doesn't matter because we need a Karuma that is not traceable back to me. So we have to steal one. And I'm going to drive around my Drift Yosemite because this is a new car that I just won. Uh, and then this guy wants to ride with me. I get to teach him how to drive. All right, we've made it all the way to the top right here. So I'm going to get down and some guy is pissed off at me. So I'm going to just kill him. So yeah, basically you have to take out a bunch of guys right in here. I don't think my teammates even shot yet. Uh, I swear this guy has like just bought the game, even though he's a higher level technically than me. All right, there we go. Everyone's dead. This is the armored Karuma that we are trying to steal. So this guy needs to get in or else I assume he's going to die because I don't trust him in surviving. So now we need to get out of here. All right, so now all I have to do is just drive this to Lester's factory and we should be good to go. Probably one of the quickest setups in the game. All right, so this guy tried to drift when he drove. Can I pull off the greatest drift of all time? Nah, almost, 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 almost. All right, there we go. Yeah, that was pretty much his setup. Oh, and we're just gonna finish like that. That is exactly how Lester wanted the Karuma to be parked. And there we go, setup pass. Let's move on to the finale. All right, here we go. We are jumping into the finale right here and we are doing the fleece a job. I have a potential cut of a $150,000 and unfortunately for the guy that did all the setups for some reason did not want to join the finale and I grew impatient so I got another guy who is a level 28. He's got a pretty nice car, too. Oh, I forgot to mention this, too. During all the setups, I did all the setups, I think, either on easy or normal. But the heist finale is going to be on hard, so we can get the highest payout possible. All right, so now we need to go to the Fleece of Bank. We're in our Armored Karuma, and I have to do this hack. It's a different hack than what I did earlier, but the same concept. I'm going to guarantee I'm not going to screw up. I'm not screwing up at all. I guarantee it. Absolutely guarantee it. Oh my god, I screwed up. Oh my god. Oh my god. You didn't see that. I swear. You didn't see that. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. This is actually really bad. I I think I've screwed up four times. I literally guaranteed I wouldn't screw up at all. And I screwed up four times. This is an embarrassment. I will have to say. I am playing like how my rank is right now in GTA Online. I'm a rank 10. I am playing like it. Oh, you. I was just about to finish too. Bank cashier hit the alarm. Why? Why? What, what happened? What happened? Was I just too good on the hacks or something? Oh my god. We spawn in back at lester's factory so i gotta do that hack all over again okay this is redemption though i have an opportunity a rare opportunity at redemption this time i will not screw up at all not a single time all right there we go i completed all of the hacks that time flawlessly uh, you didn't even see that like first attempt thing whatever you didn't you didn't see that at all this is all you saw first attempt so easy way too easy all right you made it to the fleece of bank now do not screw things up this time and you completely whiffed where we were supposed to go okay what an interesting fella i, I will have to say already he's incredibly interesting but i have to unlock the vault now where's that 
that car going? What the? Did you see that? And the car despawned. And okay, I get to put on my iconic paper mask. And now let's go in the bank and let me go steal the stuff. All right, here we go. We are at the vault now. So all I have to do is pretty much just drill into the vault. All right, there we go. I drilled through the vault. And now we get to take this one safety deposit box. Now let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. This is my first heist on this account. And well, it's kind of going interesting. Okay, he just ran me over. Let me in, please. Okay, now get out of here. Get out of here. He's going the wrong way. You're going the wrong way. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't drive towards the city when we have the cops on us. We're trying to make a getaway. Oh, there goes my controller. All right, so we've made it to the bridge. So all we have to do is just fly it underneath this cargo bob. And this cargo bob has a very ginormous magnet underneath it. So all we have to do is just drive underneath this big magnet and we get launched into the air. Okay, there we go. We are on the magnet. Now let's get out of here. And there we go. Our big getaway. Just us on a magnet flying through the air. Lovely. And there we go. Heist passed. All right, so I got 60% of that cut, which is $150,000. We had a quick restart because of him. And I got $100,000 extra for completing this for the first time. So we, in total, we got $250,000. All right, so after doing that Felisa heist, I now have $862,000. So pretty much I still need to make right around $2 million in order for me to buy the facility. Two episodes ago, I started as a level one on a new account in GTA Online. And the only way I have made money on this account is by spinning a wheel determining what I should do to make money. So today in this video, I will spin that wheel again to see what I will do to make money money so welcome to the third episode of season two of loser to luxury and without further ado let's jump into it so right now i am on the wheel of quick cash but before we spin the wheel of quick cash i just want to remind you we are trying to buy the land act reservoir facility next coming in at two million nine hundred and fifty thousand dollars and currently right now i have eight hundred and sixty four thousand dollars so i need to make just over two million more dollars in order to purchase this facility but but how are we going to start out this episode in order to make money? So the wheel is spinning and it looks like we are going to have to go and try to find G's cash somewhere on the map. All right, so right now I am on the wheel of making money. And last episode, we landed on the Navy revolver. So the Navy revolver is not on the wheel of making money anymore, along with the stone hatchet. So the only other treasure hunt that's on the wheel of making money is the double action revolver. But what are we going to have to do in this episode in order to make money? So the wheel is spinning and it looks like we are actually going to have to get that double action revolver. So this is the final treasure hunt that we haven't done yet. So so yeah, I guess we're going to get the double action revolver in this episode. But what else in this episode am I going to have to do in order to make money? And it looks like we are going to have to do what is this going to be. Oh, this is going to be original heist. Now we landed on this wheel spin last episode. And in last episode, we did the fleece of bank heist. But now it is time for me to do the prison break heist. So I got to go find the double action revolver and then I have to do the prison break heist. But first I have to go and find G's cash. All right. So I've made it all the way to G's cash location, which is all the way over here. I'm finally level 11, so I can actually get a helicopter spawn in. So that's nice. Yeah, I guess let me just search around and see if I can find G's cash. Oh, I see it. I see it. Okay. Okay. That wasn't too bad. But yeah, let's collect G's cash. The first G's cash I'm actually finding on this account. And I made $16,000 but I also get ammo and snacks, which is also pretty good. And we're going to need some snacks for the prison break heist. So now I am going to try to find the double action revolver, but I got to wait on an unidentified caller to email me the information about this treasure hunt. So I'm just going to stand here and wait. Two thousand years later. Oh my God. Finally, I got the email. Jeez, that took a while. Okay. So you're supposed to get this email right here. It's labeled treasure hunt. So you click that and you're supposed to use the photograph in this email to identify Identify the location of the treasure. This looks to be a grave site, and that location is on the map all the way. Yeah, uh huh. Okay, so it's pretty much right in here. I mean, yeah, what a wide range, but we know it's at this grave site right in here. 
All right, so I've made it to the cemetery. Now, one issue is that it is dark, so it's going to be a little bit more annoying to try to find stuff. So we have to find, like, these gravestones. This is our main clue. We should be able to hear something once we get close to it. I've never gotten this location before. Okay, I'm starting to hear the jingle bells. Where is it? Oh, I found it. I found it. Wait, where was it, though? Oh, it's here on this gravestone. Is it on? Oh, it's on the other side of the gravestone. Treasure tore our family apart. It ain't here no more. I moved it. You effers? We'll never find it. We'll see about that, buddy. We'll see about that. So now I gotta investigate all the clues to find the treasure, which there's three clues on the map. So, I mean, phew, easy enough. They're just making it easy on me. Thanks. All right, so I've made it to the first clue, which is going to be inside of this cave right here. And it's this pretty disgusting looking guy. All right, there we go. One out of three clues discovered. I gotta go to the other two locations. All right, so I've made it to the next clue, which is going to be right here. And look at that. It's a beautiful shovel. Wow, awesome. Awesome. Love a nice shovel. Two out of three clues discovered. You have one more clue to discover. All right, so I've made it to the final clue, which is going to be by this tree right here. And it's going to be an empty gun case. Okay, wow. Three out of three clues discovered. And now on the mini map, you can see a little bit of a treasure chest icon because a treasure chest has been planted right here, which is going to have a very special something inside of it. So we have to go all the way to that treasure chest and take a look what's inside. All right, so I've made it over to the treasure chest and okay there's been some controversy by this treasure chest i mean look two people dead but that's okay i don't care about you dead people all i care about is what's going to be inside of this treasure chest which is going to be this beautiful weapon right here the double action revolver so boom there we go we found the treasure i now have the double action revolver so just like the other treasure hunts that i had to do i have a challenge that corresponds with this weapon so for this one i have to get 50 headshots with the double action revolver to earn money so it's time for me to go to the del perro beer and just rack up some kills i guess i just realized there's just this guy sitting right here he looks pretty miserable so i'm gonna end his suffering there we go that's one kill 49 more to go All right, and there we go. I just completed all 50 of the headshots I needed to get. So at some point, I'll be credited with $250,000. All right, so after I completed the double action revolver challenge and being rewarded $250,000 for it, I now have $1,130,000. But now it is time for me to start up a prison break heist. So I gotta do all the setups and the finale. So let's just jump into it. And hopefully someone will actually join. All right, who's knocking at my door right here? Ah, Agent 14. Wow. How did I get an achievement already for this? What? Invested your hard-earned cash to set up a heist. Well, that's kind of what happens. But whatever, it's fine. Yeah, the annoying thing about doing these heists for the first time is that you have to sit through these cutscenes. And when I've done this heist so many times, I don't really want to, like, sit through these cutscenes. So, yeah, I just get to watch Agent 14 swivel around in a chair. My chair, actually. All right, here we go. We are doing the first setup right here, which is going to be the prison break plane setup now last episode i won the drift yosemite from the lucky wheel from the diamond casino but i decided that this setup is probably more fitting for a karuma so that is why i am in a karuma right now now trust me if i have a setup that i can get away without a karuma i am going to use my drift yosemite because like that's my baby now like we won that car so there's like an emotional attachment to the drift yosemite now it's gonna take some pretty heavy investments for me to lose this emotional attachment that I have right now to the Drift Yosemite. But me actually surviving is one of those things that I actually care about. So that's why I'm in my armored Kuruma right now. Oh yeah, the people that join these setups are actually pretty high levels. I'm kind of shocked that high levels even join this setup. I thought it would have been a bunch of low levels that didn't know what they were doing, but apparently not. So I'm very happy about that. Now I could definitely carry my own, but if they want to carry me, that's fine with me. I'm cool with that. Oh, and by the way too, all the setups I'm 
I'm going to do on easy, but the finale I'm going to do on hard so we get the highest payout possible. So we have to steal a vellum that's inside of this airfield. And well, we have to take out a bunch of people before we can actually safely get out of here. So I'm going to drive around in my Karuma and take out a bunch of people. All right, I'm going to try to make a getaway now. I feel like my teammates are doing a fantastic job. So yeah, I'm going to get into the vellum and I'm just going to start flying away now. All right, I am in the vellum. So now I need to just fly this vellum all the way to the hangar back in Los Santa. So it's going to be a little bit of a flight. Oh my God, the airfield is a little bit jam-packed. There's a car that's right there. Okay, okay. We didn't injure the plane from the looks of it. Can we take off? There we go. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're in the air now. All right, nothing can stop me now. All right, so all I have to do now is just land this vellum inside of the hangar, or at least just drive it into the hangar. And oh, beautiful landing. Um, I'm going to give myself 9 out of 10 on that landing. And well, boom, there we go. We have made it to the hangar. And there we go, setup passed. Let's move on to the next setup. All right, we are jumping into our next setup right here. It actually took me a few minutes to actually find some people to join this heist because no one from that last setup even joined this setup. And last setup, you saw it, there was a bunch of high levels. You want to take a look at it now? There's me, who's a level 12, then level 14, and level 16, then level 7. Like, this has gotten really bad now. Luckily, I think this is the easiest setup for the prison break heist, but geez, I am not doing the finale with these guys. <laughs> There's no way. I'm not going to do it with three low levels like this. Gosh, no. Oh, why would you wreck the Drift Yosemite? Why would you wreck the Drift Yosemite? That was so blatantly obvious. I don't know why they did that. They're out to get me, I swear. I don't know why. All right, so I've made it to the prison bus right here. The driver's right there. Okay, I got the kill. I got the kill. I need to drive this prison bus. This needs to be me. I do not trust any of these other guys. You can ride, that's fine, but I do not want you to drive because now we have to lose the cops, and, well, I know the best ways to lose the cops in this area. Okay, I've never had this message before. I have to take out the aerial S. Escort. I'll take care of that, I guess. Luckily, I have a homing launcher. All right, there we go. Dead. All right, so now I'm going to get back into the prison bus. And now it's time to lose the cops. All right, and there we go. I lost the cops. Now the rest of my team has to lose the cops. And, well, hopefully they can do that efficiently. But who knows? Oh, wait. They actually did very quickly. So now I have to deliver the prison bus to the drop-off. And, yeah, that should be pretty much mission passed. All right, and here we go. We have made it to the drop-off. Well, that took so long just to try to find a crew for this setup. And the setup took, like, maybe seven minutes crazy how that works and there we go setup pass we have two more setups to go all right here we go we are jumping into the third setup right here which is going to be the prison break station setup so right now i need to steal a police cruiser and well i think the best way to do that is to actually just go here and dial 911 now i have 911 as a contact so now i can call 911 oh okay maybe not maybe i can't do that never mind never mind i thought i could i don't know why i thought i could you can definitely do that in free Mode. All right, but I need a police cruiser. Hmm. We're near a police station. Why don't I just go there? All right, so this is the police station, but no vehicles like spawn in at the front of this police station. It's always around back, I think. I don't know. I don't get to this police station too often. Okay, okay. We have the cops on us now. That's all I wanted. Nice, nice, nice. We have the cops. This is probably not the best way to do this, but I don't care. My teammate right now, just in the middle of all those cops, Um, I don't think he has any idea like what to do. I don't even think he has the cops on him. I think it's only me that has the cops on them. Okay, no police cruisers coming after me, unfortunately, so I'm gonna have to just drive towards a police cruiser. This is just great. Oh, finally, a police cruiser spawning in. There's the police cruiser. Hello. Hello there. Dead, and you're dead. Nice. Okay. Now, I'm taking your police cruiser, and no, my teammate's not getting in it, because he's a loser. Alright, there we go. I lost the cops, so now I need to get to the police station. Alright, and here we go. Hello, policeman. How do you do? Oh my god. Wait, that was actually not a bad parking job. Just a little bit off. Just a little bit off. So now we need to go in and we need to go steal the prison bus schedule, which the schedule is right here. So yeah, I, this is what I'm taking. All right, so now we just need to get in the police cruiser. Oh my God, I almost just ran straight into that police officer. No. Yeah, yeah, that's right. You are not driving. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. I drive because, well, I, I drive. That's just how it goes. My heist, my car to drive. See, this is why it's better for me to drive, because I actually drive it very smoothly. Just don't ask that lady. But other than that, everyone else says I drive smooth. All right, so I was supposed to take the police cruiser right here. Now we have to destroy this police cruiser. And there's some jerry cans right here. Lovely. So we're going to pour some gasoline around it, and then we're going to set this car on fire. Okay, this car didn't actually blow up, unfortunately. Fine, 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 fine. All right, now can you blow up, please? Wait, is the car even on fire? I've done this high so many times, and I still can't do it. We're going to dump some 
gasoline on top of the car this time. All right, all right, yeah. There we go. Yeah, now the car is on fire. I know for a fact the car is on fire. All right, yeah, the car has been destroyed. So now we have to take the schedule back to the planning room. And that's pretty much done for what we have to do. My other two teammates are doing something else. I think they're stealing a specific car from the docks. I think that's what they're doing. All right, we're going back to the apartment to drop off the schedule. All right, so now I got to wait on my teammates. So I'm just going to chill out. Wait, are we done? Okay, there we go. Set up pads. We have one more setup to do. All right, so we're jumping into the final setup right here. The prison break wet work setup. Now for this setup, once again, we're separated into two teams. And I'm on the team that has to go to the city. <laughs> I just wrecked that guy so badly. <laughs> I think that's my teammate that's supposed to go with me. But anyways, we're supposed to go to the city hall and we have to go take out some people and collect some stuff. Pretty much what I got out of it. All right, so we've made it to the building across from city hall. So we have to wait for the prosecutors to arrive. Wait, what happened? What? What happened? The operation was compromised. How? That's lovely. Thank you. All right, let's try this again. I assume that was my teammate's fault. The other group, because, well, we hadn't done anything yet over here. We were pretty much just standing there we're just waiting for stuff to happen all right here are the prosecutors right here and i am taking out that guy right there and my teammate had an in shot but that's okay luckily i'm a decent shot and i'm clutch so there we go but now we have the cops on it oh i forgot about this oh my god oh my oh okay i landed on that i, I kind of got lucky i've seen people fall to death doing that all right so there's a ton of cops that are right in here oh my teammate died nice way to go teammate and when i mean my teammate i mean the person that's with me not the other people yeah okay this one should have been a karuma setup but i decided to be a little bit cocky but it's okay i can take out a couple people oh my god i need to eat snacks eat, eat. okay yeah nice I, I can take out a couple it's only a couple cops you know just only a couple all right there you go all the cops have been taken out they're right around the deposition now i have the deposition so now let me lose the cops and then let's return that deposition back okay one of my tires have been shot out in my drift yosemite yeah this vehicle loves to just spin its tires already and then on top of that we're missing one of our tires yeah, th this car is just all over the place right now. It's okay. We rolling. We rolling. I'm just ready to jump into the finale. All right, there we go. We have made it back to our apartment. And there we go. Set up pass. And now it's time for us to jump into the finale. All right, so here's the board right here for the prison break finale. Um, Right now, I have 55%. Now, this is how I like the jobs for this prison break heist to go when I'm leader, at least. So I definitely like to be the prisoner. But then the lowest level, I actually would rather be the prison officer and then the next lowest level i'd rather be the demolition and then the highest level gets to be the pilot now unfortunately we have me who's level 13 a level 12 a level 17 and a level 36 not the highest level people so this could be interesting um i don't have a lot of faith in us but we're gonna see how this goes because not anyone was really eager to join all right here we go the prison break finale right here i actually thought about it a little bit i was kind of complaining a little bit that it's just a bunch of low levels i mean yeah that's true but this is loser to luxury and we are not luxurious at all right now i am a loser i want to make that clear i am a loser right now in gta as a loser i need to surround myself with fellow losers so yeah it's pretty much me and the the team of rejects the team of losers right here now some people say this is the hardest heist in the game okay wait wait wait, wait. actually no it's not the hardest heist in the game I... wait what happened what happened what the prison officer failed how do you fail already i don't don't know how someone already failed that's fun oh not enough players to start the finale okay never mind i had this whole spiel about forming the team of rejects so no we are not going to form a team of losers never mind that because the losers go back to their loser ways and fail immediately and then they just leave and hopefully the next lobby you get to see will be me with a bunch of winners and we're gonna just do this prison break heist quickly all right so we have a new heist crew um it is a level 13 which is me another level 13 a level 32 and then a level 264 that is beautiful and i am putting the level 264 at pilot now if you're wondering why i'm putting the highest level as the pilot is because a lot of people do not understand the right tactic to flying this aircraft during this heist so i'm putting the highest level there because i am going under the assumption that he's already done this heist before and he hopefully knows how to maneuver around the enemies that are going to come and try to attack him and then i'm putting the lowest level as a prison 
officer because, well, I'm a prisoner and he's a prison officer. We have to go together and my goal is for that low level to be carried by me. Even though I am still a level 13, I know my way around a prison break heist. So that is why the lowest level is coming with me. Dude, the level 264 and the 32 have readied up. The level 13 has not readied up. The level 13 doesn't understand that this is life-changing money for him. Like, I swear, this is literally life-changing money. 130. Oh, 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 boo-hoo. Oh, what did you want? More money? <laughs> no. Oh, yeah, by the way, too, for these heists, I'm going with the default pay cut. So my default pay cut is going to be 55% for this heist, and then everyone else is going to be 15. If someone doesn't want to accept that, that's fine. They can go do something else. Oh, my gosh, I'm in a new lobby now, and the one high level is ready to go. The 117 is ready to go. Then we have the two low levels. Like, oh, oh, okay, there you go. Okay, I won't talk badly about you, JK. Oh, okay, okay, wow, wow. I was about to go off on them, and then they, they, they just shut up real quick. All right, here we go. Let's try the prison break heist again. And hopefully we can actually, like, you know, start the heist. Now, last time I was here, I said I was going to surround myself with a bunch of winners. I didn't necessarily do that. I surrounded myself with one, one winner, and that winner is just going to be stuck in the pilot seat. All right, so I've made it all the way to Sandy Shores in my favorite vehicle in the game. And yeah, we're supposed to get into this prison bus right here, and I'm just chilling out in the back seat. It's just only one person in this bus, and that's me, because I'm the biggest criminal in all GTA. Uh, I might be lying. I might not be the biggest criminal, but I am the biggest loser right now, and I'm trying to get this cash to make sure I'm not a loser anymore. I'm trying to, you know, break some people out of prison. Then Agent 14 is gonna give me some money. D okay, why did you park literally right where you have to drive? Uh, yeah, he just realized it. Yeah, yeah oh, oh, there goes the banshee. Yeah, oh my gosh. Oh, you moron. Okay. It's not always smooth putting the lowest level as the prison officer, but I have the ability to actually like carry him. And he just he just ran into that freaking tree. It's a stationary tree or bush, and you're only going like what 20 miles per hour, maybe 30. I think this is going to be a beautiful relationship. It's literally gonna be me yelling at this person. <laughs> it's, it's all it's gonna be. I swear. Dude, my voice is ready to go. I will scream if I have to. You can go through. It says stop, but you don't have to. Okay, okay. This person's so nervous right now. I swear. I feel like I'm back in the office again. I swear. I've been out the office for a little bit, but I'm back in the office getting ready to do a prison break heist. All right, come on, guy. So first job, you have to park. And once you park, I'll take care of the killing. Hopefully. Probably. It's probably going to be that way. Oh, yeah. He also gets better weapons than I do. I think I just get a pistol. That's all I get. All right, but here we go. Yeah, right now I'm an inmate. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. He's got a beautiful, like, carbine in his hand. All I have is a pistol. That's okay. I'll take care of the work. Don't worry about it. Bop and bop. There we go. Nice. Let's go. I have time to carry. I'm going to need to go to a chiropractor after this, but it's okay. Okay. What happened? What happened? What happened? The demolition team failed. Oh my gosh. See, that's the issue. I put the highest level person as a pilot flying the vellum, and then I put the lowest level person with me as the prison officer. So it kind of leaves this in between position as the demolition. And unfortunately, we have a, another low level. That's kind of like the middle person. So that person gets to be demolition. And well, they didn't even start their job pretty much. That's pretty much what that message is saying. Like, to be honest, a good pilot that knows what they're doing does not need a demolition at all. The demolition can just screw around if they really want to, but they have to do certain stuff so that message doesn't pop up. And that person clearly didn't do that. I used to do the prison break heist where I would park a Karuma right in here, then right as the shooting start, I would walk out, then I would drive the Karuma inside. I don't know if that still works or not, and obviously we're not doing that. It's kind of interesting, though. Alright, so we need to complete this heist, right? Now, I think I have a little bit of an idea how we're going to complete this heist, and that is going to be by you subscribing at home. If you subscribe at home, you will definitely help out that demolition, and actually, that demolition will figure out how to do their job. But seriously, if you would subscribe, that I would really appreciate it. Like, I'm going to ask these guys, are you subscribed? No? Okay. That's what happens when you're not subscribed, okay? So, yeah, you need to subscribe immediately if you're not. What? 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 The vellum was destroyed. Oh, my. Okay. Okay. So, now the high level doesn't know what they're doing. All right. So, if you don't know what the pilot does, you're flying around in the vellum, and there will be a jet that's flying after you. As a pilot, all you have to do is maneuver yourself behind that jet, and you literally just follow that jet. And that jet can't do anything to you. That is all you have to do as a pilot. That's the reason I was saying if you're a demolition, you really don't 
have to do much. But apparently, the highest level in this heist does not know that. When I did this heist in Season 1, we actually, I think, completed it first try. It was very, very smooth. Honestly, pretty enjoyable. I haven't even really done anything in this heist so far. Like, we've failed now three times. None of them have been for any reasons within the prison. And I haven't even, like, seen Reshkovsky or even, like, that courtyard where, like, Reshkovsky is, like, just chilling out. I haven't even been there yet. And we failed three times. All right, I'm back as a prisoner, you know, just handcuffed and whatever. Uh-huh. I'm gonna go over here, say hello to my fellow police officers, and wha-bam, wha-bam, and then my teammate got that kill. Nice. And then we just keep going, but after this point, we have not done anything. Yeah, as a prisoner, all we get equipped is an AP pistol, which is actually not bad at all. I don't mind the pistol. I mean, there's obviously better guns, but the AP pistol is not bad. But, like, once you kill other, like, guards and whatever, like, it's pretty important for me to, like, collect those weapons. All right, it's gonna be important for for us to eat snacks, or at least me. I mean, he probably should do. Okay, I think we cleared out enough of a path for me to go down and collect Rishkovsky. So let me go do that. Hey, Rishkovsky! Rishkovsky! Oh, there you are. There you are. Just, just sitting there. You could have, like, punched one of the guards or whatever, but no, nah, it's fine. Just take this pistol and just shoot. All right, so now we have to kill even more guards. So, yeah, this will be fun. Oh, my God. I'm running out of ammo. This is bad. I need to get ammo now. I need to, like, hit my shots, too. I'm not, like, hitting my shots as well as I want to be. See, like, once a guard is down, I need to, like, collect his gun and then, like, regroup and then shoot people with his gun. I need more ammo now. I need more ammo. I am a low level. Oh, my God, I'm reloading, too. Oh, bad, bad, bad. Eat snacks and then regroup. Okay, my teammate is actually surviving. My teammate has, like, all of his weapons. So, I mean, I guess it kind of makes sense, but it's good. I'm not even going to take the body armor. I Hopefully, my teammate will actually take it. I don't know if my teammate can do what he can without it. Get the body armor. Get the body armor. Get the body armor. Where are you going? Okay. Nope. Nope. You lost. Okay. That wasn't our fault. The target arrived. What? Target arrived. What is target arrived? What? I've never failed this heist with the message of target arrived. What happened? I don't even know what happened. If someone could enlighten me on that, I would really appreciate it. I have no idea what target arrived means. Like the target is Reshkovsky, ideally, but that just doesn't make sense. It's just right there with us. I, I don't know. I'm lost. But we had to do this again. Uh, another day, another time in prison, I guess. I don't know. I, I'm running out of things to say here. Hello, Bobby. Gerald, nice to see you again. Hi, psych! It's not nice to see you. Ha <laughs> ha! Bum. Ow, 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 ow. I'm getting lit up. Why? Why do y'all do that? It's so annoying. It bugs me when you do that. I wish you would stop. I wish you would stop. Okay. I don't know what the heck happened there. I got so bum barred it so quickly. It wasn't like that last time. Well, that's great. Thanks. I like dying. Oh, and someone left. It was a demolition. Well, thank you. All right, let's try this again. I have a new crew and, well, I'm gonna be honest, this crew kind of sucks, too. But one guy has a Turismo, so I guess that's something. Yeah, the pilot in our highest level is a level 42. That is not great. The prison officer is a level 23 and then the demolition is a level 32. I hope everyone just puts on their thinking cap and everyone can use your brains and work through this effectively efficiently and that goes for me too because i died once with that last group if we all just put it together this could be a beautiful thing this really could be a beautiful thing if we all just put it together but we have to put it together and i have to put it together with a bunch of low levels you know what i don't want to just complete the heist what about an elite challenge for the heist okay well i can't get an elite challenge if i just run straight into a car like that what, what, why not an elite challenge why not why not? All right, so I looked up while I was driving, which that was kind of an interesting experience. But while I was driving, I looked up what the elite challenge is for the prison break ice. I have to reach the extraction point in less than four minutes and 40 seconds. I just hit a guardrail straight up because I'm reading. Don't read and drive. And then Professor Maxim Reshkovsky takes no more than 1% damage. That's not on me. That's on him. And no player dies, and then can't quick restart either. So, wait, what happened? I don't even know what happened. Was it the demolition that failed? I don't know. Someone failed. I wasn't really paying attention, but someone failed. I can't get the elite challenge out. I'm pissed because I want to get the elite challenge. But no, someone didn't put on their thinking cap. I said in the beginning, let's put on our thinking caps. But no, someone forgot to put on their thinking cap. I put mine on. I'm literally wearing a cap right now. All right, we finally made it to the prison. First time with this guy as a prison officer. He should be good because, well, I'm going to carry him as long as i have my thinking cap on and i'm gonna go over here i'm gonna kill them and 
Oh my god, did we actually already kill all the guards? I feel like it didn't even do anything. And that's a good sign, because that means my teammate actually carried. I don't mind if my teammate carries. All right, Reshkovsky, hello. Hello once again. It's good to see you again. Um, Yeah, I'm going to give you the same gun, you know. Actually, how about you kill everyone, Reshkovsky? You can break yourself out of prison now. You have a gun in your hand. You, you got this. You got this, my guy. All right, I need more ammo badly. Okay, you haven't taken out this guy? Oh, okay. Oh, my stamina increase. That's nice. Oh, yeah, when I created my character by the way i literally made it so like my stamina was really really good and that's for one reason and that's one reason only and we'll, we'll get to that at some point but i purposely put my character to have high stamina all right so we made it to this point this is the furthest we've gotten so far my shooting's now a 20 out of 100 wow yeah see look we're just getting better and better okay i'm running out of ammo though oh wait no i have plenty of ammo i'm complaining for no reason i right, push up push up push up what what why did we just throw an elbow for no reason oh because i'm out of ammo oh, i'm out of ammo oh god um teammate help Oh, I should collect ammo. I'm being stupid, actually. Low key. Yeah, there's so many dead people. I'm not collecting their ammo. I'm just focused on killing. I think we got G's cash earlier this episode because my snacks are maxed out. Or at least they were. Oh, oh, shoot. There's one more wave of news. Never mind. I thought we were done. Oh, you want to get up, huh? Oh, I was going <laughs> to kick him to death, but that's okay. Reshkovsky, teammate, can you get Reshkovsky? Oh. Never mind. Okay, yeah, let's get out of here. Dude, look how many bullet holes are in my back. I've literally been shot in the back. The demolition's buzzard is smoking. That's not great, but as long as we can just get out of here, like, entirely, that'd be nice. I don't know where my vellum is. The vellum is nowhere to be seen. The vellum looks like they're very far away, but that's okay. That's okay. I'll stall, I guess. I think the demolition's technically supposed to help out the pilot, but I feel like the demolition is now more just trying to help us out. Okay, that was a little aggressive demolition. Dude, where is our pilot? Where is our pilot? Holy pilot! He went to La Santa. I have to really stall. Okay. Which, I mean, I can. I can do that. No problem. But, oh, my pilot. I can freaking just drive away from the cops. I assume I'm not allowed to do that. If I could, I would do it right now. But I can't. We have to get in the vellum. I don't know where my teammate went. Okay, my teammate is at the wind farm. Okay. The thing about this vehicle I'm in right now is that this vehicle is armored. So, yeah, I can be stupid right now and get away with it. So, I am. I'm literally just driving around circles okay this demolition needs to take out like all these cops in here okay there's the vellum there is the vellum there's a ton of cops though oh yeah it'd be really nice too if we can complete this now because if we can't complete it now we have to kill all those police officers again and i don't personally want to do that you might want to see that again i don't want to do it to be honest okay here's the vellum here is the vellum break break oh my god i touched the wing i touched the back wing it's okay just get in get in all right, I'm safe. I'm safe. Get in, guy, and then Reshkovsky, get in. Get in. Reshkovsky. 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 Use your head. You're born with it. Your head's not meant for decoration. There you go. God dang it, you stupid moron, Reshkovsky. Freaking just stood at the steps and just went, oh, okay. Whatever, just get out of here. Just please get out of here. Oh my god, we lost the cops. Okay, nice. I was not paying attention. And this is where we say goodbye to Reshkovsky. Reshkovsky, you're a little bit of a moron you showed us, but that is okay. We are jumping out of here, and hopefully you can fly to safety. We're getting paid at this point. All right, so now all we have to do is just land at the beach. That's all we have to do. Now, I can land at the beach because, well, I know how to parachute. I pulled my parachute a little early just to be a little conservative. Hopefully my teammates can do the same. There there we go. I am here. I am getting in the passenger seat because, well, I deserve it. Okay, my last teammate landed all the way on the mountain right there, so I, as long as you don't die, I don't care. I've had it in the past. Not recently, though, but in the past I've had it where people would parachute into the blade of the helicopter, and then they would die. It's not a fun way to lose a heist, but please get out of here. Do not shoot stuff. Just get out of here. Please return to the city. I don't want to do this over. I know they're kind of, like, celebrating. That's like their fireworks. Please do not shoot now. Okay, we were getting really close to the mountain and i do not want the helicopter to explode get me to the city oh my god you're about to run into a power line okay okay you didn't run to the power line okay we're good we're good yep we have safely returned to the city without any issue i had no doubt in my mind there we go heist pass all right so i got 55 percent of the cut and that's four hundred and eighty-one thousand dollars. we did not do the elite challenge because well some people screwed up and i got a first time bonus of a hundred thousand so in total i got five hundred and eighty-one thousand dollars so after completing the prison break heist i now have one million six hundred and eighty six thousand dollars so we just eclipsed halfway there to buying the land act reservoir facility a few episodes ago i started as a level one on a new account in gta online 
And the only way I've made money on this account is by spinning a wheel determining what I should do to make money. So today in this video, I will spin the wheel again to see what I will do in this episode to make money. So welcome to the fourth episode of season two of Loser to Luxury. And without further ado, let's jump into it. So currently right now, I am on the wheel of quick cash. But before we spin the wheel of quick cash, I just want to remind you, we are trying to buy the Land Act Reservoir Facility next. Coming in at $2,950,000. And right now, I have $1,686,000. So we just need to make a little bit over a million dollars left before we can actually get this Land Act Reservoir facility. But right now, I am on the wheel of quick cash. So how are we going to start out this episode in order to make money? So the wheel is spinning. And it looks like we are going to have to go to our bunker and sell off excess weapon parts. All right, so right now I'm on the wheel of making money and it is the fourth episode and this is the first episode where we do not have any treasure hunts left on this wheel because the first three episodes we've landed on one of the three treasure hunts. But what are we going to have to do in this episode in order to make money? And it looks like we are going to have to go to our bunker right after we sell off the excess weapon parts and sell off our bunker. But we have to have a minimum of 200 thousand dollars in product which honestly i don't even know what i have i haven't been over there in a little bit but what else in this episode am i gonna have to do in order to make money so the wheel is spinning and it looks like we are going to have to play the boosted money job so since we are doing the boosted money job for this week which i'll get into a little later what that exactly is we have to spend the wheel of one to two hours to see how long we can actually do this boost boosted money job but let's just see how long we have to do this boosted money job and it looks like we are going to get the maximum amount of time which is going to be two hours so we're going to do the boosted money job for two hours straight and then we have to go to our bunker and sell off at least two hundred thousand dollars worth of product but first i have to go to my bunker and sell off the excess weapon parts Okay, so I've made it over to my bunker, and behind me is the dune loader. And there's some crates in the back of this dune loader, and that's going to be our excess weapon parts. So we can get into this dune loader. And then from here, we can deliver this dune loader to an ammunition to sell off these excess weapon parts. And pretty much, this is a two mile drive. Not really that difficult at all, to be honest. I'm in a private session, so no griefer should come after me. I mean, there's some NPCs that come after me, but the NPCs don't really do too much there's like a gnat flying around your ear like you know they're there they're annoying but they're not gonna do any harm pretty much these enemies they even spawn in i'm already like halfway done with this and none of them have spawned in yet all right so here's the ammunition i have to deliver these excess weapon parts to and there we go contract complete i got a hundred and fifty thousand dollars i'm a little confused i guess the first time that we do this we get like triple the money if i remember correctly i guess that's why but i think every time from here on out it only gives me fifty thousand dollars but i $150,000 to start out the episode for like pretty much three minutes of work. Not bad at all. So now I have $1,836,000. So now it is time for me to get into the boosted money job for this week. And this week, Rockstar introduced a new adversary mode into the game. And this adversary mode is called Assault on Kyle Perico. And to be honest, I really have no idea how this adversary mode works. I haven't really watched anyone play this, but it is double money and RP. So this counts as our boosted money job for this week. And I'm kind of interested to see how this works. So yeah, that is our boosted money job. And yeah, let's just get into it. And hopefully we can be a little bit successful at this so I can make some pretty serious cash. There's a lot of people in this. Oh my gosh. I saw there could be a maximum of 30 people for this, but geez. Jeez, it's a ton of people. Hopefully we make some bank off this. All right, anyways, I'm going to start my timer as soon as we load into the actual job. All right, here we go. Clock is just starting now. And this is my first time playing this adversary mode. And we're about to fly over Kyle Perico. Go to a radar. Okay, well, there's two radars. What is this? A secret. What is a secret? Why are we keeping secrets from each other? What? Wait, can I just jump out? Okay, I'm jumping out now. I have to go to a radar. I'm so lost. I have not watched a video on how to do this. Oh my God, there's a lot of guards. Hold on. Let me, I need to land. What a smooth landing. Okay, I'm here. 
I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, this was just incredibly confusing. I was supposed to go to a radar. I was close to a radar and I got shot down from the opposing team. Oh, oh, I'm back. Okay, well, here I am. So I have to kill like island guards, I guess. I mean, I, that's not terrible. Like, this doesn't even really feel like an adversary mode right now. I don't really understand the competition aspect to this. Hack radar B. Okay, fine. I can hack. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the heck? Huh? Prevent radar B from being disarmed. What? I have no idea what's happening. Bonus objective complete. One hack radar. I am so confused. What? I, what is going on? Like, are we doing good? Are we doing bad? Like, I have no earthly idea what's going on. This is so interesting. What are we doing, teammate? Yeah, I took care of it, teammate. I don't know. I have no idea. I don't know. I don't know anymore. Oh, wait, there's an enemy. There's an enemy nearby. Like, why do I care about an enemy? I don't know the competition aspect to this. I'm so lost. I have no idea what's going on. Radar B, all I know, is about to be disarmed. The strike on Radar B is imminent. Evacuate the area. Aye, aye, Captain. Strike it. Radar B has been destroyed. Okay. That was all me. I did that. Like, I assume that was a good thing I just did, but like, was it worth it? I have no idea. I can hack radar a I'd, sure i'll just be the main hacker because i have no idea what else to do oh wait there's money in here can i get the money this is grass i'll get the grass right here i don't know what's the point of this I i'm so lost this is so confusing to me there's a lot going on it's not like this team does that you know die okay jeez i'm killing everyone out here i need to hack radar a all right here we go i'm hacking it so this radar is about to be air striked soon um still i have no idea why that's important or anything wait there's a big secret on the map but should i just go to the secret like i like secrets i'll be secretive i guess you know I'll, i'm just gonna run to the secret i don't understand why i have like a team near me or anything like that hey oh Oh my god, it's that guy. Freaking Jordan. Jordan's killed me twice. They need to protect my hack, I swear. They need to protect my hack. All right, here I go again. I still have no idea what I'm doing. I'm probably getting so annoying saying I have no idea what I'm doing, but it's so true. Like, what is this? Oh, I swapped out a loadout? No, I don't want this loadout. I want to go back to my loadout. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I like this loadout. I like my AR loadout. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, well, my hack is about to be bombed pretty soon. There we go. Radar A has been destroyed. We have more time. Assault the North Docks. Okay, I can do that, I guess. I can also run into a crate that's stationary. I'm good for a lot of things, you know. Go to a radar. Okay, I'll just keep hacking radars, I guess. You know, no idea what else I'm supposed to do. Oh my god, there's opposing team nearby. The opposing team is nearby. I take it we're losing. I'm not 100% sure on that, though. Because I there's no scoring on here that I can keep up with, at least. I have no idea how I want to attack this other team. I'm a one-man band right now, too, by the way. Because I have no idea what I'm doing. I honestly have no idea how I can, like, contribute to my team. Oh, oh, the opposing team is going to the secret. I want to get the secret. I have no idea what the secret is, but I want the secret. My secret. Okay, I got a kill, I think. Couldn't really tell. What is the secret? There's so much hype around this big secret. I need to know. I need to know the secret. What? A secret loadout of a marksman pistol, a dagger, and a Molotov? What was the point of that? I have a musket? Oh, I have a bonus objective now. I need to take out one player with the secret loadout. I can do that, I guess. Oh, one of my teammates is hacking B right now. That's good. Dude, everyone's out here with ARs. I'm just here with a musket okay my other teammates also taking out pack a so that's good don't kill me Never mind, I died. Can I get... I want that secret loadout again, I guess. I don't know. I'm just so lost. I guess what this is, is that there's two opposing parties trying to invade Cayo Perico at the same time. And whoever does, I guess, the most destruction, I guess, at Cayo Perico gets the most money or wins or something. I don't know. All right, I need to get musket kills. Let me get a musket kill, please. Where's the opposing team? All right, Radar B has been destroyed. Nice. Oh, I got a kill. I got a kill. And I got seven headshots too. Nice. Okay, so we get money for like these things that we do. Like, what is the overall objective? I'm getting like bonus objectives. I have no idea what the overall objective is. Okay, radar A has been destroyed. And every time a radar gets destroyed, we get more time. So now we pretty much have like a ton of time. And my teammate just ran me over. <laughs> I don't... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Is our overall objective just to take over Kyo Perico? Is that like our main objective? I have no earthly idea. Okay, there's a lot of combat going on right there. So I'm I'm just gonna go around the combat. I'm just gonna start taking out the radars. See, one of my teammates is already over there, and I'm about to hit over there too. Let's assault the north docks. Is there another secret over here? Should I get a secret? I don't know. I don't know what I should do and what not to do. All right, my teammate's getting hack A. There's some loot in here, so I am going to get this loot right here, all this grass. Right, there you go, collected the grass. I don't know if that's like 100% necessary, but it's fine. Oh my God, oh, there's like two people from the opposing team right here. 
Oh god, I missed. I missed. I missed. This is bad. Oh, you're an idiot. <laughs> he just stood there. All right, I'm gonna get the loot over here. I'm feeling in a little bit of a loot mode, I guess. I have no earthly idea. Oh, this time it's cola. Okay, okay. Nice. Oh, man, I just killed him with a musket. I am getting money for this. It's not crazy money, but I'm getting money. Okay, no one has hacked Radar A for some reason. Okay, wait, never mind. I think one of my teammates is about to. All right, but there's like a little secret over here again. I don't know why we're keeping secrets from me, but that's fine. We're going to go to this secret. What is the secret? Or is my thing just a secret? Ah, okay. Well, I died. Okay, so this seems a little bit more like war. This is like actual war, it seems like. We're essentially just like invading a country. It's kind of how it seems but still i have no idea if that's like actually what this is supposed to be there's so many objectives i can get to that's another thing i have so many like secondary objectives i've lost count on like which ones i can do and cannot do oh geez what are you doing just ran up at me in the middle of the woods and just died this opposing team seems pretty stupid as I said, they're stupid. I die in the middle of a road. All right, so, so far for my secret objectives, I've made $35,000, but I have no idea, like, all of my secret objectives I could be getting. I think one of them was, like, take out, like, 40 guards or something like that. That's, like, the only one I remember off the top of my head. And I just wrecked again. Kyle Perigo's an annoying place to drive. Okay, okay. Looks like one person from the other team is already at Kyle Perico. All right, let's just go through the main entrance, eh? Okay, I guess not. The main gate must be open using a button inside the compound. I have to get to the basement? Hello? Oh. Oh, I can get in through here. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Still a little lost what I'm doing, but I we have to go to a basement. Oh my god, there's the opposing team's here. Okay, I got one. Man, I'm making a run for the basement. I don't care. Alright, I've made it to the basement. Now what? Hack the computer in the basement. Ah! Oh, okay. Well, you're an idiot, I guess. You got meleeed by me. Dude, I'm so scared for some weird reason. We need a hack. We need to hack this computer. Upload the data. Okay, what data? Hello? Hello? Defend the computer. Oh, oh, we're uploading now. Oh, I have to defend with the freaking musket. Got it. And we're just uploading a virus? I don't know. I'm so lost. I have two hours. Of How long has it been? It's been almost 20 minutes so far. All right, my team's here. You know, I'm carrying my team. I might actually be, but I might actually not be. I have no idea. I think I am. I think I'm doing a really good job, but I still don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I was about to take a sip of something to drink and my TV just mowed that guy down. Okay, so where else could we go after this? I feel like this is kind of like the main event of this entire thing, right? Going to the island. I don't have my controller in my hands right now and people are still dying out here. We good? We win? We have to win, right? Yeah, there we go. We won. Team Blue all the way. We got $78,000 for that. That's actually really good. And I think that's not including to that $35,000 that I got for doing like some of the side objectives. Nice. Let's see, I got 24 kills. Okay, okay. Not bad. Oh my god, the losing team got 7,000. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, oh, that 35,000 was included. Oh, man, this is kind of meh, honestly. If that's including that 70,000. So what was the point of getting all the loot? I have so many questions. We got so much loot, right? I didn't see that directly getting deposited into, like, my bank. I don't know, man. It's just so confusing. We still have, like, what? An hour and 40 of this to go. What? I tried to join another one. It says I've been kicked from the job. Am I too good? What? What game? I've never been kicked from a job at that point, but whatever. They're afraid of my success, I guess. I don't know. I don't know, man. All right, here we go. We are back doing Assault on Kyle Perico. It took me 10 minutes or a little over 10 minutes, actually, to join another one, which is a little bit frustrating, but that's okay. We're starting on bikes this time. That's interesting. Um, Yeah, let's go. Defend the radar. Oh, we're supposed to defend the radars as this team? Oh, I can see the actual bonus objective. Okay, okay. This makes more sense now. I get it. I am getting it now. Hold on, but there's a secret, though. I, I still want to get the secret. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I know my teammates are, like, dying and everything. I want to go get the secret. I don't like there being secrets out here. Originally, before, I thought this was two teams trying to rush Kaio Perico at the same time and try to invade Kaio Perico. Instead, one team is actually, like, a part of the Kaio Perico team, and then there's, like, another team that's supposed to invade Kaio Perico. Use the secret loadout to take out one player. Get 10 headshots. Disarm six radars. Well, we can't do that necessarily because whatever. All right, I am defending this radar with my life. Radar B is being hacked. Oh, great. That's fine. That's fine. Let them have B. A is not getting hacked. Not under my watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just take out Radar B. Whatever. I have your cupcake radar. That's fine. This radar right here. Radar A? Uh-uh. You can't have. Oh, God. There's a lot of people coming. Okay, that's one player down. Nice. God dang it. I don't like how long this takes to reload. 
Okay, there's another player. I'm clutch. There's another player in here somewhere. Ah, 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 roll. Okay, nice. Good roll, good roll. Can I eat snacks? No. What? What? How did that miss? So one of my teammates needs to just take him out. Because I took out two out of the three that were rushing right there. Okay, we spawned so far away, too. That's another issue with being on this team. Okay, so we spawned so far away. If you're on the other team, you spawn a lot closer. So we have to, like, rush our way back in. Okay, Radar A is being hacked. I have to disarm that. I have to. I just have to. It's my job. Okay, you're dead. Nice, nice, nice. All right, I got to kill. Whatever. Um, I need to go save this Radar. I have to. Okay, there we go. That guy's dead. Oh my god. I don't like being on a roof. No, no, no. I'm so dead. I have this trash loadout. I need to get back to a normal loadout. I got the secret objective. Let me get back to an actual normal loadout. Yeah, Radar A is being hacked. Thank you. I need this loadout. I need the assault rifle loadout. Yeah, okay, yeah, nice. I have an assault rifle loadout now. Radar A is being hacked. I can't allow that to happen. I'm just sorry. Radar A will not go down under my watch. I have no more musket in my hand. I was messing around a little bit with a musket, but now I have to go save Kyle Perico. All right, have no fear. Dr. Crush is here. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Just forget about it. Just forget about it. Just forget about it, man. We'll just go to the next compound. <laughs> yeah, literally at this point, it's probably just best for us to just set up camp at the next compound. You know what? That's actually what I'm going to do. I'm literally just going to set up camp. That radar is about to die. I'm going to go up here, and then I'm just going to camp out right here. I think this is a good spot, because they're going to be coming from that side of the road. They have to drive this way. Unless they spawn in from the jet, then I'm not ready for that. But that's fine. Whatever. I'll take out these clowns. Don't worry about it. See, look. Here comes a clown right here. Ready? Bop, 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 bop. Dead. Sit down. Next. Oh, jeez. I didn't think about that. There is a fork in the road right there. Oops. <laughs> this tower is really close to B, so that's good. Dead. Bye. See, this is a good spot for getting kills. Okay, they all keep going that way. It's starting to piss me off. They keep going on the other side of the road. He died. Thank you. All right, yeah. Okay, I'm racking up a ton of kills. I need more headshots, though. We have tower A, tower B. It's not going down. Not under my watch. Okay, 10 headshots. We got 10 headshots, apparently. Oh, it's a team. Get, get 10 headshots. I can do that on my own. I firmly believe I can just do that on my own. Okay, so we got like 20. Ouch. I'm getting, like, I'm thinking about stuff. I'll die. Don't throw a grenade at me, loser. Okay, fine. Fine, fine, fine. Whatever. Whatever. It's fine. Oh, my God. I hate how we spawn so far away. We are so far away. It's not even funny. Radar A has been destroyed. Yeah, whatever. As long as B doesn't go down, I'm a happy guy. Oh, radar B is being hacked as I just said that. That's lovely. It's okay. It's okay. It's being hacked because I'm not there. Once I get there, if I ever get there because I can't drive, then target B won't go down. Like, yeah, they're calling it airstrike. Whatever. It, it, it's just for show. It really is just for show. Okay, you die. You die. Right, next ah, ah, ah. can i get a little bit of like support i mean that'd be great that'd be really great i took out an entire surgeon and there's just another guy right there it's gonna be tough to stop radar b from going down but i'm gonna try my best what if i go around everyone right 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 that might be the move that might be the move just go around everyone i'm actually getting kind of close to this can i actually take this down now uh oh wait i think it's actually yeah, never mind. The time just expired as I got there. I also feel like a lot of my teammates are, like, leaving, so that's not good. All right, I'm going to just start defending Tower A. I think that's a good strategy, because Tower A is a lot closer to where they're driving or from where they're driving. We can defend this and slow them down here. I think this could be nice. I'm the only teammate that's near here. I literally am. Wait, I need to look at this. I only have four other teammates, and they have, like, seven or something like that. So, yeah, I have to, like, carry. Oh, they're throwing grenades. Yeah, I can't just kill everyone i can't i can't i would like to i really would i really would i could just do everything at that point but i can't i i, I can't i know my limitations and me like putting my entire team on my back against what seven other players that's a tall order okay surprisingly though no one has taken down tower a which is nice so that gives me time to get back there and defend die 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 oh my god they just got it off okay i have to disarm it now Okay, dead. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna try to disarm it now. I have no idea where anyone else is. Aha! I defended it! I'm good! I'm so good. I defended it. I disarmed one radar. I'm literally carrying my team at this point. No! It's that same guy! I swear! That one guy! That one guy is giving me so many problems. I swear! That guy is so annoying, and now it's being hacked. I- I don't feel like none of the other people on that team are actually, like, you know, doing a whole lot. Against me, at least. It, it's literally just that one guy. I, I'm coming to realize that a lot of people on this side, they start out on this team, then they realize that this is gonna be a tough ass to, like, win. So then what they do is just leave. And then I died. Nice. 
Alright, so yeah, Radar A is about to go down, so we have to protect <laughs> Radar B now. It's not looking too great for us to defend Radar B, or the entire island of Cayo Perico. You know, El Rubio... <sighs> I keep wrecking. I keep wrecking. It is so frustrating. I swear. I hate Gallo Perico and all the things I can just wreck on in here when I just drive off road. Huh? Huh? Excuse me. I need a written apology for that one. Are you kidding me? I had no health either. Surprisingly, they haven't hacked B yet. Somehow they haven't hacked B. Oh my god, it's about to happen too. I just saw someone on the map who's like right there. Luckily, we have one teammate still defending down there, but I don't know, man. Yeah, Radar B is being hacked. Where's my teammate? Did he die? Hello, I'm here. Yeah, that was bad. That was bad. We're just in the wide open. Yeah, and it's that same guy too. It's that same guy. I swear, there's one intelligent person on that team, or at least someone with like awareness, and then everyone else is kind of just stupid. It's just a lot of stupid people against pretty much one smart guy and some more stupid people aka my teammates i'm gonna try to rush one more time if we don't get the I, okay, oh my god, I swear, El Rubio needs to, like, invest in, like, clearing of all this land, like, do we really need all these trees? No. Oh, yeah, nice job, buddy. E excuse me, how are you, I was about to say, how are you not dead? Okay, maybe there's still a shot for us to defend Tower B. I have to go on foot, though. Oh my god, I didn't realize, it's the same guy, it's the same guy. All right, we're gonna cut our losses here, we're gonna defend compound, where is the compound? Compound's over here, I know you have to get in through the basement, so I am going to camp the basement, and this guy at least knows that, maybe I have another smart teammate, you know, I'm thinking about it, I probably should get like a shotgun loadout at this point, but I don't know if I have time to even get a shotgun loadout, if there's even a shotgun loadout, all right, I'm gonna camp somewhere in here, hopefully this is smart, I'm thinking this is smart, I like, I like camp right here, this comma sage camps like on the other side, that'd be great, we should have to defend the basement computer honestly me and this other guy have this very locked down i think we actually have a shot to defend this basement computer yeah when i came down here last round <laughs> there was just no one down here it was like a walk in the park for me to get down here dude there's a lot going on outside i don't know what the heck is going on there's so many explosions and whatnot no one has come down to the basement though okay i actually think my team above me is defending extremely well for some reason we have no more island loot i know they've been wasting time there no one has even attempted to come down here. I'm just chilling right now. Oh, wait, wait. Do we have our first guy coming down here? We might. Yeah, yeah, okay. We have our first guy coming down here. I'm throwing a grenade. Got no one. Oh, you come on. Please die. How are you... You gotta be kidding. How in the world? It's the same guy. How in the world? First of all, the grenade missed. Second of all, somehow all of my bullets missed. Ready, way to go, auto lock. That's just stupid. We had that locked down, and unfortunately, that stupid crap just prevented me from defending. Now I gotta go in and try to, like, save the day, which is not going to be easy. I'm going for it down here. Okay, there's one guy. <sighs> I got the guy that kept killing me, but geez. Oh, 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 one of my teammates stopped the upload. That's huge. Wait, how much time do we have left on the clock? Why is there no clock? Okay, there we go. We got the kill. Okay, we have to stop the upload now. Okay, we stopped the upload. Wait, did we win? Did we win? Oh my god, I clutch. I clutch. I clutch. It's Dr. Clutch now. It's not Dr. Crush. It's Dr. Clutch, baby. Look at that. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, look at me. Yeah, pew, pew, pew. Yeah, it's just the four of us. Look how many people left on my team. Five. I got 21 kills. Oh my god. Send me to a chiropractor. Jeez. My gosh, my back is so sore. Oh my gosh. I swear, El Rubio needs to pay for my chiropractor appointment. Oh my lord. He also needs to pay to clear off his island. There's way too many things I just wreck into. I swear. Too much natural things I just run into. I don't know if a lot of people even like this adversary mode. I actually enjoy this. I really do enjoy this. That was incredibly intense that last round. If you get rounds like that, I think it's pretty fun. The first round I was so confused, but now that I'm starting to understand it, it makes sense. And it's actually pretty fun. Alright, here we go. We're doing another round of assault on Cayo Perico. It took me over an another 10 minutes once again to try to find another session because the person leading this session decided he wanted to get as close to a full lobby as possible which is nice but it takes a long long time but i think we have like 26 players in here so pretty big lobby pretty big lobby okay time to defend dr clutch is gonna come in here and you know save the day again that's just what i do it literally is just what i do oh my god i need to take out one parachuting player and there's a parachuting guy right over here can you please land this way please come back this way beautiful thank you thank you dead man are you kidding me? He didn't die in air. He still hasn't. Okay, he's finally dead. Okay, so there goes my op. 
I didn't see that guy. I don't know why he wasn't on the radar, even though he was right next to me, but whatever. Okay, so I have to disarm one radar. I have to take out one parachuting player, which I choke that. Take out 15 players. Then as a team, we have to get 15 headshots. And we have to disarm six radars. Um, sure. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. There's an RPG right here. Yeah, I, I've seen these around, but I haven't gotten one yet. I have an RPG now. That's good. That would have been good in like the close range situations last round, but you know, it's fine. Whatever. As long as I get it now. All right, I think B is being covered extremely well right now so i'm gonna just defend a yeah i think as a defender it's gonna be a lot easier with a lot of people i mean honestly i would really like to take out 15 players but i don't think i'll have time to i feel like we're gonna win this pretty quickly i don't know why Wait, no i do know why there's just a ton of people okay i'm getting bored defending a i am going to defend b now for fun oh yeah radar b is being hacked right now but i, I saw someone that was going this way bye there we go oh right, yeah i have to go save b i guess all right have no fear dr crush is here yeah 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 you get the drill ouch stop you need to stop freaking plane was in my way it looked like i was hitting him but it wasn't okay and now okay 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 we're starting to lose our ground a little bit now terminal a is being hacked terminal a, what it's not a terminal dumbass it's a freaking radar radar a is being hacked and radar b is about to die really soon ow 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 <sighs> I think I know where everyone is on the map, and I just don't. All right, I got a musket again. Okay, well, I got that kill. That was bad. Okay, that's all I needed, though, right? Wait, no, what? I thought I was supposed to get... Where's my secret objective? Whatever, man. I'll just do my thing, I guess. <laughs> I'll do my thing with a freaking musket. Ow! I'm not doing good this round, but we're gonna win this so easily. Yeah, literally, the time is about to expire. They were hacking Radar A at one point, but they never finished it. So, nothing's really started on A, and yeah, there's like 15 seconds left. So, what a cakewalk, I guess. Wait, what? Oh, never mind. They said in the bottom left-hand corner, five minutes extra time i was confused why but there we go fifty eight thousand dollars for that this was by far the quickest round it's been so far so fifty eight thousand dollars for right around 10 minutes it's not bad look at all of us right here this was a ton of people it's gonna be tough as an attacker with this many people oh my god one guy had 18 kills everyone else had single digit yeah <laughs> all right another round of assault on kyle perico once again el rubio has hired me as a defender and of course he should hire me as a defender i'm 2-0 as a defender I'm undefeated in all these adversary modes, too. I just realized that. Right, what are my objectives this time around? Take out 15 players. Take out three parachuting players. That one's tough. I don't like that one. Get 15 headshots as a team and then take out 15 players as a team. What? Those last two just kind of coincide with one another. So that's going to be easy. Oh, my God. Radar A is already being hacked. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? What is going on here? No, 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 no. Dr. Crush has to save the day. It was hacked. Are you kidding me? Who fell asleep over here? <sighs> okay, I killed him. I killed him. Okay, all right, teammates, go fix that. I killed two guys. Okay, I see someone now is about to defend it. Nice. Okay, good. Because I don't know who fell asleep over here. I swear. I was going towards B because last round everyone went to B first, but no. Nah. Oh my god, now. Oh my god, radar B is being hacked now. We're going to have a little bit more competition this round because last round was kind of a snooze fest, to be honest. All right, I'm going to drive past everything right in here. Nice. Oh, never mind. Nope, that was dumb. That was dumb. Okay, okay we got the bonus objective as a team for taking out 15 players. You need to get 10 more heads shots and i need to get some more kills somebody i gotta take out three parachuting players that is so stupid in my opinion like there's a lot of people on the ground to begin with i have to just pay attention to the sky oh my god i see someone in the sky now never mind oh he's gonna pay yeah see like he's too far away though or is he i don't know what he's doing hold on i'm gonna follow this guy wait 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 oh he already landed shoot i'm just gonna get a kill then huh die jeez i didn't know how you didn't die okay radar a is being hacked lovely you gotta love when radar b gets hacked ouch my teammate ran me over with someone right here I don't know how they didn't see that guy either. And this guy. What are y'all doing? Someone literally just walked right past. Time to save the day. I got run over. Thank you. Thank you. Literally just some guy just ran me over. It's got a smart bargain the insurgent there, but a little annoying on my end. Uh, yeah, I don't think we're defending that. So I'm going to chill out at the next dock, which is going to be the West Dock. All right, I'm going to camp out at Radar A. I think Radar A is probably the safest bet to camp out. No one jump ass. Oh, are you kidding me? Okay, this is a bad start. Okay, there we go. I got that guy. I got that guy. Okay. I got 15 headshots in the process, too. There's another guy somewhere in here. Oh, my God. There's another guy over here. Who? Thank you, Lane Peterson. Jeez. There was only one of me right there. None of my teammates were over trying to help me. I can defend for a decent while, but I can't defend everything. Okay, there's a lot of people over here, so I got to go and save the day. I have to. I just have to. Okay, there we go. Someone was hacking that, but not anymore. 
Who? Where was that? Oh, I guess it was someone in an insurgent. Whatever. Okay. Yeah, I prevented the hack once again because, you know, I just do things like that. El Rubio needs me. He's like, Dr. Crush, please, please defend my island. If you defend my island, I'll actually cut down all the vegetation here so you can just safely drive without wrecking. So it's kind of the deal we have going on. Can I do so mind i was about to say can i do something and then edward killed me or eward all right so this team is definitely a lot better than we're going up against there's no slouches anymore no i was trying to duck behind the bus and just no okay whatever that dock is just dead so we need to move to the next dock okay it's this dock we have to defend this dock this is our main dock that we're gonna have to defend all right there we go radar b has been destroyed now it is time to defend this dock so i am gonna go over here to radar a and hopefully i can clutch up i can go from dr crush to being dr clutch it's okay i don't mind doing that it's like my superpower i guess oh my god okay okay there's someone here okay i was not paying attention i was honestly trying to get a thumbnail and freaking <laughs> there's people here now okay let's be serious oh great now radar b is about to go down is anyone over there at radar b eh, there's a few not a lot though i literally have radar a on lock and no one's attempting from where i swear i swear man okay i feel like we actually kind of are doing a good job i'm just dying at random times and there we go now i'm not there and radar a is about to be hacked lovely all right all right i have to save the day once again you know the drill there we go. That guy's dead. That guy's dead. Oh, there's more people. Are you going to run me over, huh? Okay, you're just a sitting duck. You like being a sitting duck? I like you being a dead duck. There you go. I just have to disarm this radar. You know, save the day as per usual. Oh my god, there's a guy. Just realized there was a guy right there, right as I get to that spot. I can't just exit that spot quickly. Be a little nice if I could actually see that guy on the map game. Why don't you just run over this guy? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that was great. That was so great. Probably not the most efficient way to kill someone, but you have to admit, you were entertained. Stop! Don't hack. I don't understand people and they're hacking. Just people hacking, I swear, man. I'm gonna chill out right here. We're definitely doing a lot better over here, which is nice. We should have to play the patient game. Let them come towards us. Oh my god, there's literally an insurgent over there on the other side of the mountain. Is that supposed to be like a decoy or something? Are you gonna try to jump it? Please do. Easy! Oh, let me no, 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 I need this kill dumb that was just dumb am i supposed to look at that and say that that was a smart intelligent move that he's gonna have a lot of potential if he keeps doing that move no that is me doing a disservice to him uh-uh no that was dumb oh my god a parachuting guy i got a parachuting guy that's one i need three I just saw a shadow of a parachute just me sitting here like oh okay all right finally the attacking team is having some issues on this radar for some reason i mean we have this one pretty clamped i'm just sitting here collecting rpgs too which is nice i have four rpg shots which is huge oh there's a guy over here got it let me just shoot an rpg right at him like right there <laughs> stay over there on that side of the water i'll just rpg you over here <laughs> That was so great. That was just so great. I don't know what everyone thinks about this adversary mode. I actually kind of like it. I mean, you might not get a ton of money out of this compared to some other ways to make money in this game, but I actually think it's pretty fun. But then again, I have won pretty much every round, and it's looking like I'm going to win this round unless something drastic happens. But yeah, I'm having a good time. All right, we have a minute and a half left to defend this radar. If they don't take out this radar in a minute and a half, we just win again. Oh, here comes a, oh, here comes a biker. Oh, please do. Yeah. How are you not dead? Hold on. All right, there you go. Go to sleep. All right, 30 seconds left. They're kind of making one last desperation push, but they're not really that close. Man, this was looking so bleak, and then for some reason, we just clamped down Radar B like that, and boom, time expires, and there we go. Winner. Of course, I have not seen the word loser on my screen yet. I just haven't. I don't know what a loser is. This is loser to luxury, but I, this should just be winner to even more winner. I don't know. How much time do I have left on the clock? I have 12 minutes. I probably have time to do one more. More. All right, we're jumping into one last assault on Kyle Perico, and since this is the last one, we have like just under 10 minutes to go. I am stopping the timer. This is going to be our last round no matter what, and this time I am going to be an attacker. Only my second time being an attacker, but I actually know what I'm doing now. What are my objectives? Take out five players, take out 20 island guards, take out 40 island guards as a team, they get five headshots as a team. Seems like the easiest objectives I've ever seen. Okay, maybe not the take out 40 guards, but still. All right, I am just going to land right here. Look at all the island guards right here, ready to go and ready to die. Oh yeah, this lobby is nowhere near as big as what it was last time. I think there's only nine of us total. I only have three other teammates. Oh shoot, I got a hack. This is a 
weird hack. I've never done this hack before, and I died. Okay, nice. I tried to get a sneaky one in there. Tried to get it quick, but nah. All right, where's this guy? There's like only one person like guarding over here. There you are. Hey, bud. Hey, bud. And there you go. Um, have a nice night. And I am going to continue that hack now. All right, there we go. It's being hacked now. Nice. I just gotta defend. Oh, please. Okay, you're dead. I'm about to die, though. No, I'm not. Okay, I, I saw you through the grenade. Ouch. Ouch. Okay, okay. I'm pretty sure that radar, though, is about to freaking blow up, so that's good. I don't think my teammates are doing anything else. Oh, no wonder. They're two level 22s. Okay. Even though I'm a technically a lower level, I'm a seasoned vet, and they call me Dr. Clutch. There we go. Radar B has been destroyed. That is all because of me. Only because of me. Where is everyone? I actually have no idea where anyone is. Like, my teammates are so far gone, it's not even funny. I don't even know where the enemies are like you should be able to see like some enemies on the map i see like no oh there's one hi and there's another one right there okay nice um that's two of what the four that are here or something i don't know all right i guess i'll start hacking time for me to carry oh there we go okay okay so that hack has just started nice all because of me oh i might as well collect this loot over here too yeah i'm literally doing everything for my team ah Okay, well, that didn't work. That didn't work. <laughs> I'm so confused what my teammates are doing. I literally have no idea. Oh my god, I just realized we might actually run out of time. I have to, like, be careful to do good things. I actually do not think my teammates are even trying to help me out right now. I think it's literally a one-man band. Okay, there goes one guy. Where's the other guy? He's, like, right here. Oh, they're all three of them are right here. Oh, I would like all three of them to die. He was in such a weird spot. I couldn't get a shot on him. He just shot everything in between. Even if my teammates just sat there and are like being decoys, that's better than doing nothing. Because right now they're doing absolutely nothing. Ouch! My gosh. Shot me in the back. It's literally a one-man band right now. Yeah, I doubt I'm going to get a lot of money off of this. Because I, I seriously doubt I'm winning this. Oh, yeah, we do not have too much time. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to have to change things up. Okay, the, one of my teammates is driving an insurgent now. That's nice. Okay, ready? Dead. Ready? Dead. Um, I think there's one more, I would assume. It's this guy still. I hate you. I hate, I hate that spot. I can't get a clean shot right there. It's just such a cop-out spot, I swear. Oh my god, we only have six seconds. Oh, my teammate. Okay, see, I can't literally be a one-man band. Yeah, jeez, okay. Well, ew, 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 ew. I hate those words, loser. I mean, I get this is like loser to luxury, but like, oh, oh. It kind of hurts when the game is actually telling you you're a loser. Oh, oh, don't. Don't know. You had a cop out spot, buddy. No, 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 no. Any other spot, he'd be mowed down. See, look at that. 23 kills. The other next person had three. My gosh. All right, so after doing assault on Kyle Perico for two hours, I made $296,000. So now I have a total of $2,133,000. But it is now time for me to go to my bunker and sell off everything at my bunker. All right, so right now I am at my bunker and I kind of forgot got about this until now bunker cell missions are double money and rp so we needed a minimum stock of two hundred thousand dollars and well with double money we surely got a lot over that right now our product stock is worth five hundred and forty thousand dollars well that's gonna be a lot more money and i'll explain why all right so in sell stock we have two options either to sell this to blaine county for six hundred and forty eight thousand dollars or to sell this to the santas for nine hundred and seventy two thousand dollars on top of that since we're in a public set with at least 20 players for everything that we do sell we'll get a 50 percent bonus so essentially if we have a flawless sell mission in los santos we'll have the potential to make one million four hundred and fifty eight thousand dollars but everything's got to go flawlessly but yeah let's sell to los santos larger sales may require multiple vehicles i'm a one-man band i don't care let's go all right what sell mission we're getting uh multiple delivery vehicles in 15 minutes um it depends on which one it is oh i just realized too, i don't have an oppressor okay I'm, I'm gonna give it a shot i'm gonna give it a shot we have to drive like five miles and probably head back um okay i honestly don't know how likely it is for me to sell off all three of these vehicles but i'm gonna try now you're probably wondering too why are you selling in a public session instead of a private session the 50 percent boosted money on whatever we do sell is great but i just think selling in a private session is pretty much like watching paint dry and you don't come here to watch paint dry no you come here to watch entertaining stuff so here i am in a public session just for you you're welcome all right we finally made it to the first drop-off location right here just had some normal house which okay weird give a normal house a ton of weapons but it's okay they pay the bills all right so i gotta go all the way back to my bunker that's gonna 
gonna be an issue. That's the big issue. I'm probably only gonna get time to sell off one more vehicle, but I'm okay with that. All right, I finally made it back all the way to my bunker. I definitely only have time to do one more sell vehicle. Yeah, this one's four miles away. We have no shot pretty much to sell off that last vehicle. See, I actually think during this sell mission, if I had a pressure mark too, or if I had a sparrow, I feel like I could actually complete this within the amount of time. Man, just without those vehicles though, it makes these sell missions pretty much impossible to complete. All right, there we go. We have made it all the way to this location. Not bad. Just at an apartment complex, just selling off a bunch of weapons at an apartment complex. Yeah, okay. And we have three minutes to go. Maybe I can make it to that last delivery vehicle and maybe kind of like pretend that I have a shot. Or maybe the delivery location will be like 20 feet away. That, that would be great. That'd be great. Three, two, one zero and there we go we only sold two of our three delivery vehicles but we made 999 thousand dollars which nine hundred and ninety nine thousand dollars is still really good especially at this point in my gta online career on this account so now i have three million one hundred and thirty two thousand dollars which is enough for me to buy the land act reservoir facility so let's go purchase that all right so here's the land act reservoir facility right here i think just for convenience for myself i'm gonna put a sleeping quarters since i do have enough money to get the sleeping quarters so yeah our total now is gonna be three million one hundred thousand dollars so yeah i still have enough so let's purchase the facility right here and there we go we have made our first business purchase aside from the introduction into the game all right, so I'm heading into my facility right here, the $3,100,000 facility. All right, so this is my facility right here. Now, the facility is absolutely massive. Oh, one thing that's nice about the facility is that we can get free snacks. I mean, it's kind of weird, though, that the facility is so big because really the main thing that you really need the facility for is the doomsday heist, which is right in here. And I have to go through a cutscene real quick. We have to talk to our boy Lester right here after we just did the Fleece of Bank heist and the prison break heist. There's this new character, Avon Hurt. You look like a nice guy. The Avon Hurts. Okay, never mind. He sounds like a jerk. <laughs> All right, and there we go. So we have some work that we have to do for Avon Hurt. And that has been added to the wheel so we can potentially land on that as one of our next wheel spins. Then also next episode, I'll spin the Wheel of Luxury for the first time in season two of Loser to Luxury to determine what I'm going to buy next. Four episodes ago, I started as a level one on a new account in GTA Online. And the only items I've bought on this account have come through spinning a wheel determining what I should buy next. So today in this video, I will spin that wheel again to see what I will buy next. So welcome to the fifth episode of season number two of Loser to Luxury. And without further ado, let's jump into it. So currently right now, I am on the Wheel of Luxury. And I'm on the Wheel of Luxury because the last item I bought came off the Wheel of Businesses. And that business was the facility, which is what I'm currently standing in right now. And this is the first time I'm going to spin the Wheel of Luxury during season two. So if you don't know, there's just a bunch of different items on the Wheel of Luxury that won't necessarily directly make me a lot of money. Money, but they're either cool vehicles to have or it's more of like a quality of life improvement but let's see what item i'm going to have to buy off the wheel of luxury so the wheel is spinning and it looks like we are going to have to buy a torador all right so here's a torador right here and if you don't know a lot about the torador it's essentially a weaponized vehicle that can also go underwater and you can also boost while driving too so once we get this this will probably be my go-to vehicle but in order to get this i have to fork out four million two hundred and fifty thousand dollars and currently right now i only have thirty three thousand dollars so it's going to be a long long time before i get the tour door all right so right now i am on the wheel of quick cash so how are we going to start out this episode in order to make money and it looks like we are going to have to go and do the new junk energy time trial all right so right now i am on the wheel of making money and right here is my newest addition to the wheel of making money and that is going to be the doomsday heist now this is such a good wheel spin we'll either have to forfeit our previous or next wheel spin and this is on 
the wheel because we just bought the facility. But what are we going to have to do in this episode in order to make money? And it looks like we are going to have to do whatever I want, but it is determined by melee kills in 10 minutes. If you're new to this series, I'll explain this a little bit later on, but what else in this episode am I going to have to do in order to make money? And it looks like we are actually going to have to do time trials. Okay, so we have to do time trials, and this is including the junk energy time trials. So instead of doing the junk energy time trial as a part of the wheel of quick cash, we are now doing it as a part of the wheel of making money. So instead, I'll just be a little bit risky, and I'll just spin the casino wheel because maybe I'll like get something good like i did last time but more than likely i'll probably get something you know pretty worthless like rp clothing yada 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 whatever so i gotta go out and do time trials in gta online and then i get to do whatever i want but it's only determined by melee kills in 10 minutes but first i gotta go to the diamond casino and spin the lucky wheel again and let's see if i get lucky like i did last time all right, so we're here at the lucky wheel and we're here for some interesting circumstances. But anyways, we're still going to spin the wheel. This is going to be our wheel of quick cash money making method that we're doing today. And we might not even make any money off of this just because, well, this is the lucky wheel. There's a lot of things on the lucky wheel. And um, are we going to get a vehicle again? Oh, that was so close to being another vehicle. We also got $50,000 off of that. Dude, what is going on? I swear. That's probably like one of the better things on the wheel too aside from the vehicle you know i'm looking at all the options now that is literally the best option aside from vehicle so i got fifty thousand dollars off of that so now i have eighty three thousand dollars but now it is time for me to get into the time trials now there are a total of four different time trials that you can do in this game but two of them we're not allowed to do because we don't have the right vehicles in order to do those and those are the rc bandito time trial and the hsw time trial i need an rc bandito for the rc bandito time trial and i need an hsw vehicle for the hsw time trial so i'm only allowed to do the junk energy time trial and just the normal time trial so let's get the easier one out the way and let's do the junk energy time trial all right so i've made it all the way here to our first time trial which is going to be the junk energy time trial now this one's going to be the marlo vineyards time trial so let's see if i can do it first try all right here we go my first ever junk energy time trial on this account now, one thing about junk energy time trials is that you actually need stamina. Stamina, in my opinion, before this came out, was probably one of the most pointless stats in the game. Now that junk energy time trials are like actually a thing and you need stamina in order to do these, it's become a pretty crucial stat. Now, if you're a level like, I don't know, let's just say if you're a level 100, when you do these junk energy time trials, you are not going to have any problems doing these. But as a low level, you need to have good stamina. So when I created my character, I actually took pretty much every stat that I could. I minimized that stat and I put it all towards stamina just for this one reason alone, because I've already done a decent amount of junk energy time trials on some of my other low level accounts. And it is painful because towards the end your character is just gasping for air because we're out of shape on that account see look look in the bottom left we're out of shape there but i invested a lot into stamina so i destroyed that that's probably the best ever junk energy time trial i've ever done so for that i made fifty-two thousand dollars. now we have to do the normal time trial next but before i do the normal time trial i'm actually going to get another vehicle i'm going to buy a vehicle a very cheap vehicle but a vehicle right now because i I have no vehicles that I think are capable of completing the normal time trial. I love my Drift Yosemite because I won it from the Lucky Wheel back in episode two, but there is no way the Drift Yosemite or even the Armored Kuruma are going to complete that. So I need to get a new vehicle. So I'm actually going to purchase the Body 801 right here, coming in at $15,000. Now I'm not gonna upgrade this at all. So it's definitely still gonna be a pretty significant challenge, but at least we have a shot now to actually complete this. All right, so I've made it over to the normal time trial, which is going to be the Route 68 time trial. You know, I've thought about it a little bit. Why not try it with the Drift Yosemite? Maybe some of you think that I can actually complete it with the Drift Yosemite. I am going to prove to you that it's pretty much going to be impossible. I actually feel like this is a pretty easy time trial if I'm looking at this right. I mean, this is pretty much just a straight shot. Like, I have gotten some tough time trials in the past. This one seems actually not bad, but I mean, I don't know. Maybe I actually have a shot with the Drift Yosemite. All right, but here we go. All right, here we go. 
let's see how this goes. See, right there in the beginning, um, the Drift Yosemite just spins its wheels because, you know, it's the Drift Yosemite. Loves to drift. Doesn't love to do time trials. It's not the time trial Yosemite. You know, that's what Rockstar should have put into the game, and that's what I should have won off the lucky wheel. The time trial Yosemite. They need to take notes. I swear. I have too many good ideas. All right, I low-key kind of feel like I'm flying right now. <laughs> I really do feel like I'm flying. So, if we don't wreck from here on out, and we still don't complete it, then, yeah, that's just solid proof that we cannot complete it with the Drift Yosemite. Oh, yeah, we have less than 10 seconds to go. We are over a half mile left. Yeah, jeez. Yeah, I still had a half mile left. I mean, this is actually pretty flawless. Okay, okay, I wrecked once, okay? But it was after the fact. Calm down, Karen. Jeez. All right, so this is my new Body 801 that I just bought. Now, this is going to be pretty much my time trial vehicle, my normal time trial vehicle. All right, here we go. Let's start it up. Now, the reason that the Body 801 is so good for time trials is compared to, like, a normal car is that some of the time trials, you have to go off-roading a lot, maybe not necessarily this one. But if we had to go off-roading, the Body 801 can hold its own while still being incredibly fast on some asphalt let's just say the drift yosemite could actually complete this time trial but then we try to do another time trial where it takes me off road yeah we'd have no shot to complete it with the drift yosemite not at all okay we have less than 10 seconds um i'm starting to question what the heck i'm doing wrong because yeah that was a straight shot i didn't wreck at all and i'm still like a quarter mile out when the time expired i'm a little confused why maybe i actually have to go off road i gotta look at this i don't know where though i don't know what i did wrong i assume i'm doing something wrong but how all right so i actually watched a video on someone completing this and they actually used a body 801 i assume theirs is customized though and they did complete it but they completed it with just over a tenth of a second left and they were super aggressive on the wheeling so i guess my wheeling maybe was a little bit off i don't know i'll blame it on that i guess all right let's try this again all right let's pop a wheelie popping a wheelie for so long is so annoying like if I go slightly in the wrong direction, I'll run into a car or something. Yeah, this is this is going to be annoying. What I thought looked like an easy time trial looks like it's going to be a completely annoying time trial. Car! Mm. See, see, yeah, I have to be so aggressive on the wheeling. Yeah, oh my god. Yeah, honestly, I might be here a while. Wait a minute, there's a store robbery. Hold on, hold on. You know, I was actually thinking, wait a minute, there's so much happening right now. Hold on. You die. What is this? Sticky bombs? I don't have sticky bombs. I actually don't have sticky bomb okay there's just a lot going on here okay i'm gonna take the stolen goods i'm gonna just deliver the stolen goods to the store she accepts it even though i have the cops on me so i got twenty thousand dollars there so that's nice see i was thinking about it and that was like a little blue dot thing on the mini map right now it's very tough for those to spawn in i can't really control any of those things so i can't necessarily put it on any of the wheels but i'm thinking if i randomly run into one of those events i think i'll do it for the series because last season i didn't do it at all but i don't know i think it'd be a little bit fun i mean that was crazy we had an armored truck spawn in and someone rob a store at the same time it was crazy i only got the store though i don't even have sticky bombs on this account all right but anyways let's try this again let's try this again here we go here we go let's let's get this time trial see like i'm popping a wheelie and there's just a car just sitting right there so i have to slightly move out the way it's gonna ruin a tad bit of my momentum just a tad bit enough to piss me off car oh my that was scary god i love a wheel oh 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 backflip style points i guess i don't know you're probably sitting there like jaw drop thinking that was the coolest thing ever but me that's just normal that's just normal for me but it's frustrating for me because well i'm not gonna complete this time trial that's the main goal here you know on the wheel of making money it does not say land a backflip on the body 801 right it says to complete time trials that's not a part of that yeah i don't think i'm gonna complete it but I, oh oh geez now i'm going off road oh okay okay oh i ran into a tree didn't land that time okay i wasn't completing it anyways but i landed a backflip which you thought was pretty cool it's just a normal thing for me but it's okay it's okay for you to be impressed by me it's fine it is completely fine it's a normal reaction after seeing something so cool like that all right let's try this again and maybe not attempt to do a backflip like we did last time even though i didn't really want to attempt to do a backflip it just happened 
happened. Dude, just imagine if gliding was still in the game and I could just glide all the way to the destination. Okay, that car. No, I'm already I'm already restarting. There's such tight margins. If I'd like accidentally tap into like one of those vehicles, like I'm going to restart. All right, here we go. Let's try it again. Oh, good. My driving went up. Good. My driving does deserve to go up. I'm a flawless driver. I don't wreck. If I wreck, it's because of the car running into me. It's not because I ran into the car. I never run into any cars. It, it's just never, it's never happened before. You know, I've never run into a tree before. I've never run into a car. If I wreck because of a car, the car ran into me and it's so obvious it's not even funny. See, like that, like that right there. It is not my fault. It's clearly just not my fault. And that car kind of just ruined that time trial for me. Thanks. Yeah, if we had an Akachu drag, that would be so nice. Dude, dude, that car ran straight into me. This is what I'm talking about. I swear, the car literally ran into me, like clipped me with their mirror. Like they could like move over a tad. The guy that I was watching, he hit a mile left at 48 seconds. At 48 seconds, I was at a mile and a quarter left. This is going to be tough. Crazy thing was he had a body too. Yeah, we didn't complete it. And that was a pretty smooth run. Okay. Body 801, maybe not the move. I don't know what is the move though. That is my genuine concern now. I gotta do some research. I have to do some research on some faster vehicles, I guess, that maybe I can find off the street. I don't know. I have no idea what I'm gonna do. Okay, I just saw another person complete it. Instead of completing it within a tenth of a second they completed it with a second and a half left also with the body 801 they completely customized it there's some hope now the issue is now it's raining i don't know why it's freaking raining but let's see how this goes what this guy said is for this time trial is you crouch and then wheelie you know either crouch or wheelie i think mostly wheelie which i think i've already screwed that up okay okay that car ran into me jeez you know the annoying thing about what i just went through and what i just watched was this guy had like had the cleanest start it's not even funny he didn't run into anyone like i have to be perfect i literally have to be perfect if i'm not perfect we're never going to complete this the people that i watch had completely upgraded body 801s i do not so i'm probably going to have to have an even better run than they have which is so annoying because i can't even get started anymore because i'm trying to be so perfect that's an issue i have when i do hsw time trials i try to be like too perfect i think but i mean in this scenario i actually have to be perfect maybe some of those other time trials i don't necessarily have to be like perfect perfect this one i definitely have to be perfect there is no way i'm going to complete it without being perfect i had like one fifth of a mile left oh my lord this is so tough this is so tough i honestly don't know what to do i really don't know what to do okay yeah that's probably as good as it's gonna get that was probably as clean of a run as i could get i don't know what i'm gonna do i swear all right i'm not gonna lie this has been an l of a wheel spin this has been not good at all we have no shot of completing that time trial with the vehicles that i have at my disposal right now if you think it if you want me to upgrade this body 801 like to the max i can't i can maybe put like the first tier of upgrade but i can't put you know the highest tier up on it and then you're probably also saying just take it to your auto shop and then upgrade it there. Well, dummy, I have to land on it on the wheel of businesses, which I haven't yet. So it's literally impossible for me to complete this time trial, unfortunately. So I'm making an audible and I am going to do one and only one assault on Kyle Perico adversary mode because that is still technically double money and RP as I'm recording this right now. I'm only going to do one, win or lose. All right, here we go. We are doing some more assault on Kyle Perico. Now, I think this is the most fair thing that I could do with us not being able to complete that time trial. All right, so our bonus objectives are hack one radar, take out 15 players, get 15 headshots as a team, and then take out 80 island guards as a team. Okay, so it's time for me to go to a radar, and it's time for Dr. Clutch to engage. I probably shouldn't have pulled the parachute this early, and literally right on top of everyone. Yeah, I'm already being shot at. That was probably a little stupid by me, but somehow I'm still alive. There's a guy right here. I know. That, oh, I actually got that kill. Oh, okay. Yeah. They, I mean, I, of course I got that kill. Dr. Clutch of all people. Okay, never mind. I got I got two kills though. All right, all right. Even though it's not about killing, it's about destroying radars. But I got two kills. Like, come on, come on. Dude, I swear, how have we not taken out a radar at this point? Like, I am a little concerned by that. Dude, what am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing, honestly. That was terrible. It's time for us to hack radar A. Oh, wait, someone's hacking it right now. Never mind. All right, good job, team. Dr. Clutch in. Bound. Let's go. 
course, I get shot from behind because he doesn't want to face me. He doesn't want to go face to face. It's fine. You know, whatever. We got an objective. 15 headshots. Nice. And radar A is being hacked currently. That's nice. You know what I could do? I could just go straight for the next one, you know? I feel like that's smart because I already know what's going on, right? I, I wreck though. Why don't we just go to the next dock? Because I already know what's going to happen. We go from one dock to the next. Oh my god, El Rubio, El Rubio. When I take over this island, because, you know, we're taking over this island. When I take it over, I am going to hire a clearing crew, and we're going to clear this entire island so I don't run into any stupid trees. Wait, what? No, I didn't mean to. I d didn't think that that's how that... Dang it, I didn't think that's how that worked. How are you alive? How are you? Excuse me, I need a written apology from Rockstar. How is that guy not dead? I shot him like five times in the head. I don't care if he was wearing a helmet. This is an adversary mode. Jeez, I did not. Holy, holy. Oh, <laughs> that was like a boost. Wait, where's my teammate? I thought we were hacking. I thought I had a teammate that was hacking. I guess not. You know what? I'll just do everything here. Such a weird hack. I'm just not used to it. Ah, ah, ah. Are we good? Is it hacked? No, it's not. You come on. All right, Radar B is about to go down, which is the other one, the one I didn't touch. Time for me to go straight for Radar A. All right, let me try this hack again. I would really like for this to work. Ow, dude. Okay, it's that one guy. I swear, that one guy is just sitting there somewhere. I don't know where, but he's just sitting there. He's like, Whoa, can't hack this, loser. You failed to complete this objective in time. What do you mean? I still had time to complete that game. You know, what if I just go straight up to the next dock? Like, not caring at all. Just get there before everyone else gets there. Oh, I'm supposed to be in area? Didn't tell me that. All right, I'm going straight for Radar B immediately. We're going to get Radar B, and yeah, it's going to be pretty much final. Someone's got that hack. All right, I trust you. No, I'm just going to go for kills now. I don't care. I don't care. Okay, that was probably dumb. <laughs> okay, Radar A is being hacked now. Nice. All right, and Radar B has been destroyed. Ow, what? Dude, it's the same guy, Brandon. What does Brandon have against me? What have I done to Brandon? All I'm doing is just existing at this point. I'm gonna be honest. I'm not doing much right now. And Brandon has it out for me. All right, Radar A has been destroyed. It's time for us to go to the compound. And I guess it's time for me to land. Sure, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing at this point. I'm a very little impact to my team right now. I just need to try to make money like on my own. I need to get six more kills on players and then we need to take out some more island guards which has been an issue for us we, we need to get seven more island guards down okay the computer data is already being stolen my teammate's just doing great i don't know um you need to die we need to get island guards down all right there we go island guards are down so that objective is nice oh someone stopped the upload though you know what i need to get the secret i want to get this secret objective again why not oh it's not inside the compound oh my gosh you know i trust my team they can handle it Dude, i don't even think i'm going to be able to get the secret objective in time before we win we're doing that good but i didn't do much yep there we go yeah i didn't do much i don't really deserve a win personally but i was on a team with a lot of people and we made eighty nine thousand dollars. still less than what i would have made if i would have completed that time trial but yeah whatever oh i actually had 18 kills that's not bad shocked i had 18 kills i don't know how felt like two all right so after doing all that i now have one hundred and sixty one thousand dollars. yeah we did a lot there we stopped a robbery and and got the good samaritan bonus and then we did the junk energy time trial and then we did one round of assault on kaio perico yeah just really all over the place but whatever that was our first wheel spin i guess but now it is time for me to go to a public session and try to get as many melee kills as i can in 10 minutes all right so right now i'm in a public session and we need to try to get as many melee kills as we can in 10 minutes and then based upon how many kills we get in 10 minutes we'll also determine how much time i have in gta online to do whatever i want to make money and how that's going to work is we're going to start out with 20 minutes to do whatever we want and then every kill we get is an additional 10 minutes so let's just say i get two kills in 10 minutes with a melee weapon but we started out with 20 minutes plus we had 20 minutes for two total kills for 10 minutes per kill which is the grand total of 40 minutes to do whatever i want in gta online and how i will get these kills is that i will get on this body right here kind of nice i bought this today i'll get out my stone hatchet which is a melee weapon and well there's a guy right here interesting you seem a little sus okay i might get you later but i need to explain
explain some stuff right now. I'm not going to use a stone hatchet right now. I'll just use a pistol, for example. See, like, look, I can just do this number and I can get kills like that. Okay, this guy is following me and I don't want to get killed right now. So, let, wait, hold on. Let me pull up my timer and I'll actually get started, like, right now. All right, I am going to start the timer right now. All right, clock's running and there's already people trying to go after us. Can you please get out of your car? That would be so nice if you can just get out of your car. You're so annoying, I swear. Okay, okay, this is what I'm going to do with this guy. I think this guy sucks. I got run over by the guy. That sucks. That's nice. I am going to shoot him like this. That doesn't count towards our kill total. So we still have zero melee kills in 10 minutes. I just need him to get out of his car. He's just being a little annoying in his car. So then this guy is over here. So I'm going to get a melee kill on him right here. Get up, get up, get up, and sit down. There we go. One kill. That is an extra 10 minutes on the clock. So we have a total of 30 minutes to do whatever we want in GTA Online. And yeah, I think I'm going to go after this guy because I feel like this this guy's a moron and he also tried to go after me and i also wrecked lovely no oh, he's on the other side of the road i just got on this side of the road oh my god you're being annoying <laughs> all right ready set bow okay i hit him i hit him but i didn't kill him Okay, I don't know what happened. That was so weird, but that is a kill. So that's two kills. Now, this is going to be a lot different now than what it was on last season. Well, last season, pretty early, I got payphone hits. And I was able to do fooligans jobs at an early time. I can't even do any of those right now on this account. So I have no idea what I'm going to do. But I just want to give myself as much time possible so I can try to make a lot of money. Hey, you finally killed me. Wow, guy. Kind of embarrassing that it took him this long to kill me. Whatever, it's fine. Get my vehicle back. See, I don't have to use a body 801, but using the body 801, it gives me some agility. You know, it lets me just pop in, pop out. You know, if I just walk, you know, it's a little slow. Okay, okay, okay. You're being a little annoying, okay? You need to calm down. Oh, shoot. I have to wait a minute now in order to call back my vehicle. That's not good. That's not, I need a vehicle at least just to get back. How am I going to get another melee kill on this guy? Because, like, he's ready to go. He is ready for combat now. So I got I to be a little bit more creative on how I'm going to get kills on this guy. Oh, he's trying to run after me. Okay. Yeah, come on. Run up the stairs. Run up the stairs. Oh, he died to the cops. Jeez. Okay, I don't know how I'm going to attack this guy now since he's, like, going to shoot me on the spot no matter what. Oh, my God. This guy is so weird to just read. He does just weird stuff. I can't get a good read on him. I just can't. I'm not here. I'm not here. I swear I'm not here. Wait, 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 wait. <gasps> why why did we miss no okay to be honest that's a little bit my fault i i have to hold down x in those situations so i can like dip his shots that is on me but we should have hit one of those shots though can you please run after me this would be so nice if you can just run after me no 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 hold down x hold down x I'm trying to use my head movement like in a fist fight because that should still apply in those circumstances. I held down X there, by the way. We have less than two minutes left. That's not great. Maybe I can just catch him sleeping or something. That'd be nice. See, yeah, every time I just get on the bike, it's just immediately pew, 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 pew. It's so automatic for him to kill me at that situation. I have 40 seconds left. Oh my God, this has gone so south so quickly. Like We were doing so good within the first two minutes. And then ever since then, I we have not done well. Granted, I've only gone after one guy. Okay, this is not great. He needs to run after me. There is no way I'm going to be able to go after him. No, he's doing this. No, don't run for me. Stop, stop. How do we miss... And the timer expired. What are we doing, game? What are we doing? I held down LT2, so that's not an excuse either. What are we doing there? What are, what are we doing? Are you kidding me? That's embarrassing. You should be bright red embarrassed by that. Okay, there we go. That was just for my ego because I died way too many times at that dork. All right, I need to go to a private session now. All right, so I only got two kills in the 10 minutes. Even from last season, that was the lowest amount of kills that I've gotten in a span of 10 minutes with only melee kills. So in total, I have 40 minutes to do whatever I want in order to make money in GTA Online. So being so early on this account with not a lot of options to like make money, it makes this very, very tricky on how I want to tackle this. I know of two things that I'm going to do but aside from that i have no idea what i'm going to do at all maybe i do another assault on kaya Perico. this just might be an assault on kaya Perico day to be honest i don't i don't know i really don't know the only problem with doing assault on kaya Perico is that it takes a while it's a long adversary mode but then again what else am i going to use the time for i have like no options to do anything like i would do the junk energy time trial i would but i can't because i've already done it for today i could do like first dose missions but 
I want to do that entirely instead of only doing like a few. I can't replay the Fleece of Job until I've completed every heist. Yeah, I think I'm actually going to have to join Assault on Cayo Perico. But I'm actually going to do one thing before I join an Assault on Cayo Perico. So let me go there and then I'll start the timer once I get that going. Oh yeah, also too, I'm not allowed to sell off any businesses. So some people probably are thinking, oh, you can sell off your bunker. And I'm not doing that. And the reason I'm not doing that because I don't think it's really fair because all the stock that's been accumulated so far has not been off of this 40 minutes. I want to make money from start to finish from this 40 minutes, not something that happened outside of this 40 minutes. So what we're going to do first is we're going to sell off excess weapon parts right here. And I did lie last episode when I did this because I thought I got $150,000 for selling off excess weapon parts because it was my first time. That's not true. I got $150,000 because it's three times money for this week. I didn't realize until today when I looked at the newswire again. But anyways, um, as soon as I jump into this dune loader, my timer is going to start. So here we go. All right, clock is running now. Let's go. I honestly thought this might not have been the greatest wheel spin in the world. And then I realized you can get $150,000 for doing this. I'll get $150,000 for essentially like three minutes of work. Pretty much no threat at all during this. I just have to drive there. And yeah. And then after this, I'm probably going to get G's cash. And then after that, I am going to jump into an assault on Cayo Perico. I don't know where G's cash is though. If G's cash is far away, I might scratch that. And also too, if we're in the middle of like an assault on Cayo Perico, Rico and the timer expires, I have to leave that assault on Cayo Perico. Like, we are not going to extend the timer just cause. No, we are going to have to make money within that specific timer. Man, I'm just thinking about it. This episode has been all over the place, and I do apologize for this being all over the place. Like, I tried to do a time trial, it didn't work. I had to do assault on Cayo Perico, and then we pretty much have no other money making methods to do aside from doing assault on Cayo Perico. I'm just all over the place today. So I apologize for that. But maybe, just maybe, if you left a like and maybe subscribe if you're not already subscribed, just maybe next episode might be a super hot fire banger if this one's already not. I mean, this video might be all over the place, but this video still might be a banger. No, but seriously though, if you like and subscribe, it really shows me that you're enjoying the content and you're excited to see more. And we're only just beginning on this new series of Loser to Luxury. Where the heck? Oh, that's where we have to park? Oh, I thought we had to park on the other side. See, me mentally, I'm all over the place too. This episode has just been weird. All right, but there you go. $150,000. There we go. So now I need to jump into... Um, G's cash is a little far away. Um, so I am just going to jump into an assault on Cayo Perico. All right, here we go. We are doing another assault on Cayo Perico, but we are under the clock now. I am on the defenders team, which I have not been a part of today. So yeah, let's go defend Cayo Perico for El Rubio. So we have to take out 11 players to disarm three radars. That's going to be tough. I have to, as a team, take out five five players that's okay and then as a team we have to get five headshots okay well someone just landed over here so i'm gonna kill him die there you go bye don't get near my radar uh-uh oh 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 there's people like literally right there that guy who's dead you have this guy who's also dead okay so i already got one objective nice okay radar a is being hacked that's great team good job team um i'm just getting kills though i'm individually locking down radar b like i'm pretty much sauce gardener at this point when it comes to me protecting radar b oh there's a guy over here. Oh, shoot. Oh, that guy's good. Oh, okay. Well, dingbat killed me. Playing like a dingbat. Okay, so radar A is being targeted for an orbital attack, and radar B is also now being targeted for an orbital attack. Lovely. Okay, I feel like one of them is just gonna go down, so we need to just set our sights on one. Okay, what if I just disarm this now? Well, they're all, like, fighting. Is it disarmed? Ah! I stopped it. I stopped it. Radar B's been destroyed. Whatever. It's fine. Probably gonna go down anyways. Oh, wait. Last episode, I got pissed at a guy for like camping up here you know i thought it was cheesy well i'm a hypocrite now because i'm <laughs> i'm literally just gonna chill up here oh but some of them have rpgs though that's not a good sign oh god rpg guy needs to die and of course, I die when I try to do that little strat. Nice, thank you. We need to just start defending the next target. Ooh, a shotgun. That's gonna be nice. A Mark II shotgun. I have not used a Mark II shotgun during any of this. Okay, there we go. I got a kill. Someone killed me, though. Dingbat. Of course it's Dingbat. Who else would it be? 
What in the what? What the what the? <laughs> that was so weird. Oh my god! Ran straight to the guardrail, and we just did weird things. Okay, radar A is being hacked. That's not good. And I know someone's really close at radar B. So I am gonna shoot him right here. Of course he didn't die, cause why would he? You know? What the heck is this guy? Of course I'm the one that died. And of course it's Ding. It's always one person that just gets on my nerves. And of course radar B is being hacked by Dingbat. Die. Okay, nice, nice. Okay, radar A has been destroyed. But if someone can disarm this, this would be nice. I would like to do it. Okay, that guy wants to do it. Fine the heck is going on here what i am so lost all right i'm just gonna start putting this next radar on the clamps yeah radar b has been destroyed but i mean we did a very good job i will have to say it took them up until like a minute and a half for them to actually like take it out okay radar a is being attacked that's fine i have radar b on lock huh dude of course it's dingbat i swear that scared me jeez i went to pick up an rpg shot yeah but a radar b is being attacked stupid dingbat jump scared me love that all right i need to get dingbat i'm sorry it just has to happen dingbat's being annoying let's just face it it's in the name dingbat i mean i have an idea where dingbat's like chilling out it's so stupid. It's such a good spot. It's just stupid dingbat. Dingbat just went to their dingbat ways and took my spot. My spot. I used it last episode too. Okay, 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 okay. I don't think we're going to be able to save that. I am setting my sights here on the compound. We have to defend the compound. All right, so here we go. I have to defend the computer. I guarantee I feel like dingbat is going to come right here. I don't know why. Oh, I'm... No, oh, Dingbat was right there. I'm just... Oh, Dingbat. Dingbat, 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 Dingbat. It's so annoying. That is just so annoying. I try to be ultra smart, big brain. I'm like, Dingbat's gonna go the unorthodox way. And Dingbat went the orthodox way. And I wasn't ready for it because I was trying to explain what I was thinking. All right, I'm gonna try to do some big plays. I'm gonna go upstairs. I'm gonna do my unorthodox way because there's really no other way for us to win, I feel like. All right, here goes nothing. <laughs> We're going into it. Where's Dingbat? Where's Ding? Ding? Oh, here. Oh, you missed. You missed. Where are you? I. Oh, what am I doing? I'm choking. I'm choking. You're gonna be a bomb. You're gonna be such a bomb. You. D oh my God. No, Dingbat didn't die. Dingbat is on some hacks. Yeah, just just so stupid. I hate Dingbat with a passion. I don't really feel like it's like blue team versus red team. It's pretty much been me versus Dingbat. I don't think any of the other players are even doing anything, and we just lost. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh my. It's literally only because of Dingbat. Only. Dingbat had. 43 kills oh my that's so great i might actually have to do like a contact mission or something terrible like that oh i have an idea never mind i have an idea all right so what i'm going to do now is that i am one going to register as a vip and then two i'm going to do vip work i'm going to do headhunter oh wait no wait no i won't do headhunter i'll do asset recovery oh wait no wait wait no sights here <laughs> i'm so all over the place i swear now this is not on the wheel because i actually think this is kind of boring to be honest but i think this is boring if you just do this for a long long time now i'm not going to do this for a long long time i only have what less than 10 minutes left so i only have time to do one maybe two of these there's gonna be some money making methods that i'm not actually gonna put on the wheel of making money and it's because of those ways to make money i actually think are pretty boring to do one thing i won't put on there is gonna be junk energy skydives like those are incredibly boring to do then also like mc clubhouse contracts like in order to make good money off of that you have to do the same mission over and over it gets a little boring as far as the video is concerned so that's why some things aren't going to be on the wheel so like vip work that's included in those things that's going to be excluded but i will do it for this right now because this is pretty much the only thing i can really do oh wait i just realized i might not even complete this in the amount of time oh no i just realized that i honestly forgot i have to get three packages for some reason i thought it was only going to be like one package yeah that's not great but here, here's the first package right here nice so now i have to go back to the sites here app and try to find the next one okay next one's not too far away only like 1.67 miles away all right we've made it over here to where the next package is so let's collect it now we need to find one more package hopefully it's close by okay okay i found it uh okay it's less than a mile away okay this should be good all right here's the last package and there we go we got twenty three thousand dollars for that and we have like two and a half minutes left where's g's cash for today if it's close by i 
I might try to do that. If not, I, I have nothing else to do. Okay, it's back in the city. Yeah, um, there's no way I'm gonna be able to do it. I'm just stopping my timer right here. So in 40 minutes, I was only able to make $203,000. Yeah, not the best time making money. And like $150,000 of that $200,000 came in like the first four minutes. So really, I made like $50,000 in like 35-ish minutes. That's terrible. So now I have $428 thousand dollars and hopefully next episode we can make a lot more money so we can buy the torador pretty soon but yeah next episode has to be better than this episode because geez as far as making money is concerned this is probably one of the worst episodes ever we can only go up from here as far as making money a few episodes ago i started as a level one on a new account in gta online and the only way i have made money on this account is by spinning a wheel determining what i should do to to make money. So today in this video, I will spin the wheel again to see what I will do in this episode to make money. So welcome to the sixth episode of season two of Loser to Luxury. And without further ado, let's jump into it. So right now I am on the wheel of quick cash, but before I spin the wheel of quick cash, I just want to remind you, we are trying to work towards buying the Torador next, coming in at $4,250,000. And currently right now I have $430,000 dollars so we're pretty much only a tenth of the way there so we have a long long ways to go but how are we going to start out this episode in order to make money and it looks like we are going to have to do what is this oh my god <laughs> it barely landed on spin the casino wheel okay so we are going to have to spin the casino wheel even though technically last episode i spun it but i didn't land on it on the wheel of quick cash i kind of just did it by default all right so right now i am on the wheel of making money so what are we gonna have to do in this episode in order to make money and it looks like we are going to have to do our next original heist which is going to be the humane labs raid so we're gonna have to do that fun heist but what else in this episode am i gonna have to do in order to make money and it looks like we are going to have to do okay we are not doing the humane labs raid today we're not doing it because we landed on the doomsday heist now this is going to be act one we have to do all the acts in order and since this is such a good wheel spin we're gonna have to forfeit our previous wheel spin so ignore the humane labs raid we are not doing that right now we are going to start saving the world for lester and avon hurts so we get to finally use our facility and start up the doomsday heist but First, I have to head my way over to the Diamond Casino and spin the lucky wheel. All right, once again, I've made it back to the Diamond Casino to spin the lucky wheel. So let's go up to this thing. Hopefully, we can land on vehicle. I mean, last two times we've spun it, we've landed on vehicle and we've landed on $50,000, which is probably the next best thing. So, um, oh, okay, it doesn't want to let me spin. They just don't want me to win the freaking vehicle today, but it's okay. I'm going to land on it. I swear. Oh, no, we're not. No, we're going to be so far away from it this time. Is it going to be clothing? Okay. The power of the lucky wheel. We've had the good. Now it's time for the bad. And we got a piece of clothing called the hazard. I have no idea what that is. So I guess I'll check it out. The hazard. What kind of cryptic BS is that? The hazard. Are you kidding me? This is what I want off the lucky wheel? What the heck? Wait, is there some chemical spill in Los Santos? What is this garbage? No, no, it's so stupid. I get this is loser to luxury, but oh my God, I'm not this big of a loot. No, no, no. I'm not going to wear a hazmat suit, even though it's freaking Los Santos. It's a freaking fictional land where there's no oil spills there's no chemical spills there's no reason to what is this garbage this is so bad oh my god that was terrible well that's the wheel of quick cash for you yeah last season the jacket that i wore for most episodes it came off the lucky wheel which i actually like that jacket it kind of fit with my vibe you know and then we just get a hazmat suit this time garbage it's embarrassing i don't know why why would you end up a hazmat suit who wears that garbage no no well, there's my little rain on a hazmat suit. I'm already pissed off, and I haven't even done the ice yet. Probably gonna get pissed off during this ice, too. But now it's time for me to go to the facility and start up Act 1 of the Doomsday Heist. 
All right, so I've made it to my facility and I'm inside the heist prep room. So let's walk over here and we can access the setup screen. So we're going to do act one of the doomsday heist, which is going to be the data breaches. It has a setup cost of $25,000. So yeah, we're obviously going to pay that. All right, so here we go. This is all the preps and setups for the data breaches doomsday heist. And if you don't know how this works, we have three preps that we have to do. And every prep is something that we have to do in free mode and then we have three setups which is like a normal setup like how you saw during like the prison break video it's a very similar style to those kind of setups except we only need two players which is a little bit nicer and then after we do all this we'll be able to do the finale so i'm actually going to do the prep work right now off camera and once i have all the prep work done i'll come back and we'll start up the setups and i'll see you when i've completed all the prep work all right so i kid you not all the preps took me over an hour to complete now under normal circumstances it wouldn't have taken me over an hour but during the deluxos prep missions you have to collect four different deluxos you have to collect one drive it all the way back to your facility and then go back to the location and drive that back to the facility you have to do that four times essentially when i was getting my last deluxo my internet like blipped out for like one second and i lost all of my progress on that prep so yeah i had to complete that over again yeah that was the most annoying the deluxos prep but anyway Anyways, over an hour of my life wasted on prep work, but now it is time for me to start up the setups. So I'm going to start out here with the setup dead courier. All right, here we go. We are jumping into our first setup right here. It's called dead courier. And I have one other teammate and he is a level 43. So don't have too much faith in him, but that's okay. Now the setups, the easiest mode we can have it on is normal. So we're going to have it on normal. And then the finale is going to be on hard so we can get more money all right so i've taken the ambulance all the way to ls county coroners so i have to go in here and i apparently have to find some memory stick uh, i don't know I've done this before but geez it's so unmemorable all right we're in cold storage and we have to search all three bodies and if i remember correctly i don't think they're inside of any of these bodies and my teammate left i don't know why you joined if you're gonna leave i don't know i don't know why i don't know why well that's fun yeah i guess let's try that again all all right, here we go. Let's try again. This time I have a total of three people in now. Dude, what is this guy doing? You don't have to back into the spot. This is pathetic. Just park. All right, there we go. We were parked. Okay, good. Let me just get away from that guy. <laughs> and let's get inside of here again. All right, we're back inside of cold storage. So it's time to search the bodies again. All right, search all the bodies. We found nothing. So now we have to get to the coroner's office. Okay, apparently up here is restricted. I have no idea how I'm supposed to do this. Um, Maybe a little bit of this action. Okay, I failed. Or did I? Okay, no, my teammate screwed that up. All right, nice. All right, anyways, I found the laptop and we need to download download some data what data i have no idea i wasn't listening nice download complete now what are we doing all right so we have to get out of here nice okay i will have to say this setup is so much easier with a teammate thank you teammate hurry up teammate you can't drive but he can actually shoot right, so now we have to regroup in the savage um teammate 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 oh my god i can't control stupid i can't i really cannot i'm literally just sitting there and he just will not get in my vehicle. I don't know why. So yeah, I'm going to fend for myself because, well, I don't like dying. And here's a savage right here. Yeah, I'm ready to go. I got you, teammate. This is my other teammate that has been chilling out pretty much. Here, he did his job. My teammate was actually good inside. Yeah, he's terrible once he gets outside. Can't drive with the crab and just sits there. I don't think the past few times that I've done this heist, my teammate who's supposed to be doing the recovery was ever, like, good. Like, I've always had to meet them over at their location to help them do something. But this teammate actually, you know, did his job the right way and in a quick and efficient manner. Congratulations. Are we good? Set up pass. There we go. I always get a little nervous with that one. I think when we did it in the first season of Loser to Luxury, for some reason, it wouldn't like give me a set up pass screen and then we failed and then I had to complete it like hours later. So I always get a little nervous, but we completed it there. We have two more setups to do. So we're jumping into our next setup right here. 
it's going to be the signal intercept setup. Oh my god, my teammate has a vigilante. I'm catching a ride. I am catching a ride in the vigilante. Last season, I got the vigilante so early on in the series. It made my life so much easier. Okay, well, this guy has no idea what the heck to do with the vigilante. He's about to just wreck it into a freaking reservoir. Please, 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 you moron. I read some comments and they're like, you're too hard on your teammates. How am I supposed to look that guy in the eye and say that he's intelligent when he does that? And he's stupid. Well, time to get my drift Yosemite. I thought I was gonna get to the location in a little bit of a quicker time. Nope, 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 nope. Just not the case. It's just not the case. Someone decided that it was a brilliant idea to drive it into the water. Oh yeah, by the way, this is a new teammate. This is not any of the teammates that we used last time and there goes my controller oh now you have your vigilante back that's cool i don't trust you anymore you lost my trust you can probably drive flawless here on out since i'm not in the vehicle that is completely fine with me i am not going to risk it again oh yeah there he goes yeah there wait oh yeah all the way up there all the way up there i didn't catch where he landed but I, he's not in the water let's just put it at that now the vigilante is such a fun vehicle but you can't be stupid with it or at least i would like for this guy not to be stupid with it yeah hopefully when we get the torador it would be a lot better for us when we drive around at least in free mode we can't use a torador now when we do like heist setups or a heist anything like that unfortunately you used to but they updated that so you can't anymore all right so we need to go to four different vehicles and we need to hack every single vehicle yeah prepping for this mission was absolutely annoying this deluxo prep mission disgustingly annoying i swear so stupid Stupid. All right, here's the first target right here. Time to hack it. Is that van stuck behind that car? Oh, now they're moving. Jeez. Oh, oh there you go. Yeah, now you're using your head truck. Hey, don't shoot me. Hey, 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 hey. You shouldn't have been in that situation. If you weren't in that situation, I wouldn't have made fun of you. Since you wanted to shoot at me, you can have a little missile right in your face. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't shoot me ever again, clowns. How did my teammate die? I mean, yeah, they shoot at you, but you can go off to the side. You can get in front front of them and it's not a problem all right so i've made it to the next location time to hack let me get in front so i don't actually die unlike my teammate see look i'm chilling in front of the van still in hacking range no shot has been shot at me none none whatsoever all right and there we go hack that target let the target get in front of me and then send a little missile their way watch them explode have a good laugh about it and then we move on to the next hack oh 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 we have all the hacks done nice okay cool so i think we have to go to the wall water now and then we have to hack some more targets what happened a deluxo was destroyed i think you're supposed to destroy the target you're not supposed to destroy the deluxo i'm pretty sure they make that pretty clear but i i, I don't know i don't know i don't know all right i guess the temp number two with this setup so we're learning quickly that my teammate is not the brightest in the world so that's awesome no, no, why would you put... He put a sticky bomb down on mine. No, wait, 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 hold on. Wait, it might not actually, like, blow up my vehicle. I don't know why. I feel like it's actually not gonna blow up my vehicle. I don't know why. Why would you put a sticky bomb down? This is what I'm talking about. If he did it on purpose, you're a moron. If he did it on accident, you're a moron. There's no way you could paint yourself out to be intelligent by putting a sticky bomb down on my deluxo. All right, now we're in hover mode. So we're over the water, just chilling in hover mode. So we have to hack the boats now. Yeah, let me start hacking a boat. All right, there we go. That target is dead. All right, here's the next target right here. So let's hack this target. Ha! Oh, 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 oh. They shot the sticky bomb that my idiot teammate put down. That's what happened. Okay, well, here. You, you, you want to blow up a sticky bomb? You can have a missile in your face. There we go. Hopefully my teammate can get the last two targets. What is my teammate doing? I just realized this. What is my teammate doing? He drove right past this target. We all know we have to get this target to hack. I have no idea what he's doing. Maybe he's getting lit up or something. I have no idea. It's okay. I'll take care of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever, whatever. You got it taken care of. Holy crap. What is my teammate doing? I think I left him all the way out there. I just assume he put down his controller. I don't know why. I don't know why. 
Oh my god, I message him and then he moves. I uh, Come on, man. Did you fall asleep or something? We're on a timer, too. We don't have all day. Oh, good. With less than three minutes. No, you can't go in that fence. There's a gate just down the road. There you go. That's the gate. Okay, thank you. Um, Never disappointed, we'll say. Oh, thank you. All right, all right, all right. Anyways, less than three minutes to go. We have to hack this target, which is going to be a lovely time. All right, there goes my teammate. He died. What's new? All right, there you go. Hack complete. And now we have to destroy the target. And there we go. Target destroyed. All we have to do now is deliver the Deluxo to the drop-off. And we should be good to go. No! 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 You moron! You left at that point! point how am i sub i swear i swear you're such a clown i hate people oh my gosh what a absolute moron not only he wastes my time he's wasting his own time no like actually he's wasting his time does he not value his own time why are people so stupid all right, let's try this again. This is so stupid I have to try this again. We literally were done. It's okay, we're doing it again. And this time I have four people. And you're probably not gonna see any of this. Unless if something crazy happens. Which I hope nothing crazy happens. I want this to be a smooth and enjoyable and mainly quick experience. And then we'll just move on to the final setup. And there we go. Setup passed. Finally, it took way too long. Let's move on to the next one. All right. So I'm jumping into the next setup right here, server farm. It's actually been a few days since I started the setups. Yeah, after that last setup, I just needed some time to just sit and like reset because holy crap, that last setup, all the BS that happened during that last setup was incredibly annoying. So it's a new day. And server form, this setup right here is probably one of the hardest setups in the game. And right now I am in this setup with a level 32. Hopefully that's good enough. That was a smooth landing. Uh, okay, wait, wait, wait. Am I in the pilot seat? I am in the pilot seat. Why can't we go up? Why can't this helicopter go up? No, I'm trying to go... Really? 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 I don't know what happened there. I assume it's once we get to the checkpoint, I couldn't fly the Akula, even though I think I was in the driver's seat. All right, let's try this again. Hopefully, we can just complete this really quickly. Last few times I've done server form, I've done it in a pretty quick manner. I haven't had too many issues, which is kind of surprising because this is one of the more complicated setups in the game. Okay, so we have to take out a bunch of cameras and stuff stealthy. Can't get caught in this early part. And okay, well, my teammate seems like he knows what he's doing. Okay, my teammate just took out two guys nice all right all right we're doing good so far all right so here's the head of security walking out he has no idea what's about to come oh my god 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 he's in the car oh, okay what 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 happened yeah 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 he was the one that screwed up that is security literally just took off running after whatever he did i don't know exactly what he did but it wasn't great all right, there we go. There we go. Took out the head of security. Oh, I took out the head of security that time. The head of security had access codes, so that's why we killed this guy. And now we need to go to the server form entrance, which is in the middle of the IA facility. All right, there we go. We've made it to the entrance, so now we're going inside of here. Oh my God, there's a freaking scientist or whatever. Some guy in a lab coat just staring right at me. That was weird. All right, but now we need to hack servers, so that's going to be fun. But hopefully we can do this stealthy. If we can do this stealthy, stealthy in here this would make this a lot easier hello what who saw i don't even know who saw us but whatever okay our cover has been blown yeah we're gonna have some guards come after us oh and then i forgot this hack is annoying this hack is so annoying you have to like match the left ones on the right and essentially it's just a big guessing game all right there we go i got that one not not too bad all right so we did all the hacks so now we just need to exit out of here but the issue that lester just brought up is that there is a bunch of new agents that are here now so that's going to be fun okay who is shooting me i can't even see the guys that are like even shooting at me right now oh and my teammate died nice okay good good job teammate Okay, I died too. Okay, that was great. I, I kind of took that a little carelessly. All right, we're back in the server form again. Can we actually exit this time, please? All right, I made it to the exit. My teammate just made it to the exit. So now we got to go upstairs, back to ground floor. But there's going to be a lot of noose agents that are going to be waiting on us. Yep, here we go. A lot of noose agents. This is going to be exciting. Oh my God, I'm already getting lit up. Okay. Okay, so far we're not doing bad right now, I don't think. But I am going to take out these helicopters because 
because they're annoying. Okay, my teammate is getting in the cool. It looks like he wants to fly again, which I don't know how I feel about that after he wrecked incredibly badly last time. But I'll give him another shot because he's already in the air. What is happening? What is happening? Well, I was looking at my phone. I have no idea what happened. Y'all know what happened because, well, y'all saw it. I didn't. I didn't. Land. Just land. 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 Okay, good. Jeez. Okay, get out the helicopter. I. You are scary driving a helicopter. But there we go. Set up pass. Let's move on to the finale. All right, here we go. We are jumping into the finale. And currently, right now, I am playing with the level 514. I tried to be fair and invite the guy that was in the last setup, but he didn't want to join for some reason. And for this size, I have a potential cut of over a million dollars. So this is going to be a huge payday for us. Plus, we're going to get a first time bonus. Now, I think this heist is actually pretty hard. It's definitely not the hardest heist in the game with obviously Act 3 of the Doomsday Heist. But this heist is still pretty hard, in my opinion. But some people actually think that Act 2 is a lot harder harder than act one of the doomsday heist now, if you actually think that you need to rethink some things i swear act two is probably one of the easiest things to do in this game honestly we'll get into that a little later on in this series but right now we're doing act one and act one we have to kill a lot of people and right now i'm a little bit of a low level and by the way we're doing this heist on hard so we can get even more money so we have no spare lives but i have a high level teammate so hopefully he can carry me if i need it hopefully i don't need it at least just carry your own weight that's all i care about Hopefully, I can just take care of myself. Okay, there are already people here. So, let me park my favorite vehicle on this account, the Drift Yosemite. And let's start shooting people. Oh my god, I'm already dying. All right, everyone's taken out. So, we're going to head on into here. And this is where the fun begins. Because there is a ton of people that we have to take out. Oh, and my teammate died. That is fantastic. All right, good job. Way, way to carry your own weight. It's not like you're level 514 or anything. All right, here we go. Can we actually complete this right here? I mean, people say that this is easy than act two and let's see if this guy can actually prove that i feel like i'm so dialed in right now i have no idea why i feel like i'm doing great oh no i felt like i was doing really really good i got a little careless there oops oh my god i had 17 kills he only had six i don't have to send him an invoice for my chiropractor bill jeez my bag is gonna be torn up after this just carrying him on my back as a level 24 oh my gosh all 515 levels of him oh my oh okay is the coast clear i have no idea okay i'm making a run for it oh he's making a run for it too all right nice i sort of made it to here i think this is a checkpoint i don't remember oh no you gotta be kidding me i i swear that one was just unfortunate because i killed one guy another guy came out the door and just shotgunned me all right where do we spawn we spawn downstairs no we spawn upstairs yeah act two is a lot harder ha 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 all right let's move up move up let's go dude why are you still upstairs teammate when i go downstairs you follow me to go downstairs it'll just stay upstairs and just go oh, blah 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 yeah once again i'm carrying 17 to 8 oh yeah so some people, at least during my prison break heist video, they said that I should teach my teammates exactly what to do. There's literally no teaching I can do for this whatsoever. It's shoot and move to where the game wants you to go. I think I know what my teammate's doing wrong. He is just shooting and just hoping he hits. See, these guys are heavily armored. You need to be getting headshots like that. See, I, hit, I literally hit that guy dead on in the head and just dropped down like a bag of milk. See, now this guy's getting desperate. He's using explosives. Don't need explosives if he can just hit your shots lucky for me i can hit my shots yeah he is going insane with homing missiles now no okay making sure everyone up here is dead so my teammate has no excuse to be messing around up here man this is not even a good shotgun i'm using i'm using the bullpup shotgun and i'm are you kidding me i thought i was in a pretty comfortable spot no i'm not that's pretty much a five to one ratio almost it's almost a five to one ratio how in the world did you get to level five 514 by sucking. Maybe he just does a lot of raises or something like that. If he's gotten this high of a level off of combat, then oh my god. Yeah, he's he's losing his mind. I mean, that's cool you're using the Widowmaker. You've already proven you're not a good shot. You're not going to be a good shot while using the Widowmaker. I can guarantee you that if you're already not a good shot. Oh god, he's going on his own too. I don't even trust him to go on his own. And my teammate died. He probably had like a total of maybe like four kills again. Yeah, he did. Literally four and I had 13. Oh my god. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right.
die. I'm not gonna die from here on out. I'm gonna guarantee that to all of you. It's just not gonna happen. Yeah, I guaranteed I wouldn't die. I didn't guarantee that he wouldn't die because holy crap, how do you die that early? Okay, well, there was one attempt I died that early, but that was a freak thing. That was a freak thing. All right, all right, all right, all right. If he doesn't die, we're gonna complete this. I guarantee you that. Honestly, he might just need to stay back and just let me do all this on my own because I can take care of this. Okay, I think everyone's dead up here. Okay, nice. So now my teammate has no excuse just to mess around up there and die. One, my teammate's in front of me. Two, that was so quick. Three, I had relatively good health. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. All right, no more dying, no more dying, no more dying. It's just none, just no more, no more, no more. Okay, my teammate's not moving. Um, Maybe that's a good thing. It gives me an opportunity to do everything on my own. Well, so far doing this on my own has been working. My teammate's just stopped. Wait, there's a guard kind of pushing towards him. I have to like kind of protect him low key. Oh no, he's moving again. Oh man. All right, can we make it past this level? We haven't even made it past this level yet like level floor okay is that everyone i think that might be everyone from here right okay i'm gonna keep going i'm keeping going this is the first we've gone so far a lot of these kills that i've gone were from when he was just afk oh my god there's even more holy i'm pretty sure this is a checkpoint this is a checkpoint so i mean i would love to complete this right here but it's not the end of the world now if we don't everyone's dead okay we can oh not everyone but all we have to do is just go to the war room all right let's go into the war room now let's enter a gun camera okay yeah the hard part's done now this part's easy. All you have to do is just pretty much just take out enemies like, oh, pew. oh my God, that's a bad shot. Like that. See, ta-da. Is that everything? Please, 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 please. Let's be done. Oh, hey, Agent 14. Hello, hello. And some lady, I forgot her name, whatever. And there we go. Heist passed. All right, actual earnings. We got $1,218,000. I got 85% of it and I got $1,035,000. And unfortunately, we had a quick restart a few times and I get a $50,000 first time bonus. So that's something. So in total, I made $1,085,000. All right, so after doing Act 1 of the Doomsday Heist, I now have $1,479,000. So we still have a long, long ways to go in order to buy the Tor Door Neck. Six episodes ago, I started as a level one on a new account in GTA Online. And the only way I have made money on this account is by spinning a wheel, determining what I should do to make money. So today in this video, I will spin that wheel again to see what I will do to make money. So welcome to the seventh episode of season two of Loser to Luxury. And without further ado, let's jump into it. So right now I am currently on the wheel of quick cash. But before we spin the wheel of quick cash, I just want to remind you that we are trying to buy the Torador next coming in at $4,250,000. And currently right now I have $1,479,000. So we need to still make just under three three million dollars but how are we going to start out this episode in order to make money and it looks like we are going to have to try to find g's cash all right so right now i'm on the wheel of making money so what are we going to have to do in this episode in order to make money and it looks like we are going to have to try to join our first heist as a guest so we have to join a random heist but it is not including original heist and right here, I am on the wheel of random heist. And whatever heist it lands on on this wheel, we're going to have to try to join that heist. And on here is going to be the Cayo Perico heist, the Diamond Casino heist, and the Doomsday heist. But let's just spin the wheel and let's see what heist we're going to have to randomly join. And it looks like we are going to have to randomly join the Cayo Perico heist. Honestly, the hard part about the Cayo Perico heist is not actually the Cayo Perico heist itself. It's more of trying to find someone that will actually let me join their heist at random because they'll just immediately kick out a low level like me. <laughs> Honestly, I don't blame them, but I want to try to find that one guy. And also, since this is our first time doing the Kyle Perico heist, I am not going to spin the Wheel of Heist challenges. If we do the Kyle Perico heist again, I'll spin the Wheel of Heist challenges. But for the first time on this account, we're not going to spin the Wheel of Heist challenges. All right, so I'm back on the wheel of making money. So what else in this episode am I going to have to do in order to make money? And 
and it looks like we are going to have to play the new boosted money job for this week. Now, as I'm recording this, I'm recording this on Saturday, and this video is going to come out on Thursday of the next week. So what I'm going to do in this episode is not going to be boosted for the week you're watching this. And the boosted money job for this week is not going to be Assault on Kyle Perico. Well, a lot of my recent videos, I've actually done Assault on Kyle Perico, so we're not doing that in this episode again. All right, so now I'm on the wheel of one to two hours, and this is going to determine how long I can actually play the boosted money job for this week. But let's just see how long we are going to have in order to do the boosted money job for this week. And it looks like we are going to have, is this going to be an hour or an hour and 30? Okay. We only have one hour to do the boosted money job for this week. So I only have an hour to do the boosted money job for this week. And then I'm going to have to join a random Kyle Perico heist as a guest. But first, I am going to have to go and try to find G's cash. All right, so I've made it to the location where G's cash is. So I got to look around this area and try to find the hidden box. All right, I actually found G's cash. So let's pick it up. And there we go. I got $16,444 plus ammo and snacks. But now let's get into the boosted money job for this week. All right, so the boosted money job for this week is going to be the Arena War Series. So I have one hour to do the Arena War Series to try to make as much money as possible. Now, Arena War is actually pretty fun in my opinion, but it does not make you a lot of money. Hopefully, I can just win these Arena War modes so I can just make a few thousand dollars. Hopefully, hundreds of thousands of dollars, but we're just gonna have to find out. All right, so I've joined an Arena War mode. Here comes the Monsters 1, and as soon as we load into the game, I'm going to start my time. Timer. All right, here we go. Clock has just started. Here we go. Here comes the monsters number one. Right now, I am in a Winnie Issy apocalypse. And if I remember this one correctly, I think we just have to survive as a Winnie Issy. Yeah, avoid being destroyed. Okay. I mean, my name is Dr. Crush. I'm the one that does the crushing. So, yeah, I'm not going to die, guaranteed. And right now, we're being chased by monster trucks. <laughs> Look, here's a monster truck. <laughs> Look at this. This guy is not even playing. What a loser. Well, if he doesn't play, we'll just automatically win. Or maybe not automatically, but you know. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And if the monster trucks get destroyed, then the timer in the bottom right decreases by 30 seconds. Wow, I'm literally just watching. See, look, there's a monster truck right there that's actually playing. They have this monster truck who's like AFK. You know what? I'm getting bored. I'm going to get into the gun tower. You know, I think it'll be fun for me to get in the gun tower. All right, where's the monster truck? Where is the monster truck? Wait, what happened? Why is my vehicle health dead? Did that AFK guy, like, come back? Well, here's a wheel. I mean, yeah, let's just spin the wheel. You know, it's it's a new wheel to spin. Um, it's the Arena War one, and we get 125 Arena War points. That's worthless. So that's great. We only have two out of seven contenders left. Um, I was just kind of messing around, and then I died. Oh, yeah, I can literally see them now. Both monster trucks are going. Oh, there goes one of my teammates. So I only have one teammate left. We have 30 seconds to go. Can that teammate survive for 30 seconds? Uh-oh, uh-oh, he's pinned. Uh-oh, that guy's pinned. Oh, my God, he made it out. Wait a minute. Oh, there's three monster trucks. Oh, I thought it was just two. Oh, okay. Well, all three, I think, are playing now. Yeah, all three are playing, but it doesn't matter. We win. Yeah, there we go. Round winner. Yeah, I did a lot. Yeah. Uh, you know, I just had to turn into Dr. Clutch again, you know. I got $14,000 off of that. Why did I only get 14, but everyone else got 29? What, what is this BS? All right, round number two. Here comes the monsters. I am once again in a Winnie Issy. I'll actually, like, focus this time. Oh my god, I already see a monster truck. Look at this loser. Look at this loser. He's like staring at me. Yeah, come here. Come here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got it. Yeah, you got it. Come on, try to get up here. Oh, oh, man. You suck. Loser. You suck. Yeah, come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, you got it. You got it. You got it. Oh, oh. Oh, you're getting up here. Oh my God, there's another monster truck. Okay, I'm out. I don't think my vehicle even took any damage from that too. Yeah, okay, this might be a goaded spot because it is incredibly tough for a monster truck to get up here. Yeah, just chilling out. Just chilling out on a plane. Oh, there's another monster truck. Yeah, come here, monster truck. Yeah, oh, 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 nice wheelie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're doing great. Yeah, come here. Come on, guy. Oh, 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 okay. I actually kind of got hit though. Oh, skirts. Oh, I put the jukes on him. Man, just call me Christian McCaffrey, am I right? I just ran over a bomb, and there's the monster truck. Oh, God. Man, he just had to kill me, of all people. You know, I sacrificed myself. I was a big distraction. You know, that's a team win right there. All right, let me spin the wheel. Let's see what I get here. Come on. Oh, I got 50 arena war points. Wow. Yeah, thank you. Wow, thank you. So generous. My God, all my team pretty much died. There's only two of us left. And I mean, one of us left. 
And I mean, zero of us left. Okay, wow. Round loser. Man, I had such a goaded spot. You have to admit, I had such a goaded spot. Why am I getting less money? Oh, wait, is it because all these people have GTA Plus? It could be. I find that hard to believe, though. If you have GTA Plus, it's times four money for you this week. Dude, I find that so hard to believe, though. It's that many people have GTA Plus. <laughs> I just, I find it really, really hard to believe. All right, round number three of Here Comes the Monsters. I'm still gonna go back to my spot. I think my spot is incredibly goaded, especially if there's new people in the monster trucks. Three of my teammates just died just immediately. I don't know how that happened. There's a monster truck right there. I think I just pinned myself in a corner. So let me back up into the monster truck. See, he didn't expect me to do that. And now I'm gone. Yeah, Christian McCaffrey of Arena War. Is that guy still after me? Yeah, that guy is just trying to get me. Why is everyone just trying to get me? I mean, like, let me live. Let me live. Let me go to my spot and let me just take a breather. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy knows what's up. I think that was the guy that killed me last time. All right, now the chaos has settled down a little bit. No one's trying to go after me right now. Oh, here's this guy. Oh, and then I just watched my teammate die just right in front of me. Wow, okay, there's two monster trucks right here. That guy whiffed because he's garbage. It's such a good spot. Oh, yeah, you're doing great. Yeah. Oh, dang. So close, man. So close. So close. You, you got this. Come on. All right, I'm going to go now just to be annoying. And then I'm just going to drive around, you know, have a fun time. My health, my health, my health. Okay, 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 okay. That's stupid. He barely clipped me and I just die. All right, whatever. Let's spin the wheel. Let's see what I get, you know, blah, blah, blah. I've spun a lot of wheels today 500 rp that's fantastic thank you you know i could get money but i haven't gotten money two of my teammates are left with like less than a minute to go so hopefully i was a big enough distraction for my teammates so maybe not that teammate that just died oh my god they just ran into each other with less than five seconds to go but it doesn't matter because we just won round winner there we go Yep, here I am getting only $14,000. Yeah, everyone really must have GTA Plus, which I didn't think that many people had GTA Plus, but that, that's the only logical explanation I can think of. But it's okay, $14,000 for that amount of time isn't terrible. All right, here we go. Round number four. I'm still in the ISSI. I would have liked to have been a monster truck, but it's okay. Probably not gonna even be a monster truck at all because the next team that wins, wins it all. All right, you know the drill. You know the drill. We're gonna get up here. Yeah, see, that guy even knows the drill too. I'm gonna get in my spot. Oh, okay. This is the guy. He understands. This guy understands. Well, oh, he doesn't understand how to get up here, though. I have to keep a close eye on this guy. <laughs> I'm just occupying this guy. Okay, we might be in a little sticky situation. Help, just roll around. Yeah, that's how we're gonna win. Just roll around on our roof. Jeez, I'm trying to get back on my wheels and just no, roll, 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 roll. Can I get something good? Okay, $4,000 for my troubles. Yeah, at, at least you gave me money. All right, I was not a good teammate there. There's a lot of time left on the clock. Oh, okay, yeah, there goes all my teammates. Yeah, so we lost. Yeah, we lost every time when the guy in the blue monster truck was one of the monster trucks. So yeah, that, that guy knew what he was doing for sure. All right, so the clock is still running right now that took less than 20 minutes i think i made a decent amount of money but uh, we're gonna quickly try to join another arena war mode all right here we go we're jumping into another arena war mode we're doing wreck it which is essentially just a big race but you have to survive we did this in my gta plus video and right now i'm on a death bike a lot of other people are on zr 380s i feel like the death bike could actually be really good for this because the death bike has like really good braking i'm hoping my braking will be good that's what i'm hoping for so currently right now i'm in six make it third fourth that's a tree nice awesome by the way there's 15 people in this race right now and also it's 15 laps so. the laps really don't matter too much it's more about just surviving i'd say holy what I got a kill, but then I died because I fell off my bike. Oh, yeah. The other thing about Wreck-It 2 is that we pretty much just finish. That's it. That's it. Once you die, you're done. That is so stupid. Wow, I got 11. That was fantastic. Um, 7,900 honestly isn't bad for me dying pretty much in the first minute. But yeah, first place got over $100,000. Yeah, I wish that was me. Probably should have used something other than the death bike. But it's okay. We learn, we move forward. All right, here we go. We are jumping into another arena war mode. We're doing carnage. And right now I'm in this very big truck. I don't know if this is going to be good, to be honest. But I read somewhere it's supposed 
to be good. I don't know if I believe it or not. So essentially, this is like a last man standing. 12 out of 12 people remain. And I just need to be the last one to remain. This vehicle sucks. I already hate this vehicle. Yeah, I can't I can't drive. I can't drive this thing. I've already cornered myself. Oh, you're bullying. They're bullying. I am at a severe handicap. This is terrible. Why did I pick this? So right now, pretty much, I'm trying to avoid everyone because this is a game of survival. This is not a game of killing. You know what? This is better for me. This is better for me because I'm not on the ground. Why are you shooting at me? Stop, 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 stop. It bugs me when you do that. I would. Can you stop? Get away. Get away. This is awkward. This is so awkward. Okay, I escaped that somehow. I don't know how I escaped that, but I did. Just keep going, I guess. I swear, it's, I feel like it's me against the world right now because I am. So, <laughs> I can barely control this thing. Oh my god, there's a guy over there that barely is like taking any damage. Yeah, that guy's probably gonna win. No. No, no, don't go after me. What did I do to you? You selfish clown. You're selfish, man. Can I just get out of here, please? Just, I want to go into a corner and hide. Like, figure two. Okay, never mind. Well, I died. There we go. Ha, 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 ha. That was just a terrible vehicle to pick. That, that was on me. I had to be so defensive there, <laughs> aka run away. But at least I landed on $4,000. Woo. And unfortunately, I got seventh. And only got $6,400. That's terrible. That's terrible. All right, here we go. We are jumping into another arena war mode. We're doing flag war number two. And we have just over 15 minutes left. I set this on four rounds. So I'm going to turn off my timer. And this is going to be our final thing that we're going to do. All right, so all we have to do is to go over, steal a flag like so. And then we have to go down. And then we have to just deliver that flag back to our home base. And I chose a death bike because the death bike is incredibly elusive compared to a lot of the other vehicles and there we go look at that we're leading one to nothing we're literally winning one to nothing because i'm good at this game it's gonna be this cycle over and over again yeah we're winning three one yeah yeah we're just gonna run up the score i don't know if we have good defense but you know what the best defense is offense okay whoever has our flag right now is being stupid you deliver the flag you don't just sit there and just do nothing with the flag there's so much happening right here who has our flag and how are you this bad I, it's kind of embarrassing how bad you are you just just drive. I don't get this. Oh, there's just a lot going on. Okay, he just delivered the flag. Okay, I gotta go steal the flag. Yeah, with this death bike, since it's not custom, I don't have any weapons, so pretty much all I can do is pretty much just flick people off like this. All right, there we go. I captured the flag once again. I am literally... My teammate is griefing. Just hit me. He just hit me. He hit me the wrong way. Luckily, I landed on my feet, or wheels, but whatever. There's one monster truck up there trying to defend the flag. You know what I do? I just drive right by him. I don't know if he's like not paying attention or whatnot, but I literally just drive right by him and I don't care. Oh, finally, finally, someone on the opposing team actually defended for once. Wow, you're cute, aren't you? Look, look, I'm just going to just... Ah, gotcha, yeah, mm -mm. you thought, you thought. All right, I'm losing count. Is this going to be my sixth flag delivered? I think this is number six, yeah. Yeah, it's really tough, in my opinion, to defeat a death bike in this game mode. Excuse me, excuse me, everyone. Uh, I gotta go through here. <laughs> ah, you thought, you really thought. Oh, one of my teammates took the flag, so I did all that for nothing. Good job. Yeah, they have like an open door policy for their flag flag. I, I don't know what is up with that. You know, I'm fine with it. I enjoy their open door policy. You know what else I really, really enjoy? I really enjoy the clock hitting triple zeros and then the screen saying round winner. There we go. Let's move on to the next round. Look at that. I delivered seven. The team is on my back and literally there's other people that are getting like almost 50k for that round. But then there's me who's carrying the team. I only get 23,000. All right. Round number two of flag war number two. It's time for me to carry once again. I I think literally there was one person on the other team that had two flags delivered and then everyone else that delivered a flag only delivered one flag and then there was me who delivered not one not two not three or four or five or six not even six you would think six no seven seven okay that guy's taking the flag nice uh i guess i'll just wait he's like when i grow up i want to be like that guy that guy delivering all the flags and well he's doing a good job he just delivered the flag nice all right i just took the flag again you know how it is back to what i do best just stealing a flag and just running away with it like it's nothing. Like I said, the best defense is offense. We <laughs> just no defense whatsoever. I just run straight through. Not care. Excuse me. Pardon me. Someone deliver the flag, please. Dude, I swear. Whoever takes the flags on our team is so slow with it. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Just like taking their time with the flags. I mean, like, no, we go from point A to point B. We keep our foot on the gas. We do not want to see the purple team catch up. There should just be no mercy 
controversy whatsoever. I swear, if there was a real crowd right now, they'd be chanting MVP right now for me. And there we go, round winner once again. You know how it is. Delivered six flags that time. And we actually had some people get over two delivered flags that time. We have two players that were at three flags delivered. All right, round number three of flag war. We just need to continue our dominance. It is a pure master class right now. It is a master class held by Professor Dr. Crush, just absolutely crushing the opposition. So I mean, like, look, there's this dorky monster truck. Okay, never mind. The monster truck. Okay, okay, okay. That's fine. That's fine. I'm taking the hit for my team because my other teammate will just pick it up like so, you know? That's how I drew it up, you know? You didn't see that in my repertoire. Dude, there's so many people on offense for us right now. It's so crazy. Dude, I keep running into the stupid mines from that guy. I guess it's cute and whatnot, but you know, I'm just trying to clear the floor for my teammates, you know? I mean, he should know that by now, but he just doesn't. All right, let me pick this flag up. Thanks. <laughs> it's literally just a fight between my team of who's gonna get the flag first at this point <laughs> it's literally all it is just absolutely neglecting defense oh my god uh my vehicle is disabled because of an emp mine help ouch oh did the time already expire i wasn't really paying attention because you know when you absolutely dominate the opposition it, 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 you know how it is it's just like it's a big snooze fest see i only delivered five that time see i'm having teammates you know like delivering the same amount of flags as me see that's what happens people watch me and then they learn they're like wow that guy that guy knows what he's doing all right here we go final round of flag war number two now it's not actually the final round but i mean there could be a potential of seven rounds but i'm calling it final round because we are absolutely just destroying the purple team like i don't even know why the purple team's even showing up at this point i actually don't think any of the purple team has left that's actually pretty shocking in my opinion excuse me pardon me oh okay okay i took the hit so my teammate that actually captured the flag wouldn't take that hit it's just teamwork right there it's absolute teamwork and there we go we're already winning one nothing see that guy maybe can like rack up kills against me and like sure maybe it's like kd ratios going up because of it but this isn't about kd ratio Dude, I swear, my teammates are, like, throwing me off the ledge. Like, I'm trying to get a flag, and every single one of my teammates is just smacking me off. You're like, what is the teamwork in that? I thought we had a good system. You know, I do all the work. Dude, I swear, this guy thinks he's cool. I'm gonna get a lot more money than you, clown. But that's fine, you know, if he wants to get killed, sure. I don't mind my KD ratio going down, because I don't care. It's, like, the only logical reason that he's, like, trying to get kills. Like, let's just face it, we all know that he's not going to win, so there's just no, like, good reason why he'd be killing another flag delivered by me. I think I've delivered three now this round. A little slower this round, but, you know, my teammates are, like, actually doing good or trying to battle me just to try to deliver more flags which it's fine it's a nice team friendly battle all right and there we go match winner a complete sweep brought out the broomsticks got hundred and thirty one thousand dollars off of that that's a good way to end off look at that look at that look it's me my boy yeah you know it shouldn't yeah, i don't know why he's up there i should be one front and center but it's fine whatever see i delivered 22 flags the next closest at 11 oh wait the next closest at 12 i think that was the other team but next closest on my team was 11 yeah oh was a clear MVP. All right, so after playing Arena War, I now have $1,695,000. So we made a little bit over $200,000 there. Actually not bad at all for only an hour of work, honestly. But now it is time for me to join a random Kyle Perico heist. All right, so we were able to join a random guy up Perico heist. And, um, I don't even know where we spawned in. Where, where are we? Oh, my God. I, that's what I thought. We're all the way over here. Jeez. We're all the way near the north dock. Like, where the heck are we supposed to go? I have never done the Kasaka route going to the north dock. Yeah, if you do the Kasaka, go straight to the drainage tunnel. All right, yeah, this sucks. This absolutely sucks right now, low key. Can I steal your boat? Okay, I shot that guy. Can I actually steal that boat this would be so much easier with the boat i would love to boat around yep i have a boat now this is fantastic now how am i supposed to do this like i don't even know if our guy's even gotten like the cutting torch which you kind of need that so i have no idea what i'm doing i literally have no freaking idea what what we're doing whatsoever my teammate is right here we got the cutscene saying this was like his first time so that's lovely but i have no idea where we're supposed to go as far as the north dock is concerned i have no idea the game plan i don't even think there is a game plan you know what? Let's go on an adventure. The adventure is not on the other side of the boat. The adventure starts within the boat. Okay, we've already, like, pissed off people. That's great. I don't know how that happened. 
wait a minute. Pavel is telling me that he just saw some weird move. I saw some blip on the screen. Did I just see the Loctis monster? I think the Loctis monster is actually in GTA, like at Kyo Perico. I think I just saw it for a brief second. Hopefully my editor can display that clearly. Yeah, Pavel was just talking about it. All right, anyways, that, that's kind of cool though, but um, can I get in here? No, we don't have cutters. That's lovely. That is so great. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just drop a grenade right here and then we're not going to die. Hey, can you kill me? There we go. Finally died. All right, there we go. I'm dead again. Um, okay, there we go. I'm out of lives. I'm going to look up more information on the Loctus monster. Yeah, it is an Easter egg, and it is a part of the Cayo Perico heist. I heard it was really, really rare. Like, not a lot of people have seen it. I think I just saw it. I swear, I just saw it. Yeah, yeah, no, it checks out. I saw it. I saw the Loctus monster. I'm that guy. I am that guy. Let me watch a YouTube video about it real quick to confirm what I'm thinking. All right, there we go. We all finally died. I'm still looking up the Loctus monster stuff. I got him watching. Watching. saw it from afar it's when you get close to it it dives straight back into the water and that's pretty much what happened all right so we saw the Loch Ness monster but yeah can we actually complete this heist i have no idea how the heck i am going to get into the compound we have no cutters to cut through the drainage tunnel We're not even close to the drainage tunnel so yeah this is going to be incredibly interesting all right some of my teammates alerted the guards yeah we are playing with complete morons i am honestly just tempted to just leave this pretty much like right now after this attempt because these guys are not even going to get close. It's kind of cool I will admit that we got to see the Loctus monster. I've never done that before so that's kind of cool but at the end of the day I'd still like to complete this at some point. Alright, alright, alright. Well I'm here I am here near the compound uh, here's an enemy that just decided to just drive up right next to me. That's fun I mean I could try to do this aggressively but I mean like definitely not supposed to do this aggressively. Someone's getting loot from somewhere. I don't know where Alright, I've made it here. I literally have to wait now for my team to make it here one other teammates like right next to me can the rest hurry up can i drive this car oh i can oh i'm just driving around the stafford for fun you know what el rubio you don't deserve that car Okay, well, someone died as I literally just blew up that car. Unrelated, but kind of weird. All right, well, one guy just died. Nice. Another guy just died. You know what? I'm just out of here. These people, this is not a good group of people to do this heist with. So I gotta be smart. All right, so we've joined another Kyle Perico heist. We are on the log fin. All right, so yeah, I definitely do not think we should be doing this with the long fin. The best way to do this is with the Kasatka, but actually parking the Kasatka right next to the drainage tunnel. I mean, as long as we get it done, then who am I? to say but i would like to get this done it's another heist with four people also so hopefully everyone can do their job oh yeah i just realized too like our main job should be getting gold right why are we here then if our main job is really to collect gold as far as secondary loot is concerned a lot of people get pissed when i start collecting anything but gold when there's other players in the session but yet here i am with other players and they love to get everything but gold also which i agree gold is definitely what you should be getting but we're not getting gold who pissed i don't know what happened i really do not know what happened <laughs> someone left that's so funny all right time to blow myself up all right, yeah, we failed finally. Jeez, okay. Can we actually, like, get serious now? All right, let's try this again. Hopefully, we don't lose our cover. When I mean we, I mean the other people. I'm once again gonna give this one one more attempt because I kind of already have a feeling that these guys don't really understand this heist either. And he's already not moving. All right, I'm not here to just sit on a boat. I'm here to, like, you know, rob Kai up Rico. So, yeah, I'm out. Bye. Made that a little easier for me. All right, let's try this Cayo Perico heist once again. We are in the Kasaka this time, and we're actually going straight for the drainage tunnel. So we'll actually, for the first time, make it into the compound. We saw the Loctus monster. That's pretty cool, but we have not made it into the compound. I haven't made it to the compound ever on this account, technically. Oh, wait, that's not true, technically. I went in the compound on Assault on Cayo Perico, the new adversary map. But in the actual heist, I have not been inside the compound, which is kind of embarrassing. This is my third attempt. Okay, we actually actually made it into the compound. We're here. We are here. All right, so now we need to find um, a key card. That's what we're looking for. Yeah, yeah, it's been a little bit. Trying to find key cards. 
And I found a key card. Very nice. Oh my God, they're a little risky. They took out the juggernaut. Okay, I see you. Uh, I'll just take the heist from here on out. I, I got this. I got this taken care of. All right, I have no idea what my teammates are doing right now, but I just collected the gate keys and I have one key card. I'll collect the other key card soon. All right, the other key card has been picked up and that teammate is going to click that wall safe and I'll do the hack. You know, I'm pretty quick with the hacks. Oh my God, I hear the alarms going off. How did we screw up? What did we do wrong? Was well, anyone I killed? I barely killed anyone. That is so great. All right, yeah, so my teammates are committing suicide. So I will join them and we'll reset. All right, let's try this again. Hopefully we do not get caught this time. I don't know how we got caught last time. One of my teammates killed 11 guards. So, and that is a little bit risky. Oh my God, I got way too close. Okay, whatever. Um, No one spotted anything. I picked up a key card too. So that is great. That is absolutely great. And we got the guards caught on us. I don't know. I don't know what we did wrong. My teammates are being too reckless. All right, let's try this again. Hopefully my teammates can actually not get caught. I swear that guy got caught again. I swear. I don't know why he keep getting caught. I think he's running into that camera the same exact thing. I don't know what camera because I'm not following him. Okay, I found the key card. Jeez, this is not where I expected the key card would be, but that's okay. Who? Who got caught? I swear every time I find the key card, my teammate gets caught. I know I was not in the range of that camera. It's always timed so perfectly right after I find the key card it's like boom my team is like ah oh, let me let me just throw my brain out the window all right i found a key card again do not get caught immediately once again please and thank you he got caught again i don't know what you're doing i don't know what that guy is doing he keeps getting caught right after i find the key card I don't know why. I don't know why you keep doing that. All right, please, everyone here, use your brains. Please and thank you. Oh, great. I got paid $10,000 for being an associate. That's so great. I love that. I would like to be paid a lot more for completing this heist. How about that? Where are the key cards? I have not found a key card. I don't think any of my teammates have picked up a key card either. There's only one other guy, and it's literally the guy upstairs right in here. Is this really the guy that has the key card? Because if so, then my gosh. No, wait. Where is the key card? I think everyone else has been killed. I'm pretty sure. Oh, okay. Someone else found the key card. That's nice. There we go. Good job. I think that guy that's been caught a ton of times finally found the key card. All right. I'm going to go through here and I'm going to go get the... Oh, it's only tequila. I wasn't even paying attention to that, but I'll get it. You know, it's fine. I'll take care of all of it. Just y'all don't get caught, please. All right. I am inside of here and I'm very close to the vault this time. No, 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 no. You need to get out of here. No, no, no. No, 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 you do not deserve to get. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I'm the one that deserves to get into the vault. You've done nothing but be a freaking annoyance. It's your own heist. I'm literally carrying your heist right now. Or at least I'm not an obstacle to your heist. And it's already just pissing me off. You stay back and just sit there. I'll get the tequila. I'll do all the work for you. It's fine. I'm okay with that. Who got caught? Why did you get caught? Just stop being stupid. Stupid. I don't get people. I do not get people. The leader just messaged me, said no. What do you mean no? What do you mean no? That's last? What are you talking? What's last? There's no order. It's not you do one thing to another thing. I know one thing they don't do, or else it would make it like 10 times harder on yourself, and that's being caught. You don't get caught, but you've done that like 20 times, but it's fine, you know. Say no to me. No to what? Pick up the tequila? I don't understand people. I really don't understand people sometimes. Oh my god how many times can you be spotted by the camera you learn from your mistakes do i have to message that to him i mean i'll do it i don't know how to like say this quickly i don't know don't run into camera i mean i don't know yeah some people really want me to like freaking try to teach these people how to do this heist this is the best thing i can do it's the same mistake over and over again at that point i can't help you if you're gonna be that stupid to make the same mistake over and over again then that's your problem, which unfortunately has to spill over and becomes my problem for how the wheel spin landed. Wait, he messaged me. What did he say? He laughed. I mean, it, what? Oh my God. Oh my God. It's the same mistake. What are y'all doing? People, I swear. I don't get it. What else am I supposed to teach? Don't run into people. Don't get caught. The issue, I think, is that there's a specific path you have to take, or at least that you should take. There are multiple paths, but there's some avenues that 
that you can take where you won't get caught. And unfortunately, these guys keep running into the same pitfalls and it's the same traps. And there we go. Your CEO quit. Wait, the CEO needs to quit and move to another game. I don't know what else to say. He kept running into the same mistakes. It was the same spots. He kept being caught. If you run into the same mistake over and over again and not try to change it, then no one can help you. There's just no way that I'm supposed to sit here and just be his savior. I really tried my best. I even grabbed the tequila and said, no, that's last. What are you talking about? You can get anything at whatever time. Freaking moron. We have to find another one. That's great. All right, I have joined another Kyle Perico heist. It's been like 30 minutes um, since the last heist that we joined. And that's because everyone wants to kick me because they either want to do it on their own or they don't want a level 20. What am I? Five? Oh, I'm a level 28. They don't want a level 28, which, yeah, I understand that. I understand that part. Now, we're doing this with one other teammate. Hopefully, this teammate knows what he's doing. I wasn't paying attention to his level. So he's a level 83. Not bad at all. But I don't know if I trust levels because, well, last episode, joined a Doomsday Heist Act 1 with a level like 500 and something. And he was probably the worst shooter I've ever seen. The last guy of break guys that we joined, the leader was a level 100 and kept getting caught. So I don't know if I trust levels anymore. All right, we're once again back inside of the compound. All right, hopefully my teammate does not like actually get caught by a guard. That would be incredibly nice. All right, so right now I'm just walking around pretty much. Oh my God, that was bad. That was so bad. That was probably the worst. Wait, was that my? Okay, I'm confused. I'm not convinced that that was my fault. I really do not think that was my fault. Like, yeah, okay, okay. The shots were my fault, but I don't think that was the reason the alarms went off. I really do not think that's the reason why the alarms went off. I think that was my teammate's fault because I think I still killed that guy in time. I don't know. It's just the first attempt. All right, okay. This guy has a key card. Nice. So I found the first key card. So now we can just get inside the vault. So now we just need to go to El Rubio's office and then we'll be able to find the second key card. Who? Who? Who got caught? I, I don't think I got caught there again. I took my normal route and we got caught. Once again, I don't think it's my fault. I really want to just follow one of these teammates to see exactly what they're doing wrong. But at the same time, I want to be kind of efficient and get the key cards and everything. So I find the key card and then immediately after that, I'm just going to follow my teammate. All right, there we go. Found a key card. All right, so now it is time for me to go to my teammate. My teammate is... Okay, he literally had the juggernaut spot him. Okay. Okay, I know exactly what happened that time. He went down this, like, hallway right in here. Um, yeah, I don't go down that hallway. I kind of try to stay away from it. I have to walk past it, though. Okay, I found the key card once again. All right, I'm literally just going to run right back to my teammate. I'm going to follow his every move so I can confirm whether or not it's his fault. All right, so, so far, my teammate now is actually, like, not getting caught. I don't know where he's going. I I, I don't like this path that he's taken, but as like, uh oh, okay. He almost got caught. Everyone's running around with the pistol, which I don't understand that. He's running around with the, the machine pistol. Why is that what you're running around with? He, he has the assault shotgun loadout. That's confusing to me, but that's okay. Oh, and y'all are gonna hate this. He's getting the painting, even though we have both of the key cards. He can get the second painting. That is completely fine with me. Um, I'm going to get the gold, because that's more money. It's more profitable to get gold than some paint on a piece of paper. Right, so we hacked our way into here. My teammate's loot bag is completely filled up, which I guess that's fine. Um, now my teammate's running away over here. I, You're one confusing person right now. I have no idea what you want to do. Okay, so he's going to collect the bear bonds. This time we have bear bonds, which is a little bit better for me. A little bit more money. Instead of that tequila, I took that one attempt. The last heist I did, and then the person said, no, you do that last. No, no, there's no specific order. It's just if you do it right or if you not do it right. Alright, so my teammate has collected the main target. Very nice. So now I I am going to go over here and we, or me, I am going to collect the gold because that's all I really can get. Uh oh. Okay, 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 okay. All right, so we have been caught by the guards. I think I understand it this time. He killed a guard in one spot, but he didn't kill the juggernaut. And I think the juggernaut spotted a dead guard. I think that's what happened. So we just didn't kill the juggernaut, essentially. Is my teammate just going to make a run for it? Okay, so my teammate died. Um, what should I do? 
do. You know, screw it. I just want to get out of here at this point. <laughs> get, get me off this island, please. I Just please get me off this island. I don't care if I have a full loot bag. I have enough. It's almost 1.30 in the morning. I am tired. I just, I want this to be over with. Please pit the button and let's exit. All right, yeah. I'm making my big escape right here. Get me on this vapid winky and I am going to just get the F out of here. Oh, good. I got paid another $10,000 for being an associate. That's great. Thank you. I would just like to be paid like what? Right around $200,000, I think, in total for this. Oh, wait. No, I get a first time bonus. I don't even know. I forgot the first time bonus. How much that is. I think it's 100K. I don't know. We'll figure it out. And there we go. We actually completed the guy with break ice. Not cleanly, though. Not cleanly, but at this point, I don't care. And there we go. Heist passed. Wait, they only ranked me platinum? What? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what's wrong? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. I earned zero dollars off the Kyle Perico heist? Excuse- What? Excuse me? Huh? What? Hello? Y'all are joking, right? Y'all are joking. Y'all have to be joking. All right, I'm back. Yeah, I didn't get paid for that. What? Are you kidding me? Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Did he lag out or something like right before? Hey, uh, what? I don't know. I don't know. I uh, I get credited for doing the Kyle Perico High. See, look in the bottom left. I get an award for doing the Kyle Perico High, but I don't get paid for it. Well, that was the biggest scam job. And now I'm in an awkward spot. I don't know if I actually want to do another Kyle Perico High. It, it took Took me so long just to try to join a Kyle Perico heist that I might just end this video. You know, I am. I am ending this video. I don't want to try to join another Kyle Perico heist because I keep getting kicked and weird stuff happens when I actually get into one. So yeah, another weird episode. I keep having these weird episodes where weird stuff happens, but I don't know. I guess that's how it goes. A few episodes ago, I started as a level one on a new account in GTA Online. And the only way I have made money on this account is by spinning a wheel determining what I should do to make money. So today in this video, I will spin that wheel again to see what I will do in this episode to make money. So welcome to the eighth episode of season two of Loser to Luxury. And without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, so right now I am on the wheel of quick cash. But before I spin the wheel of quick cash, I just want to remind you that I am trying to buy the Torador next, coming in at $4,250,000. But how are we going to start out this episode? episode in order to make money and it looks like we are actually not going to get any money off of this wheel spin this is the first time we've landed on this wheel spin for this season it's by a new weapon and i have to spin the wheel of weapon classes and that's going to determine what weapon type i can actually buy all right and here's the wheel of weapon classes and i have this wheel spin on here so i can slowly gather some more different types of weapons other than the stock ones that i got but let's spin the wheel let's see what kind kind of weapon I can actually get right here. And it looks like I can get, is that going to be a submachine and light machine guns? Okay. All right. So right now I am on the wheel of making money. So what are we going to have to do in this episode in order to make money? And it looks like we are going to have to sell off our bunker. Now we kind of sold this off pretty recently, so it's not fully maxed out, but it definitely has at least $200,000 in product. So I'll sell that off in this episode, but what else in this episode am I going to have to do in order to make money? And it looks like we are going to have to do the next original heist. And the next original heist is going to be the Humane Labs Raid Heist. So we're going to do the Humane Labs Raid Heist in this episode, and then we're going to sell off our bunker. But first, I'm going to go to Ammunition and buy myself a new weapon. All right, so here I am. I am at ammunition and the SMGs that I currently have is the mini SMG in the combat PDW. But that is it. But let's browse and let's see what I can actually buy. That's going to be a part of that. And I think I'm actually going to buy the combat MG. This falls under this weapon class. So that's nice. And I really can't put any other like upgrades on it. And honestly, I don't know if I even wanted to. So there we go. We got a new gun. Well, now let's go set up the humane lab raid heist. 
All right, so I'm back at my apartment, and this is the heist planning room. So yeah, we have to set up the Humane Labs raid heist for $25,000, but we all know we have a lot more money than that. So yeah, let's set it up, and let's get started with this heist. All right, after 30 minutes of trying to find some people, we actually found a group to actually start up this setup. I also learned a trick with this. I was just messing around. She's so like, ready, ready? Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? Look, I'm popping wheelies. I'm popping wheelies. I can pop wheelies with the Drift Yosemite. I just didn't even know that i didn't even like look that up either i like accidentally stumbled upon it so that's pretty cool that's a good spot to park i think that's a great spot to park it says i'm in position too literally just wheelied right on top of this guy's car i mean my drift yosemite is better i mean there's no doubt about it i don't think there's a debate over it i guess that person didn't like what i said about my drift yosemite Oh my gosh, can y'all stop shooting? Oh my gosh, my teammates were just messing around shooting things and the contact finally arrived and I guess her cover was blown. What a great start. All right, cool. And someone left. Are you kidding me? I took 30 minutes to try to find a group of people and then one guy, the lowest level too, is just like, no, nah, I'm out. Freaking bum. Well, back to sitting and trying to find some people. All right, I was able to find another crew, but it took me another 30 minutes. I kid you not. And Hopefully, we do not fail this mission right off the bat like we did last time and someone leaves. That would be really nice. I would like to actually get some progress done on this. All right, we've made it to the location again. Hold on, hold on. Wait, let me just pop a little wheelie. I need to park. I need to park somewhere. Perfect. Right here. Perfect. That's exactly where I wanted to park it. Right on top of the anime car. <laughs> the guy's just staring at it. He's like, what the heck? Hey, what the heck? Dude, I had it in the perfect spot. Why? No, 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 no. Come on. All right, there we go. Perfect. That's perfect. Um, honestly, that might look a little weird, but it's okay. Whatever you. <laughs> yeah, I just want to get this done. Stop. Why do my teammates keep shooting? I swear, you do not shoot at this spot. What is the problem with everyone shooting at this point? Don't leave. Do not leave. Let me restart. They left again. What is up with people shooting at the wrong spot and they're just leaving? What in the world? What I don't understand, people. What? Why? 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 You're wasting my time. You're wasting your time. Stupid. All right, I have another crew once again, but this time it only took me uh, less than five minutes. This one actually didn't take that long. Very happy with that, but I'd be even happier if I can actually get some progress done on getting this heist done. We haven't even actually done a setup. Like, we haven't actually gotten to the setup for this. Like, there's supposed to be a car that drives up, and then we have, like, a mini cutscene, and then we have something to do after that, but we haven't even done that because everyone that I've joined keeps shooting. I don't get why. They just go brainless and then they freaking start shooting for no reason and then we fail and then they're like, oh, okay, I'm out. It doesn't make sense, but whatever. Hopefully that's all in the past. You know, another thing that I have been doing is that I've been parking my Yosemite on top of other people's cars. I'm not gonna do that this time. Maybe people are getting like offended by that or something, which I mean, that's kind of weird because you know, it's just a car, but it's fine, whatever. Okay, well, I don't think this guy cares. I really don't think that guy cares at all. I don't think I can park my Yosemite on top of that big monster but i don't think that guy cares <laughs> just ran over everything oh my god the car is pulling up now can we get the cutscene finally please give me the cutscene yes we got the cutscene finally the furthest we've gotten so far we still haven't even done anything oh no there's a ton of people coming and oh oh no gerald just got shot oh dang it and then for some reason the lady doesn't get shot there but it's fine whatever but now i gotta save the day so here we go oh yeah i did just buy a combat mg maybe i'll just use the combat mg right now Okay, maybe not over there, because there's a lot of explosions going on over there. Oh, yeah, I forgot to say, too, because we haven't even really done anything in these setups yet. All the setups are going to be on easy, and then the finale is going to be on hard. And we're doing that so we can hurry up, so hopefully my teammates do not fail. We can keep progressing throughout these setups so we can quickly make it to the finale. But unfortunately, my teammates before this had been failing pretty stupidly. All right, there we go. Um, everyone's dead, so we need to collect the briefcase. I'll collect the briefcase. I got gotcha. you. Then my card despawn so that's lovely so i'm gonna get into this car the car that that lady was driving and yeah i'm going to get out of here and oh i just ran over that person i am so sorry this is a garage i didn't know that was a garage whatever i so much is going on right, let me just get out of here yeah the setup is not hard at all it's really not oh my god as i said that uh, my tire got shot out and um someone died on my team so that's great but yeah all i have to do is just deliver the briefcase to the planning room and we should be good to go like i might have killed like 20 people maybe in total we had to kill right around like maybe 50 ish i'd say 
maybe 50, and then we're done. I mean, when it's a group of four, only having to take out 50 people, it's not bad. That's not bad at all. It's very quick. But yet, I've had to sit here for over an hour trying to find uh, people to join. All right, yeah, let's drop the key codes down right next to the football. Uh-huh, there we go. Nice. Okay, what else do we have to do? I have no earthly idea what, what else we're supposed to do. I mean, that's pretty much the setup. Are we passed? Okay, there we go. Setup pass. Okay, that was just a weird ending. Move on to the next one. All right, so we're jumping into the next setup. We're doing the insurgent setup right here. It only took me like 10 minutes to try to find a group, but still, it's a little longer than I want to wait, but it's not as bad as 30 minutes. But this is another easy setup, in my opinion. All we literally have to do is just steal a bunch of insurgents and then deliver them, and then ta-da. That's pretty much it. All right, so I've made it to the quarry, and there's two insurgents that we have to pick up. One of my teammates has already made it there. Hopefully, he just takes out everyone, so I can just go in, steal an insurgent, get out. And the combat MG is kind of nice. I mean, I already knew it was nice, but I mean, like, dude, the combat MG is kind of mowing down some people, you know? It has decent range on it, too. It's very powerful. The only problem with it is its accuracy is not the best. All right, well, I'm just going to get into an insurgent now, and I'm getting out of here. I don't know what my other teammate's doing. He's just, like, chilling out. I mean, like, you know, I, I took out a few people, and I was like, ah, good enough. Yeah, but now all I have to do is just take the insurgent to the drop-off. And pretty much when we complete this, this is pretty much a setup. It's not a hard setup. The only hard thing about this setup is actually getting people. All right, so I've made it to the location, but I have to take out Merriweather first because they followed me here like a bunch of dorks, you know? You know how Merriweather is. All right, there we go. Merriweather has been taken out. Pretty much a huge thanks to that guy or the rest of my teammates in that insurgent, the one with the gun. I took the, the solo friendly one and all I have to do is just run over my teammate and deliver the insurgent. And there we go. Set up pass. Let's move on to the next one. All right, here we go. We're jumping into our next setup. We are doing the EMP setup. Now, this setup's going to be a little bit more challenging, but it's still, in my opinion, pretty easy. The war setup is going to be the last setup before the finale. Okay, so my recording kind of screwed up from me introducing this setup to me getting on to this vessel right here. But yeah, here I am. I'm back now. So yeah, we're on the military ship. I already feel like I'm taking out a lot of people, even though I just got here. So we need to go to the flight deck. Oh my god, that guy had a shotgun and was not thinking he had a shotgun. We need to go upstairs and we need to go steal a Hydra. That's pretty much what we're trying to do this setup. All right, I think I've cleared myself enough of a path. I am now going to get in the Hydra. I trust myself flying a Hydra because, well, I have flown a Hydra before. I don't know about these other people, especially one that's a level five. Everyone else is a decent level though. All right, so now all we have to do is just take out a bunch of fighter jets. See, this, it's a little bit more challenging of a setup, but overall, I do not think this is challenging at all. We're going to get into more challenging setups later on. Hey, 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 controller, help, help, I'm flying. Okay, okay, no, my controller cannot do that. I swear, I swear. When I say my controller's screwing up, I know when my controller is screwing up. That's proof right there. I know people, when I say my controller's screwing up, they think it's an excuse. Oh no, it is not. It, my controller actually screws up. I, this is not the setup for my controller to screw up. The other setups I can potentially get away with. I'm flying our target. I'm flying the thing that we need right now for this setup. If I crash, the setup has failed. All right, there we go. I got the last fighter jet. So now all we have to do is just deliver the Hydra to the drop off and we should be good to go. Like I said, it's a quick setup. Shouldn't be too hard. I mean, if you don't know how to fly or not used to flying, then yeah, it's going to be a little bit harder. But yeah, not bad. Okay, land Hydra. Check. All right, now take it to the drop off. Ta-da. And there we go. Setup pass. Let's move on to the next one. All right, we're jumping into the next setup. We are doing the Valkyrie setup. All right, I've made it here. Um, I'm a little late, but my teammates haven't gone in yet. You know what? I'll take... Oh, that's not how I want to do this. It's not how I want to do this. Um, get up. Everyone's in that car. Why is everyone in that car? That car's not armored. If it was like an armored Karuma, it would make sense. Oh, why didn't I take my armored Karuma, speaking of? Yeah, I just walk in here like I own the place. Okay, my teammates have literally... Oh my god! Okay. A little ruthless there, huh? You know, I'll just do what they did. They they drove a car, and I probably should have just taken my armored Karuma, but I wasn't thinking about it. I took my favorite car in the game, the Drift Yosemite, and someone left. Okay, it doesn't matter. Never mind. I, at least I'll have another opportunity to go and get my armored Karuma. Thanks for leaving, I guess. All right, let's try this again, and this time for this setup, I brought my armored Karuma. So I'm just not going to care. I'm going to drive right past everyone. I'm going to laugh at their face, and then I'm just going to steal the Valkyrie and fly away. Simple as that. All right, here I am. I just drove right into the front. I don't care. Hello, hello. Hello, everyone. Good to see you. Um, oh, this is the entrance. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, I guess we're going to go bowling there. That's a strike. Um, just drive over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Blah, blah, blah. This is so fun. Oh my god. Oh my god. I just drove. Give me away from the gas tanker. I don't know why I drove so close to the gas tanker. All right, here I am. All right, the Valkyrie's over there. Um, I'm gonna need to get out. So I'm gonna kill the people that are like in here. All right, I've cleared out literally.
literally everyone, I'm pretty sure, over here. All right, one of my teammates is still over here. I, I gotta be a good teammate, you know, and help him out. Let me just run into that guy. Oh my god, oh my gosh. Get in the car, get in the car, get in the car now. Get in the car, get in the car. All right, nice. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, look at that, look at that. A plus teammate, am I right? And we just drive all the way to the back where I pretty much just cleared out the back. I ran into a bunch of boxes that don't move, but that's fine. And then, well, boom, here we are. We are at the Valkyrie, and well, no one did the pilot seat, so I'll take advantage of that. I'll be the pilot. All right, and now we have to destroy the pursuing helicopters. Now, the pilot seat's actually an important job for this because, like, I've had this setup done in the past where, like, the pilot is just all over the place. I can't even get a good shot on anyone. So, yeah, I need to be a steady pilot. So, I trust myself, but I don't know. All right, there we go. One helicopter done. Nice. That was very quick. I might not get credit for the kill, but we all know I was a big part of that. And wow, that was, they took that one out incredibly quick. And now all we have to do is just deliver the Valkyrie to the drop off and we should be good to go. All right, and there we go. We have delivered the Valkyrie and there we go, set up pass. We have one more setup to do before the finale. All right, here we go. We are jumping into the final setup for the Humane Labs Raid Heist. And this is going to be the most difficult setup. Now, when I say difficult, it's not actually that difficult. It's just very, very complicated. And if you don't know the right people to take out during this setup then you are absolutely screwed luckily i have a good idea of who i need to take out it's just everyone else this is going to be a stealthy setup it's kind of like kayo perico in a way except if you lose your stealth you ruin the setup you fail and you have to restart all right so we've made it to humane labs so we need to start taking out people one at a time all right let's take out that guy nice let's move forward all right so this is one part um there's an insurgent I'll show it on the map. There's an insurgent right here that's going to be driving right through here, right? So we need to hide from this insurgent. So that's why I'm on this side of the wall. They shouldn't see us. And seems like everyone has an understanding of that being potentially a problem. We don't have to kill this insurgent. We just need this insurgent not to see us. All right, there's the insurgent right there. And he is absolutely clueless that we are about to just absolutely take over Humane Labs. So now we just have to take out everyone else that's in our way. Oh my god, someone screwed up. Someone screwed up. I think someone used a real gun. Well, I, okay, all of these are real guns. Um, I alerted. Hell no. Uh, don't say I alert. I didn't do anything wrong. I was using a suppressed pistol and I killed everyone very, very quickly. The heck? Don't say me. All right, let's try this again. I still don't think that was my fault. I took out everyone very efficiently. Pretty much textbook, but the game doesn't think so. They said it was me who alerted the guards. They're just jealous. That's what I think. Oh my god someone didn't move the insurgent back here and we got caught you gotta be kidding me come on guys uh and someone left. Oh my god, dude. Yep, this is gonna be a fun setup. It's gonna be such a fun setup. All right, let's try this again. I have to go all the way back there, which that's going to be like uh, five minutes of just driving. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. My personal vehicle has been destroyed. Well, that's great. Thank you. Thank you. Oh good, I didn't have to pay any money for it. That's good, that's good. It's a little bit slippery out here. Let's just say that. All right, here's my drift to Yosemite. Let's pretend like nothing happened. Let's just keep going going forward. All right, so we're back here once again. Uh, let's see if we can actually do this correctly this time. Someone already screwed up. That's fantastic. Oh, wait. Oh, no, never mind. He didn't screw up. He acted like he was going to screw up. He missed a few of his shots, but I guess he finally hit some of his shots. Oh, God. What is this guy doing? What is this guy doing? Why are you standing in front of the insurgent? Why are you standing in front of the insurgent? All right. Yep. There goes the alarms. You know what that means. Yep. Just end it right there and throw that thing right there. Set up failed. Okay. Congratulations. Good job. This is the the new guy. Oh no, he's a level 972 and he doesn't know how to do the setup or he didn't know how to do it correctly or he just screwed up. Okay, let's try this again. Let's go and grab our thinking caps. Let's put on our thinking caps and let's be smart. This is a smart setup. This is not a pure talent setup. This is how smart you are and how you can carve your way through humane labs. All right, this guy. <sighs> All right, so he's going to take out one of the snipers right there or one of the people on the lookout. Okay, now he's going back this way. All right, all right, he put on his thinking cap. Kudos to you. So now we have to wait for this insurgent to drive by. All right, the insurgent has passed. So now we can go and we can just start shooting people. Okay, okay. Whoever's shooting right behind me is just freaking me out. He is not that accurate of a shot. I would prefer... Uh-oh, someone's been caught over there. Someone's been caught over. Take out that guy. Take out that guy. Take out the guy. Take out the guy. Wait, or does he actually not see anything? His radar is like blown up. What the heck? And the alarm's been pulled. We just killed everyone too at that point. And it's the same 
same guy. Oh my god. He put on the thinking cap, but then he removed the thinking cap. He just tossed it to the side. Well, go up, go get your thinking cap, and go put it back on, and let's try this again. All right, are our thinking caps on? I Mine's on. Mine's on. Mine's been on. Now, I think pretty much everyone else has their thinking caps on, except for one individual. Who? 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 Who did that? Who? Oh, whose fault was that? I'm a little lost there. Heist crew alerted a scientist. That's great. I don't know who. I would like to know who. I doubt it was me because I've been doing the same thing over and over. All right, all right, all right. I'm starting to think maybe the cap that we put on wasn't our thinking cap. So maybe take that cap off, put it to the side, pick up another cap. Hopefully that's your thinking cap. You put that thinking cap on and then boom, we'll complete this setup. Easy. Let's go. Wait, what? What? How did that insurgent get notified? What? What happened? Was that me? Oh, I guess I took off my thinking cap. I don't know how I did. I, I've been standing in pretty much the same spot, but I'll be even more secure, I guess. I don't know. No. 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 Is this daytime? No, that means someone left. No. No. I don't want to have to drive all the way back here. No! No. Why? Why? Why me? Why? I, I apparently screwed up that last time. We're cutting hairs there. But oh my god. Uh, let me get another high screw. <laughs> All right, it's another attempt at this setup. Yeah, this setup has pretty much turned into an all-day mission. I've been here... It's gonna be almost four hours if everything goes smoothly when we complete the heist. But that's if everything goes smoothly, which obviously it has not. That's why we are here. Luckily, people are joining, but the quality of people that are joining is not great. Okay, let's try this again. So we have to clear a path to deliver the insurgent. You know, I'll drive the insurgent this time. You know, I'll... Uh, hopefully everyone else can take out the first two people kind of near the entrance and then i'll tuck this way in a hidden spot inside take him out take him out take out that guy don't have time okay they took him out Jeez. okay i just ran over two of my teammates i don't care i need to get out the way because the insurgent is pulling up a nail all right i'm gonna stay really far away from the insurgent this time there's gonna be no excuse of the insurgent seeing me that time okay there we go nice okay we're doing good we only have what like four people that we have to kill left Three more people that we have to kill. Nice. Two. One. Um, we don't have to kill that last guy, to be honest. You know what? I'm not going to do anything to that other guy. So I need to go collect the insurgent and then drive it all the way to the bay. All right, here we are. We're at the bay, but I have to hack the garage door. I'll take care of the hack because I know how to do this hack. All right, there we go. Door has been hacked. So all we have to do is just put the insurgent right in here. Okay, my teammate just walked right in front. Um, So there we go. So all we have to do now is just get out of here. So I'm going to get inside of this van and we're just going to drive away. Everyone's in the van now we just need to get out of humane labs and then we'll be good to go all right and there we go oh there goes my controller also all right there we go set up pass move on to the finale all right so here we are we're at the finale board right here this is how i'm gonna have everyone so i'm going to be ground team i'm gonna have the lowest level also be ground team then i'm gonna have the highest level as the pilot and then the second highest level as the gunner now i trust myself on the ground team and along with me being on the ground team i can carry the lowest level hopefully and then i I want the highest level to be the pilot because hopefully in theory he has the most experience flying out of any of us and then the gunner just is the second highest level to hopefully kill everything all right here we go let's do the humane labs raid now as i said before this finale is going to be on hard so we have no spare lives but that's okay we're not gonna need it all right so we're in the valkyrie we need to go to humane labs and um we're a little low on where we need to go yes on the mini map we need to go to this yellow circle which is right here but we we need to go up and the guy in the pilot seat's going down okay this is great up you need to go up 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 oh my god this is who i put at the pilot seat jeez i try i try to like really think of how this should work i'm gonna have to message him because i don't think he understands oh wait, he's going up now maybe maybe he's starting to understand now hold on maybe we don't have to message him i've had this happen in the past where the pilot has no idea where he's going and then i absolutely like just scream at him oh now he's going to oh my god i gotta message him i have to all right i sent a message i sent a message hopefully he gets that message and flies up and we haven't really started the heist yet either i don't know why 
everyone screws this part up. I guess I understand it a little bit initially, but then once you start failing it and when you get too low and it says you're too close, then that should be like a little bit of like a, hey, I need to go up so I can get out of this zone. There we go. We made it. All right. All right. So, okay. I'm parachuting. I'm out. All right. Here we go. So I'm parachuting to Humane Laboratory parking lot. But there we go. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right. So now we're in night vision. Wait, how do I have night vision? I literally have no night vision goggles on or whatever, but that's okay. It's fine. Whatever. Um, please move. Let's go. All right, so we have to make our way through humane labs, and we just have to keep killing people, and we have to kill a decent amount of people here, but I don't think it's as bad as the prison break, to be honest. All right, just weaving our way through. Okay, okay. I died incredibly quick right there. I was not ready to die that quickly. Um, that is my fault, though. So, um, yeah, let's try that again. All right, attempt number two. That first attempt was my fault. I got a little too careless. I mean, I barely was getting shot before, and, and then that time, I turned the corner, and then I absolutely get just destroyed. So, that's on me. All right, we've made it to the drop zone a lot quicker that time. Let's start parachuting down. All right, here we go. Let's make our way in, and let's, like, not fail this time. All right, whoever put on the ground team with me, this is level. So actually holding their own pretty well. And well, they didn't die last time. So you can honestly make a case that this person is better than me. So that's a pleasant surprise. Yeah, this person is taking the lead and doing a great job at it. I, I can't complain at all. We've made our way deep enough. We just have to put the key cards in. Hello, key card. Okay, you're a little late there. Nice. Ready? Now, go. Key card. Okay, good enough. That works. <laughs> all right, so we've made it in here and we have to... Wait, what are we even trying to steal? I forgot. Okay, well, my teammate just kicked the chair out the way. She put it in a hard drive. She She's typing something in. Don't know what. All right, there's a person right here. Die. All right, is that everyone we have to kill? Oh, okay, nice. All right, so we have a rebreather equipped. And now we have to just swim our way out of here. So we have to dive all the way down here. And then we just have to swim out of this tunnel. Not too complicated at all. And then this tunnel will spit us out into the ocean. And we'll just swim back to the beach and regroup with our teammates. All right, so we've made it back to land. So I need to pull out a flare gun and just shoot it in the sky and be like, yo, pick us up. All right, here comes the helicopter, finally. My other two teammates. Well, I think they've been doing a solid job once they found the drop zone. No, no, you mowed me. Oh my God. You mowed us over. Yo, no, no, that's not how this heist is supposed to work. No, 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 no. You have to kill people, but not your own teammates. Well, I just gave them a compliment too. I was saying that they've been doing a solid job and then they kill me. That's fine. No, no, I forgot. There's no checkpoint in the middle of this. We have to go all the way back there. You gotta be kidding me. We have to do all all that again it doesn't take long but it's a lot longer than it should have to be we should be on our getaway killing the final few helicopters and bam we should be done unfortunately that's not the case all right let's parachute out again i'm probably not going to show too much more of this until we get back at the beach just because well you've already kind of seen everything it's just me going to be doing the same stuff again are you kidding me i just got on the beach in our freaking pilot died oh my god the timing the freaking timing for that to happen now we have to do that all over again for a third time why oh and someone left someone left that's great the gunner left i don't blame the gunner i really don't i really do not at all because the freaking pilot just kind of ruined it for everyone yeah all right so I'll, I'll do this again i'll get another crew again but i think a certain someone is not going to be on our team <laughs> <laughs> what? This guy wants 30? Not even 20? I'm not even giving him 20. 30? <laughs> You're such a moron. <laughs> Or 20. Or to oh oh what are you reading my mind? <laughs> uh, screw it. Uh, look at this. Here, ready? Or zero. Yeah, yeah, you're out. Yeah, no, no, no. You did not help me with any of the setups if you stayed for the majority of the setups i would consider bumping your pay up you are just coming in off of my coattails and you're like oh let me get a quick bag uh-uh 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 no 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 
no, 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 no. You're going to do that at the right price. You're not going to do that at 20% or 30%. He didn't even have the argument either that he's a high level. Because some people would be like, um, I'm a high level. I've done this so many times. You're going to pay for my experience. Like, yeah, I was a mid-level. Yeah, no, I'm not paying for 30%. What a moron. What an absolute moron. How am I supposed to sit here and pretend like that guy's intelligent? No. All right, here we go. Let's try this again. Okay. Can we actually complete the Humane Labs raid today? It has been almost five hours of recording. I remember during the first setup when I was trying to get people, I even made myself and consumed lunch. It is almost dinner. What it takes to do an original heist nowadays, I swear. No, no, I'm in the water. No, no, no. This has been my life today. This has been my life today. Everything's going good, and then a car runs into me, and then, well, bam, I'm just sent into the rapids. Wait, what? Did my teammate just do the same thing I just did? Okay. I think my teammate literally just drove into the water, too. Yeah, but yeah, I saw you crash. Yeah, just get in. Get into the Drift Yosemite, and yeah. Let's just complete this heist so that I can sell off my bunker, and then we could just move to a new day. That would be great. Man, the one thing about this original heist, compared to every other original heist, is that we have to drive so freaking far in the beginning of this heist to actually get this heist started up. Like, we have to drive on the other side of the Alamo Sea. Like, it is so frustrating frustrating like the prison break if you're on ground team you have to drive to the prison which is like i would say like halfway between like where we spawn in and where we're having to drive now and then the other ones are just in the city but this one we have to go all the way on the other side of the alamo Z. so pretty much when you start this heist it takes you five minutes to actually really get this heist started up oh yeah by the way for this heist we still have it on hard um our pilot is a level 55 our gunner is level 42 i'm a level 30 on the ground team and then the other person on the ground team is a level Level five. It's probably going to be a pretty significant downgrade from the last guy we had on the ground team. Well, that's okay. I can handle that. That is fine. I just need the pilot and the gunner to do their job and then we should be good to go. Okay, what is going on? I can't control anything right now. I can like go to like my main menu like that. And that that's no problem. I don't know what is going on. I, I, I can't control anything. Come on. I've had so much issues with this video. Can I get something to go my way? Please. Please, just something, just something. Honestly, I'm okay if you fail the heist right now. I, hopefully that'll just make it a reset for me. I literally can't do anything. Like I'm spamming every button, just nothing, nothing whatsoever. Yeah, I don't even hear sound anymore. I don't, I don't know, I don't know. Oh yeah, and there we go. Wait for your team to get in the, okay, someone already just jumped, which that's okay with me. Hopefully they die and then we can actually get like a little reset. Yeah, my teammate jumped out prematurely, which I mean, honestly, I'd be pissed off any other time, but right now I'm okay with it because I can't can't do anything. I mean, here, you want to hear it. I mean, I... I'm spamming every button, literally every button, except for this button. Oh, okay, here we go. What? Failed to leave the area. That's completely fine. I hear no sound whatsoever. What is going on? Don't even let me quick restart. Let me restart. I'm trying to restart. Start. Job failed to download. Yeah, you, you, you really did fail to download. I need a written out apology. I mean written out, written out on a piece of paper. I need an apology from GTA. This is stupid. This is absolutely stupid. What? I get into the Valkyrie. I look on my phone. I come back. I can't even control myself. What is going on? Just one problem after another. Do not give me that BS. You previously left a job. I didn't previously leave a job. You didn't allow me to continue it. I need an apology. That it, you cannot give me that message and then just try to put the blame on me. Uh-uh. No. Stupid. All right. Another attempt. Please let me control my character this time. Please can we complete this so I can move on to some other things in GTA Online, like selling off of my bunker. That would be great. Please and thank you. All right. So we've made it back to Humane Labs. Finally, first time in a while where I actually get to parachute down into to the parking lot. I can actually control my character this time. Lovely. All right, here we go. Let's blow it up and let's start making our way through. Okay, well, that was so quick. Oh my God, dude. I'm playing stupid. I'm playing stupid. There's no way around it. It's just been such a frustrating process to complete this heist. All right, let's try this again. Hopefully I don't die like immediately. That That's a good goal to have, you know? It's a really good goal. All right, let's blow it up and let's go in and not die. Oh, and one of my teammates died. I think that's the gunner. That's great. Good job. Oh my God, someone left. You 
gotta be kidding me. This is so frustrating. Why? Why? Oh my gosh. Um, mm -mm -mm. Well, this is very embarrassing to say. This is taking me over five hours, and I'm going to push this to another day just to do the Humane Labs raid. Are you kidding me? How does that even come out of my mouth? The next day. All right, here we go. We are back on day two, trying to do the Humane Labs raid. Now, I am a lot more calm today. <laughs> am I excited? No, but I am at least a lot more calm. And yeah, hopefully we can just do this first attempt and yeah, we can just move forward. Um, yeah, this has been a great start. Someone's already left, but it's fine. It's fine. We push forward. All right, here we go. Attempt number two of day number two. Kind of silly. I have to say that out loud, but fortunately I do. Why is there a guard? There's a policeman right here. Why is there a policeman right here? Okay, whatever. I want to get this over with, so I'm not going to mess around with him. If it was first attempt, I might would have messed around with him. There's just a random policeman walking out here. All right, we've made it to the drop zone. It is time for me to parachute once again. First time today I'm parachuting. Hopefully the last time I'm parachuting today. That would be incredibly nice. Um, this is not a good parachute. It's not where I'm supposed to land, but it's close enough. All right, let's blow up the door and let's get into it. Hopefully I don't die. Oh yeah, I forgot to say, with this crew, I have a level 107, a level 30, who's me, a level 103, and a level 268. This crew by far has been the highest level group that I've had. And hopefully it's just the last group overall that I get when my teammate died. I mean, I died too, but my teammate died first. And then I just stood out in the open and gave up. But yeah, okay, that's great. All right, um, we're parachuting again. Hopefully this is the last time I have to parachute into Humane Labs. Oh my, dude, I had full health there. Oh my God, that's that's so annoying. That is so annoying. Okay, I got a parachute again. Woo! Oh, never mind. Someone left. Oh my God, dude. All right, attempt number three on day two. Are you kidding me? I'm starting to believe that this heist is cursed for me. There has been a spell put on this heist for me that says you cannot complete it. I don't care how hard you work. I don't care what team you put together something will go wrong. It might be in your control. It might not be in your control, but something will go wrong and someone from your heist crew will get pissed and will dip out as soon as possible. Okay, we're back at Humane Labs. Yeah, hopefully this is the last time we actually parachute. I'm not gonna screw up anymore. That last time that I technically screwed up was the last time I'm screwing up. Oh my God, I almost died there again. Okay, okay, okay. I need to stop almost dying and not dying too. How about that? Okay, this is where I died last time. Oh, that's where my teammate died. Nice, okay, cool. That's spot for some reason today is is cursed all right um nothing new here just me parachuting down to humane labs now this is going to be the last time i'm parachuting down to humane lab you know what? i'm not gonna miss this i'm not gonna miss this i'm not gonna miss parachuting down here last time ever that i'm gonna just land right here at humane labs throwing a sticky bomb right there blowing up the door so it opens up you know i don't think my teammate's gotten a kill or at least the teammate on the ground team and i'm okay with that i'm okay just carrying him all right we've made it inside of here finally first time today we're doing this Kick the chair out the way put in the flash drive and i still don't know what we're doing are we stealing files or something you know whatever just steal something and then we run away all right so we don't have to kill any more people inside of here so we can just jump into the water and just start running away or swimming away all right we've made it to the beach and last time i was here on this beach standing on this beautiful sand you know what happened i got mowed down i got mowed down i died look i literally see my teammates over there um hey they're so distracted i don't know why I mean, I know why, but it's like, can you just come our way, please? Oh, yeah, here they come. And they're just throwing down rockets. Ha, 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 ha. So funny. I, I really don't want to mess around right now. Just just drop the plane. It's not a plane, idiot. Drop the helicopter and pick us up. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. I've done nothing wrong. Did you just run over to the teammate? Okay. I thought he ran over one of our teammates. Okay. This is the furthest we've been so far. This is the furthest we've been. All right. So now we have to take out a few more helicopters. But after we take out these few helicopters, we should be good to go. I killed that one. Jeez. I'm putting this team on my back. I wish I had more opportunities just to put this team on my back, but I can't. I can only do so much. Oh my God. What is this piloting? What is this piloting? Okay. I'm useless now. I, I can't even get the, the final two helicopters. One of them's down. We have one more to go. Oh, okay. Now I can do something. No, never mind. Never mind. Just forget about it. You know, it's okay. 
There we go. The one open window that I had to get that kill, I took it and I got the kill. Get out of here. Get out of here. Go to the meeting point now. I am sick and tired of this heist. Leave now. All right. So we have one final thing to do, and that is to land this Valkyrie right here on the banks of this reservoir. See, look, we have to land right there. You know, if I wasn't pissed off, I would like try to destroy this car right here and see what would happen. But I want this to be done. Not a bad landing. We're getting out oh my thank you thank you thank you yep throw that grenade right onto the helicopter and just blow up this heist i don't want to do this heist anymore and i don't have to anymore there we go heist passed all right i got 55 percent of the cut so that's six hundred forty nine thousand dollars. we did have to quick restart unfortunately and it was my first time so i got a hundred thousand dollar bonus so that's seven hundred and forty nine thousand dollars um for i don't know six hours and 20 minutes of recording no that's not worth it. <laughs> it's just not. It shouldn't have taken that long, but still. So after completing that heist, I now have $2,641,000. But I still have to sell off my bunker after all that. So let me go to my bunker and let's sell that off. All right, so I've made it over to my bunker. And as you can see in the bottom right, my stock value is currently right now at $360,000. So yeah, let's sell off everything that we have inside of this bunker. All right, so we're going to sell off our product to Los Santos for a value of $648,000 plus an extra 50% bonus since I'm in a public session with right around 25 players. So yeah, let's sell off everything we have. Larger sales may require multiple vehicles. I don't care. I'm a one man band. Let's go. All right, which one do we get? Oh, the Phantom Wedge cell mission. Okay. I think this one's pretty quick. I think. Oh, six mile drive though. I don't know about that. I don't know if I like that game. An over six mile drive with a Phantom Wedge. Hmm. This could be very close might be even a little risky for me to even try but i don't know let's just go let's try it we have only 15 minutes on the clock to sell off everything dude the phantom wedge is so fun i swear i can just drive right through cops and they just start flying over everywhere it's just so fun oh i missed my exit cheese okay I, I completely missed my exit it's okay luckily the detour is not that crazy all right so i made it to the drop off i have the cops on me and okay the cops do not matter for this that's good i guess all right so now I need to make it all the way back to my other trailer and sell that off in less than 10 minutes. So what I'm going to do is that I am actually going to call in a buzzard for $25,000. This is an investment for me to have the potential to actually sell off my other vehicle. Now, I probably could have made it if I like drove flawlessly with my body 801 all the way back there, but I don't want to risk it. I'm not going to lie. I just don't want to risk it right now. And half of my product is just sitting there too. So I would like to get to it quickly and then have the opportunity to at least sell it off. No, no. Are you starting around too? No, no. Okay, okay. That guy dropped out of his helicopter for some reason. I don't like it when people are just flying around in their helicopters and they have missiles on because it's always so scary. See, when I fly around, I have missiles homing off. So, you know, you don't get the beep, 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 beep. You're about to die sound going through your headset. I don't like that sound through my headset. All right, so I've made it pretty close to my bunker at this point. So I am going to jump out and now let's Let's get into the next trailer right here. And then do we have to go to the same location? Yeah, pretty much the exact same location. But we know from earlier that it's actually possible. Um, there's someone driving after me. No, 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 no. There goes my trailer. Dude, now he's just driving away. He literally did that just to piss me off. What a freaking annoyance. Okay, luckily the trailer respawns a little bit because I think it was flipped around. And I think that guy, speaking of that guy, just turned around. Can you hook back up? This is not good. This is not good. I have like four minutes left. This is not good at all. And the guys right there um, just flipped my trailer. You know, could my trailer like reset? You know, like you did earlier, please. That would be so nice. Where'd you reset to? You just disappeared. Okay, there you go. Okay, okay. Just let me back into it. Okay, okay. We're hooked up again. No, the guy's coming back. He's going to be annoying. He's just going to be annoying. I'm out of here. I would like to sell this off. I mean, there's nothing I can do to him. I, I can't kill a vigilante. I mean, I guess I could, but I mean, the odds of it are not going to be likely okay uh he just went in the tunnel he went into like the interstate tunnel which is very nice i would love for him to go into the interstate tunnel and stay away from me i have like a minute to go i have less than a mile but let's not wreck and let's i need to get on the right side of the road too all right and we've made it to the drop-off location the cargo bob is flying overhead and there we go we've delivered all of the product and we made nine hundred and seventy-two thousand dollars. so currently right now i have three million 
$1,588,000. So we have a good shot of buying the Torador next episode. Eight episodes ago, I started as a level one on a new account in GTA Online. And the only way I've made money on this account is by spinning a wheel determining what I should do to make money. So today in this video, I will spin that wheel again to see what I will do to make money. So welcome to the ninth episode of season two of Loser to Luxury. And without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, so right now I am on the wheel of quick cash, but just to remind you, I am trying to buy the Torador next, coming in at $4,250,000. And currently right now I have $3,562,000. And I just look back at episode seven, where I got scammed out of a Kyle Perico heist. In the next episode, episode eight, I saw I had $200,000 more in my bank account. And I was like, oh, maybe I did get paid for it. Well, then I actually looked back at it and I was like, oh no, I know what happened. I got the first time bonus for doing the Kyle Perico heist, but I still did not get paid for actually doing the heist. I didn't get the heist cut, the 15% I was supposed to be paid. See, I got this award right here, the Kyle Perico heist. Complete the Kyle Perico heist for the first time to earn $200,000. That is what I got and that is why last episode I went from like $1,700,000 to $1,900,000. Just to sum everything up, I still got scammed out of what I should have been paid for that Kyle Perico eye. So yeah, I got scammed. That's great. But now that that's all cleared up, let's spin the wheel of quick cash and let's see what I'm going to have to do to start out this episode. And it looks like we are going to have to go back to the Diamond Casino. We're going to have to spin the casino wheel once again. All right. So right now I am on the wheel of making money. So what are we going to have to do in this episode in order to make money? And it looks like we we are going to have to do the first dose missions. Now, this is the only wheel spin that I think I have left on this wheel that is only a one-time thing because I only have the first dose missions on this wheel for the first time bonus. But then after this, I'll put on this wheel the last dose missions, but then also for doing the first dose missions, we unlock the ability to do full against job. So I'll also add that to the wheel. But what else in this episode am I going to have to do in order to make money? And it looks like we are going to have to... So we are free to do whatever we want, but it is determined by melee kills in 10 minutes. Now, last time I got this, we didn't do so well. So hopefully we can do a little bit better now. So we got to do the first dose missions and then we get to do whatever we want, but it is only determined by melee kills in 10 minutes. But first I have to go to the Diamond Casino and spin the Lucky Wheel. All right, so I'm back at the Lucky Wheel. And well, the last time I was here at the Lucky Wheel, I earned hazmat suit and I really didn't care about the hazmat suit, but some people do. They kind of like, what the heck in the comment section? But it's okay, whatever. I'm going to spin the wheel now and we're going to, what kind of wheel spin is that? Kind of wimpy freaking wheel spin. Oh, we're going to get another clothing item. Okay, what clothing item this time? What am I going to yell at this time? Steel horse Satan jacket. Okay, well, let's check it out, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. This could be good. This could be dorky. Who knows? Let's find out. All right, this is the jacket right here. Um, Okay, this is actually not bad. I could see this working with some outfits. I'm personally not going to wear this. I don't think it goes with our vibe, to be honest. So I'm not going to wear that. But I'm not going to complain about that as far as a piece of clothing item. But now let's go to Sandy Shores and we have to go talk to Ron because, well, Ron needs our help. And well, if you don't know, this is what's going to start the first dose missions. All right. So I've made it all the way over to Sandy Shores outside of this store right here. And in order to start the first dose missions, we just have to walk up to this yellow dot and then we just have to help out Ron. All right, here we go. First dose mission. Number one, welcome to the troop. We have to sit through this long cutscene. Oh my God. These weirdos. Oh, geez. There's some gunshots. Oh, no, I haven't heard this like 10 times before. Okay, Dax wants me to help him out. Okay, let's do this again. All right, I've done these missions so many times within the last month with like certain videos that I've made. So this should be a cakewalk, to be honest. Now, this first mission right here is very, very easy. All we have to do is just take out some people, yada, 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 you know, you get the drill. And then after we take out these people, we have to steal Dax's RV back and then take it back to Los Santos to a specific location. 
cage, and then boom, that's pretty much it. All right, there we go. All the bikers have been taken out. I like running over Dax because it's fun. Okay, okay, it's enough. It's enough. Enough of being more Sean Lynch. Now it's time to go on the other side of the Alamo Sea, and Dax is pretty much telling me that I have to do that, but, you know, I don't need to listen to him. Yeah, there you go. Recover Dax's stolen journey, and, well, Dax, I'll take care of it. Don't worry. Don't worry. All right, so we've made it to the other side of the Alamo Sea, so we need to take a few more people and then just steal Dax's RV. All right, oh my god, oh my god, I did not realize there's a guy. Oh my god, eat snacks, eat snacks, eat snacks. Okay, now just get out of here. I thought the coast was clear. The coast was not clear, but luckily I can eat snacks, and yeah, now we have to drive all the way back on the other side of the Alamo Sea. Once again, pick up Dax and go back to Los Santos, and this mission should be good to go. All right, we've made it back here, and Dax get in now. All right, so Dax is in the journey, and all we have to do is just continue our journey to Los Santos, and yeah, we should be good to go. All right, and we've made it back to Los Santos to the abandoned warehouse, and there we go, mission passed. We got paid $20,000. You know, this is not where we're going to get all of our money. We're going to get all of our money from first-time bonuses. See, there you go. As you can see in the top right, I got an extra $50,000 for that. So for the first five first-dose missions, we'll get a first-time bonus of $50,000, and then for the final first-dose mission, we'll get a first-time bonus of $250,000 for a total of $500,000 in first-time bonuses. But now, let's move on to the next first dose mission. All right, here we go. We're jumping into the next first dose mission, the mission called Designated Driver. All right, so Dax wanted us to go to the terminal right here so we can collect some party supplies because, you know, we're new in town. We have to throw this big party, you know, Los Santos style. So we have this nice truck bed just full of supplies, and all we have to do is just make it back safely to the freak shop, and then let's just get our party on, you know? Oh, God, why is there a blockade? What the heck? I have never seen this before. Oh, no. Okay, okay, okay. That's the lost MC. I don't know why they're after us, but whatever, you know, it's fine. They're a little salty, I guess. Hey, what the heck? Our party supplies are on fire. Dude, the lost MC is so annoying. I swear, man. You know, I just let go of the party supplies, and yep, there it goes. Just blew up behind me. All right, so now Dax wants me to go to the lost MC clubhouse, and he wants me to get revenge on them. So, yeah, we're just gonna go there. We're gonna cause some havoc. All right, so I've made it to the Lost MC Clubhouse. I'm gonna park this right here, and people are already shooting at me. I don't know why. I haven't even done anything yet. I, like, blockaded their MC Clubhouse, but, I mean, they blockaded me from the terminal. I'm being fair. Really, really, I didn't think there was anyone else, and not only there was one, but there's two people left. So that was done by me. Okay, you're annoying, and you're this guy hiding behind this box. You, 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 you're annoying. Okay, fine, and that guy's dead. That was the guy that killed me. So now let's go in here and just cause some more havoc. There's gonna be one guy in here, I think, with a shotgun around this corner. Okay, there you go. Dead. Loser. All right. All right, so here's their plans. And we have to take a photo of their plans to Dax. All right, then Dax wants us to steal their grass. So, yeah, I got, yeah, sure. I'll grab their grass. You know, whatever. It's fine. But now all we have to do is leave the MC Clubhouse and then make it back to the Freak Shop and kind of regroup. All right, we've made it back to the Freak Shop. Here we are. I hear you Oh, you hear me pulling up. I just crashed right in front of the door, Dax. I think you can hear me from a mile away, but whatever. Mission pass. All right, so we got paid $14,000 there. Not as much as last time, but whatever. It's fine. Let's move on to the next one. All right, here we go. We're jumping into the third first dose mission, Fatal Incrusion. All right, this first dose mission is one of the harder first dose missions, in my opinion. I think this is very close in difficulty to the last first dose mission, and we will get into that one later on. But I'm going to make this one a lot easier on myself with an armored Karuma. So hopefully we don't have too many issues with this one. But in previous times that I've done this one, I have had some issues with it. So I don't know. We'll see how it goes. All right. So I've made it to Stab City. And well, unfortunately, we're not going to be doing any stabbing. We're going to be just blowing a bunch of stuff up like that. Yeah, we have to destroy property. And well, the best way to destroy property is by blowing up property. And there's a ton of Lost MC members here. That's why it's important for us to have an armored Karuma. So we can just drive up in here, you know, point the gun right at this 
this gas can and then boom, just blow up two vehicles with one explosion. Dude, okay, the Lost MC is kind of stupid. Why would you put a bunch of gas tanks or oil tanks right next to like a bunch of vehicles just to make it really easy for me to blow them up? You're like, come on guys, like use your heads. All right, well, I have to get out of my vehicle for one thing. I'm just gonna get out, do a little this number and then boom, that's all I had to do. <laughs> A little overkill using a homing missile on a very stationary vehicle, but it's fine, whatever. So now let's go to Miller's Fishery. And then we have to go collect some product. I think we have to go collect some methodology. All right, so I've made it to Miller's Fishery. So now all we have to do is just go around here and we have to find some methodology like this thing right here. I get out, just collect it, get back in the Karuma. We have to find 10 of these things. All right, here's two and three. So you find seven more. All right, here's four and here. Here is five. We need to find five more things of methodology. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. There was a lost MC member in my vehicle. Get out of my vehicle. What the? No, no. Ew. Disgusting. I don't want lost MC members in my vehicle. Oh my God. What are you doing in my vehicle, weirdo? Anyways, I'm just going to steal your methodology. So that's six and seven. We need to find three more things in methodology. All right, here's the eighth thing of methodology. All right, so the last two things, you know, I don't need my Karima for this. The last Last two over on the pier. All right, here's the last two things. Nine and ten. There we go. So now we have to go and get into this plane right here. And then we have to fly this plane all the way back to the freak shop. And yeah, this should be another mission passed. And there we go. Mission passed. And we made $18,000 that time. Not too bad at all. But let's move on to the next one. All right, here we go. We're jumping into the fourth first dose mission. This one's going to be uncontrollable substance. And we have to sit through this cutscene. Oh, boy. We're drinking a lot of that oh my god everyone's like what the heck are you doing well after last episode i kind of need something like that in my system oh boy what is going on this is trippy man oh and apparently we are on a bike and dax is now bigfoot okay cool um sure i guess let's get started so now you're supposed to follow dax i mean yeah right now we're just pretty much hallucinating and yeah it's a very different type of mission definitely the easiest mission as far as the first dose missions are concerned all right let's go through the gateway um okay i didn't really hit the gateway right um okay i'm on a bike now i think wait what's happening what's happening okay we're good now okay all right so we made it through another gateway where are we going now Oh, I ran into that thing. Okay, whatever. Um, who are these people? Oh, I was gonna run them over and then they disappeared. Okay. All right, so now we're gonna get into me playing Deadline. Ha ha ha, you thought it's actually, it's not Deadline, silly. We're still doing the fourth first dose mission and controllable substance. I made that joke because Deadline is triple money and RP for this week. All right, so we're warping once again. Oh good, now we're supposed to kill a rabbit. Ah ha ha, look. Oh geez, okay. Okay, okay, okay. If you've done this mission before, you know the, aiming's weird uh see look i'm not moving my controller this is what's happening yeah you know we don't have to actually like get the rabbit you know we can just sit here and wait okay now we're looking up into the sky what's up in the sky i have no idea oh now we're floating you know normal things oh and now we are parachuting down or skydiving down and we landed oh we landed on a billboard oh i've never had this happen before this is pretty cool dax huh what happens if i fall down and i oh okay okay i didn't die i don't know if i would have died anyways but whatever all right there we go trip survived and for surviving that trip i made fourteen thousand dollars plus the first time bonus but let's move on to the fifth first dose mission all right here we go we're jumping to the fifth first dose mission make war not love all right so we've made it to the location and we have to destroy a bunch of equipment oh there you go one lab has been destroyed we have to destroy four labs all right there we go all the lab equipment has been destroyed no, no, I tried to shoot him. I swear. Oh my gosh, that is so annoying. I tried to shoot that guy. But whatever, it's fine. So this is the first time I failed one of these missions. And this is one of the easier ones too, in my opinion. I'm just kind of messing around though. All right, I have to go back here and do this all over again, which is so annoying because I was just like one step away from being done. And then I think I would hit a checkpoint. But no, 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 it's okay. I'll come back and I'll just destroy everything once again. Because, you know, I love doing this. Oh yeah, also, forgot to fill up snacks too so that's another reason why i died oh you come on i was waiting just to peer around that gordon and just put a shotgun shot in his 
face. Instead, he just put a little dinky freaking pistol shot in my hand and I died or something stupid like that. All right, there we go. I, all the lab equipment once again has been destroyed. Now I have to go find one of their vans. Which one van is right here? So I'm going to go in and I found the delivery van locations that I need to go to. And well, I'm going to steal their van for right now because I just want to get out of here so I don't die. That'd be nice. Okay, okay, guys, okay. You do not have to kill me. I wasn't shooting you or anything. Ha, 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 ha. That's annoying. I don't know why. I don't know why. I usually don't have issues with this one, and for some reason today, I'm having issues. All right, you know what? I'm gonna play a game. I'm gonna play a game. We're gonna play a game called Tag. How? Oh, my God. Oh, my. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I don't know if you know what just happened. This is so stupid. I was trying to play a game of Tag. Did you see what that that sticky bomb did. Okay, I think I'm in a safe spot. Okay, I gotta get a new car because look at this. I mean, look at this. I clearly was trying to put that sticky bomb on their car and for some reason it just bounced and landed on my car. That is, I've never seen that happen before. Yeah, we're gonna have to call in my vehicle again. Okay, 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 okay. Let's play the game. Okay, ready? We're gonna play tag. Ready? Tag, you're it. All right, nice. There's one. Um, I'm gonna ask two other vans if they want to play tag. All right, let's try this one again. All right, so I I am going to try to play tag here. There you go. Tag, you're it, and you're gone. One more delivery van to go. All right, here's the last delivery van. I need to play tag, and yeah, there you go. Tag, you're it. Now we have to go to another location. So yeah, we have to head over to the altruist camp, and then we have to pull up some more vans over there. So that's going to be fun. All right, so I made it to the altruist camp. Uh, I had to steal one of their vehicles because they shut out my tires. So now I have to destroy some delivery vans. So um, here. Okay, well, I got one delivery van destroyed. <laughs> okay, but I died. Love that. Love that. There we go. Another delivery van destroyed. We have one more delivery van that we have to destroy. All right, there we go. All the delivery vans have been destroyed. Now, all we have to do is just take out the Valkyrie. I still don't understand how the Altruist camp can afford a helicopter, but it's okay. I'll just shoot it down, and now they really can't afford it. All right, can you die? No. Are you kidding me? Just die. There you go. Nice. Valkyrie has been destroyed. Huh? What happened? Are we good? Oh, okay. Mission pass. There we go. We made 16000 off of that one, but now it is time to go into the final first dose mission. All right, here we go. We are doing the final first dose mission off the rails and of course i get to do the mission where i have to go back to the place where i don't like anymore after last episode humane disgusting labs we have to go to humane labs and we have to do some stuff in humane labs but it's not nearly as hard as what we had to do last time all right so i've made it to humane labs it's gonna be kind of similar in the fact that i have to go through here stealthy kind of like the last setup in the humane lab setups okay well i just got caught because I was trying to park my vehicle where we're going to exit. So that's fun, but it's okay. This part's not hard at all. All right, there we go. Now we're going in. All right, so now we have to search some crates for some chemicals. All right, there we go. We have found all the chemicals. So then open up the door and get into my beautiful Drift Yosemite. And now let's go and derail a train. According to Dax, that's what he wants us to do. All right, so I've made it to switching station. So we have to pull this lever right here. And then the train is going to go the wrong way and then the train's gonna derail all right so we made it to the crash site this is where this starts getting pretty difficult in my opinion so we just search five of these train cars and try to find some chemicals all right that's our second chemical so far we're doing good up oh, never mind because there goes my controller Okay, helicopter. Okay, okay. You can calm down, bud. All right, another chemical. We need to find two more chemicals. There you go. Fourth chemical collected. We need to find one more chemical. Stop, stop. Oh my, I hate that. I, I didn't think there was a guard there and there was a guard there. I tried to eat snacks. It didn't let me eat snacks and I died. That, I hate this part so much. No, no, no. I died there last time. Oh my, I need to be smart. You know, maybe not go there. All right, here's the final chemical right here. And there we go. Five out of five chemicals. Right, so now we need to steal this vehicle right here, which is going to be the Brick Gate 6x6. And we need to take it back to the Freak Shop. Once we deliver the Brick Gate 6x6 to the Freak Shop, the mission will be passed. But we also get to keep this Brick Gate 6x6. And also, at some point, we can turn it into an acid lab, which will 
will be another business for us. And since we landed on the first dose missions, I am adding the acid lab now to the wheel of businesses, along with the full against jobs on the wheel of making money. And honestly, I might even do a full against job this episode with us being free to do whatever we want, depending on how many melee kills we get. But we'll just see how that goes. All right, and there we go. Okay, I pretty sure I hit that. There we go. There we go. Now they'll credit me for actually delivering the brickade six by six. And there we go. Mission passed. And that one, I made $14,000. Whatever. I am going to get the first time bonus. All right. So after completing all of the first dose missions, I made $603,000. So now I have $4,137,000. But now let me go join a public session and let's try to get as many melee kills as possible. All right, so now I'm in a public session, so I need to go and try to get as many melee kills as I possibly can in 10 minutes. And for every melee kill that I get, it's going to be 10 minutes more to do whatever I want in GTA Online to make money. So how it's going to work is we're going to start out with 20 minutes just overall. If we get zero kills, we're going to have 20 minutes to do whatever we want. But then for every melee kill, it's going to be an additional 10 minutes for me to do whatever I want to make money. So how I'm going to get melee kills is that I'm going to get on my body 801 right here, and then I'm going to go up to people and just be like well bam and this is how i'm gonna get melee kills just like that and one more rule is that i'm not allowed to get anyone that is afk we have to prove that they're actually playing but aside from that everything else goes so the time Okay, I was about to say the timer's about to start, but then this dork just killed me. Thank you. Timer's not going yet. I didn't officially say it's time to go. I guess already we have a target, though, so that's good, I guess. All right, timer starts now. All right, clock is running. Um, where did that person go? I want to try to get that person because, like, you know, I'm trying to intro this, and they just want to kill me. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. Okay, that's not good. We can't be running up. Okay, and you just run over my freaking body 801. You're lucky that I'm on a timer. If I wasn't on a timer, you'd be dead. Okay, this person is just driving all over the place right now. Where am I going? <sighs> I did not know there's a guardrail right there. Oh my God, I have not, <laughs> I've done nothing. I swear, I've wrecked into three things. I've not done anything other than just wreck. Okay, we're kind of close. This person is right here in a car, in a very nice car, actually. Can you get out of your nice car, please? Oh my God, you are, you are, you are. No, bad. All right, I have my body 801 again. Um, can I be slick with it? Can I be slick? Okay, okay, okay. We cannot just sneak up on her. There's just no way. We might have to move to something else. Okay, I, I got a revenge kill, though. Um, that doesn't count, though. Uh, we're still at zero melee kills. I did that for pride and only pride. Can I steal your car? That'd be so nice. No, they're not letting me steal her car. Mm, thanks. I'm just gonna go to another session. I don't see a path where I can escape that person. We have zero kills. It's been over three minutes. Just great. I might go on the record saying that this might be our worst start with this wheel spin. I mean, we got this wheel spin a decent amount out in season one but i don't remember a start this bad i remember we got out to some really good starts and then we got screwed over later on god this start has been terrible we only have 20 minutes still to do whatever we want in gta online i would like to have a little bit more time because that can make me more money now, there's someone over here at the clothing store um i don't know if this person is here um i'm gonna run them over kind of see if they're here or not Oh my god, they are here. Oh, I got the kill. Okay, nice. That is one kill. Okay, very good. All right, so we're finally on the board. One kill. How much time do we have left? Um, How about me running into a light pole? Oh, uh, we have less than five minutes left. Okay, this, this person is charging us around the corner. Ready? Oh my god, oh my god, how did, how did I not die? How in the world did I not die? That person had a combat MG out, and somehow I survived it. Somehow they completely missed all of their shots, and I was able to get two stone edge shots off of them. Okay, this person's highly aware now, definitely highly aware, so it's gonna be harder to get more kills, but I can just bank on them being a moron. I'm gonna go around the block, I'm gonna go. I whiffed, I whiffed, I whiffed. It's okay, oh my god. Okay, I died. <laughs> that was so weird. That was such a weird way to die. I don't know. I wrecked my bike and then I got blown up, but my bike didn't blow up. So I must have been on the outer edge of that explosion. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm going down here. I'm going down here. I saw a homing missile. I'm out. I am out. I might have trapped myself low key. Let's go for it. 
Oh, you moron. That is so annoying. <laughs> Just blew themselves up. Wow, wow, wow. Oh my God, I only have two minutes left. Okay, I need to call Moore's Mutual, get my bike back. Oh my God, I have to wait in order to get my bike back. I need a bike. I need some sort of vehicle. Hold on. Okay, well, there's a red dot player on the map right here. And a red dot player usually means that they are a griefer. So... Okay, that's my fault. I didn't hold down left trigger. That That's on me. That's on me. Uh, that one's clearly on me. Our cover's blown too, so that's awesome. Okay, I finally got my bike back. How much time do I have left? Oh, I've less than a minute. Only have 40 minutes to do whatever I want in GTA Online, so we need to go. We need to go and try to get, hopefully, at least one more. I'm kind of trapped right now, Loki. Okay, I have 16 seconds. I need to just go for it. I need to go for it. How? Oh, oh, get up, get up, get up. Okay, that's another kill. Um, and then three, two, one, buzzer beater. Okay, good. All right, maybe not a buzzer beater, but we got the kill. Let's go back to an invite only session. Just get out of here. There's too many people after me now. So since I got three melee kills in the span of 10 minutes, I got an additional 30 minutes to do whatever I want in GTA Online to make money. So in total, I have 50 minutes to do whatever I want. All right, so I've made it over to my first thing that I'm going to do in the 50 minutes to do whatever I want, and that is going to be the junk energy time trial. So as soon as I start up this time trial, I'm going to start my clock. So we are going to start the clock right now. All right, clock is running. All right, hopefully I can do this on my first attempt. I have good stamina on this account. I've been building it up recently, like not on purpose, but whatever. Yeah, as a high level, these time trials are pretty easy, but as a low level, Level, these time trials are actually pretty tough because your stamina is pretty low. So if you have a good amount of stamina, you should be able to do this pretty easily. A little bit more strategy involved if you're a lower level, just because you have to manage your stamina. All right, less than 10 seconds. We have to make this turn right here. Oh, there's the finish. And boom, there we go. But now I am going to go to my bunker real quick. So let me jump to another session. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and sell off these excess weapon parts. So for this, all I have to do is just deliver the weapon parts to a random ammunition and this one's like four and a half miles away not terrible but it's gonna eat into our clock a little bit huh what 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 happened oh come on <laughs> Well, great. We have spawned back in. Um, I probably only like wasted maybe a minute, but whatever. It's fine. Let's just try that again. Okay. We now have to go to ammunition. It's like two and a half miles away. So maybe all in all, not wasting too much time. I am in a public session though. Hopefully no one cares. And all right, there we go. We have delivered the weapon parts to ammunition. And there we go. $50,000 in my bank accounts. But now I'm going to go to another invite only session. And then now I'm going to do something I haven't done in any previous episode in season two so far. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to call up Dax, my new contact from this episode, and I'm going to click to request work. And this is going to start up a Fulligan's job. All right, and we get, oh my God, like one of the worst ones. No, like the worst one. I'm not even going to lie. No, we're not doing that. No, garbage. Try that again. What do we get this time? Working remotely. Not too bad, in my opinion. I don't know. A lot better than crop dusting. Unfortunately, I have to go all the way across the map to do this one though, but eh. okay, I have made it here and I have to steal this van. Um, You gotta die. Okay, you didn't die. My God, just die. Yeah, take an elbow to the face. You're still alive. Oh my God, just... Oh my God, he's still alive. He took a shotgun shot, an elbow to the face, and dude, I mean, he, he's like very wounded. You know, I, I know I'm on the clock, but I just gotta run him over just to be 100% sure. That guy is a freaking zombie, I swear. Now we gotta go to Analyst Customs and put a remote bomb in this thing. All right, so a remote bomb has been put inside of this van, and now I have to go to the Lost MC hideout, which is like three and a half miles away. So that's fantastic. Maybe this wasn't such a great idea to do working remotely, but still better than crop dusting. All right, so I've made it to the Lost MC hideout. I remember I actually did this exact Fulligan's job earlier this week, and I actually failed it. I actually failed it. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding? No, 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 no. That's not my fault. That's not my fault. It's just not. It did not let me keep going through. I swear it was stuck. Because if you fail this one, you can still complete it, but you only get like half the money. We're trying to get all the money, you know? <laughs> Let's try this again. Maybe we don't do working remotely. I hate that one. Wow, a lot of time wasted. Right, what do we 
doing now? Crop? No, 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 no. We're not doing crop dusting. No. What do we get this time? Liquidized assets. Okay. This is a good one, but unfortunately, we have to go all the way to Polito Bay. So, yeah, I'm going to go down here and I'm going to get a helicopter and we're going to fly there. All right. So, I've made it over to the grass farm. Let's go on in. Now, I have to go in here. I have to go take out a few people. Like, um, there's a guy. Where's the guy? There. Oh, it's the lady. Sorry. Sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't know. All right, let's try this again. There's another person right there. Apparently, I can't shoot underneath a table. It's interesting. Okay, you need to die. Um, I'll go with you, I guess. Yeah, honestly, I feel like since we started up the full again jobs, our efficiency has just gone downhill. Like, Dax gave me the slowest freaking full again jobs. It's so annoying. And then give me the worst location for finally a good one. Okay, everyone's dead. Finally. Okay, so we have to go all the way back here. And we grab some chemicals right before this. And we're going to put those chemicals into their water supply and then we're going to turn on the irrigation system and there we go then we're just going to walk right through the chemicals because we're smart and yeah we're just going to stop and just stare right at the chemicals now let's get out of here and now i am in a hallucination so now what i am going to do is i am going to try to get on top of this roof yeah there we go yeah see this is what i like to do for this location i like to go over here climb up this ladder and kind of just chill out up here i i don't know if this is 100 percent true or not but i've heard if you just come up here and just chill out and then every once in a while eat snacks and you don't really die at all this little hallucination will go by quicker and well that's great for us because i'm on the clock and we're about to hit almost halfway done through the timer which is honestly not good that we're still on a full against job okay why do i feel like this has been longer than usual can we please just be done with this all right there we go and now we're falling down um, yeah we're spawning in somewhere it's raining and there we go, mission passed. We got $50,000 for that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go to series modes and I'm going to try to join the adversary mode that's boosted for this week, which is going to be deadline, which is going to be triple money and RP for this week. Hopefully I'll be able to find a session quickly. What? Oh my, oh my gosh. We finally had a freaking lobby of people to do this with. Oh my, why are people so annoying? <laughs> I've been wasting a lot of time on this wheel spin. Usually I don't waste a ton of time on this, but a lot of time has been wasted. So I'm going to switch it up. Um, I am actually going to do the Arena War series just because the Arena War is still double money in RP. It's just not... The Big bonus this week, but it'll do, I guess. All right, we are doing Flag War of the Arena War series right now. Last time I did this, I was on the death bike. Once again, I am on the death bike because you know I'm going to carry. Um, excuse me, pardon me, thank you. All right, so now let's go get the flag. I already have a flag, and then voila, I already delivered a flag. Oh my gosh, dude, <laughs> there's another guy on a freaking bike. This is going to be interesting for sure. I think it's just going to be offense, offense, offense with us. Martin teammate is literally just holding on to the freaking flag hey moron deliver it deliver you are holding on to the flag are we gonna lose this because of that idiot yeah he just delivered oh my god dude all right so it's a one flag game right now i i've kind of closed the gap because you know i'm mvp of this excuse me excuse me sir excuse me what is going on okay i maneuvered my way around somehow oh yeah also with this timer compared to other timers i'll be a little bit more lenient on other timers like if we start up like like the final round of something like right before the timer stops then like i'll let it go but for this timer whenever this timer goes to triple zero i'm actually going just to stop i'm going to leave this session and that's going to be all the money that we've made so hopefully we can win quickly uh, but right now it's a tie game 12 to 12 i think i've delivered half of our flags i think it's something like that this is a high scoring flag war 16 16 very competitive too the other ones that i played weren't really too competitive um excuse me pardon me thank you all right 17 17, 17 right now but i have a flag are we about to throw a little buzzer beater boom there we go next delivery wins and i was the next delivery there we go round winner oh, how much time do i have left though i have 10 minutes left all right here we go round two of flag war i was just thinking about it. it's less than 10 minutes now every round of flag war it takes five minutes so this might be the last round i can possibly do so after this i'm probably going to leave and then maybe try to do like g's cash something like that i don't know i'm just gonna have to see there we go i delivered a flag it's one flag delivered you know 
now. Crowd already chanting MVP because, you know, I am the MVP of Flat War. There's just no way around it. All right, I haven't been talking too much for this one, but I mean, it's been pretty much the same thing. A high scoring affair. I died. Uh, yeah, we're, we're definitely going to win this one. There's less than 30 seconds left. So pretty much once we get the animation that we win, we confirm we get the money. I'm going to leave and we're going to try to do some more things before the timer is fully done. And there we go. Round winner. And I got 23,000 for that. Not too bad at all. We're loading into round three. I'm going to try to get out of here as soon as possible. Once this round starts, I am just gone. All right, there we go. So now let's go to invite only session. All right, so we're out. All right, so now what can I do? Oh, geez, cash session not far away. I'll do that. I'll do that. And I think that's going to be it for my timer. I have two minutes left, so I have to find G's cash pretty quickly, which can be a problem sometimes. All right, so we made it over to G's cash. So now I got to quickly find this. Hopefully I'll be able to find it. Oh, oh, I, I can already hear. Where is it? All right. Oh, it's right here. Okay, nice. Pick it up. And boom, there we go. $16,000. Not too bad at all. Um, We have a minute left, but I don't think we really have time to do anything else. So I'm just going to stop the timer right here. So after 50 minutes of doing whatever I want in GTA Online, I now have $4,351,000, which is enough for me to buy the Torador. So yeah, let's go to War, Stock, Cash, and Carry. Let's scroll down to right here. The Torador coming in at $4,250,000. I have over that. And there we go. We just bought the Torador. So let's go check it out. So this is my new Torador. The $4,250,000 car that we just bought. Now this car doesn't look like much right now but trust me this car is absolutely nuts let's go check it out all right so the first thing with this tour door is that we actually have boost look at this what a nice boost and oh what a nice little wall right there nice but anyways yeah we have a nice little boost right here oh it's a quick boost too oh my god i didn't realize that this regen so quickly so that's nice and then i don't know let's just say i'm driving around and um okay i wanted this car to like run into me i mean like oh oh you ran into my car huh oh you ran into my car huh See, I could be a loser and use the machine guns like that, right? But I mean, like, you know, that car is still alive. Or I can use the missiles and just blow up the car like that. And now, look, the cops are on me. Um, yeah, I'm out of here. Nothing happened. Jesus. Oh, my God. This car is so fun. I've never bought a Torador on any of my accounts before. Oh, I'm learning, too. And then you're like, ah, you know, land is too boring, right? You know, I understand that. I understand that. Well, guess what? Well, bam, we're in underwater mode. And you can even boost underwater, too. And this vehicle's fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah, this is probably for now going to be my free mode vehicle that I use. I mean, I had been using the Drift Yosemite and that vehicle was nice. That It's not going to be nearly as impactful as this. I mean, this vehicle is fast. This vehicle has weapons. This vehicle can go underwater. Not like that's a huge deal in my opinion, but still, this vehicle is fantastic. So yeah, this is our new Torador. And next episode, we're going to go back to the Wheel of Businesses and we're going to spin that wheel to see what business we are going to buy next. A few episodes ago, I started as a level one on a new account in GTA Online. And the only businesses I've bought on this account have come through spinning a wheel determining what business I should buy next. So today in this video, I will spin that wheel again to see what business I will buy next. So welcome to the 10th episode of season two of Loser to Luxury. And without further ado, let's jump into it. So right now I am on the wheel of businesses and I'm on the wheel of businesses because the last thing that I bought came off the wheel of luxury, and that was the Torador, our newest vehicle. Then the last business I bought off the wheel of businesses was the facility. But what business am I going to have to buy next? So the wheel is spinning, and it looks like we are going to have to buy buy the acid lab next so last episode i did the first dose missions and after completing the first dose missions i got this vehicle that's right behind me the brick gate six by six and i could go over and talk to mutt right here and in the top left it says i could install the lab equipment and gain access to the acid lab business for seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars so that's how this business is going to work so we need seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars and currently right now i have a hundred and two thousand dollars all right so right now now, I am on the wheel of quick cash, so how are we going to start out this episode in order to make money? And it looks like we are going to have to do the junk energy time trial. All right, so right now, I am on the wheel of making money, and as you can see right here, we have a new wheel spin called the Last Dose Missions, and this is replacing the First Dose Missions that we did last episode. Then also, after doing the First Dose Missions, we are able to unlock the ability to do fooligans jobs. 
jobs. So two new wheel spins on the wheel of making money. But what are we going to have to do in this episode in order to make money? And it looks like we are going to have to play the boosted money job. Right now, I'm recording this on Sunday. So the boosted money job is going to be two things. One thing is going to be arena war, and that's double money in RP. But I've done that a lot recently. And the other job that's boosted is going to be deadline, which is triple money and RP. So I'm probably going to try to do that. So now I'm on the wheel of one to two hours, and this is going to determine how long I have to do whatever boosted job that I'm going to do. So let's spin the wheel and let's just find out how long we have. And it looks like we are going to have, is it going to be two? Nope, 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 nope. Wheel didn't like us there. We only have one hour to do the boosted job. So I only have one hour to do the boosted money job, but what else in this episode am I going to have to do in order to make money? And it looks like we are going to have to go through the pain of trying to join a random heist once again. Last time I tried to join a random heist, I got zero dollars out of it. I only got a first time bonus because the guy apparently had tried to do a replay glitch and I got screwed over because of it. So that's fun. But now I'm going to have to spin the wheel of random heist to determine what heist I'm going to have to try to join. But let's just spin the wheel and let's see what heist we are going to have to try to join at random. And it looks like we are going to have to already go back to Kayo Perico once again. Maybe someone will actually like not try to do a replay glitch on me. That'd be really nice. And maybe I can actually get paid for my heist. You know, you know, it's a little bit of a redemption story, hopefully. Hopefully that's how this goes. So I have to do one hour of the boosted money job and then I have to join a random Kayo Perico heist. But first I am going to go over to the junk energy time trial and try to complete that. All right, so right behind me is the junk energy time trial. I haven't done this one before. This one's a pillbox hill one. So let's just, let's start it up. Hopefully I can do it first try. All right, here we go. Can I please do this first attempt? Oh my God, I just ran over a lady. I mean, clearly I'm doing a time trial. So yeah, I think I definitely have the right of way. Oh my God, I ran into a car. Oh my God, wheelie. Um, um, you know, I'm going to continue. I'm going to continue. Usually I'd restart. I don't know why. I feel like we're going to still complete it. Okay, I'll restart now. I will. I will. That one was my fault. I think me running through the car was my fault too. Great start. Great start. All right, here we go. First attempt. Ha ha. Okay, I didn't run over a lady this time. I actually went around the only person walking around. That's nice. Okay, I feel like this is going pretty well right now. Oh my God, I just realized how long this time trial is and only how far I've gotten. Jeez. Oh yeah. Yeah, we're going to complete this pretty easily. You know, first attempt. Ha ha. Here we go. Part time beaten. So for that, I made $51,000. So now I currently have $153,000 thousand dollars but now it is time for me to try to join one of the boosted jobs for this week all right so behind me is going to be the feature series for this week and it's going to be deadline which is triple money and rp for this week i've done a lot of arena war recently even last episode too i did arena war so i am going to try to do deadline and hopefully we have enough people to do it so yeah hopefully we do well in deadline all right so i'm joining deadline and as soon as we get into the session i am going to start my timer all right, here we go. We are starting up deadline. I am in my purple bike right here. The clock has started. So if you don't know how deadline works, it's essentially like Tron. Behind me, like a line is being created. And essentially, I was just trying to explain something and that guy almost tried to kill me. So you create a line and if anyone runs into your line, you die. So like if I ran into this green line right there, I would die. And someone already left. Um, You are a certified loser. Way to stick it out, moron. We have six lives in the bottom right hand corner. And the goal of this is to not die. It's the last man standing. So I am going to right now play like a coward and run away from everyone. Okay, that was bad. That was really bad. So now I have five lives. Um, okay, everyone now has only five lives, so that's nice. Oh my god! Dude, I was not paying attention. I was like watching something on my iPad. Oh my god. Okay, okay, I'm playing bad. Okay, okay, okay. So now two of us have four lives and one person has five. That is fantastic. I am going to have to now be a little bit aggressive, I guess. Oh my god, I didn't time that jump up right. Oh, my, I haven't played Deadline in so long. I played it like once last season, then before that, it's been years. I'm now tied for last place, but I don't like last place, you know? This is a series about making money, right? I can't make that much money when I get in last place. I need to get in first place, so I have to figure out something like this. Ready? 
Okay, I got the green guy. That's, well, it's not all that matters, but I got the green guy. It's fantastic. I didn't think the pink line was there, but it clearly was. I'm in last place. I'm in literal last place right now. That's not good. Oh, okay. Pinky just committed suicide. Love it. Dude, I thought I jumped over that line. It looked like I cleared it. All right, so I'm taking this round as a warm-up round. I think we can all tell that I'm not trying right now. It's so obvious. It's not even funny. Like, just imagine if I was trying. Like, I'd be destroying everyone. I'm kidding. I'm kidding, Karen. Calm down. Uh oh uh oh I'm zoned in. Oh, okay, I, I threaded the needle. Okay, we're good. Oh, yeah, I got a kill. That's fantastic. It, it's the wrong guy. I need the green guy to die. 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 Green guy. Dom. 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 I I survived. I survived somehow. Well, that's lovely. I lost. Oh, oh yeah. The guy had left, so we only had one round of that. Lovely. Thank you. I just lose and then I move on. Only got 17,000 for that. Lovely. All right. We're in another round of deadline. We're doing deadline number 10. Um, oh, we're above the pier. Okay. I like my odds of winning now a lot better because right now I am wearing the Dr. Crush orange. So hopefully that'll pay off for me. Dude, I, oh my god, I did not know that was a thing with this map, just an empty void. Huh? How did I get a kill? I was not close to that guy. Well, now I'm tied for the lead, because I got a kill somehow. Okay, can I get a kill here? Please, 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 please. Oh yeah, oh yeah, you're trapped. You're boxed like a fish. Never mind, you turned around and did nothing. Okay, cool. Oh, this is gonna be complicated. This is gonna be complicated. What in the war? Oh, it's not complicated at all. Oh my god, of course someone le- I swear, people are so annoying. No, are you- <laughs> I just took the lead and I died. This is the one annoying thing about Deadline. One person's leaves in the middle, you cannot continue. It is incredibly stupid. I tried to do the same thing he did. I had a boost. I boosted too late. Whatever happened to the Dr. Clutch days, you know? I played Assault on Kaya Perico. I just turned into Dr. Clutch. Now I'm not, for some reason. I should change it. I should change that right now. I, we still have less than two minutes left to make something happen. You know what? I'm gonna kill everyone. Just mark my words. I swear, it's the turning radius of a freaking pickup truck. No, what, what is this? Yeah, I thought I was driving a Shitaro, not a freaking Ford F-150. What, what is this? Die. That's just on me. Never mind. <laughs> Am I out of lives? I'm pretty close to it. I don't have zero lives. This is fantastic. Okay. I mean, I have to be aggressive. I have to. Dude, I used to be so good at deadline. I don't know. I guess I'm washed. I'm washed when it comes to deadline. I might just go back to Arena War. I think Arena War is actually more fun. I don't know if it's more profitable. Well, you know what? It might be more profitable, actually, because no one actually leaves in the middle of it, or if they do, it doesn't matter. Can you die? How? 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 Well, there goes my lives. Yay. Yep, there we go. Another another thing that says loser. I get it. I get it. Loser to luxury. I am definitely putting the loser in loser to luxury. I like to put the luxury in loser to luxury, but, you know, it's just not working right now. All right, I'm deciting. I'm switching it up. I'm going to the Arena War series, which has double money and RP. A lot more people. Not that many people are going to leave because, well, most of these people aren't losers. So, yeah, here we go. Let's do some Arena War. All right, so we're now doing Arena War. We're doing Here Comes the Monsters, and right now I am in an Issy Classic. All right, so the goal... Okay, I don't know why you hit me. Okay, anyways, anyways, any... There's like people after me. I was gonna explain how this works, but there's a lot of people after me, so... Um... Um, never mind. I died. I died. That's great. Oh, maybe I spin the wheel. I spin another wheel. That's awesome. And I get 50 AP, which is not going to mean anything. Well, that was great. That was a great start. Um, did we lose? I wasn't paying. Yeah, we lost. Okay. I was looking at my phone right after I died. Clock is still running. We made $8,000 for our pathetic performance. Nice. Awesome. All right. Um, let's try this again. I didn't really even have that much time during that last round. So I didn't even get to explain how this works either. So Essentially how this works is that there's a bunch of different people that are being hunted and that's the team that I'm currently on right now. And then there's some people in monster trucks that are hunting us down. And essentially all we have to do is survive. So like there's a monster truck right there, as you can see, and I'm hiding. <laughs> he can't even do anything, or can he? He's trying to throw something at me, but I'm like pretty blocked up right now. I'm doing a fantastic job of like not dying right now. All right, nice. I finally got up here. This is where I'm just gonna chill out. I'm just chilling out right here here and there's a monster truck that attacked me from behind nice nice no no get get up and go we're getting out of here see this is what i wanted to do last round what the oh that was my teammate i had no idea what that was i can literally just chill out right here for the most part i mean there's a way monster trucks can get up here but it's a lot easier for me to get up here and even if like i do die from this they have to waste so much time on me so like i'm being a team player right now and oh my god now there's multiple monster trucks after dude there's three and i think there's four. Oh wait someone killed 
killed one of the monster trucks. <laughs> <laughs> he has one of the upgraded monster trucks and he still missed. All right, so now it's like a minute 30 because one of the monster trucks died. Dude, I'm being such a team player right now. They can't get me. Okay, that guy's trying to think about it. See, this guy is not thinking about it. He just tried to just ram and like try to get me, but you know, he sucks. This guy's actually trying to be smart about it, but you have to be very precise with it. And that guy's not being precise. Oh, I'm the last one. I'm the last one. It's like 40 seconds left. I have to keep going. That was pretty good. I have to admit, that was pretty good. No, 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 no. I'm out. 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 How am I going to juke? I have to juke now. I have to juke for like 20 seconds. But how is this going to work? Ouch. Back up. 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 Now go. Well, it's not great when you're doing a, what, 1v4, I think it was. That was fantastic. Round loser. I played like a winner, to be honest. I, I carried my own team, but, you know, it's fine. Oh, great for my efforts. I only got 11,000. That's that's fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. All right, here we go. Once again, I'm in the AC Classic, and I'm going right back to where I had been going. I think five minutes is way too much time. I, I really do feel like it's way too much time for me to try to survive, or at least my team to survive. I could survive it. I got close to surviving it last time. Dude, dude, it's a three. 3v1 over there. That one teammate, that's a team player right there. He's taking up the energy of three different monster trucks. That, that's a team player right there. He died, but your service was definitely seen. I don't know. I, I saw it. Nice. Only four players left. All of them are on the other side of the map, too. <laughs> and I'm just chilling over here. See? Yeah. Okay. Okay. No. Well, that's fantastic. You know, my when my teammates don't, like, survive, it makes it really tough on me to try to do a lot of things. So that that's great. I haven't become a monster truck either. Like, whenever I've done this. So that's awesome. Oh, my God. I only got paid $4,000 for that last one. I swear, I'm, like, carrying the team, too. All right. So we're doing tag team number three right now. I am in my ZR380 or in a ZR380. Don't own this vehicle. All right. Take out the enemy. I definitely haven't played tag team. So I don't know what I'm doing, to be honest honest how do i take out my teammate oh this is the pit zone i what what and one of my teammates left too i gotta explode what what happened i don't even know what happened okay god dang that took so long to complete oh uh, we only have like 15 minutes left we lost but my teammate lasted a long time um oh my god i only got nine thousand dollars off of that that's terrible i don't know i wish i knew what i was doing like when i'm actually in it um all right here we go round number two i'm in the box what uh, do i just start up in the box because this is so boring if i'm actually just gonna do this again wait my team has to tag me in what why would my teammate ever tag me in like my teammate's actually like a big tryhard he knows what he's doing did we win okay we won but i literally just sat in the box and just tried to help as much as i could okay that, that was good money we made twenty three thousand dollars off that not bad all right here we go round number three of tag team number three i think i'm starting to get this a little bit it's kind of like a last man standing ordeal but then some of your teammates are in the box seat and the people in the box seat have the ability to like try to get kills and whatever but honestly i have no idea how in the world i'm supposed to get kills with the zr380 it's just a stock zr380 so like i have no earthly idea how am i supposed to get kills i think how i died the first round was that there's a guided missiles that you can use when you're in the box seat i think i died because of that i got a few kills last round with that yeah literally i have no weapons i can't do i'm better off in the box seats to be honest i'm just in a zr 380 but i don't have any weapons so not much i really can do you know what? honestly no i know my weaknesses i'm out i'm tagging my other teammate in all right see now i'm back in the box seat and what i do i didn't talk last time but what i do is i go to a turret and then i go over and get a homing missile and then and then i fire a homing missile why can't i fire okay i want to fire a homing missile please all right i can fire a homing missile and now i'm just a flying missile so i'm being tagged in why am i being tagged in Oh, because you died, you moron. I can't do anything. I literally can't do anything. I can survive. That's pretty much it. I have no weapons, no nothing. So my teammate is going to have to kill everyone else. Oh, wait, I can get into a gun tower. I, that, that's so risky, though. I'm a sitting duck. No, screw it. Gun tower. <laughs> I don't know. Out, 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 out. Oh, my God. That guy, like, saved me, Loki. I have, like, no health on my card. Pinky keeps coming after me. It's a little annoying. You should go after the purple guy, you know? Ouch. Yeah. 
I don't know what my teammate did. He literally got straight into the game and died. I have two minutes and 30 seconds left. If I am able to start up another round of this before the timer expires, I'll do that. Okay, it's match loser. Um, Got $39,000 off of that. Not bad, but it was very slow. We couldn't do much there. But whatever, yeah. Um, We're not gonna be able to join. Well, you know what? If I am able to join another match of something Arena War within the time frame, I may be allowing myself to do that one. That one final round. But yeah, I have to join something and it has to be started up too in a minute. Now nah, we're not gonna be able to start up this round in the amount of time yet. So yeah, I'm leaving this. I am stopping the timer. Not a great hour, to be honest. You know, dead like could have been good, but one, I suck at it now. And two, everyone just kept leaving right after it started up. We weren't able to do the better arena war modes, but whatever. So after that hour, I only now I have $249,000. Not a lot of money at all. Yeah, honestly, that was not a great hour for us. But now I have to try to join another Kyle Perico heist. And hopefully we have some better luck there. And maybe we'll actually get paid this time. All right, here we go. We are doing the Gaio Perico eyes. I have joined in, and right now I am doing this with a level 23. So hopefully we can actually get paid for this eyes. I really would like to be paid, you know. We did not have a great hour of doing the boosted money jobs. So yeah, this would be nice if I, you know, actually got some money. All right, let's try to do this Gaio Perico heist. Hopefully we can do this pretty efficiently. So first things first, we are trying to find the key cards. So die and die. Nice, I found a key card. Oh, nice, my teammate got caught. I literally was just watching it on my screen. Yeah, he, he got caught. Nice. Well, oh, there we go. First attempt failed. Um, That means we're not going to get the elite challenge. <laughs> there we go. I found another key card again. I'm doing good at finding the key cards. We just need to be able to go through and make it to the vault. See, last time I had to wait a while just because a juggernaut was in the way. But this time, hopefully I don't have to. What? Dude, dude. Oh, my God, teammate. Dude, I was doing so good. I was pushing for kind of being quiet and then he died dude why is my teammate so close to the juggernaut oh my gosh my teammate just cannot figure it out dude oh my god my teammate's doing the same thing again am i supposed to help him out or something oh my god i am oh you are so welcome you are so welcome oh wow i just saved my teammate's life yeah um if he wanted to kill the juggernaut um uh, he's using the military rifle loadout no 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 no. you need the aggressor loadout where you can get the assault shotgun that is definitely a lot more ideal for what he wants to do Dude, you just ran right into the path of the guy. Oh my god, team eight. Why? Oh my heavens. I saved his life for nothing. He, he messed around with a juggernaut. He's like, oh, juggernaut. Yeah, come this way. Come this way. Oh my god, this guy's not smart. I try to save him. I really did try to save him once again. He got caught and I was really close and yeah, just didn't work. Didn't work because Juggernaut already shot. Oh, teammate, teammate, teammate. Now, the thing with the Kyle Perico heist is that, in my opinion, you don't have to kill everyone. And I think this guy, along with some of the guys last time, they wanted to kill every single person. Or they wanted to kill a lot of people, at least. You don't have to kill that many people. Yeah, some people you're going to have to kill in order to get, like, a key card and to, like, make your way through to the vault. But overall, you don't have to kill that many people. This guy wants to kill a lot of people. And then some of the people last time, they wanted to kill a ton of people also. See, my teammate really wants to get this juggernaut dead. And I have to, like... Come over here and like wait till he gets caught and yeah he shot he shot mm -mm. team oh my god teammate uh, why you know what no 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 i have too much self-respect for myself i'm not gonna just sit here and watch someone be stupid i i can't i can't we're gonna join another guy up rico heist hopefully that guy's a little smarter i finally found another heist to join and i'm actually getting 25 percent this time so yeah can we actually like complete it and then also can we actually get paid too that'd be nice all right we are doing the guy up rico heist once again we are landing in a vellum. I don't think I've ever done this approach with multiple players. Okay, okay, okay. I do remember with this approach that they have to like stash your weapons. So I'm immediately going to go over here. I'm going to get my weapons. I don't know like what loot my teammate wants to get. I have no idea what is the strategy. What level is my teammate? Uh, oh my God, 244 and 203. Okay, definitely my teammate knows what's going on. Oh, what if we get a disguise? What if I get a disguise? You know what? Yeah. All oh, right, yeah, yeah. We're, we're switching our outfit now. We look like one of El Rubio's guards. All right, so now where are we going? Because I have no earthly idea. I'm just following my leader. Oh, my teammate wants to go this way. Uh, what are we doing from here? 
Okay, my teammates going over here. You're gonna take out that guard? Are we taking out the lights and everything? Oh, okay, sure. Oh, there we go. Lights are out. And the CCTV is out. Very nice. Okay, we're getting in this van. All right, yeah, yeah, this makes sense. Maybe not the most efficient way to do this heist, but this is interesting. I'm getting paid 25% of this heist cut instead of the normal 15%. So this is very important. And we're doing this a very different way. Oh yeah, the thing with the disguises is that we can just run right past these people or drive right past these people and they're not gonna know a thing. They're just going to assume that we're just normal guards and whatever. So yeah, we can just make our way through the compound and make our way through the island. Like, it's no one's business. All right, so we've made it all the way to the compound. So now we just need to make our way through. Yep, gate's open. Thank you. I am one of you guys. What's up? And then we just have to make it here. Um, now what? Oh, we just drive on in. Oh right, yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm one of you guys, you know, just doing normal business, making sure no fools rob you guys or us. 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 All right, now what? I don't know how I'm supposed to make our way through here. We were spawned in on the other side, so this is definitely interesting. We still have to get key cards and whatnot. How are we supposed to do that? I'm not used to it on this side. Why are you looking at me? We're all just staring at each other. Time for Dr. Clutch to engage. They seem clueless, so I'll take care of things. I will. I will. So my teammate picked up the gate keys. Gate keys. Honestly, I don't care about gate keys. We need key card. Key card is the big thing. Okay, that was my fault. That was my fault. Oops. I think that was my fault. I don't know, man. I don't know how I'm supposed to find a key card when I spawn in this way. My CEO quit. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, CEO. Yeah, CEO's gone. Yeah, I don't know how I'm supposed to do that going from that way. No one goes that way. All right, we're joining another Kyle Perico ice. We are going in from the Kasaka. Now, there's four of us in this ice. So I'm back to getting a 15% cut, but I just want this to be over because it's like 30 minutes in between me trying to find a heist to actually join. So pretty high levels in this one. We have a level 249, 203, and a 155. All right, so we're doing this heist at nighttime. So everything's just a little bit darker. Oh my God, someone already picked up a key card. Love it. Love it. Thank you. I don't have to kill anyone. I am going straight to the vault now. Wait, was that my fault? I think that was my fault. That's on me. That's on me. This is his first time. I had a little cutscene beforehand of him doing it for the first time. So that's not a great sign. Okay, I'll do better. I'll do better. My last time was on me. I I'll blame that one on me. But no more funny business out of me. No more. No more whatsoever. All right, I found a key card. Nice. Welcome, teammates. Now it's time for me not to screw up. Why are y'all just aiming? What are y'all doing? Why are y'all aiming at each other? Okay, these teammates are just interesting. I, I don't know. I found the key card. Gonna have it screwed up yet that wasn't me that wasn't me i knew that wasn't me i was not even close to anyone very nice teammates should i just try to do this, this no this is probably such a stupid idea you know whatever i'm gonna try to do this aggressively with my teammates you know they want to do it aggressive fine as long as i can get this done quicker because i hate waiting Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I was mowing down some people. Oh my god, one of the teammates left. I don't think that's a terrible thing. Oh, I, I mean, we can't get as much loot, but whatever. Nice. We got the second key card. I'll go get the secret vault. I don't even know if they know the secret vault's a thing. Just give me the money. 82,000 is pretty good, actually. All right, I'll do the hack. I don't trust them with the hack, to be honest. I can do the hack pretty well. All right, there we go. Let's go down the elevator, I guess. This is such a fun way to do this eyes. I guess we're just gonna keep powering through. I mean, I'll take care of everything. We're in the vault and we just took the files. Nice. I would personally like some secondary loot so I can get some more money. Um, to be honest, I have no idea if they even know that there's gold on the map or whatever. Yeah, so my teammate's getting cash. I know people are going to yell in the comment section and be like, oh, gold's the best thing to get. And yeah, it definitely is. But I don't think these guys know that. All right, we're back outside. Um, there's a ton of guards right here. Ah, okay, well, I'm dead. That's great. I'm just gonna sit and spectate now. Dude, I felt like in season one when I like actually joined a Kayo Perico heist as a guest, I felt like I actually got some pretty smart teammates. For some reason, season two, I have not been paired up with smart teammates and I don't know why. Kind of unfortunate, to be honest. Oh, there you go. That guy's dead. <laughs> that guy has collected the primary target. Is he just gonna make a run for it? This would be hilarious if he actually makes a run for it. Oh, he wants to get into the car. Oh my God. Yeah, he's escaping. Yeah, he's He's escaping. <laughs> oh my God. Does he know the best way to escape? I hope so. I really hope so. I don't feel so bad that I got caught during that first attempt anymore. What happened? The CEO quit. <laughs> I mean, it's a weird time to quit. Sucks for me because I have to try to find another one. That's so great. Another Kaya Perico heist. There's only two of us this time. I'm a level 36. He's a level 46. I don't have the highest hopes, but geez, I really shouldn't have the highest hopes anymore. I, my expectations are always so high when I start doing these. And then they just plummet. They just spiral out of
out of control to the point where I will try to do this heist aggressively just to get this over with. We're not doing it aggressively. No more, no more, no more. No more of that BS. All right, we're back at the compound, this time in daytime. Very interesting. I found the key card, teammate. Yay me. Okay, so my teammate wants to do this strategy where he climbs up here. We saw someone do this last time, which I mean, okay, I've done it before. I hate doing this. Very little room to fail. All right, so now we're just walking on top of all the buildings or whatever. Then my teammate's right here. Hello, teammates. I'll follow you. Even though I don't like going this way, I know this is a route because I've seen people do this. You moron. He didn't kill the guy that was like two feet in front of him. Oh my God. <laughs> dude oh my god he has the right idea of what to do and then he failed aha found the key card once again i think my teammate took the same route i think i go the route that i know works oh something doesn't work okay i think we're doing a good job so far i think i'm pretty close to my teammate once again okay yeah my teammate picked up the second key card so that means he's inside of the office he's going to pick up the cash i'll do the hack all right I completed the hack my teammate is not here anymore so i guess i'll catch up to my teammate wait where, what wait is my teammate in the vault now yeah my teammate's in the vault he went all the way around as i was doing the hack i mean okay cool that's fine you can do that as long as we get the gold that's inside of here see that guy wanted to get the primary target first last time i did this heist, i got flamed for yelling at someone for telling me to get the primary target last yeah i did forget that a ton of guards spawn and once you get the primary target to be honest it shouldn't be a factor if you kill as little people as possible it's really not a factor at all i don't know exactly all the people that he killed but all the people that i killed i know it's not gonna be a factor for any of the new guards that spawned in to be caught All right anyways we need to get more gold so take me to some gold i don't know where the gold locations are oh i found one i can get back to that location easy easy i'll get to that location easy flawlessly oh wait no i beat him there oh i was about to say he's gonna beat me there nope nope hey teammate over here teammate over here teammate over here oh do you want to take out that guard or is there another door is that what you're looking at oh there is another door oh 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 see we're kind of on the same page but we're kind of not you know we're more on the same page than any other person that i've played with probably at all this season with the Kyle Perigo eyes. Um, ladies first, you go get the gold first. <laughs> I shouldn't be talking to my teammate like that. I mean, th this has been so smooth. All right, there we go. I have a max loot bag now, so all we have to do is just get out of here. That's all we have to do. This has been the smoothest run so far. I forgot. Is this our first attempt? Oh, wait, no, this is our second attempt. Yeah, because he screwed up first time. Okay, almost first attempt. Almost, which I shouldn't be saying that out loud, but I am. Okay, so now we can just literally run over here. The people on the map, it doesn't matter that we just walked right past them. They, 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 they don't know that we're here. He's just shooting that guy for fun. We're not going to get caught because we're in the middle of a transition into a cutscene and we're trying to push our way out and we're like, oh yeah, big door. Um, We've only escaped this door once. Mm, stupid door. And they're like, oh, green button. Yeah. You know what? You know what? That person pressed a green button. You should press the red button underneath of this video that says subscribe. In all seriousness though, I'd really appreciate it if you could subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. It shows me that you're really enjoying the content and that you want to see more content like this. And hey, maybe since you subscribed, we are actually you're gonna have the capability of completing this heist. So for you that subscribed, thank you. Really appreciate it. And you're probably thinking, why are you just running instead of getting a vehicle? I don't know. I don't know. I should have gotten a vehicle, but he took the bike that was closest. So I'll just run. It's fine. See, this this guy's being a pal too. He's like, you know what? We're gonna do this together. Okay, now a body's been found, but I don't care that a body's been found. Um, what well, hasn't been found? Okay, I thought I was gonna die for a second. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Why is a buzzard in the water? What? They crashed the helicopter into the water. They need to go to flight school again. I'm crazy people. Oh, sweet. I got paid an extra $10,000 too right before we finished this Kyle Perico heist. Thank you. Thank you. And there we go. We completed the Kyle Perico heist. Hopefully he didn't try to do some replay glitch and hopefully I get paid because I'm gonna get some decent money out of this. I'll get paid, I don't know, right around 300,000 maybe. Yep, and there we go. Heist passed. Or is there an actual take of $1,899,000. I get 50% of that. So that's $284,000. We did a quick restart. So he did not try to do the replay glitch. So thank you, Guy, for actually playing the game the right way. So after completing... Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, how did I get an extra $200,000? What? I got an objective called Cat Burglar. I don't know what that means. But anyways, right now I have $764,000. What was that objective? What is Cat Burglar? Cat Burglar. Complete the Cayo Perico heist without ever alerting 
escorting the guards to earn $200,000. A body was found. So I don't know if that's 100% true. I didn't kill that guard though. So maybe, they, I don't know. The point is I got an extra $200,000 and now I can actually purchase the acid lab. What is this guy doing? Can I yank? Oh my God, I can yank him out of his terabyte. And then <laughs> that guy just looked like he wanted to run me over. So yeah, now what I am going to do is I am going to get out of here before I die. I don't know why I went to another public session, but <laughs> guy, guy just looked like he was just gearing up to run me over. Like, come on. I just got an extra $200,000 for not alerting a guard. Calm down. I know you're jealous. Calm down. You want to put an acid lab in this truck? Um, uh, Mott, actually, I do. That is why I am here, because I have enough money by $14,000 to actually turn this into an acid lab. So, Mott, you are going to turn this into an acid lab right now for $750,000. And boom, there we go. We now own the acid lab. Now, I guess I could customize this a little bit. I mean, see, now the big thing is to make like really good money out of this, we would need to purchase acid lab equipment, but I need to complete 10 full against jobs. So maybe at some point down the line, if I just have like a little bit of extra money and I know I've completed 10 full against jobs, I'll purchase this equipment upgrade. But right now I, one can't cause I wouldn't have enough money. And two, I've only done one full against job. So it's gonna be a little bit. Now the large scoop on this thing is actually really fun too, but we're not gonna use that. And it looks like I can't even put a livery on it. Um, so I don't know. I guess let's just make it orange for $7,500 and call it a day. I, I don't know. Yeah, here we go. The Dr. Crushmobile now. I, mean, I could customize my delivery bike too, but uh, whatever. Not a big deal. So yeah, honestly did not think I was going to be able to buy the acid lab this episode, but well, I was able to just because I didn't alert a guard. Thank you, game, I guess. And then next episode, we are going to spend the Wheel of Luxury once again to determine what item we are going to buy next. Back in August, I started as a level one on a new account in GTA Online. And the only items I've bought on this account have come through spinning a wheel determining what I should buy next. So today in this video, I will spin the wheel again to see what item I will buy next. So welcome to the 11th episode of season number two of Loser to Luxury. And without further ado, let's jump into it. So right now I am on the wheel of luxury and I'm on the wheel of luxury because the last thing that I bought on this account came off the wheel of businesses and that that was the acid lab. And the last time I spun the wheel of luxury, I landed on the tour door. But what are we gonna have to buy off the wheel of luxury next? So the wheel is spinning and it looks like we are going to have to buy a random HSW vehicle. And that's gonna be nice because once we get this HSW vehicle, we can now do HSW time trials. All right, so I've just created a wheel of one to 19 and I've created a wheel of one to 19 to determine what what HSW vehicle I'm going to have to buy. And if you can't tell, there are 19 different HSW vehicles. Now, how we're gonna rank all these HSW vehicles is going to be off of their top speed. So I have a list pulled up of the fastest HSW vehicles by top speed. So if we land on number one, we'll have to buy the Grotti Itali GTO Stinger TT. That is a tongue twister, I swear. If we land on number two, we'll have to get the Declassy Vigero ZX. If we land on three, we have to get the Akachu Drag. Um, I don't know, let's just scroll down down a little bit. Let's just say I land on 18. I have to buy the Maibatsu Monstrosity. And if I land on 19, which is the slowest top speed vehicle in the HSW class, I would have to buy the Grotti Brioso. All right. So now that we know how this wheel is going to work, let's spin the wheel and let's see which HSW vehicle I am going to have to buy. And these are going to be the lower ones. That is fantastic. Number 13. I have no idea what vehicle this is. I don't know if I should be excited or or piss. I just know that this is one of the slower ones. So number 13, according to this list, is going to be the Imponte Arbiter GT. I have never heard of that vehicle. All right, so this is the Imponte Arbiter GT right here, coming in at $1,580,000, but that's not really like the true price because I can put a free HSW vehicle upgrade on it, but I still need to pay for an LS Car Meet membership. So that's $50,000. Then I have to actually like customize this a little bit. So I'm looking at trying to get $2,000,000 dollars and currently right now i have six thousand nine hundred and eighteen dollars so yeah we have a long ways to go in order to make two million dollars but we we can do it we can do it pretty easily all right so right now i am on the wheel of quick cash and right here is our newest wheel of quick cash wheel spin and that's going to be sell to a street dealer and that is because last episode we bought the acid lab our newest business which gives us access to selling to a street dealer but now that you know that this is our new wheel spin let's just spin the wheel and let's see what we're gonna have to do to start out this episode in order to 
make money. And it looks like we are going to have to sell excess weapon parts from our bunker. All right, so now I'm on the wheel of making money. And right here is our newest wheel spin here, which is going to be selling off our maxed out acid lab. But what are we going to have to do in this episode in order to make money? And it looks like we are going to have to have a really, really fun time with doing the next original heist on our list. And that is going to be the Series A funding heist. So I guess that'll be fun to do. But what else in this episode am I going to have to do in order to make money? And it looks like we are going to have to go and sell off our bunker once again. Okay, so I got to do the Series A funding heist and then I have to sell off my bunker. But first I have to go to my bunker and sell off the excess weapon parts. So I've made it over to my bunker and behind me is the Dune Loader full of excess weapon parts. So let's go up to it and yeah, let's go sell off these excess weapon parts. So yeah, all I have to do is just drive this Dune Loader to an ammunition and just hand them the weapon parts and there you go. I just get paid $50,000 and this location is only like three and a half miles away. So should be a breeze. Oh wow, maybe this wasn't a breeze. I died. I don't know why these clowns try to kill me. Stop, batter up. No, stay down. I hate that. I have a bat in my... Stop kicking him. We have a bat in our hand. Okay, I pull out a bat just to kick him. I, I... Okay, whatever. It's fine. Less than a mile away. Just drive. What is your problem with me? Dude, make your own weapon parts. Like, come on. All right, I've made it over to this ammunition. Maybe it wasn't as smoothly as I wanted this to be, but there you go, here's your weapon parts. And there's my $50,000 for the contract being complete. So now I have $58,000, but now it is time for me to try to start up the Series A funding heist. All right, we're jumping into the first setup right here. We're doing Series A Cola setup, and I am getting my Drift Yosemite. Now, a few episodes ago, I bought the tour Door, but in a pretty recent update, they made it so that you can't use the tour door during missions or heists. So unfortunately, we are not allowed to use the tour door here. So we're back to my Drift Yosemite. Oh yeah, if you don't know anything about this heist, the heist leader or like the person that's like setting up the heist for us is going to be Trevor. Yes, Trevor Phillips is the guy setting up the heist for us with the help of Ron instead of it being Agent 14 like the last two heists and then like the Fleece of heist on how it was Lester. It is Trevor. Trevor. But anyways, for this setup, we need to go to a yacht where a bunch of frat boys are located. And apparently these frat boys are holding a bunch of cola. So we have to go steal this cola from the frat boys. Oh yeah, I didn't say I am the highest level here by a long shot too. I'm a level 36, then I'm with a level 5, 6, and 15. Oh yeah, also we're going to do all the setups on easy and then the finale is going to be on hard so we can get the most amount of money during the finale. All right, but anyways, we're supposed to go around this yacht and collect things of cola and I I've already picked up two things of cola. I don't know if the people in the helicopter are here. They're flying over, but okay, they jumped out. Never mind. Oh, they both died simultaneously. Awesome. Awesome. Love it. Good job, guys. Yeah, it looks like I'm probably going to have to carry during this setup, which I mean, it's fine. I'm surprised people even joined this quickly. It only took me like five minutes. Oh, no. why do I talk? Someone left right as I said. That. Okay, well, let's find some more people. All right, let's try this again. We are back doing the cola mission for the Series A funding heist. Now, hopefully someone doesn't leave right after they crash their helicopter into the yacht. That would be really nice. So once again, I didn't have to wait too long to get people to join. And I'm doing this in the middle of the week instead of when I try to do the Humane Labs raid, when I try to do it on a Sunday. Like no one wanted to join on a Sunday for some reason, but everyone wants to join for some reason on a Tuesday. That makes no sense to me. Wow, someone already died. How did, mm, mm. There's one of the people in the helicopter. I don't know what they did, but um, don't do it again. Again, I guess. I don't know. No, no. Why would we? Oh mm, my gosh. Yeah, 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 yeah. We still have to collect six more things of cola and we just want to freaking get off the boat. Yeah, that's right. Oh my god. Oh my god. I didn't realize one of them had a shotgun. I was so careless. Now we need to find two more things of cola. Oh, here's another one right here. So now we need to collect one more thing and we have to collect zero things more of cola. So now we have to get out of here and well, I walked right past the helipad, but I don't think my teammates even saw that there was a helipad. Who wants to get in the helicopter? That's dude, there's a dead carcass on. I don't know if y'all can see it because this helicopter smoking. There's literally a dead carcass like right where the smoke's blowing. You can kind of see his feet. Okay, everyone's in the helicopter. Jeez, I was so shocked by that that
that everyone got into the helicopter before I even noticed. All right, so all we have to do is just lose the cops, and yeah, we should be good to go after that. Yeah, the Series A funding setups aren't too bad at all. There's just one setup that's kind of annoying, and we're going to do it next. But the main challenge for the Series A funding setups is just trying to get people to join. It's literally it. And then the heist itself is pretty easy. It's a lot easier than the Humane Labs raid. All right, so we've made it back to the freak shop. I mean, just this random warehouse or whatever that Trevor is using as a hideout. And there we go. Setup pass. Let's move on to the next one. All right, here we go. We're doing the next Series A funding setup, and it's going to be the trash truck setup. So this is going to be the hardest setup of the Series A funding setups, and probably one of the more annoying setups in the game as far as the original heist are concerned. How did someone die? Someone's bullying me with a vigilante. Okay, he left now. How did someone already die? Oh, were they on a bike? It's so bad that you already died when you're on a bike. Do you know what I think about this vigilante? Okay, I didn't do what I wanted to do. That's okay. Just get out. Just get out. Yeah, just... Okay. Well, that's one way to get out of... Do... <laughs> okay, I was trying to be funny, but then um, it didn't work out. It's okay. Whatever. I was going to say that's one way to get out of the Drift Yosemite, and then a blue patriot runs me over, so thank you. All right, now let the fun begin. So we're going on our duties as trash men. We have to go and pick up trash. Why is someone already stopping? Okay, yeah, you go. That, that's how this heist works. You drive to locations. You don't just stop and magically appear at a location. It doesn't work like that. All right, so we made it to the first location. I'm getting run over. I'm getting run over. I'm getting run over. Out. Um, I'll take the blame on that one. That That's probably my fault. Okay, anyways, I have to go and collect this bag of trash. And then we have to run with this bag of trash to the back of this trash truck. And then we throw the trash into the trash truck. And then we get back onto this trash truck and we go to another location. All right, so you're thinking like, oh, Dr. Crush, that was so easy. How is this one of the hardest setups in the game? Well, at this next location, people start spawning in trying to kill you. Now, this location still isn't that bad, but still. Oh my God, that guy can't back up worth a crap just ran through the wall hey you got that tell you back up don't run me over again Okay, luckily, he just didn't keep running me over. Oh, okay, someone's still in their vigilante, and they're just gonna take out the rest of the guys. That's nice. All right, here's the last trash bag right here in the trash master. Now, let's go to another location. Oh, yeah, by the way, we're still on easy for this setup. I have a level 18 in here, but then I have a level 187 and 531, so I don't know how I got higher levels to join this, but I did. I did somehow. This is the only setup I really care about having high levels. Is that a high level driving? Because that's embarrassing. Who's driving? The 531 is driving. Yeah, just ran straight into a pole and got stuck. Ran me over to death. Don't run me. Stop running me over. Oh my God, you made us fail the heist. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, that time I jumped off the trash master out the way and then he blatantly ran me over. And then the other guy left. Um, Thank you, banana man. All right, let's try to do this setup again. Hopefully someone doesn't run me over two times. That'd be nice. Hopefully someone doesn't run me over to death one time. That'd be ideal. Oh my God, someone already ran over another teammate. Dude, what? Everyone just running over everyone. Oh. Oh, because they were using their Hakachu drag right here. That's what happened. I said this is the hardest heist in the game. We haven't even hit the hard parts yet. All right, let me just park my vehicle. All right, yeah, park it right there. Now let's get into the trash master. Let's go pick up some trash. All right, let's collect the first thing of trash right here. My favorite thing to do in GTA Online. And I, I hate that. I hate that. That happens so much. Even though we were right behind the trash master. The trash is still rolling. Okay, now put the trash in the trash master. There we go. All right, there we go. We are at the next location. So let's go pick up some more trash. All right, so now some enemies have spawned in, but we only need to get one more trash bag. So this shouldn't be an issue at all. All right, my teammate put the second trash bag in and he wants to go and try to kill everyone. You don't have to kill everyone in this mission. I'm just going to sit here on the trash truck and wait. All right, so we're at the next location right here. So let's get out and let's go pick up some more bags. Hey, what is my teammate doing? He's just sitting over the dude. Bring the trash master this way. Come on, guy. All right, I have the final trash trash bag. All right, and there we go. The trash is in the trash master. Let's get back in. Let's go to the next location. All right, so this is the final location right here. So I would definitely like to complete it right here. If not, we have to start all the way back at the first location. The, the respawn here is not ideal. Dude, why would you park it there? Oh my God. I literally have to go all the way around here just to put it in. This is so ridiculous. Oh my God. There's a lot of cars that are nearby. Jeez. Okay. I did not know there's that many cars and um, someone died because they blew up the gas station. Love it. Love it. 
All right, so my teammate got the final trash bag. Put it into the freaking truck, and let's get out of here. Okay, now we're back on the Trash Master. All we have to do now is drive a half mile to the freak shop, and we should be good to go. Oh my god, you missed the turn. You missed the exit. You missed the exit. Nope, nope, nope. That's not where you go. We are so close to being done. Do not screw it up now. Turn, turn. Not there. No, no. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Well, I guess you can turn left here. Turn left here. Turn left here. Turn left there. There you go. Now go down this hill. No. Wrong. 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 No. You're so close. You're so close. No. No. Mm -mm. Wrong. 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 You can try to make it through there. Okay. Wow. You actually made it through there. Um. There you go. You go to that yellow thing right there. Thank you. Yes. Got through this setup. I hate this setup so much. Made it a little interesting at the end even though it didn't really have to be. And there we go. Setup pass. Let's move on to the next one. Alright. Let's do the next setup right here we're doing the series a biker setup i think it'd be a lot easier if i had the crew before this setup but it's okay we'll just go with my drift 70 and just do whatever the heck i want because well this is on easy oh and someone left yippee well i guess we'll try this again all right let's try this again hopefully no one leaves this time i would like that very much what is up with my teammates just driving their vehicles into the water anyways we don't need vehicles anyways i thought we had to do something different for this setup i thought we could just take our karumas but no we're gonna be going there in a dinghy we have to go to stab city in a dinghy Dingy. All right, so we've made it to shore, clearly, because he just beached the thing. Kind of the opposite of what my teammates did with their bikes. Oh, we have to take out the lost MC without alerting them. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this. Okay, so we had to go to Trevor's trailer. I didn't mention this, but we had to go to Trevor's trailer and pick up suppressed weapons. And if we get caught at all during this setup, we'll just automatically lose. So obviously, we do not want to screw up. So I am going to take you out. Bye bye. Okay, um, this teammate right here is a terrible shot noted noted oh, here's this teammate i'm just gonna smack you in the face i like smacking people in the face in this game all right there we go now i have to locate the vans um pretty sure there's a van over here somewhere all right so my teammates are in vans i guess i'm not gonna ride with that guy um i don't know what i'm gonna do now um get some free kills i guess i don't know that's all i can really think of doing you know what since i'm not really doing anything during this heist i'll just wreck oh someone died nice oh it's someone in a van too oh my god i should really i was gonna try to land on that train but then i failed miserably and then my teammate died so I think I have to go save my teammate and just be the good teammate that I'm supposed to be, you know? Okay, my teammate got back into the van. I'm still going to follow closely behind him. If he's going to die, then, you know, I'll just come and save the day. Oh my God, how did my teammate die? Dude, my teammate's at the warehouse. That teammate that died is at the warehouse. I don't know how he died just sitting at the warehouse. Teammate's going the wrong, whatever, man. Just please hurry up and get here. Dude, I swear, the teammates just do not understand that the warehouse is underneath the interstate. They think that for some reason it's above of the interstate, which I don't know how you can put a warehouse above an interstate. Please let me know how that can work aside from a tunnel. Why are you running into me? You're being stupid. Oh my God. He's literally just sitting there. He ran into me and then he got off the interstate and now he's just sitting there. Oh my God. Then I start going his way. Then he starts moving. That is so frustrating to me. Why is it always at the last moment of the setup where these people just start to be really, really stupid? Oh my God. Someone put a flare right there and Ron just doesn't care. And there we go. Setup pass. We have two more setups to do. All right. So we're doing the fourth series A funding setup and it's going to be the grass setup and this one is pretty easy but it's annoying because we have to drive all the way to Polito Bay so so yeah uh, this will be a fun drive I guess oh no oh no oh no oh no um I just did what my teammates did what was it last setup yeah it was last setup that's great there goes my Karuma I'm gonna call it back in I probably don't even deserve to drive it but I'm calling it back in oh it's no charge I <laughs> like nothing ever happened all right so we finally made it all all the way here. So yeah, I'm just gonna chill out in my Karuma. I'm just gonna try to take out as many people as possible from inside the Karuma. And then I have to steal like this truck or whatever. All right, so I've taken out enough people, I guess. So now I'm in a Benton and I'm gonna get out of here. Oh my God, this setup is so annoying too because I'm ready to get out of here, but I have to wait for the lookout team to reach the technical. Okay, finally the lookout team got together. So now we can just drive like six miles all the way back to the warehouse. This is going to be fun. And we're gonna have enemies coming after us too. So it's going to make it even more fun. Oh, and also we have a timer in the bottom, right? That's only eight minutes. So that is so much fun in one setup. Are you kidding me? Why? What is wrong with you? I have to ask what is wrong with you? Why would you join AIs just to leave right as we're about to finish? I don't understand. I really don't understand people sometimes. It is extra frustrating.
frustrating too for this one because we have to drive all the way back to Polito Bay and then drive all the way back with that slow truck. So really appreciate it. Okay, let's try this again. Hopefully no one leaves this time. I would really like that. That would be really nice. Oh my God, there's so many people in here and I'm just chilling out in my car room and just picking them off one at a time. All right, I'm getting into this Benson now. Please no one leave at this point. That would be greatly appreciated. Thank you. All right, so now once again, we just have to deliver the Benson to the warehouse. I have to drive it a lovely six miles. Gonna be the best six miles of my life. It's definitely gonna be the best six miles of my life if no one leaves this time. And my teammate died. That is very nice. Good job, teammate. That is the person driving the Benson. The technical is supposed to be, you know, like following us, supposed to be protecting us. I have no idea where that technical is. Definitely not near me. I don't think it's near my teammate either. Looking at the mini map. Ouch, ouch. Okay, I died. Yeah, I could literally see the technical barely on the mini map, like so far away from us. And then the other person in the Benson is like right behind me. Oh, there's the technical. Yeah, you're a little late, bud. I'm kind of already here. All right, there we go. I have made it to the warehouse. And I just gotta wait on my teammate who has just over two minutes. Oh, there's my teammate. Hello, teammate. Where are you going, teammate? Teammate? Teammate, you're supposed to go in here. Team teammate? Teammate? In here? Why is it always at the final part where my team Mates just completely throw their brains out the window and just go you know, stupid. There you go. That that's all you had to do. You went around in a circle for no reason. Just whatever. Here, here's your grass, Ron. And there we go. Setup passed. We have one more setup to do. All right, so we're doing our final setup, the stealing methodology. So what we have to do for this setup is that we have to get to the O'Neill Brothers farm, and then well, we have to go steal some stuff, and then that's pretty much it. All right, so we made it to the O'Neill's brother farm, and well, I came in my crew, so all I have to do is just pew 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 i didn't get any kills there because i'm a great shot clearly all right so now what we need to do is we need to steal a tanker with all of the methodology inside of it so i have a truck cab right here and let's go get that all right so here's the tanker right here it you have to be kidding me. <laughs> I was a little bit aggressive backing up and the tanker exploded because it ran straight into the barn. That's great. Can we, can we restart, please? I would like to get this over with so I can hurry up and do the finale. All right, let's try this again. Hopefully I do not back up that aggressively into the tanker that it blows up. All right, let's try this again, okay? I mean, this is our first attempt. Slowly. Okay, good. Just smoothly connected it. And now let's take the tanker to Trevor's laboratory. Laboratory. All right, there we go. We have delivered the tanker to the methodology lab. And there we go, set up pass. Let's move on to the finale. All right, here we go. We are starting up the finale right here, the Series A funding finale. I have a potential cut of $486,000. And this is a setup where I can use my Karuma, but I can only use my Karuma for the first attempt because for some reason cars despawn. So hopefully we can do this first attempt. <laughs> oh yeah, by the way, this heist finale is going to be on hard. We did all the setups on easy. And we're doing it on hard so we can get a bigger cut. All right, so essentially what we're doing is we have to go back to the freak shop warehouse thingy that's not technically the freak shop, whatever. And there are going to be a lot of people that are about to attack Trevor. And Trevor apparently cannot defend himself, even though we've gone through in a whole story mode of him defending himself and even attacking other people. Yeah, but now he can't defend himself for some reason. So he has hired us to defend himself and help us deliver all the product. Look, it's Trevor. Hey, what's up, Trev? Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to run you over. Did Trevor get up dude trevor get up trevor oh my what are you doing you're a silly guy <laughs> uh, it's too fun. It's too fun just running over Trevor. All right, now it's time. So I am going to get in my Karuma. Trevor is hiding behind a box. I will just put my Karuma like right here and let the fun begin. All right, so more people spawning in. I don't care. All of you are going to die because I'm just chilling out in my Karuma. When I did this season one, I had my Vigilante and it was even easier when I had my Vigilante. Dude, oh my God, my teammate's just letting them just charge. Okay, I literally think my teammate is getting way more kills than I am, to be honest. So good job to my teammate but I am way more secure than he is. Are we good? Oh, okay, okay, we killed everyone. That part's done. So I'm gonna get into this vehicle with Trevor. And now it is time to take this van to the drop-off. So yeah, all we have to do from here is just drive this van to the drop-off. It was only like four miles away. We have to do it in a time limit with the time limit is like, what, nine minutes? It was nine minutes, something like that. Then we have to make sure the van health is intact, which right now it is, but there's some choppers back there, but they're messing around with that other teammate. So I'm cool with 
that. Yeah, this finale is going pretty well for me, honestly. I haven't been talking too much because it's just been going so smoothly. Barely taking any damage off of my van. Yeah, aside from the Fleece of Bank heist, this heist out of the original heist is probably the easiest one, but it pays the same as the Prison Break, so not a great payday. But yeah, the Prison Break, the Humane Labs Raid, and then the Pacific Standard, which we haven't gotten to yet in Season 2, are definitely a lot harder than this. See, the Humane Labs Raid, I think that took me like seven hours to complete that video. See, to complete the Series A, this took me three hours. And the reason for that, too, is just because people do not want to join this, which, I mean, I get it. Series A funding heist is not a heist you want to join. Any of the original heists are not a fun heist to join, to be honest, but still kind of fun to play if you can get intelligent people with you. Maybe not as rewarding, but that's okay, whatever. But you get to do a heist with Trevor. A good old Trevor. Okay, so Trevor's handing us money from a trash bag that he hid underneath the stairs. Um, That is not how I pictured I was going to get paid in GTA, but I, I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it, Trevor. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh oh, what is going on here? Oh, no. This deal is not going through. Oh, Trevor. Oh, Trevor. You got set up. Oh, my jeez. So, Trevor. Oh, God. Trevor. Trevor. No wonder they wrote you off from GTA Online. You can never do anything right. Come on, Trevor. Come on. Well, there he goes. Heist pass. All right, so I got 55% in the cut, which is $486,000, and we did not complete the Elite Challenge. Wasn't expecting to complete the Elite Challenge, but it's okay. I don't think I've ever completed an Elite Challenge for any of the original heists, but I got an extra $100,000, so I made a total of $586,000. Oh, Trevor, Trevor, Trevor. Man, you are just showing that you're a tree hugger, man. You really love that tree. Oh my gosh. Right, just keep your head up, Trevor. It's okay. They'll write you back into the script. Don't worry about it. All right, so after that heist, I now have $590,000, but now it is time for me to sell off my bunker. Now, I wrote down that we have to have at least a value of $200,000 of stock, and right now we have $265,000 worth of stock, but we're gonna be making a lot more than that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click sell stock, and then we're gonna sell this in Los Santos because it's gonna give us even more money, and then we're gonna get more money on top of this for whatever we do sell because I am in a session with at least 25 players player so that's going to give me an extra 50 percent bonus on whatever i do sell off so let's sell here larger sales may require multiple vehicles i'm a one-man band let's go um we have three insurgents i don't know how i feel about this um oh god no 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 i'm going to a different set we have no shot of completing that we have no shot we have no shot that's the one where we only have 15 minutes to go in three insurgents and each insurgent we have to go to five different delivery location so a total of 15 delivery locations gosh no that's no all right so i'm in a new session our value went down slightly we're at two hundred fifty thousand dollars now but i don't like going to another session for this series i usually just like to try whatever sell mission that i get but i have to know that i at least have a shot to sell off everything and that one i had no shot of selling off everything but yeah let's do the same thing and let's try again let's go gonna get a better one this time uh two delivery vehicles dude it's the same or it's the same type of one. You know what? How far away? How far away? No, it's in this. Nope, 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 no, no. Stop giving me that. No. See, that one had 10 delivery locations I had to go to. No. Still, no shot of me selling off everything there. I want at least a shot. Give me a shot. All right, so our value now is at $240,000. Our value is slowly going down by 10000 every time we just refuse to do one of those sell missions. Can we get something other than one of those ones? Can we get a different sell mission that's not one of those, please? I've already gotten two that are like that. Oh, I got the Phantom Wedge one. I see it. Okay, nice. That is a lot better. This is probably the best one. I didn't necessarily want the best one, but if you're just gonna hand me the best one, I don't mind that at all. Thank you. Yeah, so for this one, we're just in a Phantom Wedge with a trailer on the back with all of our supplies, and we just have to drive right around six miles. But six miles in 15 minutes, easy work. We're in a maxed out session two right now, so we definitely have the possibility of griefers trying to come after us, but hopefully that's not the case. We just drive smoothly, you know, no issues at all just me running over civilian cars and npc policemen uh there's a guy driving over there i don't know what that guy is driving that's right there why is there a lot of people over here there's a guy in a patriot limo okay i where am i going where, okay okay there's a lot of people over here why is there so many people over here look there's a scramjet right there um i just passed another person then there's that guy that i've been passing oh no no 
No, no, brake check, brake check, brake check. Okay, that didn't work. Um, hey, no. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm not leaving a session either. Juke, juke maybe? Scramjet, no, no, no. You're just screaming out to everyone you don't have a life. No. And the weapons were destroyed and that guy just screamed out saying that he doesn't have a life. Yeah, congratulations. We do sell in public sessions and that is the biggest risk in selling in a public session. So yeah, after that attempt of a sell mission, I'm still pretty much at 589,000. Um, yeah, overall, not a very productive episode as far as making money is concerned, but we got those Series A funding heist. And the next original heist that we will do at some point will be the Pacific Standard Heist, which is going to be the best original heist. Now, hopefully next episode, we can make a little bit more money. Hopefully no one grieves us this time and, you know, we can just do our thing, make some money. Back in August, I started as a level one on a new account in GTA Online. And the only way I have made money on this account is by spinning a wheel determining what I should do to make money. So today in this video, I will spin the wheel again to see what I will do in this episode to make money. So welcome to the 12th episode of season two of Loser to Luxury. And without further ado, let's jump into it. So right now I am on the wheel of quick cash, but before we spin the wheel of quick cash, I just wanna remind you that we are trying to buy the Imponte Arbiter GT next and then upgrading it to an HSW vehicle. Now off of Southern San Andreas, this is gonna to cost me $1,580,000, but in order to upgrade it, I am going to get $2 million to put the customizations that I want to on it. And currently right now I have $590,000. So we have a long ways to go in order to buy the Arbiter GT. But how are we gonna start out this episode in order to make money? And it looks like we are going to have to go and do the junk energy time trial. So right now I am on the wheel of making money so what are we going to have to do in this episode in order to make money? And it looks like we are going to have to do the last dose missions. Now, this is only going to be a one time wheel spin because we get a first time bonus for doing the last dose missions. So we're doing the last dose missions. But what else in this episode am I going to have to do in order to make money? And it looks like we are actually not going to have to do the last dose missions. We are going to have to do the doomsday heist we're gonna jump into act number two a few episodes ago we did act one now we are going to do act number two of the doomsday heist and i forgot to say too since the doomsday heist act number two is going to be such a good wheel spin we are forfeiting our previous wheel spin so we are not doing the last dose missions in this episode so all we're doing is act two of the doomsday heist but then first i have to go and do the junk energy time trial okay so i've made it over to the junk energy time trial right here it's the alto one i don't think i've done this one all right here we go can i do this one first attempt i really hope so really now that i got my like stamina to like a really really elite level on this account yeah these time trials should be incredibly easy at this point like i shouldn't have any issues at all shouldn't is the key word Oh god. Okay, that was narrow. That was a little narrow game. Yeah, I'm gonna assume I can't complete it from here anymore, but I'm gonna be 100 percent certain on that. Oh my god, I wrecked again. Um, how close am I to the finish? I haven't done this one before. Oh my god, am I really not that close? Oh my god. Okay, yeah, that's the finish. Okay. Not bad, not bad. I can complete that easy. Alright, here we go. First attempt. Ha ha. Here we go. Let's go. I went the wrong way. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Can I still complete it? All right. Here comes a narrow passageway. I need to go right there. Yeah, that was smooth that time. Good. Oh my God. I'm going to complete this one pretty easily, actually. What the heck? Wow. I even missed a checkpoint and I still beat it by nine seconds. I made $51,000 off of that. So now I have $641,000, but now it is time for me to go to my facility and start up act number two of the doomsday heist. All right, so I've made it over to my facility. And as you can see on this screen right here, I've already paid the setup cost and I've already done all of the prep work in order to do these setups. And I did that because, well, these preps like take an hour to complete or you can pay to skip it. But yeah, that's like almost $100,000 a piece or something like that. But anyways, off camera, I paid the setup cost and I did all the prep work. So I didn't have to waste an hour of my life when I'm trying to record. So we're just jumping straight into the setup. So we're going to start out with this setup right here. The event 
Avenger setup. Let's get into it. All right, here we go. We're jumping into the first setup, which is going to be the Avenger setup. So essentially we have to go to LSIA and we have to go to a hangar. So let me go all the way down there and then let's see what happens. All right, so we've made it to the hangar right here. Oh, no, 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 no. You do not do that. You do not do that. No, 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 no. No, I wanted to do that to his car. Oh my gosh, that that's so sad. All right, anyways, all we have to do is just get this Avenger right here. So let's run and let's go get it. Hello? Yeah, um, so they cut the power. So now we have to take out a ton of people. All right, and by the way, we're doing all of these setups on normal. There's no easy for this, like... Okay, well, I wish there was the easy. There's no easy like there is on the original heist. And then we're gonna do the heist finale on hard. And another one of my teammates died. Okay, nice. Yeah, this is going to be probably the hardest setup of this heist. So what a great start. Oh, wait, I think there's another hard setup too. Ah, oh, jeez. All right, here we go. Let's try this again. That first attempt just didn't happen. You didn't see a thing. It's just your imagination. You want me to be bad at this game, but it's only your mind playing tricks on yourself. What happened? Oh my God, dude. See, that's an annoying thing about this too. I I had three people in this heist, right? Including me. If one of them leaves, then we can't continue, which is so stupid. So yeah, I gotta go back and try to find new people. All right, let's try this again. It took me a while to actually find some more people, but yeah, let's go all the way back to the hangar. All right, so we pretty much have made it to the hangar, but um, I wanna do something. Can I hold this wheelie for just a little longer? Shoot, that's not where I wanted to, dang it. I wanted to park on top of the car, but it's fine. I'll just run straight into it and park right next to it. Anyways, let's go in and steal this Avenger. Ha 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 ha. No. Okay, yeah, there's a ton of people that are here that we have to take out. And they're all over the place, too. Some are, like, in the rafters and everything. They're to my right. They're to my left. Not a lot of places where you can get good cover and then just start taking them out one at a time. All right, I think we're doing a lot better this time around. Um, I don't think there's too many people that are left. There'll be more that spawn in as we go upstairs, which is going to be a lovely time. Okay, one of my teammates is actually really far ahead. So that's nice, I guess. Oh, one of my teammates died. That's nice. All right, I think everyone's taking out actually for now i think even more people spawn in but for right now i think we're good all right so let's turn on the power so we turn on the generators and there we go now i can actually see stuff can i fly i want to fly i want to fly i want to fly i want to fly please please let me fly yes thank you yeah 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 all right my avenger to fly all right so everyone is inside of the avenger so now it is time to fly the avenger somewhere i don't know where uh, the drop off it mm -hmm. there's apparently some enemies that are behind me but we have to stay low enough to the ground so those enemies do not lock on to us. Which well, shouldn't be too hard, to be honest. I mean, with the San Andreas Mercenaries update, I had plenty of practice flying the Avenger, because well, it was pretty much an Avenger update. So yeah, I'm pretty skilled with the Avenger, as you saw by that sick maneuvering. Alright, so here we go. We have made it to the drop-off, and there we go. Set up pass. Let's move on to the next one. Alright, here we go. We're jumping into our next setup. We are rescuing ULP, because ULP is a freaking moron. Alright, so I made it to the place where we need to go, and there's some people right here that I don't like, so I'm gonna shoot them. All these people have kidnapped ULP, so we have to kill all these people and then rescue ULP. All right, so yeah, this setup is pretty hard too. Then the other setups after this aren't too bad. Yeah, this setup can be, that's not where I wanted to, I didn't want to crouch behind there. I, I really did not. All right, so ULP is kidnapped in here somewhere. Well, who is shooting me? And please stop. And the people outside or my teammate that's outside is supposed to like protect me and like kill the people that could potentially come in and kill me from behind and well he's not doing a good job at that right now because i have to kill these people oh my god i can literally see people on the mini map just walking straight on in so yeah good job teammate we have one teammate this time because no one wanted to join and this guy's a pretty low level too so level 36 so awesome i'm gonna smack you in the face because i want to all right so we made it to the upper levels there's just like one guy oh multiple people that spawn in here nice awesome all right then we go in this room and then what are you aiming at go to agent ulp i'm here. What are you doing? You're just standing here. Okay, uh, th that guy's a moron. A ULP's a moron. Alright, so yeah, now we have to leave the same way they came in. There's still a ton of people that just spawn in. Hey, hey, what? I think someone came in from behind me and I didn't recognize that. That was great. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, let's try this again. I think we have to do that all over again, which is not fun. I have to kill all those people again. I was almost done with that too. Sad. Okay, my teammate died. Can't say too much because I died twice last time. I don't even know what my teammate's doing, to be honest. Like, I've never... Are you kidding me? You died twice? Wait, what? I guess we're even now. <laughs> okay, third time's a charm. I'm not screwing up ever again on this setup, at least. My teammate 
teammate, on the other hand. Let's just see how it goes. Wait, is my teammate coming inside with me? Teammate, you're not supposed to be in here. Teammate, what do I hear? I heard a beeping. Yeah, you're not. Your team quit. I don't think my team quit. I think my teammate decided to be stupid and come and follow me for some reason. Or did he actually quit? No, he didn't quit. Okay, yeah, he's not supposed to come in here. Clearly, he has his own job. I don't know what he does. I haven't done his job at all whenever I've done this setup. I've always done the job that I'm doing here. I never joined this setup as a guest. And I don't want to. I really don't want to. I don't want to do this as a host either, but I have to. That was just stupid on me. That was, that's on me. I got too aggressive. I should have just stopped and ate some snacks, but I decided, nah, I can get one more shot in. I was greedy. That's probably the worst attempt I've ever done on any setup, to be honest. That was terrible by me. I sincerely apologize. That's probably disgusting to watch. All right, this is going to be the final attempt right here. And it's going to be the final attempt because I'm completing it here. As long as my teammate does his job, I'm not screwing up at all. Uh-oh, my teammate's paused. I'm assuming this guy's leaving. We're going to watch him leave, actually. Yep, there it is. Goodbye, teammate. I don't blame you for leaving, honestly. I played dumb there. I didn't deserve a teammate there. All right, let's try this again. Hopefully, I play a little bit better this time. For some reason today no one wants to join the setups but yet yesterday when i filmed the series a funding heist video everyone wanted to join that for some reason all right we made it back here um die all right so far so good i've cleaned up my act um everyone downstairs has been taken out smoothly all right let's go rescue ulp this time um oh whoa what I would have just mess around and just smack that guy in the face like how I did last time. No, apparently you charge and that guy dies. Okay, oops. I didn't know that. I really didn't know that. I just wanted to be funny. I need to stop. I really need to stop. Because I actually did really, really well. I didn't really have too much controversy working my way up there. And then that's how we fail. Okay, okay. We're back here. We're going to shoot this guy this time. There we go. All right, ULP. Time for me to clear you a path out of here. All right, I think I've killed everyone in here. I'm pretty sure I have. So, ULP, just follow me. So, yeah, we have to just take out a few of these guys, I guess. This is what my teammate was doing. So, then we have to get into one of these night sharks, and my teammate died. Not a great time to die. We should have to get into one of these night sharks. We should have to carry ULP out of here, and then we should be good to go. So, let's get into a night shark. ULP, get in now. I'm not going to pick up my teammate because he's kind of in the heart of where everyone's at. So, I'm just going to drive away. All right, and here is the drop off location. Are we done? Please let me be done yeah, here we go set up pass move on to the next one all right here we go we're jumping into our third setup the salvaged hard drive setup so what we have to do for this setup is that we have to get into this rcv right here and we have to go put out some fires essentially all right so we've made it to the first location and all we have to do is just go around and extinguish the fires and this rcv has a water cannon right here and i can just absolutely just drench people i'm not here to drench people i'm here to put out a fire all right and there we go hard drive number two two has been put out so now my teammate needs to go and actually get the hard drive yeah these last two setups for this heist are not really that hard at all once again the biggest challenge is just trying to get people but there we go one location of hard drives has been recovered we have a few more to go all right so we made it to the next location so we just have to put out some more fires and then my teammate has to go collect the hard drive dude it is just so fun just using this water gun yeah this water gun i assume has a ton of pressure oh my god i'm about to die hold on it's not as armor as i thought I need to eat some snacks. Okay, cool. This thing is so fun. It's up oh, and well, I guess my teammate didn't think it was fun because my teammate died. Nice. I mean, I'm not really helping to be honest. I, well, I'm kind of distracting, so I might be helping and not as much as I probably should be though, to be honest. Okay, fine, fine. Hold on. I have no fear. Dr. Crush is here. Okay, I took out everyone. Nice. Oh, my teammate has collected all the stuff. Okay, let's move on to the next location. All right, now we're at the next location. It's time to take out some more fires. All the fires have been taken out. There's a a lot of guards at this location, so I gotta clear a path somehow. No, the guy wasn't even looking at me and he almost killed me. Jeez. Oh, okay, good. At least I got a max health upgrade. Not that I, well, maybe I do need it, but I'm doing just fine with the health that I have. Okay, I think everyone's dead. I, nope, never mind. Oh, more people just spawn in. Okay, nice. Yeah, I turn around and you spawn in. Okay, stop. I, okay, okay, okay. I did it again. I need to stop turning around. All right, there we go. My teammate got the final hard drive. So now it's time for us to get to the final location. All right, so we've made it to the final location. We have to recover five hard drives from here. There's a lot of hard drives that we have to recover, but done it before. 
I usually don't have too much of a problem with this. All right, all the hard drives have been extinguished. But now we need to get the hard drives and there's a ton of guards in here. So this is going to be a very fun time. <gasps> oh, I almost died there. Oh, just that would have not been fun. I don't know if there's like a checkpoint during the setup or not. I would assume that there is. Oh my, oh my, oh my. All right, so he just collected the last hard drive. So now we just have to get into the RCV and we just have to get out of here. All right, and there we go. We delivered the RCV to the drop-off. And there we go, setup pass. We have one more setup to do before the finale. All right, here we go. We're doing a final setup right here, the submarine recon setup. All right, so I stole some Strombergs during one of the preps. And we have to use these Strombergs to go underwater, and then we have to go take out some stuff. But the thing is, is that we have to go to Chumash. We have to go to Chumash? That's not where I thought we were going. What? I thought we had to go to Polito Bay. What? I, I'm so lost. Like I swore we had to go to Polito Bay. Is there multiple locations of this? Because every time I've done this, I've always gone to Polito Bay. I've never gone to North Chumash. Oh, I forgot. I forgot. We have to destroy the convoy. And then we have to go to Polito Bay and then get in the water. Got it. Okay. I was a step ahead. I don't remember this setup too much because, well, this is usually a very easy setup. I don't put too much thought into this setup. All right, there we go. All the convoys have been taken out by me and only me. I don't know where my teammate is. But now we have to go to Polito Cove. This is where I thought we were having to go in the beginning. Okay, yeah, my teammate committed suicide. Where is my teammate? Like, he got out of the stromber? I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. If I could just do this setup a lot. No. Okay, he died. Did he really die twice? Like, what happened? Like, what? I just sat there and pretty much did everything I could and he was miles away just dying. I don't, I don't know. Okay, well, let's try this again. Um, no, no, no. Last setup actually went smoothly. I was about to say that might be the first setup that someone failed, but wasn't my fault. We didn't actually fail last setup technically. All right, we've made it to Polito Cove. Time to get into the water and let's go try to find these sea mines. All right, I have to take out one more mine. I have no idea where my teammate is once again, but there we go. All right, so I still got all the sea mines, so so I think I just have to scan the submarine. No, I, where, actually, where is my teammate? Oh, 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 yeah. Okay. He has to scan his own submarine. I'm pretty sure. All right. So I scanned that submarine. So now I think it's just head back to land. There you are. Hey, hey, buddy. And there we go. Set up pass. Let's move on to the finale. All right. Here we go. It is finale time. So we have to complete the Bogdan problem right here. Act number two. We're going to get 85% of the cut, which is is going to be nice and we're doing this on hard but honestly in my opinion the difficulty really doesn't matter for this one just because i think this one is the easiest act i don't think there's really any debate that act three is definitely the toughest and we'll get to that a little bit later on in the series but some people actually think act two is harder than act one and we've already done act one and act one we failed a lot and i think act one is way harder than act two i don't know how people think that act two is harder than act one so if we do not complete the this first attempt, I'm going to be actually kind of pissed for this one. I actually think it's that easy. I'm on the submarine team. I'm just going to have to take out a few people. And then we just have a bunch of cutscenes, pretty much, or a long cutscene. And then my teammate's just going to be in an Avenger. And he's just going to be kind of protecting me, just trying to kill everyone while inside the Avenger, which I've done that before, too. That's not that bad, either. All right, so we've made it to the Stromberg. So I have to get into the Stromberg, and my teammate has to get into that Avenger right over there. And essentially, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my way towards that submarine that we were at during the last setup and we're gonna break in kill a few people find bogdan and then we're gonna see what his big deal is why are you just off the coast of los santos like something's not adding up here all right so we've made it to the submarine so let's board it and let's go take out a few people oh look a guy whack kind of love meleeing people so fun all right now let's actually like focus smack yeah i literally all i have to do is just walk around just shoot a few people blah 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 it's close quarters so i can just pull out a shotgun what happened what happened the avenger was destroyed i literally said it's an embarrassment if we fail once and well we failed once this is the same guy that was in the setup last time and the few times i was around this guy he did not give me the vibes that he was a very good player honestly you can tell you can tell like sometimes i might be very critical on people but there's just some people that just absolutely stupid yeah, I'm really not going to be talking too much during this part because there's really not much to talk about. Jeez, that's not the right weapon. It's just I have to shoot a bunch of people, yada, yada, yada. It's pretty self-explanatory what I'm doing. I'm just shooting people moving forward. We're supposed to find the contact, but I'd prefer everyone be dead at that point. You know what? I'm lying. I'm going to find that contact now. I know where he is. All right, here's a contact. What am I supposed to do? But I have to go back to the control room? All right, fine, whatever. 
No, no. I clicked B. Wait, why? What? Oh, because I put it on hard. Oh, I was so confused for a second. I clicked B to melee and just decided to reload. It would just reload right in front of the guy. All right, no more messing around. No more messing around. Promise. I, I promise. All right, I made it to the control. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I, I... Honestly, that was just dumb on me. I'm playing terrible today. Okay, here's my thought process. I thought I had to go to the control room and then the cutscene starts. I have to go to the control room, take a photo, and then the cutscene starts. But there's just like a bunch of people that are right here. I spawn in the control room. Can I just take the photo and we're good? Oh, sweet. All I have to do is just take the photo. Then I can just sit and relax during a cutscene that I'm not going to pay attention to. Oh, wait. Oh, I also have to plug in Clifford. All right, and there we go. The cutscene starts. I plug in Clifford. And hello, Bogdan. Hey. Hey, what's going on? On. Wait, what? Avon is now in charge of the submarine? I mean, we did plug in a hard drive, but now he's going to kill us or he's going to try to kill us? Man, we've been doing so much work for Avon. I've been dying way too much for Avon. Been resurrected a lot just to die again. All for Avon. Then he, he's just turning his back on me. Oh, heck no. Heck no. Bro, are you kidding me? The Avenger, I literally swam all the way to this beach on this peninsula and he parked all the way over there. I have to walk all oh my God. Thank you, Timmy. I've been really stupid, but this has been really stupid too. You're matching my stupidity because there's a bunch of agents over here too that I'm gonna have to kill or not die to. Dude, dude, why'd you park there? Oh yeah, you just park at the peninsula. Yeah, yeah, I don't wanna go any further. I don't want to have to kill people anymore. That was so stupid. Like I thought what I did was really, really bad, but then I just see that. Then he just matches my stupidity. Maybe even exceeded it even a little bit. No, pull up. Pool. Oh my god, he almost No, what are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we Hello? What is this? What is this? I said matching. He is far past matching. He is exceeded. I don't know how the Avenger is still alive. Go. You fly. Fly. Fly forward. Now you can go into the VTOL mode. Now go. Don't do anything stupid in between. All right, so we're almost back at the hangar. Usually we wouldn't talk this early before we actually land the thing, but I don't trust this guy, so I have to be alert. Now you put it in the hangar. Maybe put the landing gear out. Come on or not. It's fine just land oh no it actually really wants to land again landing gear because it doesn't think it's landed landing oh, i'm gonna have to there you go i was about to message him landing gear there you go and well there we go act two has been passed all right so i get 85 percent of the earnings so i made one million five hundred and fourteen thousand dollars we had to quick restart a few times but this is the first time i did the heist so i get fifty thousand dollars more so i got one million five hundred and sixty four thousand dollars Really? Really? After you're flying, you do... Th no, 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 no. And he has a bounty on him, too. Oh, I'm going to make money off of this. I know I didn't spin the wheel to land on this, but I'm getting credit for it. Here he is right here. Just... Give me your money. How much money was that? I got $3,000 for that. Um, good enough. All right, let me go to a new session so I can just regroup. All right, so after Act 2 of the Doomsday Heist, I now have $2,194,000, more than the amount which I wanted to get in order to buy our next vehicle, which is going to be the Arbiter GT. So I'm going to purchase it now, but I have to do a few things before I can actually start doing stuff with this vehicle. So that leaves me with $614,000 to customize it. And well, 50,000 of that, is gonna go towards the Alice Carmi membership. And I'm not gonna have to pay for the HSW upgrades and I'm gonna show you how. All right, so I've made it here and I'm at Hal's Garage, which is this icon on the map right here. It's located here. Now this is only available to people on next gen consoles. So if you're on PC or any old gen consoles, you're not gonna be able to do this, but we're gonna go over here. We're gonna test drive this vehicle. And then after you test drive this vehicle and complete the little introduction time trial, you'll get a free HSW upgrade. And then we're going to use that with the Arbiter your GT that we just bought. And all right, there we go. We have completed this time trial, finally. And there we go, house time beaten. And then as you can see at the bottom left, we get house special works upgrade. And then we also unlock HSW time trials, which is going to be nice. And then as you can see at the top left says, you've helped promote HSW, take an applicable vehicle to the house mod shop inside the Ellis car me to upgrade it to an HSW vehicle the first time for free. And that is what we're taking advantage of right here. All right, so here's my Arbiter GT, but but I mean, we don't care how it looks right now. It kind of looks meh. We're going to turn this meh car into like a, oh, wow. But first, I have to go through another cutscene. They have to give some lady $50,000. But let's go in. <laughs> oh, gosh. I know that car from anywhere. Oh, gosh, no. Mm -mm, mm -mm, God, no. Mm -mm, drive away.
away now. Taking my headset off. Nope, we're not listening to her voice. Nope. Next episode, we have to spin the wheel of businesses to see what business we're going to get next. Hopefully, we do not get this business because I don't want to hear her voice. All right, so we finished that cutscene. So now I have to go over here. We have to talk to Mimi, buy $50,000 membership. It's a little steep if you ask me just to look at cars, but whatever. And then I have to go to my car, which my car is right here. And then we can take it into here, which this is the HSW mod shop. So then let's click HSW upgrade. And look at that. We can just get an HSW performance upgrade for absolutely free. And there we go. Hmm, do we have any cool liveries? I, mean, I could just be obnoxious and get the HSW racing one. Yeah, I think I'm going to be obnoxious and get the HSW racing one. It's the most expensive one, but I don't care. So this is our Arbiter GT that we turned into an HSW vehicle right here. I mean, we literally have the engine block just sticking straight out of this vehicle. But now we can do HSW vehicle time trials. So since we bought this this episode, next episode, we are going to spin the wheel of businesses to see what business we are going to have to buy next. Last month, I started as a level one on a new account in GTA Online. And the only businesses I've bought on this account have come through spinning a wheel determining what business I should buy next. So today in this video, I will spin that wheel again to see what business I will buy next. So welcome to the 13th episode of season number two of Loser to Luxury. And without further ado, let's jump into it. So right now I am on the wheel of businesses and I'm on the wheel of businesses because the last thing that we bought came off the wheel of luxury and that was the hsw version of the arbiter gt and then the last business i bought was the acid lab but what is going to be the next business i am going to buy on this account and it's going to be is it going to be the office building or mc clubhouse it is going to be the office building so it looks like we're going to become a ceo all right so right now i am on the office map and these are the four offices that we can buy now when i decided how it was going to buy what facility i spun a wheel and the numbers corresponded to the facilities located going from south to north all of them are pretty much on the same latitude so instead what i'm going to do is i'm going to go from right to left if you're confused which is probably a little confusing this one the maze bank tower is going to be one since it's the furthest right on the map the arcadius business center is going to be number two then we're going to go all the way over here and the maze bank west is going to be number three and the lom bank west is going to be number four and now I am on the wheel of one to four. So let's just see what office building I am going to have to buy. And it looks like it's going to be number four, which is going to be the furthest office building to the left, which is going to be the Lom Bank West coming in at $3,100,000. Now, after I purchase this, there's not going to be a direct way within the office that you can really make money without getting other things. Once I buy the office building, I'll have the ability to then buy a special cargo warehouse and a vehicle cargo warehouse. So on the wheel of businesses, I'm going to add those two businesses. But the Long Bank West is going to cost us $3,100,000. And currently right now, I have $103,000. So we have a long ways to go before we can purchase the Long Bank West office building. Okay, so now I'm on the wheel of quick cash. So let's just spin the wheel of quick cash and let's just see how we're going to start out this episode in order to make money. And we're actually not going to be making any money. We're going to be making a small new purchase we're going to buy a new weapon but it's going to be determined by the weapon class wheel so here is the wheel of weapon classes so let's just spin the wheel and whatever it lands on we have to buy a weapon from that weapon class and this is going to be absolutely garbage we have to buy a throwable weapon what throwable weapon do i not have okay well that was a dud all right so right now i am on the wheel of making money so what are we going to have to do in this episode in order to make money money and it looks like we are going to have to do three to five full against jobs so right now i am on the wheel of three to five and this is going to determine how many full against jobs i am going to have to do so let's just spin the wheel and how many full against jobs are we doing and it looks like we are going to be having to do four full against jobs this episode so we have to do four full against jobs but what else in this episode am i going to have to do in order to make money and it looks like we are going to have to do the last 
Dastos missions. All right, so pretty much today is going to be pretty much a Dax episode. We're doing everything Dax. So I got to do four Fulligan jobs, and then I have to do the last Dastos missions. But first, I have to go to Ammunition and try to find myself a throwable weapon that I can actually purchase. All right, so I'm here at Ammunition. What is going to be the throwable weapon that I can actually buy? Oh, I guess I can get tear gas. So worst comes to worst, I'll buy maxed out tear gas. I, okay, I do have grenades, so I'm not going to be buying a grenade. Pipe bomb, proximity mine, sticky bomb. I'm pretty sure I have a sticky bomb too. Fine, okay, Um, I'll get tear gas. I'll max out tear gas. All right, there you go. Tear gas is maxed out. You're welcome. Thank you, Wheel of Quick Cash. That was awful. Okay, so now this episode is going to be a lot different than the other episodes of this season because I'm going to be doing the two money-making methods kind of both at the same time, if that makes any sense. And what I mean by that is like the full against jobs, I can do a full against job and complete it. Then I have to wait another 48 minutes in order to start up another one. And I want to max out my efficiency. So I'm going to do one full against job now. And then right after, I'm going to jump into our first last dose mission. All right, so I called up Dax. You better give me a good one. You know, I won't be a coward and join another session. I wish I didn't say that because I hate this one. Nice. So we have right off right here. This is probably my second least favorite one. My least favorite one is crop dusting. So this one's just very difficult. And it's even more difficult when you're not an oppressor like how I usually am. I'm in a door door, which I mean, a door door is nice, but honestly, it's not even that good for this mission. They luckily provide you with a sparrow, but you have to go and get it, which is going to be two miles away. Yay me. Um, there's a guy welding on the side of this right here. You got an issue with me? I do have an issue with you. You're welding on this helicopter. I want to fly. So sit down and I'll just fly. You know, I didn't think this needed any welding anyways. I don't know what you're trying to weld on there, but it's okay. You can weld for the fun of welding and I'll just fly for actual reason. All right, anyways, I have the sparrow now, clearly. So now I have to destroy Meriwether Transport and they're kind of all over the map, really. And I didn't feel like driving there with a Torador. I just feel like that would have been a little bit tedious. So I'm gonna fly around in their sparrow that was provided to me. There you go, one transport down. We don't have to destroy every single transport. You have to destroy like three, and then Dax will tell you your next thing you have to do. So I guess I'm gonna go get two more of these transports. All right, another transport down. Let's go get another one. All right, there we go. Another Meriwether transport has been taken out. All right, then Dax is now telling me to go to Meriwether Depot. And this is where this mission gets really, really difficult. That first part is kind of more annoying. But now this is where it gets incredibly frustrating because it's incredibly hard. Okay, so now we have to eliminate the Meriwether operation. I've called in my Karuma right here. And these guys are pretty ruthless, all these Meriwether people. So pretty much what I am going to do is just try to take out as many Meriwether people as I can and destroy as much Meriwether operation as I can from inside of this Karuma. Oh yeah, then also reinforcements come. So now the reinforcements are on their way. Wait, what? I was too close for that? What? I look down at my phone and I look up and it says I've committed. Like, excuse me. I thought I was far enough away, but I guess not. All right, anyways, I have five more things to take out and uh, there's a ton of people here and let the dying begin. All right, so I've thought about it a little more, actually. I said I wasn't gonna cower it out of whichever one that they give me. I think from here on out, I think I won't do any duplicates. So this is going to be the last time I am going to be doing whatever this one is. I already forgot the name. All I know is that I hate this one. Just get it, there we go. I didn't want to take a chance. I just kamikaze straight into that thing. And we have one more thing to get. Okay, there we go. As I died, I got the final one. So now I can just get out of here. Dude, oh my God. I stole one of Meriwether's like vehicles and Meriwether. Oh my God. They don't. I've already lost two wheels, I think. Yeah, I've lost two wheels. Do they not have bulletproof tires? I was kind of under the assumption. I was like, all right, all right. It's Meriwether. You know, I steal one of their vehicles. We're gonna have bulletproof wheels, but apparently not. That somehow escaped the budget, but yet they can just endlessly shoot endless amount of bullets at me. That's apparently in the budget. It ain't Interesting budgeting from Meriwether, but you know, no one's ever thought of that. All right, finally, mission passed. Jeez, I had to drive all the way out to Sandy Shores before I could escape the reinforcements with their vehicle that doesn't have bulletproof tires because apparently Meriwether's broke. But I have to wait 48 minutes to do my next full against jobs. But in the meantime, I am going to start up the last dose missions. All right, here we go. We are starting up the last dose mission number one. We're doing the mission. This is an intervention. And for some reason, um, what is this guy's name? again lab rat lab rat is holding a pineapple on his head 
Jeez, Dax, man. What are you doing? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Who are these guys taking Lab Rat? Why do I care if Lab Rat's taken? Oh, apparently Dax doesn't care about Lab Rat either. He just wants to shoot a RPG at him. Hey, he's not a good shot, though, because he misses. Jeez, okay, nice. All right, so now we have to take out a bunch of people, and honestly, this is like a harder version of Series A funding heist. We're in the exact same location. There's just a ton of people during this mission. If I remember correctly, I think it's right around like 60 ish, maybe pushing 70, something like that. I don't know. Dude, all these people just to push to steal Lab Rat. Like, I don't even want Lab Rat, but I want money. At least we get a first time bonus. If it wasn't for the first time bonus, I would not be doing this right now. You can land your helicopter, or I'll land it for you. There you go. I'm not talking too much because it's just a bunch of shooting at this point. Not really a whole lot of developments. It's just me shoot, pew, 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 move forward, shoot, pew, pew, pew. You know, you get the ordeal. What? What? I have pretty good health. Maybe not max, but pretty, pretty good. Wait, are they running away? Okay, nice. I think they're running away. Oh, okay, good. Okay, okay, okay. I completed it first attempt. Nice. Who is this lady? Who are you, drama queen? I bet you listen to soft rock. I don't know how to respond to that, to be honest. Here, stop. Tell me to stop. I will not stop. I will run you over. Hello, Dax. Dude, Dax, stop falling over. Dax! Oh my gosh, dude, you gotta stop falling over. Anyways, mission pass, there we go. Got $14,000 for that, but we get a first-time bonus of $100,000 for all five of the last of those missions. So there you go, as you can see, $100,000 has been added to my bank account. But we have to do four more of these last of those missions, so let's get into the next one. All right, we're jumping into the second last of those mission, Unusual Suspects. Now, I'm kind of excited to do this one because I actually get to really test drive this vehicle. The arbitrary GT that I got last episode. My beautiful new HSW vehicle. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. This vehicle is actually pretty hard to drive. I gotta get used to this. Then again, I got used to the Drift Yosemite, which that vehicle is so weird to drive. Jeez, I feel like I'm just driving on ice right now. Oh, I, okay. I didn't need a hood anyways. The engine is pretty much sticking out of the vehicle. Oh, hey, how you doing? All right, so now we have to go to the hippie leader boss person, whatever. And then there we go. That's pretty much all I have to do. And then we just have to go to another suspect, which is going to be a little bit further into the city. Jeez, I cannot drive this vehicle. I got I to gotta get used to this. This does feel incredibly fast, but the control is just not here. It's just not. All right, so we made it to the next location. Same ordeal. We just have to take out a bunch of people. This time it's going to be lost MC. All right, and then we have to go to this leader boss person or whatever, and I just walk away and i can get away with doing that all right so we're at the final location so all we have to do is once again just same ordeal just take out a bunch of people all right there we go all the hippies have been taken out so we have to go to the hippie leader all right so that hippie boss leader just told us that we need to go to elysian island so we're gonna go to elysian island and check out this last spot hopefully we can find a clue down there all right so we've made it to elysian island now we need to search for the warehouse and i think the warehouse is somewhere in here yeah always find that car or SUV right there. All right, so now we need to search for clues about Lab Rat's kidnappers. And here's a clue right here. Everyone's photoed except for me. Why am I not photoed? Like, I'm the brains. I'm the good looks behind everything. But I don't have a photo up there. There's so much real estate on this board, dude, to put a photo of me. Like, whoever this is, they're gonna really pay. I, I should be on that board. Yeah, pretty much. We have to photograph a bunch of different, like, clues and whatnot. All right, there we go. Everything has been photographed. And oh my god. Oh, I did not hide in the right spot um i think my cover's been blown but pretty much all we have to do oh i forgot i have to collect the key card oops all right there we go i have the key card so now let's just get out of here oh my god dude there's multiple people hiding behind my car get your own car to hide behind and there we go mission pass let's move on to the next one all right we're jumping into the third last dose mission freed mind all right so we've made it to freed mind hq so let's head on in um you die and you die okay nice so we're supposed to do this stealthy but if we break our stealth then it's not the end of the world no no okay you're good okay we're still good we're still good oh wait how did you not notice you idiot i don't think i've made it this far without breaking stealth okay here's a clue right here um yeah so let's grab this clipboard i have to search for keys okay so here's the keys that we needed to get so now we can just go downstairs to the basement all right one more enemy that i have to take out it's this person hey 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 you stop okay he's dead now all right now we get to talk to dax hey hello oh that's not dax oh my god i said dax i i don't care who you are i i really don't oh what the heck who's in 
in there. Who didn't have the photo of me? It, it was you. You. Isaiah Friedlander does not have a photo of me on his little billboard. But you have a photo of Dax, Lucha, and Labra. Like, wh why? What? I'm that guy. They're not that guy. I'm currently saving the world right now. I guess you're not aware of that. I've raided Humane Labs. I broke someone out of prison. But yet you have Lucha, Dax, and Labra on the billboard. Like, what? What is this thought process? Oh, oh, okay. This escalated a little quickly. Oh, lights are out. Oh, what the? What the? Oh, and he got away. First, you didn't have a photo of me on the billboard. And then you just weasel your way out of this. Mm-mm. All right, so now all we have to do is just take Lucha and Labrat back to the freak shop. And this setup will be passed. All right, well, there we go. We're back at the freak shop. Dax? I keep saying Dax. It's not Dax. It's Labrat. Labrat's home, but I don't care. I'm going to run him over. I can't run him over. Oh, oh, I can't. Okay, I can't. I can't. Wait, wait, wait. D they didn't let me, like, fully run them over, but there we go. Mission passed. Um, we have two more Lasso's missions that we have to do, but I'm going to do my next Fooligans job next. All right, so I'm going to call Dax right here, and let's do our next Fooligans job. Can you please not give me the Meriwether one, please? Which one do we get? Liquid I... Oh, okay, this is a good one. This is actually a really good one, and we got the good location. We don't have to go to Polito Bay. Incredibly nice. Okay, so we've made it to this location. We've done this before in this series, too. This was the first Fooligans job that we did where we could do whatever we want, but we just have to take out a bunch of dealers right now. Now. All right, there you go. That was actually probably the smoothest I've ever taken out all the dealers in here. So now we just have to contaminate the water supply. All right, so that's contaminated. Now we just have to turn on the irrigation system. And then we just have to walk right through all the chemicals that we just put into the water tank. And now we're seeing pretty colors. And now let's exit the grass farm. Okay, so now pretty much what I'm going to do is try to climb up somewhere. I don't know where to climb over here, though. I don't know where there's like a ladder or any place I can just climb up. Oh, here's some steps. Okay, nice. Oh, that's actually really nice. I can literally just chill out right here and all the clowns literally just stay right there but throw one grenade right there Oh my god, that was so satisfying. That was like, what, seven, like, clowns taken out right there? Just so beautiful. I'm just gonna chill out here and wait for this hallucination to end. So we're snapping back into it. And there we go. Full against job. Complete another $50,000. So we have to wait another 48 minutes to do another full against job. But now let's jump into the last two last dose missions. Okay, so it's actually been 48 minutes since our last full against job. I had to go take care of something. But we can just jump straight into another full against job. So let's just do that. Right, which one are we doing? Uh, okay, no, no, no. We're not doing duplicates, even though that's fantastic. I actually got that. All right, which one? Are we? Stop, stop. You gotta stop giving me liquidized assets, even though it's like the easiest one. You gotta give me a little bit of variety. What is there, like five? There's like five different ones. You've been giving me the same one three times in a row. Okay, so we get heavy metal. All right, Um, this one is kind of like right in the middle, in my opinion. Like sometimes I've done this one without really having a second thought about it. And then there's other times where I absolutely screw up miserably. Um. Of course, a truck just had to be right there. Okay, fine, fine, fine. You want to mess with the little guy, huh? You want to mess with the little guy, huh? Oh, well, hold on. I went to get that one. Huh? Oh, wait, no, I did blow up. Okay, all right, all right, that truck blew up. Anyways, yeah, so pretty much we have to go to Stab City, so let me head all the way over there. Okay, so we finally made it over to Stab City. Um, I'm just gonna send some missiles their way, even though I already know what I'm doing, and it really has nothing to do with me sending missiles their way. But, you know, it's kind of fun. I have this Torador. Okay, so we need to go into this trailer and die. All right, let's try this again. Jeez, he was standing on top of this green chair, but it's okay. We barely survived, but we survived. Now we just need to take a picture of his bloody carcass. All right, now we have to go over here to the stolen goods. And then we have to drive right around four miles to deliver the stolen goods to the drop-off. Now, for some reason at this location, and pretty much this location only, I've sometimes had issues on keeping the health bar of the stolen goods intact. Like, I've had it where the enemies have just shot out this truck and all the stolen goods were just destroyed. And then I get paid nothing. So hopefully that's not the case today. All right, and there we go. We have made it to the drop-off location. Can I run over you? No, then no. Okay, see, these guys are far superior than Dax and Lucha and Labrat. Yeah, they're, they're so much more superior. They don't get knocked over when I run into them. And there we go, mission passed. And we have one more Fulligan's job to do. But before we do that, let's get into our final two last dose missions. All right, here we go. We're jumping into the fourth last dose mission, checking in. All right, and then Dax. 
Dax apparently wants me to follow him, which no, Dax drives so slow. I get so frustrated following Dax during this mission. So I just go on my own because they already tell me the location and I'll just beat him there. All right, so we've made it over to the rehab clinic and there's already some people here from the troop apparently, but we have to take out some of these people that work for Freelander. All right, there we go. Everyone's taken out. So let's go to the main entrance and let's see what's up. All right, Freelander. Why wasn't I photographed and put on the billboard? Oh, oh, okay. What is, what is this? What is this? Oh, okay. Well, it looks like we're tripping out again. Awesome. All right, so now I'm apparently supposed to kill all the aliens. I honestly, I hate aiming during this, so I just like to run up to all of them. I just kind of melee them. Is it more effective? I have no clue, but it's just really fun. Oh, I died. And then we just respawn, and we just keep respawning like that. Hey, there's an alien killing you, Dax. I'll save you. <laughs> Jeez. Can't even defend himself in a hallucination. All right, now what? The aliens despawned. Kill the beast within. Um, okay. There's a bunch of monkeys. What the heck? Oh, a cougar just killed me. Okay. Huh? Oh, a panther just mauled me again. Oh, but I can get up from it. Oh, you are so lucky, Pan. Oh, you're so lucky. I was about to just stomp on your freaking neck. Oh, it's Freelander. Oh, nice. A bunch of Freelanders. Oh, okay. And then the Freelander's apparently OP. Dude, this man didn't have a photo of me on his billboard. He deserves to be smacked right in the face. Yeah, here. Smack. You want another smack? Here's another smack. You just smack him in the face so many times. Oh, 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 you're so lucky. You are so lucky. Then I'm supposed to kill my ego. Look, there's a bunch of characters that look like me, and, and I just killed myself. But then there's also characters characters that look like Dax and Lucha, and I am only going to be killing them because I don't deserve to die. Oh, that's me. Where's the Lucha one? Oh, here's a Dax one. Yeah, die. Yeah, yeah. Dax does not deserve to live. Oh my god, this is funny. It's Dax versus me. Okay, honestly, that's kind of boring. It's a fake me. I'm the real me. Okay, so now I just have to die. That's literally all I have to do, and boom, there we go. I die, and then that allows us to get trip survived. So now we have one more last dose mission to do. All right, here's the last last dose mission right here. BD Katie. All right, so we're supposed to get in this vellum right here. Oh, I wanted to run over Lucha, to be honest. Dang it. Well, can I, like... Okay, I wanted to land my car on the plane, but I guess it's just not gonna happen. Just save it for another day. All right, we're supposed to apparently hijack this plane right here that's taken off from LSIA. <laughs> what if I land? Oh, I was actually pretty close to landing. Hey, hey, what? I failed to hack the cargo plane. I think a little more happened than me failing the hack. Let's see, the Vellum died, Lucha died, I died. More importantly, that's the most important part, I died. Oh, wait, 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 it was my opportunity. Yes, absolutely run over. Okay, I don't know why you spawned over there, because you're just going to get run over again. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, shoot, the plane's already taking off. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, yeah, the plane's already airborne. Um, We have some catching up to do. All right, there we go. We hacked this door, and, you know, we're just going to send it. Okay, so we have to take out a few people that are inside of here. Only a few, not too many people here. All right, so we've made it to the cockpit. So, yeah, we apparently are going to fly this thing. Oh, of course, Freeland just in a box. Well, I wasn't on his billboard. I don't get it. You know, I would like to do some things directly to you not your hallucinating self or whatever but it huh, he bails he bails so I, I can't do anything to him so yeah we just don't care about freelander anymore and we're just gonna land the plane at sandy shores airfield all right let me try to park this hmm i think this is good uh we're looking good right right dax right here let me get the landing gear out right yeah this is good right somewhere like this and then it just takes it from me i was gonna land it perfectly i don't know what you're talking about but whatever oh gosh the cops are on us now. it's so stupid because like we haven't dealt with the cops literally the entire time and then the final mission out of the first and last of those missions we have to deal with cops it just doesn't make a lot of sense to me oh yeah i don't think i said this we're pretty much all we're doing is just protecting dax right now so we just have to take out a bunch of cops all right so dax loaded the truck full of chemicals so we have to enter the truck right here and then we have to make it all the way back to the freak shop all right we've made it back to the freak shop there we go mission passed we got twenty thousand dollars out of that but we also will get our last last $100,000 bonus for a total of a first time bonus of $500,000. Oh, and I'm spawning in at Mount Chiliad. Oh, okay. I'm almost naked. That's fantastic. And there we go. There's our last $100,000 bonus, but I still need to do one more full against job. So I have to wait like 15 more minutes in order to start that up. So I'll see you when I'll be able to start that up. Okay. So we can start up another full against job or final full against job. So let's do that. Oh, which one do we get? Oh my God, dude, they really want me to do liquid ice acid. 
assets. I'm not doing that again. Oh, which one do we get? Right? No, I don't want to do right off. We did that. That was the first one we did. No duplicates. And it's another liquid. You know what? Screw it. I'm just going to do liquidized assets at this point. You know, they keep giving me duplicates. I'll cave. So my apologies, just in case if you wanted to see, I guess, one of the other two. One of them is the most boring one. So I think it's okay that you don't have to watch me do that one. And then the other one I did when I was able to do whatever I wanted for a certain amount of time. Whenever I did that video, I did that one. So I guess if you've been keeping up with the series, you've seen pretty much all of them except for the most boring one. All right, so we're in here. We're in the grass form again. So you just need to take out these people. And there's one guy that's here that is so annoying to kill. That guy, that guy. Because of that, because of that. He's just sitting there with an assault shotgun just waiting for me to peer this corner. You know what? Here, you want to shoot me like that? You don't get toes anymore. No toes for you. No hand either. And then he died to a toe shot. Ridiculous. That's the guy that was giving me issues. Really? The guy who dies via toe? All right, so now we have to contaminate the water once again. And then we turn on the irrigation system. And then we should remember from last time to not run into the water that is being sprayed out all over the grass. But Dax forces to. So we're going to do it again because well dax told us to and now we're seeing pretty colors once again and then pretty much same ordeal we just have to get away from a bunch of clowns and whatever issue is i don't know of a place around here to be honest where i can climb on top and then i can just chill out oh my god oh i found a ladder finally i found a ladder jeez i don't get this location too often i usually get the Pleto bay location which today i haven't gotten well i take that back i did get but then i decided against it because i didn't want to duplicate and then i caved but i got the ulta location i never get this location so oh we're already falling over wow that was actually pretty quick all right we're spawning back in where do i spawn in and we spawned in all the way in sandy shores jeez we made it a far ways but there we go mission pass that was our final full against job that we had to do all right so after doing all those full against jobs and doing the last of those missions i now have eight hundred and thirty nine thousand dollars. but there is still one more thing that i actually can get after completing the last dose missions that i honestly forgot to show you so let's go check it out all right so for doing the last dose missions we got a first time bonus of $500,000. And during the first of those missions, we also got a first time bonus of $500,000. But we also got the Brickade 6x6 for free. So we didn't have to buy it off of Warstock Cash and Carry and then turn it into an acid lab. We got it for free, so then we could just turn it into an acid lab, which is what we already did. And for the last of those missions, we get a supercar right here. This is supposed to be Dr. Friedmine's Ocelot Virtue, but now it's mine because he ran away. I, I don't even know what happened to him anyways this is our new vehicle the ocelot virtue yeah this is an electric supercar this vehicle is actually really really fast but yeah not a bad episode today completed the last of those missions but we still have a long ways to go before we can actually buy the office building next back in august i started as a level one on a new account in gta online and the only way i have made money on this account is by spinning a wheel determining what i should do to make money so today in this video i will spin the wheel again to see what I will do in this episode to make money. So welcome to the 14th episode of season number two of Loser to Luxury. And without further ado, let's jump into it. So currently right now, I am on the wheel of quick cash. But before I spin the wheel of quick cash, I just want to remind you that we are trying to buy the Long Bank West office building next, coming in at $3,100,000. And currently right now, I have $789,000. So we still have a long ways to go before we can actually purchase the Long Bank West Tower. But how are we going to start out this episode in order to make money? So the wheel is spinning and it looks like we are going to have to buy another new weapon. And this is going to be determined by spinning the weapon class wheel. All right, so here's the wheel of weapon classes. Last time I spun this, I landed on a throwable weapon, which is absolutely garbage. But let's just spin the wheel and let's see what kind of weapon I am allowed to purchase. And please sit, sit, please, please. I want a shotgun. No, 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 no. I want the assault shotgun so bad. I do. I really want the assault shotgun, but uh, it's not a handgun. So I'm going to have to purchase some sort of handgun, whatever. I'm probably going to get the cheapest option because I don't give a crap about a handgun. So what an L of a wheel spin. A very emotional wheel spin too, by the way. All right. So right now I am on the wheel of making money. So what are we going to have to do in this episode in order to 
make money. And it looks like we are going to actually have to go and do the final original heist, which is going to be the Pacific Standard Heist. Now, I was actually thinking about it a little bit. The Pacific Standard Heist in itself pays out a lot more than the other heist. So I'm actually not going to spin the wheel again. And it'll work very similarly to how the Doomsday Heist is working for us right now. It's such a good heist, we have to forfeit our next wheel spin. Plus two, we're going to get some fat first time bonuses, but you'll see that at the end of this video. So we have to go and do the Pacific Standard Heist, but first I have to go to ammunition and buy myself a garbage handgun. All right, so I've made it to ammunition right here. So let's walk on in and I need to purchase myself a handgun. I just realized something. I do not have the AP pistol. Um, What have I been using? I've been using the mini SMG as like my in-car weapon, I guess. I mean, okay, I can get the AP pistol. I, I guess that'll work. All right, and there we go. Oh yeah, by the way, the reason that I actually have this wheel spin on the wheel of quick cash is so that I can actually start accumulating a few more weapons throughout this series because I mean you can kind of like see on the wall here there's some very very nice weapons on here that I do not have and I would like to have one day so I just think having it on the wheel of quick cash maybe every once in a while landing on it could give us some better weapons but I mean we got to stop landing on handguns and throwables but now it is time for me to start setting up the Pacific Standard Heist all right, so I'm at my heist planning room right now. So let's start up the heist as a leader. And I have to pay a setup cost of $25,000, but that is okay because I have well over that. All right, here we go. We are starting up the Pacific Standard heist right here. We're doing the setup Pacific Standard Vance. I'm going to take my Ocelot Virtue out today, the vehicle I got for free last episode for doing the last of those missions. And I completely forgot that the role that I have for this setup, I I pretty much do nothing. So that's fun. Oh yeah, so it took me less than a minute to find a full lobby for this heist. I have no idea how. I really have no idea how. Like during the Humane Labs raid, during like the Series A funding heist, it took me so long to try to find people. Maybe it's a sign for today. Maybe it's a sign that's pretty much saying today is going to be a smooth, easy day. All right, anyways, for this setup, I said I pretty much get to do nothing for this setup. And that is very much true for the reason that I am supposed to be driving around a navigator to a van. Yeah, vans are driving around and we need to like photograph like their license plates or whatever, but only certain teammates can photograph those vans. Oh, I found a van right here. I've done this setup so many times. Like I used to grind the Pacific Standard Heist like all the way back in 2015. So I pretty much know these setups like the back of my hand. See, my position right now is a driver and as a driver, which this concept is so stupid, I am not allowed to photograph the van. But the other teammates, they have like this tracking system that they can find these vans on, but I've done this before, so I know where all the vans are. Oh, I also forgot to mention, if you're wondering why my Ocelot Virtue is yellow now, instead of like, you know, the Dr. Friedman livery and like that black color scheme and whatnot, I decided I wanted to get like a different color for the thumbnail, and I fell upon this race yellow, and um, I guess someone fell upon failing the freaking setup. How do you alert a driver? Oh my, well, I mean, I know how you alert a driver. You just smack into the driver. Not enough players were able to start the heist setup. Okay, I am going to force myself to be a navigator because I can drive myself as a navigator and get to the vans. So to finish my thought, like I just fell up on that race yellow and that race yellow just looks so good on the Ocelot Virtue. So I like paid $18,000 just for that race yellow for a thumbnail. And now it's just going to be the normal color for my Ocelot Virtue. So that's fun, but let's try this again. All right, let's try this again. It took me like 15 minutes to try to get another crew, but that's okay. Okay, so now I am a navigator, so I can actually use this thing in the bottom right and try to navigate some vans. All right, so here's the van. The issue is I need to wait for this van to stop so I can get a good shot. Bro, where is there a red light? I need a red light. Oh, here's a red light. Okay, nice. Okay, photo time. Well, bam. Okay, there we go. One van down. Let's go to the next van. All right, I made it to the next van right here. My teammate still hasn't found a van. Way to go, teammate. All right, there we go. Another van photograph. Two more to go. Oh, no. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I ran that person over right in front of that van. I thought that would have been, like, you know, an issue, but apparently not. I mean, it's still an issue. I have to lose the cops, but I really thought I would have just failed that, but somehow I didn't. Okay, here's the third van right here. Let me take a photograph of this. Okay, I have to apparently still lose the cops. A cop hasn't seen me this entire time, and yet I still have the cops on me. I, this has been way too long. Game. Oh, my God, I lost the cops then. Jeez. All right, three vans photographed. We need to go to the last van. 
van and my teammate still hasn't found a van. Yeah, I'm literally gonna message that teammate. I'm gonna message him the bill for my chiropractor visit because, geez, I am carrying this setup right now. Yep, and here is the final one right here. Geez, okay, yeah. It probably gets so boring watching me carry all these ice because, geez, some people just do not understand. All right, whatever. We have photographed all four vans. Now we need to wait for Lester to tell me which van I have to kill. And I think it's this one, if I remember correctly. And it is this van. So there we go. Ta -da. That's all I had to do. And we just have to steal this van and then lose the comps and then deliver it somewhere. I forget where. Then we should be good to go. Like, and there's four people in this setup. No one has contributed to this setup aside from me. Part of it is like the setup itself. Like only two people can really do anything. But then also the other guy that is like a navigator with me has done nothing. I failed to mention this earlier. We're doing all the setups on easy and then the finale is going to be on hard so we can get even more money. All right, there we go. I lost the cops. Um, This setup being on easy really doesn't matter. We could have done this setup on hard and it wouldn't change a thing really. But yeah, all I have to do is just deliver the van to Lester's factory and boom, setup pass. Oh, look, and there's my teammates that absolutely did nothing. Hey guys. And there we go. Setup pass. Let's move on to the next one. All right, we're jumping into the next setup right here. We're doing the Pacific Standard Signal setup and I am going to take my Arbiter GT right here and I am going to just absolutely hurdle that guy's car because I can. All right, so Lester wants us to go to a bunch of sea sharks that are kind of right around like the Chumash area. We're absolutely not going to go to that Chumash area and we're going to go a little bit north of the military base and then there's going to be a spot right there. It's going to be a lot closer to the spot where we have to go to that actually has a bunch of boats. I think there's just some more sea sharks that are right there if I remember correctly. Yeah, kind of low-key annoying that Lester like tells us to go to Chumash. We really don't have to. I mean, Lester should know where the closest sea shark location is. Like, come on, Lester. You can do better than that, bud. Come on. All right, so we're going to turn off kind of right here and hit a rock, I guess, and crash into the side of a mountain. It's fine. And then what we're going to do now, I need to get down here. Yeah, all right. Maybe not as clean as that should have been, but look at this. You see that right there? You see that? Do you see that? That is four sea sharks right there. Literally, and all we have to go is we have to go over to this island right here. As you can see, there's a helicopter right there. So Lester is kind of being a little stupid, if you ask me, but it's fine. Whatever. Luckily, Lester, I am a smart, intelligent person that actually knows where sea sharks are going to be really close to this island. Yeah, but anyway, so we have to go to this island because Avi Schwartzman is kind of just like chilling out here because people are after him. But there's a bunch of policemen here, so I am going to have to save Avi Schwartzman, but it's not going to be an issue because this is on easy. And because I took the short route here, there is literally no one here aside from me, so I get to just shoot everyone for fun. I'm gonna have to send my teammates another chiropractor bill for carrying this setup. Jeez. But I mean, it makes a little bit more sense why I can carry this one, just because I've done this heist so many times in the past. Maybe not so much anymore. Okay, I literally hear my teammates just showing up now. I think there's only like five more people I need to kill that are left. Oh, I need to hurry up and kill these guys just so I can get Avi. I need to get Avi. I need to get Avi. There's one more guy. There's no, I need to be the one to get Avi. I do not want anyone else to have Avi. Avi's my guy. My guy. Mine. Mine. Okay. Okay, good. We get it. We get it. All right, cool. Good. Because I don't want anyone else to take Avi. I honestly don't have a lot of faith in my other teammates. There's not anything against my teammates. Just I've been put up with so many bad teammates that I just want to give myself as much control as possible. All right. So I'm in a boat right now. Um, I'll let this guy. Oh my God. My entire team like spawns in here. Oh yeah. I kind of realized my Arbiter GT, it can only sit two people. So once I beach this boat and Avi gets into the car with me, I don't know where my teammate's going to go, but that's a problem for him to figure out. So Avi, we need to get out right here. We're going to get inside of this car, this Arbiter GT. Avi. No, you moron. Get out. Get out. Get out. No, 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 no. Stupid. Get out. No one. Yeah, literally, literally. I, I had to put it on no one. Yeah, I, this is Avi's car. You moron. Yeah, Avi Schwartzman was killed. I don't know if you noticed. He put a sticky bomb down. He blew himself up, but Avi Schwartzman was right beside him. Oh my God. 29 kills. And then that other guy had two. Oh my God. I'm literally going to have to send a chiropractor bill. I'm doing that. I made sure no one can get in the vehicle to allow Avi Schwartzman to get into the vehicle. I mean, like, oh, oh my God. Oh my, not enough players to start the high setup. You're a more, I assume it's that guy that freaking 
freaking blew himself up. You're a moron. I need a written apology from you. A written apology, not a typed apology. A written, handwritten, with a nice pen. Please and thank you. That is embarrassing. Okay, let's try this again. I would like to think I am in a little bit more of a calmer state this time around, but I don't know. We'll see how it goes and maybe I might be in a worse state. Now, I think we have some higher levels this time around than the last time. I think we had pretty much all low levels except for one person. This time around, I think we have two high level people. So hopefully those high level people know what they're doing. All right, so I've made it back to the island once again. Someone actually followed me. The low level is the one that actually followed me. So hopefully the low level doesn't screw me up or anything like that. I need this last kill. I need this last kill. I need this last kill. Um, I, I mean, teammate, you go get the kill. Yeah, you get the kill. You get the kill. Shh. He doesn't know I'll get Javi. <laughs> All right, so I get Avi once again. He needs to be in my possession. I, I don't trust him. I don't trust that guy. He was a part of that team last time we did this, but I don't think it was his fault. I don't think it was the same guy that blew himself up. I don't remember, though, to be honest. All right, I'm just going to boat straight away. I'm, I'm just going to get out of here straight away. There's some jet skis that are right there, so they're fine. They're absolutely fine. They can fend for themselves. I just need to take Avi to the drop-off. All right, Avi, get in the car. Avi, the heck is Avi? No, you, d dude, no, 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 yes, good. Run that person over too for trying to get in instead of Avi. All right, I'm out. So now we just have to lose the cops and then we have to take Avi Schwartzman to the drop off and then we should be good to go. Okay, I'm learning pretty quickly. The Arbiter GT is definitely not built for off-roading. So if any of y'all like had the idea of maybe trying to go off-roading with the Arbiter GT, I would maybe not recommend it all. Just on the off chance that maybe one of you like had that idea. To be honest, I haven't been even driving that bad since I've started talking about it. <laughs> you know what you should do though? Maybe you should smash that subscribe button if you want to see more content like this. And maybe smash the like button too while you're at it to show that you're enjoying the content. Now just imagine here, I'm going to get into first person. You know, Avi, before he got into this car, he had to smash that subscribe button. And you know our boy Avi Schwartzman absolutely demolished that subscribe button. So I think you, and I do mean you, should do the same. And there we go. We have delivered Avi Schwartzman to the drop off. And there we go. Set up pads. Let's move on to the next one. All right, we're doing the next specific standard set setup. We're doing the hacking setup. Oh my, someone is bringing a vigilante. I love that. All right, anyways, I'm bringing my Karuma because this is a Karuma job in my opinion, or at least a Karuma would be very, very beneficial here. All right, so this is the van that we have to get into. Um, I'm actually not going to get into it. Okay, everyone has to get into it at some point, but I'm going to like act like I'm getting into it, but then I'm not going to get into it. You'll see, you'll see, you'll see. Oh my God, another Karuma, um, a car I can't recognize, and then a vigilante. What a lineup here. All right, anyways, I'm going to get in the back. You know what? Actually, I'm going to take a ride. I'm going to take a ride, and then I'm going to call my Karuma once we get there. All right, there we go. We have made it to the Vinewood Boulevard. I am getting out now, and I just called in my armored Karuma. So I'm going to get into my armored Karuma, and then just kind of take out everyone the best I can. So yeah, this makes the setup so much easier, just chilling here inside of a Karuma. Like, I'm telling you, I know my way around a Pacific Standard Heist. Not that I didn't know my way around the other heist. It's just I've done this one so many times, and... And someone died. That person does not have the same experience level as me, probably. And someone else died. Oh, good, good, good. Good job, guys. This is on easy, by the way. And people are freaking dying. All right, there we go. I think everyone's dead now. So someone has to get into the white van. And I will be that guy to get into the white van. All right, so now I have to park this white van right next to this black van right here. And now we're going to do a little bit of a swap a -roo. See, the black van is their van. And they have some special thingy that we need. So we're going to unplug some things, take the special thingy, and then we're going to carry that special thingy all the way over to our white van. And then my teammates are going to get into the black van, try to drive away. And they're going to be the decoys. And then I'm just going to calmly drive the white van back to Lester's place. And that should be pretty much it. See, look, there's enemies spawning in. They're trying to get their van back. But little do they know, we have the special stuff. And one of my teammates died. Are you kidding? How do we fail one of these setups by dying three times? Like, these are pretty easy. These should not be any issue at all. Oh! Oh my god, I do not understand people. We fail once and then they're just out. I don't understand. I don't understand the concept behind that. And that was the person that died too. And they were level 265. Why? Why? What's the point? You die, then you're like, oh, I'm not good enough to be in this ice. I'm pretty sure no one is thinking that. I'm pretty sure no one's thinking that. They're probably thinking, oh my god, this setup is so hard. I don't get people. Let's find another crew. All right, let's try this again. We 
here doing the Pacific Standard hack. My teammates for this heist are a little bit different. No one above level 100. I'm a 42, and then I have a 68, a level one, and a level 16. So this could be very interesting, but maybe these are smart people. Who knows? What? What are you doing? Why? What? Well, why are you shooting at me? Okay, fine. You can drive if that's what you want to do. Fine. Go ahead, dork. I just want to get this over with. I mean, I'm just going to get in the Karuma right after anyway, so. Dude, you wanted to drive? This is an embarrassment. Why did you want to drive? You missed the turn. You ran into the back of a freaking dump truck. Turn right. Turn right. Yeah, someone got out, and I don't blame that person for getting out. No, okay. No, no, no. You're being stupid. No, you're being so stupid. No, 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 no. Uh-uh. He literally just ran over that person. Oh, my God. Yeah, get out. I can knock you out, right? No, I can't knock you out of the driver's seat. No. Okay, fine. All right, yeah. I'm just going to get my crewman out. I think I don't have to be in the van, technically, if I just make it to the location first. I'm pretty sure. We're going to test that theory because I don't trust this guy anymore. This idiot who wanted to drive just to show that he sucks at driving. What? 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 High screw left. I don't blame whoever left. I don't blame whoever left because that guy was a moron. It was a level one. Oh my God. The level one is actually pretty smart. Okay. Third time is the charm. The setup really should not be taking three attempts. This isn't the easiest setup for the Pacific Standard Heist, but I mean, in my opinion, there's like three extremely easy setups, which is the first one that we did, this one, and then the last one that we'll do. Those are all really easy. And then there's like two harder ones. And the hardest one is probably going to be the next one. See, I expect that one to maybe take multiple attempts. This one should not take multiple attempts at all. It's kind of embarrassing that I have to come here and get my third crew just to try to get this done. It's really embarrassing. It's honestly a little bit concerning. I even have to post this on YouTube. It's that embarrassing. It's that embarrassing. I know. I am bright red embarrassed right now. But unfortunately, this is the sad truth that we live in. So hopefully we can get it done and hopefully we don't have to see a fourth attempt. All right. I learned from last time. Do not let anyone else drive the van. Oh, 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 oh. This teammate knows what he's doing. This teammate knows what he's doing. Oh my God. That teammate knows what he's doing. Oh my God. I'm in love. I'm in love. Who is that guy? Who is that guy? I don't even care anymore because I don't have to get any of the other heist crew in here. I can literally just drive this on my own. Oh my God. I'm in love with that guy. He is so smart. See, I don't do what that guy's doing because usually everyone else gets confused because no one else knows exactly what the heck that guy is doing, but I know what he's doing. And that guy is a pure genius. He needs to be in my ice finale. He absolutely needs to be in my ice finale. Um, it's a level 140. Okay, figures. Okay, good, 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 good. You're my best friend. He is my best friend. His name is Zuzu. Zuzu is my best friend. Zuzu might have to send me a bill for carrying this setup, which I'm okay with paying for his chiropractor. You know, I'm not even going to do this with my Karuma. You know what? No, 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 no. Wait, wait. Actually, actually, you know what? You know, Zuzu has his own Karuma, so I'll just ride with him. This is so great. This is so great. I love this. That is exactly how we do a freaking high setup. Up. All right, once again, we have to do a little switcheroo again. I just realized someone's in my freaking van. Dude, I was eating chips. Okay, yeah, get out of my van. Thank you. Get in the other van and get away from me. I don't want to see you. I don't want to see any of y'all actually right now. I'll see y'all next setup if they even want to come back. Zuzu better come back. I really want Zuzu to come back. All right, now all I have to do is just take the white van all the way to Lester's factory. Okay, I pretty much made it to Lester's factory. Someone committed right as I was talking, so that's fun, but we should be pretty much good to go. Are we good? Did we fast? Yep, there we go. Set up pass. We have two more setups to get into. All right, now we're getting into the second to last setup, the Pacific Standard Convoy setup. And this is probably going to be the hardest setup for the Pacific Standard Heist. But before we really get into any action, I have to drive like four miles to the ambush point. So I guess I'll see you when I get there. Okay, everyone has made it to the ambush point now. And as you can see right there on the back of that pickup truck, on the mounted gun, that is my best friend Zuzu right there. Just kind of doing whatever. Okay, so now a Meriwether Con. Convoy is supposed to be grappling on this road, and we need to stop that convoy and steal one of the vehicles. And this convoy can be tricky to take out, but my teammates seem like they know what they're doing. You know, what? I'll just get in this guy's Kuruma. I think that'll be the best bet. We're just going for it now. Okay, let me get you the mount. Oh, I got the mounted gunner. That's good. That's good. That's good. Dude, there's like no one to take out. There's like Loki, no one to take out because I think Zeus is killing everyone. I am here at the truck, and we need to steal this truck and deliver it to a certain point. But first, we have to escape Meriwether. You know what? It would be my weird luck for the hardest setup for the heist to be probably the easiest for me to get done today. Oh god, there's a savage nearby too. I usually do this savage. Okay, never mind. I usually do this setup. Not this savage. I usually do this setup back when I used to do it. I used to do it with like, like pretty good teammates and if I remember correctly, we were supposed to take out the savages as we go along. But one of my teammates took out that savage that was right above me earlier. That's good. That's good. My teammate's doing good. Oh, and I think Zuzu just got the other savage. I'm telling you, Zuzu is my best friend. It just has to be. And 
there we go. We escaped Merriweather. All I have to do is just drive like a mile to the drop off and then we should be good to go. And here we are. We have made it to the drop off. And there we go. Setup pass. For some reason, the artist setup was the easiest one for me to complete. We have one more setup to do before we can start up the finale. All right, we're jumping into the final setup right here, which is going to be the Pacific Standard bike setup. And this one is probably going to be the quickest setup. But unfortunately, I have some bad news. My best friend Zuzu did not join this setup for some reason. So we are not doing the finale from the looks of it with Zuzu, unfortunately, which that's going to be sad. It's going to be a little bit scary too, trying to do a heist finale without Zuzu. Ever since Zuzu showed up, we've been going through these setups very, very quickly. Granted, it was only two setups, but one of them was the hardest setup in the game. And the other one, we had failed two other times and we needed a third crew. Zuzu knew what they were doing. Even though I am in a heist with a ton of high level people, as you can see in the top left, they might not know what they're doing. Anyways, we have made it here to the Lost MC Clubhouse. And pretty much all we have to do is just take out a few people people or not a few a lot of people actually then we have to steal a bike and pretty much deliver it and that's it Dude, there is so much going on oh my god someone died how do you die during this this is definitely a karuma mission but i don't care um let's go i need to get out of here now okay so i stole one of the bikes another one of my teammates stole one of the bikes so now all we have to do is just make it to the drop off and then yeah that's pretty much it all right and there we go one of my teammates already made it his name is dr drizz it's almost dr crush dude there's another teammate um yeah axe smash crush there's a doctor in here and then there's a crush in here and then there's just me who Dr. Crush. I mean, like what, what, like, what are the odds of that? It's just weird. Weird, but cool. All right, and there's our final teammate. And there we go, set up pass. And now it is time for the finale. Oh my gosh, everyone just ready up like immediately. That's huge. Thank you. I really don't care too much of like what positions need to be filled in where or whatever. I just need to be either the hacker or the demolition. And you'll understand why later on. All right, here we go. The Pacific Standard job. If we complete this, I'll have a potential cut of 1,031,000. That is a pretty big chunk of change. Honestly, pretty much competing with the Doomsday Heist with how much money we're making. All right, here I am at the bank. Um, Jesus, this is ugly. Okay, <laughs> just ran over that guy so much. <laughs> all right, all right, we're ready. Let's go, let's go. All right, here we go. We're entering in. Here's everyone's lunch bags right there. You know what? Yeah, everyone have a nice lunch bag. I don't know why they're all in paper bags, but it's okay. Let's put on our mask and yeah, I'll wear my lunch bag. All right, and here we go. Okay, so I'm the hacker and it's gonna be both me and the demolition, which is the person putting the bombs down right now that can steal the money. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm I'm going to message the guy that is the demolition and I'm going to tell him that I'm going to collect all of the money. All right, all right, there we go. That message has been sent. And it'll make sense why I want to get all the money in a little bit later. But that message has been sent. Hopefully he understands that message. Okay, so I'm on this computer and then I pretty much have to do a little hack thing. All right, there we go. I got the hack done. Very nice. The vault door is open. Okay, the demolition needs to put down one more vault explosive or door explosive, whatever. He just needs to put that down and then hopefully he'll just walk away and then I can just steal all the money. He's a high level, so he should know what the heck he's doing. This is the guy that was in the setup last time. Okay. Yeah, you stay out there. Okay, good, good, good. He understood it. He understood it. Very nice. So now I'm just going to start collecting all the money. And all the money is in theory supposed to go in two bags, but now it is just going to be put in one bag, aka my bag. And it's because I want to scam my other teammates out of the rest of this money. Ha <laughs> ha. No. The reason for it is because whoever carrying the bag, if they get shot, your potential take will go down. So I'm trying to make sure that there's only one potential person that gets shot that the money will go down for and that one person is going to be me while that guy instead of having to be cautious and trying not to get hit he can just go outside and just start shooting you know instead of essentially two people going balls to the wall shooting people it'll be three people going balls to the wall um don't mind me right now i'm trying to get a nice thumbnail <laughs> all right there we go we have collected all the money i now have one million eight hundred seventy five thousand dollars just in one bag that's a lot of money for one bag all right regroup with my team at the exit and now here comes all the cops. Now, they didn't call in the noose. Some people like to call in the noose so they can get one of the armored trucks and go straight there. Um, it looks like we're not going to do that, which I guess I'm cool with. I don't know. I don't have like a specific method I like to use just because like my old method <laughs> was like a Karuma glitch. Like there was an apartment that was like close by to this bank and like during the heist, they allowed you to like go inside of your apartment and grab your vehicles. Way to go, GTA. So back in the day, back in like 2015, I like abused the heck out of that. 
Okay, I literally think my teammates are going really far ahead. Yeah, I got shot, which that's not supposed to happen. Okay, now I can... No, I really can't go. Um, I need you to protect me. I got shot. Okay, never mind. My teammate died. All right, cool. Great first attempt. Okay, they went extremely fast there. They tried to rush it. You're not supposed to technically rush it. They left a few people behind and they accidentally shot me. Essentially, their goal in theory is to like kill everyone to make sure there's no one left for anyone to shoot me. And then I can just easily walk forward. That's essentially what we're trying to do or what I'm trying to do. I don't know what they're trying to do. Oh my God. Oh my God. They're going so fast right now. I guess another thing that they could do is they could get to the Electro, which is a bike that we stole in our final setup. And then once we get there, I think we could spawn in there because I'm literally just chilling in the bank still. Okay. Someone got committed. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I think he's doing what I kind of wanted him to do. Okay. You might think this is bad. I think this is good because I can now spawn in where those Electros spawn in. I think it's been a while. It's been a while, but I'm pretty sure in theory, um, well, not enough players were able to start up the heist finale. That's not what was supposed to happen in theory. So someone saw another fail screen and they didn't like it. So we're going to have to get a new ice cream. Awesome. All right. Once again, I have gathered a crew. I still get a 55% pay cut. So that's nice. What? What? Why? Someone left. Why? I don't get people. I do not get people at all. They join just to leave because let's find another crew. All right, let's try this again. Um, third crew that we have gathered here. Kind of stupid that we even need a third crew after that last one. But whatever, it's okay. Should I hurdle this car in front of me? You know what? Absolutely. Yep, just hurdle it. Easy. Dude, they should put me in the Olympics and they should have me run the hurdles. Like, I swear. I can get out my Arbiter GT and I would win that hurdle race every single time. Oh my god, he literally just ranged that car head on. But it's okay, we're going into the bank now after he just absolutely wrecked someone, but it's okay. Yeah, I gotta hand everyone the lunch bags once again. Oh yeah, now it's time. It is time. All right, once again, I have to go all the way down to the vault, but I am going to contact my demolition just to confirm that I will get all the money once again. Okay, I think he got the message. He's not following me in here, so that's nice. All right, there we go. We've collected all the money now. So let's regroup with our team back at the bank exit. All right, so the noose once again was not called so we are not going to get away on an armored truck which i mean i guess is fine all right so i'm pretty much just gonna sit here and my teammates kind of have to carry me or else our take in the bottom right hand corner is gonna go down i don't know if i ever mentioned that like clearly like if i get hit or if i take any damage the potential to Oh my God. Oh my, see our potential take went down like $14,000. The reason for that was one of my teammates just threw an explosive and I was like in range of that explosive. I don't take any damage from it, but we lose some money. Anyways, what I was saying though, if I take any damage, uh, our cut will go down. So that's why I want to have the cut. So I can guarantee that we won't lose any money or as much money. My teammates are carving out a decent path. So yeah, I'm not going to sit in the bank how I did last time. Okay. My teammates aren't pushing for Two of my teammates are just sitting back. I have no idea what they're doing back there. Okay, I'm just going to push forward. Oh, I didn't get hit there. Okay, nice. So yeah, I usually like to go over here. Um, I usually like to jump down. Oh, we fell. Oh, we didn't lose any money off of that, though. Um, anyways, then I like to go over here. Then I like to run over here. Just confirm we get that checkpoint. And then we go this way. And I need my teammates to come and carve me out a path. That would be incredibly nice. All right, maybe I can carve myself out a path. Oh, never mind. My teammate died. Uh, it was a little slow. Not gonna lie. But we did push forward pretty far. Oh, my God. I had 11 kills. And I'm not really supposed to be fighting that much. You know what? I'm gonna step away from the door this time. Because, well, yeah. People are pulling out, like, our RPGs and whatnot. And I'll just chill out right here. My team's still carving out a pretty nice path. Um, I can't go out yet because there's going to be, yeah, there's going to be a cop car that's coming. Hey, oh my God, they did shoot me. That was annoying. Well, it's like 15, no, $17,000. That's great. All right, now I'm going back to the spot I was at earlier. I'm going to have to defend myself because I think my teammates are a little slow, to be honest, on what to do exactly. So I'm going to throw a nice grenade right there. Um, I blew up their cop car. I need people to come help me to get the rest. I'm going to have to do a little bit of like, no, 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 no. I don't know if y'all saw what happened there. I don't know how easy it will be to show that, but I tried to throw a grenade and it hit like the side of the wall. I was trying to be careful so I wouldn't get shot by the cops, but then the grenade hit the wall. I was trying to hide behind. All right, so we've made it all the way over here. Um, There's some body armor and I think some health packs. No, just more body armor. Okay, and right, we need to get into a getaway bike. And now all we have to do is just head to the canyon. So and we have to head to the canyon in 10 minutes, but we have our Electro right here. So so yeah, let's go. Uh, let's see if we can make it to the canyon. Oh no. 
Really, 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 really. Like, how unfortunate is that? That was so unfortunate. I wrecked and I lose $15,000. I've, what, lost $60,000? Yeah, I've lost $60,000. It's not fun. I don't like losing $60,000. You know, to be honest, I've done the Pacific Standard Heist so many times. I do not think I have done the Pacific Standard Heist like the way you're supposed to do it by using the Electro, going to the canyon, parachuting off, blah, 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 blah. As I said... Wait, hold on. I'm in desperate times right now. Hold on. Hold on. I need it. Okay. 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 We're good. Let me get my bike and I'll continue that thought. Oh, never mind. Someone died. Awesome. I think our pay cut resets, right? I hope it does because that would suck if it does not. No, as I said earlier, when I used to do this like a lot back in like 2015, 2016, I did the armored Karuma glitch so we could bypass Electro. And then like nowadays, a lot of people doing it a legit way could use like a noose van that's heavily armored. So yeah, I have not used like the Electro really at all. I think I might have done it once like the correct way. Our pay cut does not reset. That, that's unfortunate. So I need to be careful. I need to make sure I do not wreck a ton because if I wreck a lot and my teammates keep dying, our pay cut's going to slowly and slowly decline. So far, this has been a smooth drive. I don't think I've lost a penny, not even a dollar, a penny. You don't even get pennies in GTA Online. The pennies don't exist. I haven't even lost a penny on this run. Okay, this has gone weirdly smooth for me so far. We're at the Alamo Sea now. My cobs, I think, let up a little bit in here, which is very, very nice for me. I don't know if I mentioned that or not. We have a timer. The timer is not the most comfortable timer. I'll definitely be fine since I'm in the lead. I'll probably like get there with like four minutes to spare, I would assume. But like my teammates were pretty far behind. I don't know if they will. Oh, there's a cop right there. Oh, I lost a penny. Dude, that's annoying. I forgot that cops posted up right there, but whatever. Only lost like $5,000 on this run. That's not terrible. Okay, so we pretty much made it here. So we need to keep going. Now we're just driving on the side of the mountain. There's one cop kind of close, but I think it's more like a park ranger cop thingy, whatever whatever loser um uh, that, that he's annoying whatever he is shot me twice loser we lost like ten thousand dollars because of that doofus but okay whatever okay so yeah we're still on the side of this mountain and then we're gonna drive over a bridge i'm pretty sure right head to the bridge oh yeah okay yeah this is the bridge okay so then we need a boost right jump off the bike pull the parachute and then we parachute down this is not going good this is not a great parachute <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, okay. I've done the Pacific Standard a lot. I have not done it a ton with the Electro, unfortunately. We were so close, at least on our end, to completing it. And then it just suck. Dude, we got off our bike on the right-hand side, and then I accidentally turned into the mountain, which was intelligent. You know, word on the street was, my nickname was Dr. Clutch. Well, I, I might also have another alter ego, and his name might be Dr. Choke. That was a definite Dr. Choke moment right there. That was awful. All right, no more Dr. Choke. Dr. Choke is not here anymore. Dr. Crush is engaged. Dr. Crush is here with the alter ego of Dr. Clutch. No, don't shoot me. Don't shoot Oh, God. Dude, 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 dude. Don't, don't, dude. I didn't do anything wrong. I swear, I swear, I swear, I swear, I swear, I swear. Eat some snacks. I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't do anything wrong. I don't have any money. Dude, stop. What? What is up with this crap? No, I. why do I have that out? No, okay, just shoot, shoot. Oh my God, that sucked. That was stupid. That was so stupid. I tried to swerve around the cops and then, well, bam, NPC. All right, so in total, we have lost over $200,000 now. So that is awesome. I just need to get out of the Sandy Shores area. Oh my, that truck is a G. Oh my God, I still got shot though. That truck was on top of the cop guard. That was so nice. Oh my God, I'm getting shot. Stop. I didn't do anything. Where's your proof? Don't watch this video. There's no proof. I mean, everyone else can watch this video. Yeah, I mean, yeah, clearly. But the cops, no, 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 no. Los Santos cops. Any other cop, it's okay. Just shh, shh, shh. You know what? You know what? You know what? Never mind. My teammate died. That was a teammate that was way further off. Like, I was the furthest teammate behind, clearly, because I was shooting people. Ah, oh, not enough players to start the heist finale. Um, I, I definitely will take some blame off of that. Yeah, yeah. I'll take the blame on that one. <laughs> All right. Our fourth crew now, unfortunately. But here we go. Fourth crew. Now, can we actually get this done? I would really like for us to get this done on this attempt. All right. We're going back into the bank for the third time. Um, I'm probably not actually going to show too much 
of this. I mean, you've already seen this part a lot of times, so I will just get this part done and then I'll see you when we're about to head out with all the money. Okay, we have all made it here. Oh, okay. See, this time we have news vans. All right, so this is done on purpose. I think it's done on purpose because right at the beginning, people were like exploding just random things as I was like typing. So in theory, it's supposed to be a lot harder for us to like, you know, get out of here. There's going to be more cops that we have to kill since, you know, the news team is here. But instead of taking the Electro, I think in theory, we are going to use one of their armored vans. So that's going to be extremely nice. Um, I think my teammates are going to leave me. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's still cops that are like nearby too, right? Yeah, there's definitely still cops nearby. Yeah, like right here. There's a cop right there. Can I get a free kill? Oh, one of my teammates died. Nice. Great start. Great start. Holy crap. One guy had 17 kills. The other people had two combined. And then I got five. Where did I kill? Oh, 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 oh. I killed one while I was waiting. And then I killed four inside the bank. I like how one teammate wants to carry. That's good. Okay. Do I have enough of a path now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. They carved out a path for me now. So I'm going to push forward now. Oh my God. Wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I just realized that teammate that really knows what he's doing is really far ahead. Holy crap. I am down to go that fast but I need a little bit of a warning, to be honest. Dude, there's a lot of... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Well, there's a lot of money right there. And one of our teammates died. That's so great. So that teammate that's really far ahead, I hope he knows to blow up the bikes right at the end so then we can all spawn down there. I hope he understands that. Yeah, look at my teammate. That, that teammate's just going so far ahead. You know what? I think he really, really knows what he's doing. So I'm just going to stay inside the bank, and I'm going to hope he knows to blow up the bike. I'm going to bank on that so then I don't have a threat of losing any money, and then I just spawn in right at the bikes. That would be ideal. You know, I help out my guy over there. I'll send one homing missile to take out that helicopter. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, cop spawn. Um, a runaway. Nice. Yeah, that's pretty much all I'm gonna do. <laughs> that teammate keeps dying. I might have to message him and tell him to stay back with me. Alright, message sent. Hopefully that person understands that. That would be nice. Because literally the person that's going on his own, like, going really far ahead, he can clearly defend himself all on his own. If this was a solo heist, he could do this heist solo and not have a problem. The other guys on the other hand, one seems to be surviving just not actually like pushing forward that other guy keeps dying oh wait wait that guy that guy committed suicide that's good that's good that's a good thing that's a good way to die so the goal for him was to blow up all the bikes and then kill himself so then we have to respawn or retry and then we should spawn in right at the bikes we had this during attempt number one but we never got to see it because my teammate left and yeah there we go we spawned in at the bikes <laughs> very smart i respect you roanoke times really appreciate it that guy is intelligent so now what we're going to do is is I think we are going to get into an armored noose van. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no, no. I want to ride with that guy. I want to ride with that guy. Or not. Okay, fine. I won't ride with that guy. I will just follow that guy. I think he's going to get a van. Yep, he's getting in this van right here. And I am going to get into the back of this van. Yeah, I think this is definitely the most popular way to do it now. And literally, our teammates just drove right past us. Oh, God. I I'll give it one attempt, but I don't think it's going to work out. Oh, yeah. Also, I got in the back because I think you can take damage in the front when the door Doors are closed in the back. I think you're 100% safe. So that's why I'm in the back right now. Our potential take is still maxed out. So yeah, this is going good right now. This is probably the most ideal way to do it. I wanted to do it the electro way, kind of how we're technically supposed to do it, but um, I choked. So now I'm just catching a ride with Roanoke Times. And instead of me being Dr. Clutch, I think Roanoke Times gets the prestigious title of Dr. Clutch today. Only today, that only today. And only if this works, meaning we complete this heist and no one leaves. Oh, someone died. Oh, yeah, that's great. Okay, well, I'm going to have to try to communicate with my teammates to get in the van because this van is armored and we like armor. We especially like armor during this heist. I need to communicate with my other teammates. I don't know the best way to... Okay, well, he just blew up the bikes. I kind of took some damage off of that. Yeah, we don't have to take the Electro. I think he's doing that to pretty much be like to my other team. He's like, hey, we don't have to use those bikes. What happened? What happened? Demo oh my God. Dude, we were so close. It always comes back to um, me saying, I don't understand people. I just don't. I, I don't. It makes no sense why that guy left then. I guess he got frustrated that that guy blew up the bikes, but he doesn't want you to drive around on a bike to eventually die. You know, Want you to get into the armored truck to, you know, be armored and survive, but it just went over that guy's head, I guess. I'm losing count. What is this? Attempt number five, I think. Yeah, attempt number five. Um, woohoo. All right, once again, we're back at the bank. And once again, I'm probably not gonna show you this first part. Just kind of go about this the normal way. So we're gonna leave out of here and no noose this time. So we're not gonna get the noose van. So you're gonna have to do it like the ultra legit way. It's fine. I'm cool with that. There's no problem with that at all. I just can't parachute into the side of a mountain. 
mountain. But I get redemption, so that's kind of cool. Okay, let's move up. Um, I kind of forgot to say I was outside, but I'm moving up outside. I took a few shots, unfortunately, but whatever. Now, at this point, I just want to get this done. And most of the money from this heist, at least this time around, is going to be off of the first time bonus for completing all the original heist in order. All right, so my teammates are clearing out a pretty nice path for me, I will have to say. Are you kidding me? Dude, we were so close in that freaking guy to oh my lord yeah someone is not understanding what to do because i hear them beeping yeah i might just have to blow up the bike i can't be the one to commit because we would lose like a lot of money what happened why do y'all fail you jump that little fence thing you, you go down like walk right next to the apartments it's hard to explain but i'll show you all the audience the way to do it I, I think i showed you the first time but it's been a while since the first attempt okay so yeah i like to go this way i'll show you all again i climb over here i jump down here and then i walk straight over here to make sure i get that checkpoint and then i walk this way and follow the getaway route there's one teammate that's kind of lagging behind yeah that teammate needs to like hurry up i might need to blow up the bikes just to confirm that we've hit this checkpoint because i don't trust that teammate if three of us make it dude every time every time every time every time i get so close i'm turning that corner and then he's like ah good time for me to die the amount of times we failed when i'm at that specific location or right in that range it's getting kind of ridiculous at this point yeah i'm literally just gonna blow up the bikes i'm literally gonna blow up the bikes if i ever make it there it's a big if right now it's a big if you know i might have to be ultra aggressive myself i'm actually going to be that teammate's now close to us i don't know if i still trust him or not to be honest he's right next to like the other two teammates maybe i don't have to blow up the bike I don't know. Um, you know, what? I'm not. I'm not going to. All right, so we're back to doing this heist the legitimate way. Yeah, we're back on the electro. Hopefully, I can turn into Dr. Clutch this time. I really would appreciate that. Oh, no, 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 no. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. This is terrible. I need to eat snacks, 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 snacks. Go, 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 go. Oh my god, dude, 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 dude. Oh my god, this is terrible. I tried to freaking thread the needle there and just did not work. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Dude, why is it always an NPC that just makes my life just a tad bit more complicated? Where's my bike? I don't even know where my I'm getting a cop car. I don't know where my bike is. Yeah, I literally have no idea. Um, I'm in a cop car now. I wanted to do it with Electro, but I don't know where it is. Which I mean, we can still do it with the cop car. That's not an issue. It's just not gonna be as agile or fast as Electro. All right, this time i'm gonna be a little bit smarter here no no i didn't turn that hard i don't know what the cop car is doing i want to get on the train tracks i want to never mind i don't want to get on the train tracks um I, that guy died again yeah i think that guy's gonna be a little bit of an issue if we're gonna be able to complete this or not to be honest because i think that guy was tailing behind me i will have to say when i did wreck he was shooting cops but i i, I honestly don't know if he was even connecting but yeah I, I can't have that guy just keep dying okay i'll message him now the problem is that the heist is going on now so he's probably just getting on his bike and driving away okay i sent the message get on no hey guy guy hey guy okay i'm gonna follow this guy i need to see how he dies because he's been dying a lot oh he's going on the interstate that could be a reason i he went all the way to the inner why are you on the interstate i'm gonna stay on this road but i'm gonna keep an eye out on him because he should not be on the interstate you know screw it I, I, I'll, I'll go on the interstate with him really right as i was trying to get on the interstate he got off slippery one no, oh, no, he just wrecked again. Get on my bike. Get on my... I sent him a message. It said ride with me. He had already gotten on his bike, but he got the message. So when he wrecks like that, he should be like, oh, there's the guy that said ride with me. Maybe I should ride with him. I'm keeping a close eye on him. Like I'm driving myself, but I'm also keeping a close eye on this guy. Like see, what the heck is he doing? Oh my God, he has to parachute off. To... Okay, that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. That's so bad. Oh my god, and then he just, how did that kill him? That was such a soft, that second one, not the first one. The first one was bad. All right, I just sent him another message. Hopefully he gets that, and hopefully the message will connect in his head, and he can ride with me. Okay, uh, he's now with me, so I'm gonna throw a grenade there so that other, okay, never mind. I didn't have to throw a grenade there to blow up the bike, but I did. So now I will carry this guy on my back. It's like a little bit of like a, <sighs> That's his fault. Get on, get on, get on, get on. Cheese. Okay. Yeah. I blame his presence there. If he wasn't on the bike, then I, I probably wouldn't have wrecked. But let's be real here. Like, you know, his bad karma is now like on my bike. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. That was my fault. It was unfortunate.
Dude, oh my god. He's not eating snacks. He's not eating snacks. He's getting hit. But he's not eating snacks. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to get a car and take that guy. Oh no, he left. Eat your snacks. Eat your snacks when you do a heist. That's the tip of the day from Dr. Crush. Eat your snacks when you do a heist. And body armor too. I even sometimes forget to use body armor. Use body armor. Use body armor, use snacks. Do not die repeatedly or else you are gonna get on people's nerves. All right, what is this now? Six? Attempt six? I think I know why we're not completing this. Like, I'm gonna be completely honest. I know why. It's because you're not subscribed. Make sure you... Jeez, that's why you subscribe, because I ran into a tree. Smash that subscribe button, and maybe I'll actually complete this heist one day. Okay, but let's be serious, though. I had been taking the Arbiter GT to the bank, except for the first attempt. The first attempt, I used the Virtue. But ever since that first attempt, I've used the Arbiter GT. I'm taking the Virtue this time. Maybe we'll actually have some good Virtue. Huh? Huh? You see what I did there? And maybe we'll actually complete this. That'd be great, wouldn't it? All right, we've once again made it to this part. No noose this time, so hopefully everyone can survive on the bikes. That would be really nice. I haven't been mentioning this I don't think too much since we've been doing the finale, but I've been getting pretty high levels, I will have to say. I mean, I haven't really had a bunch of low levels, and to be honest, I've been kind of kicking out the low levels just because I want this to hurry up. Alright, I'm at this point again. Once again, you go over here, just kind of make sure you get that checkpoint, and then you go back this way and start heading over here. Hopefully that makes sense. Oh, that guy didn't do as I said, or someone didn't. Okay, okay, yeah, they're going back now. Jeez. Yeah, we literally just went over this. I mean, if he would have watched this video, um, he, he would know what to do. That helicopter landed right next to me. Oh, I think that guy died because of that helicopter crashing down. Okay, we're at this point right now. Um, They just shot down the helicopter, and the helicopter didn't smack anyone in the face. That's good. That's a good sign. Okay, so we're almost at the bikes. Um, I don't think any more cops can really take out any one of us now, so I think we're at a safe point. I haven't lost any money so far, but we're using the electros. We're not going to stay perfect. I guarantee it. All right, so now let's just head to the canyon. I would like it to be flawless, but I doubt it. And someone died. Okay, awesome. Awesome. Now we're at this point again. Just we try to go with the electro and then people don't retain their lives. But that guy had 28 kills? All right, hopefully I do not wreck and hopefully my teammates do not wreck. Okay, let's go. Ouch. That was like two pistol shots and like it took out like $20,000 worth of damage. All right, aside from those two pistol shots, my ride has been great so far. No controversy. All right, so what I'm going to do this attempt, what I tried to do last time is get on the train tracks and I'll just stay on the train tracks because no cop cars spawn in at the train tracks. I don't remember ever using the train tracks, but I mean, I don't see why this is a bad idea because we'll still hit the same point. We just won't run into as many cops in theory. Oh, wait, I might know why that could screw things up. It might assume that, like, I've already jumped off, like, the canyon and whatnot, so then we can't lose our five-star wanted level. I don't know. We'll find out. Well, we will find out. Oh, okay. Their little waypoint wanted me to go to, like, the canyon or whatever, which, I mean, like, I'm already here, guys. Like, come on. Okay, okay. I might see the problem because it still wants me to head back to the canyon. You know what? I have time. I might just circle back. I literally might just circle back. You know what? No, I'm not turning around. No, no. Jeez, there's cops here. Cop. Dude, stop. No. Uh, get up. Get up. Up, get up. Uh, why? Why is that the way I have to freaking die? Okay, so I won't do the train track method. Or maybe if I use train track method, less cops would be on me once I go through that tunnel. Maybe. I don't know. I, I don't know. What I do know is that we have to do that all over again. We have to get to that point again. Are you kidding? I hate these cops. They're so annoying. They just put their bumper right in the way, and then they're just annoying. Where's my bike? I want my bike. I want my bike badly. I don't want to get into a vehicle with someone else uh, but i don't know where my bike is <laughs> oh okay i'm taking this and i'm out all right another issue or our next issue is that when we jump off the mountain we don't have to jump out of our car but we have to make sure that we land kind of smoothly or else with the speed that we're coming off the mountain with our car would blow up no no <laughs> I swear, just you run into a bush and then that bush just drags you off the side of the mountain. Am I stuck? <laughs> 
stuck. Why? Why? I'm stuck. Are you kidding me? All right, yeah. Um, I'm going to take a little bit of a different strategy. I'm going to go down to the interstate, which is kind of close by. And I'm going to get a car, and then I am going to drive back up. And yes, I could avoid all this and drive straight to the dinghy, but I don't want to do that. I saw this car. I don't want to take this car, but it's going to have to do. All right, now it's time to head to the bridge. Wait, no, I need that car. That car is the car I need. I need your car now. I, I need this car. This car is nice. Obey 9F Cabriel. Yeah, this is a lot faster. Okay, cool. Where are my teammates? Are they at the boat? Oh, my teammates are already at the boat. Then I'm just going to go straight to my teammates then. <laughs> I can't technically see him on the map. I see my dinghy on the mini map, but yeah, they're already at the boat. Um, I didn't do it technically the right way, so cops might get on us. Yeah, so cops are on route to us, so I just need to get in the boat, and we just need to get out of here. That's one way to do it, I guess. See, I wanted to jump off the bridge and, you know, kind of be cool or whatever, but I lost my bike, and then I got my car stuck in a tree. I can't believe this was the attempt that we actually completed it. Jeez. And finally, there we go, heist pass. All right, so we had a potential take of $1,875,000, so we only got one million six hundred eighty five thousand dollars i get 55 percent of that and that is nine hundred twenty seven thousand dollars we do not complete the elite challenge because we had a quick restart and i get a first time bonus of what was that a hundred thousand and then i get a million dollars extra for completing all the original heist in order for the first time so in total i got two million and twenty seven thousand dollars that's a lot of money so after all of my pain and suffering i now have two million seven hundred and seventy five thousand dollars you would think that'd be enough to buy the office building that we're trying to buy but it is still 300 ish thousand dollars off so probably next episode we will purchase that last month i started as a level one on a new account in gta online and the only way i've made money on this account is by spinning a wheel determining what i should do to make money so today in this video i will spin that wheel again to see what i will do to make money so welcome to the 15th episode of season number two of loser to luxury and without further ado let's jump into it it. So right now I am on the wheel of quick cash, but before I spin the wheel of quick cash, I just want to remind you that we are trying to buy the Long Bank West office building coming in at $3,100,000. But currently right now I have $2,775,000. So we should be able to purchase the Long Bank West office building in this episode. But how are we going to start out this episode in order to make money? So the wheel is spinning and it looks like we are going to have to go back to our bunker once again and sell off the excess weapon parts. All right, so right now I'm on the wheel of making money. So what are we going to have to do in this episode in order to make money? And it looks like we are going to have to do this is going to be play boosted job. Yes, it is. OK, so I have to play the boosted money job for this week. All right, so now I'm on the wheel of one to two hours, and this is going to determine how long I have to do the boosted money job. So let's just spin the wheel and let's see how long I have to do this this job and it looks like I only get one hour and 30 minutes. So I have an hour and 30 minutes to do the boosted money job, but what else in this episode am I going to have to do in order to make money? And it looks like we are going to have to sell off our bunker. So I got to play the boosted money job for an hour and 30 minutes and then I have to go to my bunker and sell off my bunker product. But right now I have to go to my bunker and sell off the excess weapon parts. All right, so I'm at my bunker and behind me is the excess weapon parts. So let's collect these excess weapon parts and let's deliver them to the ammunition. All right, literally all I have to do is just drive four miles to an ammunition and then that's pretty much it. So yeah, I guess I'll enjoy my drive. Thank you for asking. Maybe while I'm at it, you should absolutely destroy that subscribe button if you want to see more content like this. Maybe not like this right now. All I'm doing is just driving and nothing's pretty much happening. I mean, it's going to get intense, I assume, later on in this video doing whatever money job. I don't even know what the boost of money job is for this week, but whatever it is, it's going to be intense. But yeah, you should maybe subscribe. Well, not maybe. You should definitely subscribe and smash that like button if you hadn't already. And all right, here we go. This is the ammunition. And there we go. $50,000 in my bank account. So now I have $2,827,000. But it is now time for me to actually figure out what the heck the boosted money job is for this week. So let's get into that. All right, so I've made it over 
over to the Featured Series, and the boosted money job for this week is going to be trading places, along with Arena War for another week. But I'm going to try to do trading places, see if anyone will join, and as soon as we get into a match, I'll start up the timer. All right, so I've waited five minutes, and no one has joined. No one wanted to join trading places, so we're not going to do that. We are going to just do Arena War for an hour and 30 minutes, so that'll be fun. All right, we're jumping into Flag War right here. The clock is already running right now. I am on the purple team, and usually when we do Flag Wars, I usually get the death bike. I wanted to change it up this time, though, and I am whatever this truck is. I already forgot its name, but I am the truck, and I'm shocked. I'm shocked. Okay, I have to be alert for that. When I was a bike, I didn't really think that that was an issue. Oh, look at this. Look, my teammates are already, like, doing good. Oh, nice. Look at this. We have two walls. One of our teammates, like, hurdled the freaking thing. That's hilarious, man. We have just built up this barrier. I mean, like, sure, I'm dead, but, like, there's a whole nother barrier, and I can just spawn in. See, I always get the death bike on this when I've been doing it a lot recently. So I was like, you know what? I want to change it up. This isn't 100% perfect because there's still people getting through. I think they, like, jumped over or something like that. But as long as our teammates can, like, actually do something, that'd be nice. As far as, like, on offense. Yeah, I might not have to be a barrier. I think I can just, like, push people people around or whatever with that truck that that guy's using there's no way that any of the other team can get by like there's no way at all there's a zero percent chance wait a minute wait 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 whoa 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 they just went in from the other way oh my god i gotta get over there how do i get over there they're going a different way to get the flag okay um my teammate sadly died i need to get over there and defend the other way i did not know there was a way you can get onto that platform the other way you know what if i just go on offense because like my teammate definitely can just hold his own yeah there's no way i can go on offense there's just no freaking way yeah i'm gonna die yeah there we go i died nice yeah there's no way I can be on offense. My teammate is great on defense, at least on this side. They're, they're still getting by the other way. Oh, one of my teammates is in the gun tower. Okay, so I think he's going to defend that way. We're still losing, though, which isn't great. I just need to pay attention to see how they're getting up. I got it. I got it. I know how to lock down. All right, all right. Yeah, we're going to lose this round. It's guaranteed we're going to lose this round, but next round, I'm going to put the locks down. It's going to be a no-fly zone. Guarantee it. Yeah, I literally have to, like, block over here. I'm pretty sure. See, so look, now this bike can't do anything, and then, yeah, my teammate just came in and just knocked the bike off that it's only that bike i think i have to make sure of that but i'm pretty sure it's only the bike that's really doing anything on offense for the other team all right there we go round loser whatever whatever it's okay we learn from our losses and yeah literally the only person to deliver anything was that bike all right all right cool so we just have to defend that bike from where i was that last round and then we should be good all right here we go round number two we have to lock up our defense but i think i have it down i think and then someone on my team needs to, like, do something on offense. That'd be really nice. Yeah, I have to pay attention to... Wait, the bike... How did the bike get that? What? We have a whole barrier. Oh, that's so cheesy. They have freaking jumps, and they're gonna... Oh, my God. That's so cheesy. I can't jump with what I have. I just can't. That sucks. That sucks so badly. I figured out how to defend pretty well, and then they just figure out how to counter. That's so annoying. Yeah, we're losing. We're losing badly. This other team, I think we're outmatched now. Oh, Oh, yeah, now it's only a 3v5. Yeah, I might honestly have to, like, quit and move on. Yeah, you know what? That's, that's what I'm going to do. We're not winning this. This is going to be a waste of my time. No, 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 no. I got to get out of here. The clock is still running. So we need to hurry up and get to another thing real quick. But yeah, I think after what I learned there, we definitely just have to go with the death bike and just go for it if we get that again. All right, we're doing another Arena War mode. Games Masters 1. Um, We're in the box seats. I've never done this one before, so I have no idea what i'm doing stop the enemy team um i can use a turret okay oh okay this is a guided missile i can maybe kill someone with this guided missile that'd be nice dude this is so hard i cannot get anyone with this guided missile i just needed him to stand still just like once that'd be really nice oh my god oh my god can i get this kill oh you're dead you're so dead ready well bam nice i got a kill all right i'm going again oh wait there's only one more left someone else died somehow i don't know how um we need to get this guy in like less than 30 seconds that's great dude get back here <laughs> okay Okay, well, I can't get this guy, but I assume that's round loser for us. I I'm still confused by this entire mode. Or do we go now? I'm so lost. I don't know what. Yeah, okay, we go now. All right, so we have to collect all the checkpoints. Um, I should have gotten the death 
like if I would have known this is what we're doing, but that's okay, whatever. All right, so now what we're trying to do is we're trying to collect um, a bunch of checkpoints that are on the map, and I need to stay moving because people in the box seats can kill me. I don't want that to happen. Oh, that's a drone. Um, get away from me, drone. <laughs> no. Look, it was these clowns that killed me. These clowns right here. Okay, my teammate's not collecting a lot of checkpoints now, to be honest. Where is my... Oh, I see my teammate. Okay, we need to get two more checkpoints. Come on. Okay, we need one more now. I don't know where he went. And okay, okay, it's tied up 27-27 and boom, he just got his 28. That should be a win, right? Hey, round winner. I feel like I didn't do much. Oh, well. Yeah, he got 19 checkpoints. I had nine. I didn't pull a Dr. Choke there, but I definitely was not Dr. Clutch there. I definitely don't have the vehicles to just be as elusive as I want to be. All right, round number two of Game Masters. I am in my ZR380, or it's not mine. It's the stock one. It's time for me to get checkpoints. Okay, I gotta keep moving, because I know there's missiles, and I keep wrecking a lot, to be honest. And I'm taking the checkpoints my teammate wants to get, so I am gonna go this way, and then get some checkpoints. All right, I just collected another checkpoint. More checkpoints spawn in. Okay, he's starting to take all the checkpoints I want to get. It's kind of annoying. I feel like we're putting up a good number. I mean, last time we got 28 but we still had some time left on the clock and then i died also so hopefully we can put up a good performance here oh yeah i'm not talking a whole lot right now because all i'm doing is really just collecting checkpoints not much going on but i do know this i think we're putting up a very very good performance uh we have 32 right now what happened what okay someone left just ruined it all i oh my gosh but whatever i got thirty-one thousand dollars for that hopefully that's not the entire thing because thirty-one thousand dollars is not that much money to be honest okay well, i'm gonna have to find a new lobby not a lot of people are joining things Things today. All right, we're in another arena war mode right now. We're doing Here Comes the Monsters number two. Uh, we've done Here Comes the Monsters plenty of times, but we have not gotten this location. Um, we've gotten the location where I could just get on top of the plane and it wouldn't be an issue. Now, this location, I have no idea how I'm going to tackle this. How can I survive? Okay, well, one teammate is dead. Um, This is a decent vantage point. One monster truck is AFK. There's only two monster trucks. I know that. Dude, don't bring him here. Why are you bringing him here? He literally just brought the monster truck right towards me thank you thank you you are so nice oh my god oh my god they're getting away oh my god he just drove away from me where's that monster truck here let me just shoot this monster let me make sure this monster truck's gonna die oh my god can i please get this monster truck that'd be really nice okay i gotta get out of here oh we're good. Let's just keep going. I have to survive for two minutes somehow. I don't know how I'm going to do this. I forget. Do the monster trucks know where I'm at on like the minute? Yeah, they do. There's no way he just predicted I was going to go over there. One of the monster trucks died somehow. I don't know how that monster truck died, but one of the monster trucks just died. So 30 minutes just went down the drain. <laughs> Dude, I, <laughs> I'm i just kind of like juking them out right here. <laughs> yeah, I just have to use these small like corridors to my advantage. I'm going to like take a... No, that was... I choked that. I'm still alive. Help, help. I choked that. I choked that. I, I think I could have actually won that, but my teammates died so quickly. I always get into those situations where my teammates die so quickly, and then I'm like, all right, all right, time to put the team on my back. And then I'm working, I'm working, I'm working, I'm doing all right. And then it gets down to like the last 30 seconds, and then I choke. That's fun. All right, round number two of Here Comes the Monsters number two. I'm back in the Wenny Issy. And honestly, I want to be back here because I definitely feel like I'm pretty good as the Wenny Issy. I know where one monster truck is. I don't know where the other one is. Yeah, one monster truck's literally right there. See, here comes the monsters is a little bit annoying because I don't know where the monster trucks are. I have to be hyper aware. Okay, well, here comes a monster truck just screaming. Yeah, you're coming in a little bit fast. Yeah, I'm literally just going to play a game of cat and mouse. I mean, they cannot play this game as well as I can. Uh, they just can't. They cannot. Where'd he go? Oh, he just ran away. Okay, cool. He didn't want to mess around with me. Just using the gun tower to my advantage. You know what? What if I get into the gun tower? Oh, someone died. That's nice. Why is there a monster truck literally just right there? Yeah, that, there's a monster truck just sitting right here. I was going to kill him, but okay, so we only have a minute left and all four of my teammates are still alive are they just rage quitting or something that monster truck is literally just standing in the electricity yeah the, the time is not decreasing at all anymore because they've died so many times why are they doing that i'm a little lost by that are they trying to like manipulate to get more rounds or something like that Th that's the only thing i can really think of but i don't care because that means it's gonna be more money for me and we win this round round winner baby let's move on to the next round all right round number three i'm still in the wenny issy do i have any of my good teammates because some of my teammates last time, like one of them was in a green 1 ASC classic. I think that. 
Dude, dude. Okay, we're good. I did not mean for that to happen. But anyways, I made it out alive somehow. Yeah, I'm literally just chilling in a corner. Just trying to find the strats. And well, it's not foolproof, but it could work. Hey, there goes another teammate. There's just two of us left. Um, I see one monster truck. I don't know where the other monster truck is, which is a little bit concerning. Oh, there's the other one. There's the other one. See, that's just a scary. Th dude, that guy looks like Voldemort. What the heck? That guy looked like Voldemort. I assume that's what he wants. See, that was so scary. Of course, Voldemort would be the one that kills me like that. Yeah, he'd be the only one that could sneak up on me. That's ridiculous. And my teammate died right as I spawned into here. So that was a quick round. Yeah, Voldemort killed me. Awesome. All right, round number four. I Hopefully, Voldemort does not put a Spelliamus on me. Oh, yeah, he did. He, there goes my controller. He screwed up my controller there. That's ridiculous. See, I'm going to keep this strategy. I just need to pay attention to make sure no one's going to, like, come after me. Oh, okay. Voldemort's on my team now. I can see it. See, he's that guy right there. Some of these guys, they have, like, the most decked out vehicles. It's not even funny. Like, I'm just sitting here with, like, a stock vehicle because, you know, I, I'm still a low level. Even on my main account, I have, like, two Arena War cars. I mean, Arena War is fun, though. Probably should invest a little bit more. Yeah, screw it. I'll go into a gun tower. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. I got this. Oh, monster truck just died. That's awesome. Oh, there goes one of my teammates. Dead. Okay, so there's only two of us left. I'm still alive right now, which is awesome. Oh, here comes someone. Yeah, okay, yeah. I see you coming. Brakes? Oh! No, I touched his back wheel and I blew up. What the heck? What? I get a power-up drone? What does that mean? What? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, it didn't matter. Round loser, yay. All right, round number five. I'm still in the 1 AC class. Like, they're never going to make me a Sasquatch. You know, I, I would like to be Sasquatch, you know, like once. Oh, God, Voldemort. I just ran into a straight wall. Oh, my God. Well, this is awesome. Voldemort. That might be Voldemort right there. Voldemort is one of the Sasquatches. Oh, there goes one of my teammates. Hey. Oh my god. Dude, Voldemort just always sneaks up on me. It's not like he's like doing anything cheesy or anything like that. It's just me being stupid and uh, job teammate. I don't know what you're doing. I'm going to get away from my teammates. We should all split up. You know, dude, get away from me. Get away. My teammates just drive towards me. You'll need to get away from me. Oh, one teammate's absolutely getting annihilated right now. Maybe I could save that teammate. You know, I literally should try to do that actually. Hold on. Oh my god. Oh my god. Help. I try to save my teammate. How am I alive? How am I alive? How am I alive? I'm still alive. Dang it, when I think I'm just... <gasps> How did... Huh? I'm still alive after all that? Okay, it's about time, to be honest. It's about time. But I was only the second teammate to die. I, there's still two of my other teammates that are alive. So I think we should win, to be honest. Three, two. This is a weird camera angle. But one, zero. Wait, did we just lose? Was it a buzzer beater loss? Are you... You come on. A buzzer beater loss? Why? That's annoying. Yeah, freaking Lord Voldemort just won. All right, so now we're jumping into record number three, which this is going to be kind of like a race or something, I guess. I don't know. So right now, I'm just in a death bite and you can see all around me there's like a bunch of custom vehicles so that's awesome this race is a little bit different because if i die then i die and i don't have any tires i ran out of tires because some guy just ran straight into me so i have to go right here and now i have a tire that's great thank you for stealing my tire yeah i literally have no weapons on this everyone else pretty much has weapons i don't okay i can't turn here i don't know why i can't turn here oh my 20 laps right, i'm getting repairs already i just feel like my vehicle isn't 100 all right there we go 100 percent vehicle um let's just get back out there now the thing with this is that if people die during this then you're just out immediately so that's why i'm more focused right now on like my vehicle health versus me trying to get first place or whatever because like see that guy right there that just passed me he tried to shoot me he's trying to kill me or at least damage my vehicle and i don't want that to happen to be honest all right i'm slowly making my way up i'm eighth place again it's kind of where i was at to begin with but whatever holy crap i ventured all the way to fifth place now see that death bike in front of me that guy is killing a ton of people. Yeah, that guy's probably gonna win. Um, there's like 16 people, I think, in this lobby, so I'm okay if I don't win, to be honest. Holy crap, I'm in fourth now. You're doing kind of well. <laughs> that death bike just drove right past me. He's like, I don't care about you, to be honest. I need to get everyone else. <laughs> Holy crap, I'm in the top three now. This is going great. If someone can just kill that death bike guy, I think I could easily get first place. Because there's a ton of people in the spectator's box, too, that can just, like, absolutely wreak havoc on everyone else. Oh, my God. I cannot steer anymore. I can't. I just cannot. Oh, someone already finished in first place. Okay, guess I'm battling for second place. Or I could play really conserved. I, you know, I might do one more lap. I might play really conservative. What I mean by that is just stick 
take my time, like go back and get my vehicle repaired so I can actually finish still in a good spot because I've had that in the past where you get too greedy and then I just screw up. All right, there we go. 100% now. Oh, I just realized the guy on the bike was the guy that won, which that makes sense. Dude, I was doing so good. Just keep going. Keep going. I don't have a... Oh my, I have to go back. I literally have to go back and repair my vehicle once again because I can't control my vehicle. Okay, the guy in second place already finished. All right, there we go. 100% vehicle. Oh my God, I need to hurry up and finish this. Can I even finish this? I don't even know if I can. Yeah, lap 20. I have 13 seconds to complete this. I don't think I can complete that. It's okay. I got third. I got third. That's cool with me. And I got 27,000 for that, which honestly, I don't think that was that bad. Hey, I, I made podium with a stock vehicle. I made podium with a stock vehicle with a max lobby. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Wait, what? Dude, people are like actually playing. I hear like gun dyers being used. Well, this sucked because that was like a full lobby. All right. So I'm going to have to leave and go back in really quickly. I'm still going to have the clock running, but geez, it's a little frustrating. All right, here we go. We're finally joining another arena war mode. We're doing carnage number two. Now carnage is the last man standing. Ending. And I thought it'd be a decent idea to get on a death bike and just be elusive. You just get away from people. You know, I'm not trying to get first place, to be honest. There's a lot of people here. First place is going to be tough. And first place is going to be kind of impossible with any other vehicle just because I don't have any weapons. But with a death bike, I can be elusive. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm literally just going to try to run away from people. And hopefully I get like top three. That'd be nice. You know, what? I might just stay right here. Everyone else is fighting below me or like on the level below. And then I'm just chilling. I'm just straight chilling right now. Now. Well, here comes people. Um, you have time to just swerve around people. Oh, nice guns here. You know what I can do? Just drive. You might have guns, but I have wheels. He didn't think of that. He really didn't think of that. Like, how do you not think of that? You go after someone, you're like, oh, I got guns. Do you not see my wheels right here? They're even lit up too. I have lit up wheels that I can just drive away. You're probably thinking, Dr. Crush, you're playing like a coward. You know what I have to say to that? I am. I'm going to admit it. Yeah. You know what? Should I just get on the gun tower? Just absolutely destroy everyone and just blow them off the face of the earth? Yeah, literally nothing happening. Like, I'm afraid to get into the gun tower, because then I'll be unaware of people coming after me. See, like, that guy's coming after me. Bye. <laughs> oh my god, this dork is just hiding underneath here. I can't do anything about this, because, you know, I don't have any weapons. See, that guy's, like, actually scared. I'm just hiding in the wide open. Like, y'all can come after me. I'll just juke you out like I'm Christian McCaffrey. Oh, there's a drone. There's a drone. There's a drone. I need to get away from that drone. Yeah, that guy was about to just detonate their drone right next to me and I would have died. See, yeah, I would like to get into the gun tower, but that's what I'm most afraid of. So yeah, I have to go pretty much passive. Oh, someone died. All right, three people left. So essentially it's a 1v1. You probably think it's a 1v1v1. No, that's not correct. It's a 1v1. I'm not doing crap. I'm just sitting here, just taking laps, you know, just practicing my driving, even though I'm already a perfect driver. And everyone that's watched me before, and everyone who's already subscribed, because everyone that's subscribe to me as a smart, intelligent person. If you're not subscribed already, you can become a smart, intelligent person by subscribing to me. But anyways, the people that are already subscribed to me, they already know that like I am the best driver in GTA Online. There's not really like a debate on it either. I am the best driver. I literally am. I got hit by a missile as I was saying I'm the best driver, but it's just a... He was using homing. That was homing. That was homing. That was locked on to me. I said I wanted top three. I got top three. I mean, I can't do much in that one. I really can't. Well, at least I'm just on podium. Damage dealt. Who? And everyone else was at least triple digits. <laughs> I had two. All right, so we're doing another Here Comes the Monsters. We're doing Here Comes the Monsters number three. This is probably going to be the last match that we can do. So I'm just going to turn off my timer right here. And hopefully we can win. Uh, right now I'm in the 1 ASC Classic. Wait, no, this is a 1 ASC. I always forget if it's a 1 ASC Classic. Gwenny Issy. I don't care. I'm going to be a winner. Classic. Okay, where's a good spot to hide? I don't know. This could be. This might not be. We're going to have to see. There's a monster truck right here. We'll let this monster truck kind of experiment. Oh, never mind. That monster truck is scared. The monster truck is scared of me. Yeah, this is what you get when you watch me play Arena War. I literally just sit here. Play like a coward. Oh, there's someone. Ha ha ha. You thought you can get me? You suck. Then watch, watch, watch what I do. Watch what I do. Ready? I turn here. I turn here. I drive up here and then I stop my vehicle here and then I'm back to just sitting here. Dude, this guy thinks like he can get me. He can't. He just can't. Oh, how the tables have turned, you thought. What a clown. What a clown, man. Why does this guy think he can actually get me? Dude, no, 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 no. This is the one person think really really no i'm gonna go to the other side no 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 there has to be another one on the other side if there's not i'm gonna be pissed oh there is okay good good try monster truck um here look 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 i'm gonna do something oh 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 you thought you really thought 
Okay, that was almost really dumb by me. Hey, you know what? My team is doing pretty well. Dude, stop. Get away from me. But like, what is the incentive of actually killing me? Like, yeah, you might win this round, but like, what other incentive is there? Like, you have to live with yourself because you just killed me. <laughs> I... Oh, dang it. I thought I could maybe, like, get away with it just being that steep on that incline. Whatever. Um, I died with, like, 20 seconds left, so I wasted a lot of their time. You know, I was being a team player because, you know, I'm that guy. Round winner? Yeah, of course, round winner. Because of me, you know, Dr. Clutch. All right, round number two. I'm still in this Winnie Issy. Can I be a Sasquatch one time? I would like to be a Sasquatch, like, one time. All right, the people have spoken. I have to go back to my pedestal right here. Perfect. All right. No, no, no. Should I be that guy not? that guy off. Okay, if we're gonna do this with multiple people, I have to at least get away from you. Like, we shouldn't be close to each other. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, that's how you're gonna get us. Yeah, no, you're doing great. You're doing a great job. That was incredibly smart. Oh, I didn't even see you there. Um, baby, I'm still standing, though. <laughs> You're just falling off. I wasn't even paying attention. Yeah, now you're doing it. There you go. Good job. Wait, I killed? What? I mean, of course I did. What? <laughs> of course I did. You know who you're talking to? All right, there's only two of us left, and it's that guy right there. So literally the monster trucks kind of have to sell out just to get us. Well, round winner. Um, Ta-da. All right, round number three. I'm still in the winning issue. Um, I don't know why. They don't want to give me the Sasquatch job. Uh, I'm going to get away from this one because I feel like my teammates are just kind of hanging around me. You know, they're like, wow, that guy is really good. I'm going to do what he does, which I mean, I guess. But like, you know, we got to spread it out a little little bit more. Okay. Oh, no. Don't be the way I die. Oh, good. It's not the way I die. That's the way I die. That guy's played Arena War before. He has a customized Sasquatch. Oh, my God. I'm dead Nate. Dead Nate. Oh, my God. I got a kill. Oh, my God. That was huge. Because that means 30 seconds was erased. <laughs> now my teammate has to win. He literally has to win. I helped you out so much. Of course, you die within, like, 10 seconds of me, like, giving you a realistic opportunity to win. Man. All right, round number four. Um, I guess I'm allergic to being the Sasquatch. I don't know. They just don't want to hand it to you, boy. I, I, I whatever. <laughs> <laughs> How did you not see that coming? Dude, he just got destroyed. Oh, hey, monster truck. Literally, all I have to do is just go over here and then, like, adios. All right, yeah, that's another round one by us. Yep, there we go, round winner. All right, round number five. Still in the win, EAC. Let's just close this out with a win. Ouch. It's not how I wanted that to go, but it's okay. I'm still alive. Keep moving. That, that, that's not how we keep moving. We don't keep moving by just right. I, whatever that guy is in the Sasquatch, I just become stupid. I don't even think that guy. I mean, he might have played well, but I, I played dumb there. And, oh, well, technically I lost the match, but we won a lot of rounds though. So we definitely got a decent amount of money. So after that hour and 30 minutes, I now have $3,054,000. But now it's time for me to go to my bunker and sell off my bunker product. So I've made it all the way to my bunker right here. And as you can see in the bottom right, we have $320,000 of value at our bunker of products. So let's go over here and let's sell it off. All right, right now I'm in a public session with over 25 people. So I'll get a bonus of 50% on whatever I do sell off. And we're going to sell it to Los Santos for even more money. So yeah, let's do that. And larger sales may require multiple vehicles. I really don't care. I just don't. All right, what sell much are we getting? Um, The delivery of Why do you do this? to me. We had this problem last time we got this wheel spin. We get that one where we have to go into one insurgent and then go to five different locations with one insurgent and you have to sell off three insurgents. Like, no, get the message. I'm not doing that. I have no chance to complete that in the 15 minute time frame. See, if I have a chance to complete it within the 15 minute time frame, I'll do it. I'll give it a shot. But that one, I definitely don't have a shot. All right, I'm in a new session now. Um, There's only 17 people on this one, so it's not going to be a 50% bonus, but still going to be a pretty good bonus bonus uh can you please give me a good sell mission please please um okay okay it's it's insurgents it's three insurgents once again but we only have to deliver them to one location aka doable so i will do this one i think i did this one earlier in this series so yeah we all know it's doable now let's just do it ah i see an oppressor on the map oh i'm so close to this spot please 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 just go just go we are so close it's not even funny how close we are it's just not funny it's just not funny at all I don't care about you right now. <laughs> you were late, loser. <laughs> oh, what a moron.
Oh, that'll work. Uh, just get a cheeky kill. I wanted to call in my buzzard, or not my buzzard. I wanted to call in a buzzard. I would have to pay for it. But now I know someone is after me. So I just need to get to it. You know, why am I in my virtue, to be honest? I definitely should have taken my Torador, but oh well. I'm already doing this. This person's already coming after me again. I can already see it on the minimap. They're in their oppressor, and they're coming right for me. They're not coming after my product. They're coming right after me. Which, I mean, honestly, I'd rather them come after me. Okay, this person's like slowly coming coming after me, which is annoying. I can see it on this extended map right here. They're going kind of like my same speed. Okay, they're coming after me. They're not coming after my product. Interesting. Hmm, should I just get out right here and then just see what happens? Yeah, I, I'm gonna do that. Get away from my car and then pew, 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 pew. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna throw a grenade down right there and then we're gonna get into my Ocelot Virtue. Bad sport. I'm the bad sport. Yeah, please. And then we're just gonna drive away and we're gonna get another delivery vehicle and then try to go from there. There's some people that fly around in oppressors and they're, they're like a annoying because they know what they're doing. They know how to like piss you off. And then there's just these people. They're kind of like the wannabes. It's like the best way to put it. They're like wannabes. They don't know what they're doing. They put a bounty on me. What is that going to do? Just imagine what if I survive that bounty? That's just $9,000 in my pocket. What if you get the kill on me? Then you just break even. There's no incentive. Oh my God. They left. They left. Oh my gosh. What a moron. What a disease in our society these days. Absolute stupidity. I mean, that whole fiasco was like a positive in my book for the fact that like my product is still survived and I absolutely clowned on that dork, but that did waste some time. And I have five minutes to sell off two other vehicles. And I honestly don't know how likely it is I'm going to be able to get that last one. I mean, these first two locations were like four miles away. I mean, I can give it my best shot, but I don't know. You know, I think I have to. I think I have to for you guys. I have to. You don't watch me just for me to give up. No, 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 no. Yo, watch me to give it my best shot. All right, there we go. We've made it to another location. We have like four minutes left on the clock. Okay, so now what I need to do is I need to go to VIP vehicles. I need to call my buzzard or a buzzard for $25,000. See, I could have done this earlier after I delivered that first one, but I just felt like if I would have gotten into a buzzard, I would have been just so vulnerable to an oppressive missile strike. And I didn't want to die like that. If I would have died like that, I would have been in a tough spot because then I would have to like call in my vehicle and then probably I probably have to defend myself once again, which I don't want to do. Okay, so we have less. Where is this insurgent? I don't even know where this insurgent is, to be honest. Oh, it's over here. Okay. I couldn't find it when I was parachuting. That wasted some time. I have a minute 45 to drop this off. Where do we have to go? Oh, it's not four miles this time. It's pretty much five. Awesome. I don't know. Let's just see how far we get. All right, the timer is about to expire, and we're still like two and a half miles away. Yeah, so two out of three shipments were delivered. I made $527,000 off of that. So now I currently have $3,557,000, which that is enough for me to buy the Long Bank West office building. So let's get into that. All right. So here's the Long Bank West office building. So let's take a look at it. Um, I mean, pretty much all these customizations are pretty useless. Um, I will purchase accommodation just for, why do you have to be that expensive? Okay. never mind. I didn't think it'd be that expensive. Most businesses is only like $200,000, but no, no, it has to be. How much was that? Almost $800,000. Why? Whatever. It's fine. We'll just purchase this for $3,100,000. And there we go. We have a new office building. Man, I buy an office building and the ladies already start calling me. I swear, man. I guess let's just go visit our new office building. Man, every time I jump into another session, it's going to pop up with that screen just reminding me of how much of an idiot that person was. Bounty of $9,000 off of me. That just screams out. Whoever put that on you is an absolute moron. I have to look at that. I have to look at that. Ew, disgusting. Every time I move to another session. Wait, how long does a bounty last? I think it's one GTA day. So for 48 minutes of me playing this game, I have to like look at that screen. That's terrible. Well, this is my new office building right here. The Long Bank West Tower. I didn't know this could be an office building. I don't think a lot of people even know that this could be an office building. Honestly, it looks more like a hotel to be honest, but whatever. Let's just go in and just check it out. This is my new office building. This is the bar. Um, Of course, my assistant set this up. This is my CEO computer where I can access the special cargo warehouses and the vehicle cargo warehouses that I don't have yet. A nice TV. And then the view. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This view is actually nice. I like the view. You have a nice view of Del Perro right there. Wow. That's kind of cool, to be honest. But yeah, this is my new office building. And honestly, I really have not seen anyone really get this office building. You either get the Maze Bank West Tower or you get the Maze Bank Tower. Who gets a Long Bank West Tower? It's just me. I'm just that guy that gets a Long Bank West Tower. But next episode, we're going to spin the wheel of luxury to see
see what we're going to have to buy next. Back in August, I started as a level one on a new account in GTA Online. And the only items I've bought on this account have come through spinning a wheel determining what I should buy next. So today in this video, I will spin that wheel again to see what item I will buy next. So welcome to the 16th episode of season number two of Loser to Luxury. And without further ado, let's jump into it. So currently right now, I am on the wheel of luxury and I'm on the wheel of luxury because the last thing that I bought on this account came off the wheel of businesses and that was our new office building, the Lomb Bank West Tower. The last time I spun the wheel of luxury, I landed on purchasing a new HSW vehicle, but what is gonna be the next thing that I'm gonna have to work towards buying next off the wheel of luxury? And it looks like we're gonna have to buy, is this a buzzard? Okay, we are going to have to buy a buzzard. And here's the buzzard right here, coming in at $1,750,000. Now the buzzer is actually going to be very good for us when we do purchase this because this will be our first vehicle that can actually fly. We have a lot of very good land vehicles like the Torador and the Arbiter GT, the Ocelot Virtue, but we don't have anything that can take us off the ground and fly us from one location to the other. Now it's not the best helicopter in the game, but it'll get the job done as a low level currently right now with nothing else. And currently right now I have $457,000 in my bank account. So we're honestly not too, too far away from purchasing the buzzer next. So right now I am on the wheel of quick cash. So how are we going to start out this episode in order to make money? And it looks like we are going to have to, this is going to be sell to a street dealer. Yes, it is. I haven't gotten this before in this season, but if you don't know, I can just go to the street dealer and sell off only right now my asset to the street dealer. But I have to spin a wheel of one to three to determine if I'm going to sell off to one, two or three street dealers. So here's the wheel of one to three right here. So let's just see how how many street dealers I am going to be able to sell off my acid to and thank you wheel we can only sell off to one street dealer all right so now I'm on the wheel of making money so what are we gonna have to do in this episode in order to make money and it looks like we are going to have to go out and do time trials now since the last time we were able to do time trials I got the Arbiter GT as an HSW vehicle so I can now do an HSW time trial so that's going to be nice. But what else in this episode am I going to have to do in order to make money? And it looks like we are going to have to do... Is this going to be selling off our max acid lab? Whoa, okay. This video is all about the acid lab today because we have to sell acid to a street dealer and then we have to sell off a maxed out acid lab. So I got to go out and do all the time trials that I can possibly do on this account. And then I have to go out and sell off my maxed out acid lab. But first I have to go out and sell off even more acid to a street dealer. So let's go do that. All right. So right next to me to the right is going to be the street dealer. But I forgot to say that this week in GTA Online that I'm recording this, Acid Lab cell missions are going to be paying out double money and RP. So that's actually very good that we're getting that for this video. But I also don't know if selling off acid to a street dealer is going to be double money or not. I don't know. Let's check it out. Hello, street dealer. No, it looks the same. Okay, so we're going to sell off 10 things of acid for right around like $14,000. Yeah, $14,150. Um, eh, it's not the greatest thing in the world. Selling off acid to a street dealer is probably one of the worst things you can do. I think that and grass is the two worst things. But now it is time for me to try to do the time trial. So I'm going to go to the junk energy time trial first. All right, so I've made it over to the junk energy time trial right here. So let's start this up and hopefully we can do this pretty efficiently. All right, here we we go. First time trial I have to do, and this one should be pretty easy. Now, people have been roasting me actually on some of my older videos saying like the junk energy time trials are either easy or they say I forget to boost or whatever, which I mean, that's not even true. Most of the people doing this junk energy time trial, they're pretty much high levels. For everyone that thinks that these junk energy time trials are incredibly easy, i like you to start out on a new account, start out as a level one, and the first thing that you do is you go and try to do a junk energy time trial. And I promise I promise you, you will be humbled incredibly quickly. I've been humbled way too many times by these junk energy time trials as a low level, but now we are developing at a low level range and I can do these first attempt. So I got $51,000 for that. Pretty easy, but now we have to go to our next time trial and I think I'm gonna do the HSW time trial next. All right, so I've ventured all the way over to the HSW time trial now. This is gonna be the first time I'm attempting an HSW time trial with the Arbiter GT. I know this HSW time trial, this specific one is going to be an easy 
easy time trial. But the Arbiter GT is very weird to drive around. I've driven around a lot from doing like the Pacific Standard Highs to like doing the first and last dose missions and whatnot. So yeah, let's start it up and let's see it. I feel like this Arbiter GT acts a lot like the Drift Yosemite, like how I got in the second episode of this season. See like this, this, th like that, like that. Do you see that right there? That's a normal thing I have with the Arbiter GT. It just wants to go straight. This is a freaking drag racing car, pretty much. It does not like turning even so slightly. Now, I definitely feel like this vehicle is definitely capable of doing this time trial. It's just, can we get things to go our way? Because I feel like once I get above a certain mile per hour, I just start losing control. And it doesn't help that there's so much traffic. Yep, 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 yep. That's great. I'm going to keep going because I just want to see how close we are to completing this. I think with that wreck, we're not going to be able to complete this first attempt. See, once you get this vehicle in a straight line, it can go. It, it, it's definitely a very fast vehicle, but still, it's only the 13th fastest HSW vehicle as far as top speed is concerned. Like, I went over to my GTA Plus account earlier this week, right as this event week came out, and I did this HSW time trial with the monstrosity, which is even slower than the Arbiter GT, and I completed it first attempt, and of course, there's a train in my way. Okay, we're good. All right, we hit less than 10 seconds to go with just over a half a mile left. I've definitely wrecked a lot. This is definitely possible, but I have to get this to go my way. All right, here we go. Attempt number two. Can we actually get this Arbiter GT to go where I want it to go? Oh, oh I missed my exit. No, nope, yep. It's not an exit. I missed the spot to go on the other side of the interstate. Awesome. Okay. Third attempt already. Dude, what are we doing? This vehicle is so weird. All right. Fourth attempt inbound. Um, I haven't even really gotten that far since the first attempt. The vehicle is just so weird to drive. It's nice. I got an HSW vehicle, but a different one would have been nicer. <laughs> Car. Dude, that's so stupid. When you see an Arbiter GT just driving straight towards you, you get out the way. Like, come on. Oh my god. I was doing so well for like a stretch there. If you wreck with the HSW vehicle, or at least a lot of them that I've driven, and you try to get... Oh my god. Dude, this vehicle is just crazy. No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. Is this a strategy? Oh, yeah, no, never mind. We're not going the right way. Yeah, okay. I don't know why. I thought this could maybe, like, steer me in the right direction, but no, this is the subway, not the train tracks. All right, attempt number five is going to be my last attempt because we're going to complete it right here. I guarantee it. Oh, my God, where am I going already? You know what? You know what? Just go where the car wants to go. The car just wanted to get on the interstate just right here. Okay, fine. I respect the car. You know what? I just realized something. You're probably thinking, Dr. Crush, why are you not completing this HSW time trial? And I think I just came up with a good theory, maybe why this time trial might be a lot harder than it could be. And that is because you are not subscribed. I'm dead serious to that too. The people that are not subscribed, if you subscribe right now and maybe like the video too while you're at it, maybe I'll actually complete this time trial on this attempt. No, but seriously though. Oh my god! I hate this car! I mean, okay, okay, okay. It's kind of a love-hate relationship, honestly, with this car. This car looks amazing. I made this car look so sexy, it's not even funny. But this car cannot drive. No, I just ran into a parked car. That is embarrassing. No, what the? Are you kidding me? Okay, that screen popped up because they thought I was trying to pick up a, a fun lady, if you know what I mean. So that's fun. Thank you. Thank you, game. Thank you. All right, so I caught you in your lie. This is attempt number six now. I caught you in your lie. So you didn't subscribe on that attempt. And jeez, will you subscribe already? Like, come on, man. If you would have subscribed by now, I wouldn't have done that barrel roll. That's on you. That's on you, man. Be a team player. No, but seriously, though, if you're enjoying the content that you're seeing right now, maybe like the video, subscribe. It shows me that you're really enjoying the content. And I'll keep making more bangers like this. And hopefully, I can actually complete this time trial right now on attempt number seven. I think my car's smoking, too, because it's wrecked so many times. It's not my fault. That's clearly not my fault. Dude, my car is running out of freaking power, honestly. Like, it is not running at 100%. After this attempt, I am going to respawn a new vehicle. Okay, I might actually have a shot to complete this time trial for some reason. Okay, never mind. Oh, my God. I might actually have a shot. I did not think I was going to have a shot. This vehicle is so beaten up it is definitely not at a hundred percent we did it oh Dude, my vehicle is smoking. I completed it when the vehicle is like smoking. Maybe it helped that the vehicle went a little slower. I don't know, but whatever. Completed it. I made $252,000 off of that. So now we have one more time trial to do, and that is going to be the normal time trial. So let's jump into that bundle of fun. All right, so I've made it over to the final time trial, which is going to be the power station time trial. Now there is another time trial, and it's the RC Bandito time trial, but I don't have an RC Bandito right now, so I'm not allowed to do that, but I'm allowed to do the normal time trial. So I'm gonna try to do this time 
time trial with my Ocelot Virtue right here. It has a lot more control than that Arbiter GT. Now, I have no idea the best way to get to where I need to go. Honestly, this might be a Body 801 time trial, which I do have a Body 801, but I don't know. This is going to be interesting for sure. I definitely think there's going to be some off-roading to do, but I don't know. I'm going to try it with the Ocelot Virtue to start out with, but let's see how it goes. Okay, I want to go over here. I know on my little mini map, it's not telling me to go this way. I'm going to go this way because I think this is going to give me the best opportunity. We're just going to go off-roading. Hopefully cut some corners and get there in time. Now, one issue is the Ocelot Virtue. It's definitely not an off-roading vehicle, so I, I'm not going as fast as I could be going. If I were on a road, I don't know, maybe I'll just start going off-roading like this. Okay, we're not going to be close to completing this at all. Yeah, I'm already going to respawn. I'm going to put my Ocelot Virtue away. Yeah, there's no way I'm going to be able to complete this with the Ocelot Virtue. I need my Body 801. I, I just need my Body 801. That's going to give me, I think, the best opportunity to complete this. The only reason I have a Body 801, too, is to do this time trial. Just the normal time trials in general. Aside from the normal time trials, I don't even pull out this Body 801. Now, the only other time that we did a normal time trial on this account, we didn't even complete it because we didn't have any vehicles at the time that could allow us to complete it. Yeah, the Body 801 is not an off-roading vehicle, but it performs so much better off-roading compared to like an Ocelot Virtue or an Arbiter GT. Oh my God, just imagine me trying to do this with an Arbiter GT. That would be painful. All right, so I definitely have to cut off of this road at some point and just drive on top of the mountain or over the mountain. I just do not know exactly the best spot to like get off the mountain. Okay, it's already less than 10 seconds to go. I feel like that run was actually pretty flawless, to be honest, and we were still not even close. So I'm definitely gonna have to look up how we're gonna do this. It literally took me two seconds watching this video. I figured it out. We do not need to be going where I was going. I was being a little bit silly doing what I was doing. I need to stay on the interstate a lot longer than what I had to do. Now, I didn't even watch exactly how this person did it, but this person did it. That's all I know. Or I assume he did. I didn't even watch the video. He just like put his little cursor on like what you were supposed to do. And I already got the message. So I'm still kind of blindly doing this. I don't know the exact point I should go off, but I have the rough idea now, if that makes sense. All right, popping a lot of wheelies right now, which is nice. Giving us a lot of speed during all these wheelies. All right, so we need to go off the interstate somewhere in... Are you kidding me? What rock? What rock did I hit? There was no rock. No, I'm lost. I'm lost. Do you see my tire tracks right there? How did I just fling right there? I was wheeling. I'm pretty sure. How did I fling off? That's so frustrating, man. Where's my bike too? My bike is so far away. Did my bike actually land on the train tracks? That's what it's showing right now on my mini map. Oh my God. Yeah, my bike landed right here. How did my bike get that much air? Oh my God. I think I'm being stupid. I think I'm actually being stupid. I don't even think we have to be on the interstate. I think. I'm going to try something something this next attempt. All right, I had to literally drive all the way back here. That was fun, but let's try this again. I think I might have the idea down now, maybe. Instead of going on the road, we just turn right here. Oh my God, never mind, never mind, never mind. I mean, I think you get the idea now, but I have to redo it. Okay, that last attempt never even happened. You didn't see that last attempt, right? So we're gonna start it up again. We're gonna pop a little wheelie, you know, just hurry up, get some speed. And then we're gonna turn right here. Yeah, okay. And we're just gonna start going on the train tracks. I'm on the wrong train tracks, just realize that. Um. Okay, now we just start going. We're just gonna drive on the train tracks. It's gonna cut a pretty decent sized corner for us. Hopefully this can help us out. I don't even know how smooth our main attempt on the interstate was working but all i do know is that we have to go from like the train tracks and we have to like cut like through the mountain or over the mountain instead of me crashing on like the side of like a little divot on the road and my bike flying all the way onto the train tracks we were just already on the train tracks i know big brain all right so we have to cut over somewhere in here there's nowhere to cut over there's nowhere to cut over maybe this wasn't the way to do it i don't know i felt slow i definitely felt slow okay okay disregard that last strategy we are going back on the interstate because asphalt makes us go faster than train tracks. All right, let's go. Did I really pop a wheelie so well that I fell off my bike? All right, now let's try it. All right, let's not fall off our bike this time from a beautiful wheelie. Okay, we're on the interstate now. I feel like we're definitely flying. Asphalt's nice. We, we like some good asphalt. Okay, so now what we're supposed to do is we're supposed to cut over somewhere in here, not hit that same rivet as last time. Okay, nice. And now we need to go this way. And we just need to get over this mountain and we need to start... Oh, 
why is there a little valley right here? Why would you code in a valley right there? Just to piss me off, huh? See, the checkpoint is just down this hill, but we had like two little valleys that just screwed us over. Thank you, game. All right, now let's try this again. Hopefully, I can avoid those valleys. I don't know how I'm going to avoid those valleys, but I'm going to do my best. All right, I'm at this same spot again. Um, Let's turn off here. Now, how am I going to avoid these valleys somehow? Can I go to this? No, just, just these valleys are just so massive. 25, 26. Yeah, okay. There's got to be a way to avoid these valleys. I got to keep looking this up. I have to look it up. I don't know how to avoid these valleys. I just looked up a video. I saw one little shortcut that I have been doing. I don't even think it's saving him that much more time, to be honest. But I, I mean, I'll do it. Yeah, that's a shortcut right there. Run into the back of a car. That was it. That was it. That was it. Uh -huh. All right, now let's try this again. Please, can I complete this? All right, so this guy, he went like over here and then he just started like off-roading in here and then he got off somewhere in here and then got on this side of the road here. Okay, that wasn't bad. That looked a little sketch, but it wasn't bad. What am I doing? It's the thing I hate about doing like time trials that involve like bikes or whatever. You have to keep wheeling and you have very little control with the wheelie. All right, let's try this again. Never mind. Never mind. Let's try this again. Hopefully, we can actually get somewhere this time. Maybe I can. What? What? <laughs> okay, okay. So what happened was my power blipped out. So that's great. Thanks. Thank you, power. <laughs> it's funny too, because I was doing the time trial from the power station. All right, so I made it back. We did gain power pretty much immediately after. That's fun. It is storming its butt off right now outside. So yeah, I'm filming a video with these elements that are happening outside. It is pouring down rain. It is thundering, lightning outside. But yeah, I'm just still sitting here just making a video. So maybe subscribe for that. Anyways, we're going to complete this time trial right now, even through the elements. Watch. Just watch. Oh, wait. Never mind. Hold on. Thanks, controller. Appreciate it. Hold on. I blame that one on the storm. All right. So now this is our real first attempt in the storm right now. Dude, y'all probably cannot hear the thunder, but it is thundering its ass off right now. Right, so let's see. The guy that I watched, he went off here. Okay, I don't think he went off there because there's a tree right there. Thanks. I blame that on the storm. Every time I fail, I'm blaming it on the storm. You know, I just had the idea. Like, what if there was like a storm in GTA Online and then like during this time trial, like a tornado picks me up and then like it glides me right to the checkpoint for me to complete this time trial and then boom, time trial complete. That'd be nice. I would enjoy that in the game. Maybe not in real life, but in the game, yes. Dude, it's I have a new controller on the way, but that is annoying. <laughs> I is so annoying. I promise I bought a new controller. It's on its way. Jeez, I'm battling through a storm right now in the comforts of my home. I'm battling through a stupid controller that's being stupid. I'm battling that cop that's in my way. That was a cop's fault. That is not my fault. I think anyone with the brain knows that. All right, here we go. Here we go. Next real attempt. Oh my God, the dead cop is still right there. She ran over his body or like his leg. Whatever. Car. What is the point? I can't even get a good attempt off anymore. Too many things going against me right now. So I need to go off here, I think. Yeah, yeah. Okay, this is definitely the way that he showed. Um, I don't think I hit that part right though. That's awesome. Yeah, I don't think I'm completing this right now. Jeez. Glide. Oh, 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 oh. A little glide. Just a little glide. Okay, okay. We we're four seconds away from it. That's not horrible. I just got to fine tune some stuff. I don't know what. I have to fine tune something. Okay, maybe the game actually listened to me because it's now starting to rain in game. And I just need a little tornado to throw me to the checkpoint, please. And thank you. You know, mods are annoying in like GTA Online when you play on PC, which I'm not doing right now, but they're pretty annoying. Oh, I didn't even take the right route. What? I'm just going to keep going. But what if if you do a time trial, you just literally just spawn in a tornado while you do one of these time trials and the tornado like throws you right to the destination. I might have just come up with a good idea. All right, so I need to turn off here. I think I need to go a little bit right than last time, right? Yeah, okay, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I think this is how the guy that I watched did it. Yeah, okay, we're not completing it there, and we ran into a trick. Dude, this one's so annoying. I don't even know if my body 801, it's a completely stock body 801. I don't know if this body 801 can even do it on its own. Why is it every time I get time trials, I get like the most difficult normal time trial? You know, it would have been nice when I got a random HSW vehicle if I would have landed on a Hakachi drag because if i had a hakachu drag i probably would have had this done by now i guarantee you that but the wheel said nah you're gonna get an arbiter gt <sighs> 
Yeah, the wheel said I'm going to get an Arbiter GT and I'm going to suffer. Suffer, suffer, suffer. You know, I might honestly have to upgrade this body 801 as much as I can to even have a shot at this. I want to do one more like really good attempt and kind of see how it goes. But if we're still like very far away from completing it, then like I'm going to upgrade this body 801 very slightly. So I'll at least I have an opportunity to complete it at this point. All right, here we go. Can we actually do it this time? Let's go this way. Um, Let's hit that thing like that. Nice. Land here. Here. Let's go up the mountain. Please hurry up. Okay, go down. Oh, I think I went down the wrong little rivet or whatever. Oh, wait, wait, maybe not. Maybe not, actually. Hold on. Go! <laughs> go! Okay, land it. Okay, I wasn't trying to pull back that hard. I don't know why it was pulling back that hard. That's so fun. I don't think we we're going to be able to complete that one anyways. Um, Yeah, I'm definitely going to an Alice Customs, and I'm going to put as much upgrades on this body to one as I can to make it go a little faster. All right, I've made it to an Alice Customs. Now I'm going to go over to engine, and I'm going to get a little bit better engine so I can accelerate a little better. $2,500. That's honestly a lot cheaper than what I thought it was going to be. And also, you can get every upgrade on a vehicle at an auto shop if you purchase an auto Auto shop. I already know that, so you don't have to type that out. You're watching Loser to Luxury, where I have to spin a wheel to determine what business I have to buy, and I haven't landed on that yet. All right, anyways, transmission. Ooh, I can get... Does barely anything. Oh, okay, I'm, I'm just throwing money at it. Turbo? Oh, I can't get a turbo yet. That would be so nice if I could get a turbo. Or suit it up a tad bit more. Hopefully, this gives us a better shot of completing this. All right, all right, we're back after suiting up this body 801 now. Can we do this first attempt? <laughs> Probably not. Where am I going? Oh my god. That's just on me. That that was just on me. All right, now can we actually complete this? Oh my god, we're back on the interstate. We are back on the interstate. All right, let's hit it. Let's go over here. Let's start it up. Can I hit it? No, we didn't hit it at the right spot. Oh my god. All right, now let's go off here and can we Oh, I don't think I'm hitting this right. Oh, yep. Let's fall, 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 splat. How did we not die off of that either? I'm a little shocked that we did die off of that. It's so annoying having to hit that point at the right spot. I haven't even gotten like down to the wire with my upgraded body 801 yet. Oh, yay, train. Ha 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 ha. Thanks, train. Ha 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 ha. That is so funny, game. Ha 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 ha. Let's spawn a train right in front of you. Ha ha ha. That was so funny. That is so funny, game. So funny. There's a bunch of jokesters at Rockstar. I hate this. I hate this time trial so much. I hate wheeling, just stupid wheeling. Can't use any of my other vehicles. Because, like, you can't even do this with the Torador. The Ocelot Virtue and the Arbiter GT would freaking just spin out once you start going off-road. You have to go off-road on this, so I'm stuck with the Body 801, and I'm having such a fun time. All right, so we have to get off the interstate here. I think go right. That might be... No, that's good enough. Just a good amount of right, I guess. Um, I just go up this mountain. Okay, this setup for this off-road has been probably the best. We go down here. Oh, I don't think I'm at the right rivet. Well, I don't know. No. Oh my God. I thought I was about to hit a tree. Please land smooth. Okay. Now what? Jump up. <gasps> yes. Yes. Oh my God. I've never been so pumped for completing a time trial in my life. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. A storm formed over my house and dissipated all in the span of me trying to do this time trial. Oh my, I've never been so pumped. I feel like I just won the Super Bowl. Oh my gosh. Which is so sad because it's a time trial, but I don't have good vehicles. I don't even know what happened. I guess, oh, oh. We're just spinning. We're just, hello. There goes my controller. Awesome. Thank you. I think I flew over that house right there. I, I think I literally just flew right over that house and somehow completed it. Jeez. Well, thank goodness I pulled Dr. Clutch out of my ass to complete that, but I did it. But after all of those time trials, I now have $871,000. Jeez, that low-key might be the most pumped I've ever been of anything to do with the Loser to Luxury episode. Because usually, yeah, we do struggle, but we don't struggle that badly. Well, maybe we do, but I don't know. That just felt really good to complete. I don't know why. But now it's time for me to go to a public session and sell off our maxed out acid lab. All right. So as you can see in the bottom right, our product for our acid lab is currently maxed out at a value of almost at $500,000. And currently right now, I'm in a public session with over 25 players. So for whatever I do sell off, I'll get a 50% bonus. So let's go sell off our product. All right. So here we go. We're selling off our acid right now. I forgot to mention too, I named our acid Troop Think because you get a what why 
Why? Jeez, I'm in the middle of like a train of thought and a car barely clips into me. Anyways, I named it Troop Think because, well, that was the only thing I can name it. But if you name it anything, you get a slight bonus on your product's value. All right, so pretty much all I have to do is go inside of this parking garage. This is definitely going to be the ones with like the cops and stuff. So that's going to be fun. So I have to find, oh, aha, I see you. I see you. You think you're slick, huh, loser? Oh man, you're so slick. You are so slick. It's not even funny. Man, wow, wow, Alan. If you don't know what those are, those are undercover cops. And you'll see what will happen once I get up here. Oh my God, look, look. What happens if like I go in and like try to get in their car? Can I get in their car? No, it's not allowing me to. Yeah, they just let me drive my bike on top of their car. Okay, cool, I guess. What happens if I pull out a gun, I aim it at them. Oh my god, bad idea, bad idea, bad idea. Um, let's blow up everything and I have to lose the cop. I didn't think that was a great idea, but I just kind of wanted to see what will happen. Anyways, I successfully made it out there, so I gotta lose the cops. Oh my god, I think someone's actually trying to come after me, which is awesome. I think, I think someone's after me. I kind of see him on the mini-map. I don't know. This is gonna be interesting, to say the least, but I have a spot I'm trying to go to, which is going to be under the map. So if that guy comes after me, well, good luck. Yeah, I need to lose the cops, and the cops are kind of being annoying right now so i'm going over here yeah there's someone after me there's definitely someone after me that pretty much proved my point yeah so there's gonna be someone coming into the sewers i assume very shortly where'd that guy go i thought there was a guy after me okay yeah there's literally someone right do you see that on the mini map there's someone like literally right there but they're above ground i'm below ground how am i gonna get out of here how am i gonna get out of here i need to deliver the product to the backup drop off but there's a guy i'm gonna coward out and i'm gonna go this way you know what i'll find another way out i have plenty of time to have 13 minutes it's easy. I wonder if this guy even knows that I'm underneath ground. I don't even know if this is the same guy either. This might be a different guy. I didn't pay attention to what the guy was named. He's probably like so confused. He's like, how the heck is this guy like going through buildings and whatnot? Well, I'm not going through buildings anymore, low key. He's probably that stupid to think I'm actually going through buildings and I'm a hacker. No, I'm underneath the ground. There's no easy way for me to get out of here. <laughs> There's just not an easy way for me to get out of here. There's plenty of like subway stations. It's not easy for me to get onto like the subway station platform. Like here, I'll show you. Like, ready? See, like that. Yeah, I can't really get onto that platform. Well, maybe, hold on, hold on. Maybe I'm not trying hard enough, you know? Whoa, 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 someone just passed me. Whoa, 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 whoa. My controller bucked out right at that point, which sucks, but I swore someone just drove right past me. He might be driving back this way too, which could be a little bit. Yeah, 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 he's right there. I think you get the point and I kind of want to survive, right? Because I want to get this money. So I am going to get out of the subway. Oh, he died. Oh, that was Tripped Goat. That was Tripped Goat. He died. Okay, he died because he wants to come after me. That's exactly what he's doing. Yeah, Tripped Goat was definitely after me. Oh, that was the guy's name, Tripped goat. More like tripped choke. Oh, okay. Tripped coat is going after someone else. Dude, what a moron. Not as bad as what happened last episode with that bounty, but still a moron. Because like he drove right past me and then he stopped. Then he's like, I'm going to go after you. But he waited like a minute after something crazy like that. Stupid. Just get the product in here. Now, nah, okay, we're good. Leave the area. <laughs> All right. And there we go. We successfully sold off our product for $698,000. So after that painful episode, I now have $1,569,000. So next episode, we'll definitely be able to purchase the buzzard. Last month, I started as a level one on a new account in GTA Online. And the only way I've made money on this account is by spinning a wheel determining what I should do to make money. So today in this video, I will spin that wheel again to see what I will do to make money. So welcome to the 17th episode of season number two of loser to luxury and without further ado let's jump into it so right now i am currently on the wheel of quick cash but before we spin the wheel of quick cash i just want to remind you that we are trying to work towards buying the buzzard attack chopper as our next purchase coming in at one million seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars but currently right now i have one million five hundred and sixty nine thousand dollars so i think it's pretty safe to say that we are going to buy the buzzard attack chopper in this episode but how are we going to start out this episode in order to make money so the wheel is spinning and it looks like we have to go out and try to find g's cash so right now i'm on the wheel of making money so what are we gonna have to do is 
in this episode in order to make money. And it looks like I'm going to have such a fun time doing Act 3 of the Doomsday Heist. And this is such a good wheel spin that we have to forfeit our next wheel spin because we're going to get a ton of money. Honestly, a little bit overkill for needing less than $200,000 to buy the buzzard attack chopper next. And honestly, I've never been in this position before where I'm so close to buying something, but yet we're going to get like a lot more than what we need. Like at least a million over might be pushing 1,500,000 over than what I need. So since that's the case, I am actually going to pull up the wheel of businesses right now. And we're just going to spin the wheel of businesses also. So we know what we're going to get next. We might even get whatever I'm going to land on next too. And on the wheel of businesses, since the last time we spun it, we have two new things on the wheel because we got the office building next. And when you buy the office building, you unlock two new businesses that you can purchase from inside the office building. And one of them is the special cargo warehouse, as you can see right here. And the next one is going to be the vehicle cargo warehouse. So those are new to the wheel of businesses. But let's spin the wheel of businesses so we can see what business we're going to have to buy next after we purchase the buzzard attack chopper. And it looks like we are going to have to buy the nightclub next. So now we have to determine what specific nightclub we are going to have to buy next. And there's 10 different nightclubs that we can purchase. And as you can see right here, I have pulled up a wheel of one to 10. And how we're going to determine what nightclub is going to correspond with what number, we're going to go from the southernmost nightclub and work our way up. And the southernmost nightclub is going to be nightclub number one that's going to be on the wheel. So Elysian Island nightclub, that'll be number one. And then this is the next southernmost nightclub right here, the LSIA nightclub. That's going to be number two. And then we'll work our way all the way up to this one right here. This is the northernmost nightclub, downtown Vinewood nightclub right here. And that's going to be number 10. So hopefully that makes sense. But let's spin the wheel and let's see what nightclub we are going to have to buy next. And is it going to be eight or is it going to be nine? And it, it's going to be number eight. So the number eight nightclub is right here. Since this nightclub right here is number 10, this one right here is number nine. So this one right here, the Del Perro nightclub is going to be number eight, coming in at $1,645,000. And I think also for this business, I won't do this for any of the other businesses, but this business is pretty useless unless you get two things. One of them is storage. I'm going to max out its storage. So that's an extra $1,700,000 of storage. And then I also want to buy every single technician that I can get. So there's four technicians that I can purchase. And the total of the four additional technicians that I can purchase is going to cost us $878,000. So in total, this nightclub is going to cost us $4,225,000. And we still have to buy a buzzard attack chopper in between. So before I can even buy the nightclub or the buzzard, I have to go out and complete the doomsday heist act number three. But first I have to go out and find G's cash. All right, so I've made it over to where G's cash is located. So yeah, let me go search around for G's cash. Oh, wait, I think I see it. It's underneath this thing. So yeah, let's collect G's cash. And boom, there we go. We got $16,000 and we also got ammo and snacks. But now it is time for me to go to my facility and start to set up act three of the doomsday heist. All right, so I'm at my facility right here and let's take a look at the planning screen. Now I've already paid the setup cost. I honestly did that a little bit after we did act number two. And then I went ahead and did these preps because these preps are kind of boring, to be honest. But yeah, we have to do five total setups here. But yeah, let's get into rescuing Agent 14. I don't know what Agent 14 has done. I think in conclusion, he's being a moron. So I have to go save the day. Let's get into it. All right, here we go. We are jumping into the first setup right here. We are rescuing Agent 14 because he is a moron because he got caught like his little buddy ULP. Now, this is the first setup that we have to do for act number three. But until we get to the finale this is going to be the hardest thing that we're going to have to deal with this setup is incredibly difficult i mean i am doing this with a level 52 i don't know how i feel about that to be honest oh my well that was fun <laughs> you can't do much but just sit back and just laugh at yourself i try to take a little shortcut with the ocelot virtue i just run straight into a freaking gas station that's awesome all right anyways what i was saying though is that this setup is the hardest setup that we're gonna have to do for act number three and this might be one of the hardest setups in the game to be honest but honestly it's only because of one thing and one thing only god i cannot drive and that is because of the juggernauts that avon is sending out to kill us 
Dude, I cannot drive today. Oh my God, I'm filming this the same day I recorded last episode where I did the time trials. It has been a great day driving. Let's just put it at that. Anyways, I'm here. Um, oh, I should have brought my Karuma, but that's okay. Uh, my teammate is nowhere to be found right now. Um, I think he wrecked badly too, but he didn't blow up his car. If you haven't seen this before, you're probably thinking, Dr. Crush, why do you think this is incredibly hard? Oh, trust me, it gets harder. Yeah, I definitely should have brought a Karuma, but it's okay. Let's just make it harder on myself. Why is there a sticky bomb right here? You see that? Oh, 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 you can pick that up. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I just saw a sticky bomb on the ground. I thought, are they planting sticky bombs? I know that sounds stupid, but whatever. It's fine. Oh, where's this last guy? I've killed literally everyone here. I have no idea where my teammate is still. Oh, he just showed up. Okay, never mind. There's one more person. I might as well just kill this last person wherever he is. Oh, he's right here. Yeah. I can't see where he is. He's wearing black. Okay, thank you. Lester's sending an update to our goggles. All right, this is the reason reason why this is the most difficult setup of act number three. These things right here, the invisible juggernaut. So let's take cover. Um, yeah. So I'm just going to do pew, pew, pew. Yeah. Using explosives is the best way to go. Dude, I hit that one directly in the face. Thank you. Oh my God. There's more, more spawned in. Jeez. Okay. Honestly, my teammates doing a pretty good job. Never mind, I will shut up because he died. I died too, but I ran into a gas station because I was being stupid. Why am I complaining? We haven't done anything yet. He hasn't proven to me that he sucks. He seems pretty all right, honestly. Sorry, I just have low expectations for my teammates to join these highs after what I've seen. Oh my God, I have to kill all these people again? Dude, this is so annoying. I thought there was like a checkpoint, but no, I guess not. All right, there we go. Finally, everyone's taken out again. There we go. All right, there's going to be another wave coming in over here. I can't really hit them, but I might have to do this number. Oh, my teammate died. I almost died there too, low-key. Awesome. Ow! Why am I on fire? I mean, I, <laughs> of course I'm on fire. My content's fire. Sorry, I was cringe. But I was on fire. I don't know why I was on fire. There we go. Only one more juggernaut to take out. Die, 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 die. You moron. Okay, that's where I have to sit back and call you a moron. He literally walked around after he died the first time and charged that juggernaut just straight up. All right, everyone's dead once again. Can we actually get past this first part so we can hit a checkpoint? Because I'm getting sick and tired of taking out all those people. Oh, hey, juggernauts. It's been so long. He just died immediately. Oh my, dude, he's gone downhill. Okay, I died. I was throwing sticky bombs at the time. I was trying out something. Did they just shoot my sticky bomb while I was in my hand? I think that's what happened. Okay, there we go. The first wave of juggernauts have been taken out. Another wave's coming in. No one's lost a life yet. Oh, never mind. He died. I have one more life to spare. I just would like to get through this next wave so we can hit a checkpoint so we can, you know, actually progress. Oh my god. No, he's walking around the same way that he died last time. Okay, okay, okay. I got that kill. Okay, nice. I can take off night vision, and now we have to take out a bunch of helicopters that I am not in the right spot to get out. Hey, how am I stuck? How? Stop, stop, stop. No, I got stuck. I don't know how I got stuck there. Game. Die. Die. Yo, hide behind that little thing. Can't auto-aim there. There we go, but I can still kill you. Can you die, whoever you are? I mean, bullets can this guy eat? Die. Good. Okay, now I think this is a checkpoint, finally. Well, my teammate died. Um, I think someone Someone snuck up behind him, but it was okay. I'm pretty sure that was a checkpoint, so we're good. We're good at that department. All right, we're almost at the end, but there's more juggernauts. Where I don't know. Oh, there's juggernaut. Okay, the, the juggernauts are back. Um, teammate, you need it. You need to get out of here. Yep, just go right there and go. Hello, juggernaut. It's pretty much what he's doing. I swear. Holy, 25 to six. That is almost a five to one ratio. Chiropractor needs to be called for me, please. All right, all right, all right. We're making our way through. My teammate hasn't died yet, and that's because I'm pretty much out in front, you know, kind of manning the ship right now. But it's okay. I don't mind manning the ship. I am just a natural leader when it comes to this stuff. As I say that, he literally cuts me off. All right, more super soldiers are inbound, so we need to take out these super soldiers. And, uh, teammate, you need to get out of my way. I need to do... How in the world did that rocket hit that pole? I am dead serious. I felt very far away from that pole. Teammate, no. It just... Oh, my God. I know I died stupidly there, but it just looked like that rocket was going to go just wide of the freaking pole. Oh yeah, by the way, I know I died stupidly last time. I still killed people at a 7 to 1 ratio. I had 28 kills. He only had 4. How do you sit there and pretend like you're doing this setup and you only get... 
four kills. How's that even possible? I think my teammate's literally just sitting back. He's walking around, but he's not close. I think it's literally just a one-man ban right now, and I'm cool with that. I don't even know why this heist is a two-person heist. Definitely Act 3 could seriously be a one-player heist, but I guess the other acts... Well, no, Act 1, the finale, you could definitely do it all by yourself. Act 2 is the only one that was kind of questionable. All right, I think that 7 to 1 ratio is going to be whatever amount of kills I get to zero because my teammate's not even playing right now, which I'm cool with. I mean, sure, please, please do it. Just take a seat, you know, just kick your legs up. I will carry this. I don't mind. You can literally just sit there, do nothing, and you can get paid a decent amount of money just for doing nothing. You can go eat dinner. You're going to just watch some YouTube, maybe watch some Dr. Crush, maybe subscribe to Dr. Crush. And maybe if you're watching right now, maybe subscribe to Dr. Crush. If you're not already, Dr. Crush, a.k.a. me. Yeah, make sure you subscribe if you want to see more content like this. If you want to see me get pissed off at people, you know, because people love it when I get pissed off at people. Why do you return when we're going against Juggernaut? What is the reasoning behind that? You literally just sat back, did nothing until we have to take the Juggernauts out. Then you start dying. Yep. Why? What was the point? Okay, I got one kill. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Can I get this one? Oh my god, I got both of them. I got both of them. Okay. All right, we're so close to completing this. All we have to do... Oh, there's more Juggernaut. I forgot there's more Juggernaut. Oh my god. We're gonna die because my teammate can't take out a Juggernaut to save his life. If his life depended on him taking out a Juggernaut, you might as well just announce him dead. Well, to be honest, he seems like he's still alive, though. Wait a minute. They're shooting at Avon. Why are you shooting at Avon? Why was Avon not right behind us? Why? Holy 42 to 1? God dang. All right, there's two more juggernauts, and Agent 14 has followed us, so all we have to do is just kill these juggernauts somehow. I don't know how the heck we're going to do this. Okay, my teammate died. Awesome. Way to go. Yeah, yeah, just go up right next to the juggernaut and just be stupid. That's all he's been doing. Oh, he's, he's getting a side profile view of the juggernaut. That's not good. That's not good. That means you're going to die. That means you're going to die. And there he goes. Dead. Head. Born with it. Not meant for decoration especially in your case it's meant to apply yourself be smart please be smart 38 to 3 the football score that is a five touchdown difference in football 38 to 3 38 to 3 sense that notice that and realize who needs a chiropractor teammate move teammate you moron i know some people are very critical i'll get angry at my teammates and i talk badly about him how am i supposed to talk well of this guy when he just goes in here commits suicide and he's just acting stupid how am i supposed to just sit there and be like oh you'll get him next time i don't know if you'll get him next time i just don't oh my god agent 14 agent 14 he's all alone over there agent please move agent 14 no what are you doing doing? Why does he just sit there? He's acting like my teammate. By the way, 37 to 5. Agent 14. God, we bought a freaking bunker from him. We've done two heists with him. The prison break and the humane labs raid. You, you seem like a smart guy. And then he just comes in here and goes, oh, let me go right next to the juggernaut. Even though, as we've seen by my teammate, you should not do that. Ah, damn. Oh my god, that was the first time I legitimately died in so long. I got a little careless here. That, that's on me. I apologize. Okay, Agent 14 is moving up. Yay, Agent 14. Way to use your head, bud. Oh my god, my teammate's literally sitting back for this part, too. Oh my god, why do I say anything? I say something, he starts moving. No. Stop. There we go. One jug down. And one more juggernaut to take out. Dead. Dead. There's one more guy. I don't care. I don't care. Just, I'm flying. I'm flying. I don't trust his teammate to fly. I don't. No, no, no. Don't get in your own helicopter. No, no. No. There goes my setup. I don't know where my teammate's going. He's just flying in place. Why? Why? Why did he go into a helicopter on his own? I don't get this teammate at all. I mean, I'll just get to the drop off and I'll just sit back and keep my hopes up. All right. I've made it to the drop off. Um, so I see him close. No, he has helicopters after him. Aren't you supposed to go in stealth mode? I guess he doesn't know there's a stealth mode. Oh, I see him in the distance. Um, I don't want to say flying very gracefully. Just land the helicopter, please, please. Oh my God. Oh, okay. That was smooth. Yay. Finally, setup passed. All right, let's move on to the next setup. These next four setups are a lot easier, so that's something to look forward to. All right, we're jumping into our next setup right here. We have to escort ULP. I swear, these agents, they can't do anything themselves. Themselves. Like, come on, guys. Oh, my God. I forgot. Oh, this one, we have to go all the way to Polito Bay. Uh, this one isn't that hard, in my opinion. It's just annoying. 
What? Dude, how did my teammate commit or why? Um, okay. Well, as you can see, I have a new teammate. Um, I only have one teammate. But yeah, hopefully this guy's better. Um, he's proving me wrong there. Okay, so I've made it to the construction site all the way to Polito Bay. Yay. But now I have to take out the security team. And I keep forgetting to bring a Karuma. I do have a Karuma and I'm just not using it. And we have to take out all these people right in here so we can get the Chernabog. Yo, 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 yo. Oh my God, there's a lot. Dude, all of them are, why are y'all charging? Why are y'all charging? I'm the only one here. I don't know what my teammates are doing. Okay, I survived somehow. Yeah, this is definitely a Karuma mission. This is kind of dumb of me not to bring my Karuma, but it's okay. I'll just show off my talent. Okay, I didn't hide in the right spot. <laughs> I honestly don't know if I've ever even done this without a Karuma or whatever. Or not a Karuma. I usually do it with like a Vigilante or something armored that I can defend myself with. So a little bit of a different experience. But I mean, I shouldn't be dying there. I'll just put it at that. But now my teammate is here, though. I don't know what my teammate was doing. He was paused, I think, right before I died, if I remember correctly. Dude, what? those guys in the cars just don't miss. Oh, yeah. By the way, I didn't say this during the first setup. We're doing all these setups on normal. Holy stop. Can you stop shooting me? What is up with it? Why? What? They're not missing. The heck? Okay, yeah, I'm not dealing with you guys in the car anymore. Those guys in the cars, they do not miss. Wow, my teammate died. I can't really say too much right now because, well, I died pretty consistently earlier. And my teammate died again. Okay. I mean, I did that earlier too, but let's cut it out. Okay, let's cut it out. Oh, and my teammate left. Oh, my God, uh, I have to drive all the way back here. <laughs> That's what I'm mostly worried about right now. <laughs> I have to drive all the way back here. Uh, I'll bring a Karuma next time around. All right, let's try this again. I upgraded this time from a level 91, I think, to a level 1,777. I don't believe he's played the game that long, to be honest. This might be one of the modded accounts, but I don't know. We'll just have to see. Oh my, I forgot to get the Karuma. I forgot. Oh my, wait, 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 wait. Can I call my mechanic during this? I completely forgot. Why is so Someone's spectating. Well, anyways, I called in my Karuma. My Karuma's here. We're good now. This will be a little easier. My teammate has an Imani Tech vehicle, which is somewhat armored, but not as armored as this. They're not going to be throwing any bombs at us, so Karuma's definitely the way to go as far as, like, armor is concerned. All right, so I finally made it back to the construction site. I have my Karuma now, so I can just sit here and blow that thing up. I don't know why they blow up so easily. Oh, I think my teammate's using the vehicle he's using because he can throw explosives out of his. Oh, okay. Okay, that makes some sense. I don't know if I agree with it still, but it makes sense now. My teammate, I think, has killed more people than I have, I think. Yeah, my teammate did a great job. So now my teammate's in the Chernabog. There's also a ramp buggy right here. I think I definitely need to be in that Chernabog, but I have to wait for him to, like, stop his vehicle. <laughs> if I remember correctly, I think the passenger is the only one allowed to shoot the missiles on the back. I don't think the person driving can even do that. Okay, so I've made it in the Chernabog now, so I can finally lock onto things and just send a few missiles their way. Yeah, the thing with this set up and i said it was an annoying setup instead of hard it's annoying because ulp is in a helicopter and ulp has to make it to some location but he flies so slow in the helicopter and there's so many like enemy helicopters that like spawn and i probably have to kill like 40 enemy helicopters to be honest or something like that so yeah this setup is probably gonna take like close to 10 minutes from here on out wait what happened my team qu what why 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 we have to do that all over again why all right we're doing this setup for what is this, the third crew that we've gathered now we have three people in here this time all right once again i am back at the construction site where i have to take out some more avon members or whatever um hmm, let me just shoot this just on the side somewhere don't you blow up yep i don't get that i don't get how these things just blow up so easily one of my teammates is inside of my career my then my other teammate has his own Karuma, so that's nice. All right, everyone's dead, so now we need to get into the Chernabog. Um, I'll drive it, I guess. That's fine. All right, so I'm driving the Chernabog, and this thing is so weird to drive around. And then we just have to escort ULP once again, and, you know, same old boring blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, pretty much essentially all I do is a Chernabog is I just kind of, like, drive, 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 and then I just stop, and then I kind of put this Chernabog into, like, a stationary position or whatever. There's, like, a certain mode, and then whoever's in the passenger seat can use 
this little missile thing. I'm not controlling that. That is my teammate. Dude, what is this aim? This is my high level teammate, right? Yeah, this is the level 144. Oh, great. My teammate died. That was driving around the RC Bandito. Oh, did I really just say RC Bandito? That is so dumb by me. No, it's the um the ramp buggy. That's it. It's the ramp buggy. Why did I forget that? So now we have no lives left. And he literally has the most useless job, to be honest. I mean, he is not doing much at all. I mean, I'm not doing much at all either, but I have a bigger role than he does. And then probably our most important guy is the guy in the missile. All right, finally, finally. I don't think any more Avon's agents are going after ULP. Jeez, this is such a boring setup. It's so annoying because who flies a helicopter that slow? I am pretty sure that took like 10 minutes to go literally from Polito Bay to Sandy Shores on just on the other side of the Alamo Sea. And finally, setup pass. Let's move on to the next one. All right, we're jumping into the third setup right here. We're doing the setup called Barrage. And well, pretty much as the title says, we have to go in steal a barrage. I think we have to kill some people a little bit after, but the next three setups, in my opinion, are pretty easy. So I am very excited to hurry up and get through these. All right, I've made it to the ambush point. I have to wait for a convoy. Now, Lester supplied us with these snipers that have explosive rounds in them. So this is what he wants us to use to take down this convoy that's right here. This cargo bob will not go down. Hello? Okay, there we go. Cargo bob's down. I have to take out everything else quickly because I'm getting shot. All right, there we go. Everything's taken out. So now let's go and collect that barrage and deliver that barrage. All right, so the barrage landed um right there where I just wrecked. So let's get inside of the barrage and let's deliver it. All right, so we've made it to Sandy Shores Airfield, which is where we were supposed to go. Now we kind of have to take out some supplies, like that thing right there. All right, there we go. That thing's dead. So I'm going to get out. I'm just going to take out everything else on my own. Oh, wait, we still have rounds. We have explosive rounds in this thing. It's huge. God, I love explosive round snipers. Oh, I forgot to mention, I'm doing this with one other teammate. This is the low-level teammate from last time. It's a little 22. The thing with this low-level teammate is that this low-level teammate doesn't die. He's not doing much to help me, but he doesn't die. That's all I need. What a great teammate. That's all he needs to do. What a great teammate. And wow, I think we just killed everyone. So now we just need to get into the barrage and oh, we just have to deliver the barrage to the drop-off, which is just, just like a mile away. Then we should be good to go. Bad, 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 dumb. I almost choked there, low-key. But we're good, we're good, it's okay. Still first attempt. And there we go, we delivered the barrage to the drop-off. And boom, there we go, set up passed. So now we have two more setups that we have to get into. So let's get into those so we can finally get to the finale. All right, so we're jumping into the fourth setup right here, which is going to be the Kanjali setup. This one's pretty easy too, kind of like the barrage. It's a lot quicker though, I think, if I remember correctly. All right, so I've made it to their test site or whatever. So we need to destroy some equipment right now and then what we have to do is we have to see the Kanjali after. All right, yeah, I'm going to have to get out of my crew. Before... <sighs> my God, I hate walking around with sticky bombs. Yeah, put the sticky bombs away. I'll deal with it later. Dude, who is shooting me? Oh, it's you. You have a shotgun. Okay, yeah, that's why. Okay, I had a feeling I was taking a lot of damage. All right, so now let's blow up everything and get back into our Karuma. All right, there we go. Everything has been taken out, so I'm getting back into my Karuma where it's safe, and then we'll steal a Kanjali. All right, so yeah, there's apparently a bunch of guys that we should kill. I mean, I'll run them over just for fun, and then I'm gonna go over here. We're gonna take out a few guys in here. Okay, I think we're pretty much safe at this point. Safe-ish. So now let's just get into the Kanjali. Oh, man, my teammate died. You know, I'm okay with my teammate that He's been so good the past two setups, I think. So I, I'm going to cut him some slack. And I lost a life for holding a sticky bomb. So I'm going to cut that guy some slack, eh? At this rate, this teammate looks like he's going to come and join us for the finale. Now, if he starts repeatedly dying there, I'm going to get pissed. But as of right now, he's doing all right. Is there a guy right in here? No, not today. And then there's like two guys in here that are just annoying. Yeah, like, these two guys in here, they both have shotguns. So they're incredibly annoying. My personal vehicle has been destroyed. I think I was my teammate accidentally blowing it up. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. All right. So I called back my Karuma, but my Karuma is actually kind of far away. Can I drive like an insurgent there? Yes. Oh, thank you. I will drive this insurgent to pick up my Karuma, which for some reason spawned all the way over here. Don't know why. All right. Back in the Karuma. So let's just drive over here. Um, maybe run over that guy for fun. It's always fun to run over that guy. Let's shoot a few people that are just in this area. All right. So I'm going to get out here. 
here. I'm gonna just immediately get into the Kanjali. Hopefully my teammate can hurry up. Dude, my teammate died. Teammate is not the best when it comes to getting into the Kanjali at this point. Uh, I need to pick up my teammate. He's spawning on the other side. I, I have to go pick him up quick. All right, here's my teammate. Here's my, here's my teammate. Get in, get in, get in, get in. All right, there we go. My teammate's getting in, so yeah. Honestly, at this point, that is set up pass. I mean, from this point on, it's pretty easy. All we have to do is just drive to the drop off and we should be good to go. Dude, okay, these helicopters are actually being incredibly annoying. Like, can you, can you stop? Can you stop? Don't remember this helicopter part being annoying. I can't. I did. There's so much chaos going on. Dude, there's so much. These helicopters. I've never had an issue with this setup. And now this setup's like being annoying. Okay, that helicopter's dead. All right, so Lester just told us Avon's men aren't going to come after us anymore. So yeah, just smooth sailing down to the drop off. And there we go. Set up as we have one more setup to do, but I have to complete a prep for that setup. So yeah, I guess I'll see you when I'm able to actually do that setup. All right, so we finally made it to the final setup right here. We're doing the setup air defenses. This one's honestly a little bit boring in my opinion. Maybe not as boring as the escorting ULP mission, but eh, still kind of boring. We should be able to do this first attempt. I mean, like there's really no threat to us during this setup aside from me crashing a plane. All right, beautiful. We've made it to the volatile. So yeah, I have to fly around this big plane and we have to take out some air defenses. So yeah, I pretty much have to take out 12 air defenses. I'm pretty much gonna switch to this camera right here. I just hold down the A button and I'm just gonna be sending bombs down essentially. That's pretty much what I'm doing. Oh, well, I guess there are helicopters after me. I didn't even know there was enemies after me. I don't remember them being a big factor like at all. So I don't expect them to be a factor right now. Oh my God, my teammate destroyed one. Okay, all right. I think I would have gotten it too there too. But hey, if my teammate wants to get them, I'm cool with it. Just makes my job a lot easier. Dude, this thing is so slow. What is wrong with this thing? I can't fly up. Finally, I'm on the board. Finally got one. Jeez, I kept screwing up. We got another one down. All right, did I get that last one? All right, there we go. Last one has been destroyed. I mean, it's a little difficult, that setup, but I mean, it's not much to really say during it, though. The enemies just kind of run into the mountain and kind of just kill themselves. So yeah, we really don't take any damage at all on the volatile. So yeah, all I have to do is just deliver the volatile to Sandy Shores Airfield and yeah, set up pass and we get to start the fun of the hardest heist in the game, the Doomsday Say heist act number what did I hit? What, what did I hit? No, 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 no. I don't know what I hit. It's dark. I can't see everything. What did I hit? Ah, oh, no. Do I have to do that all over again? Now it's gonna suck. I'm so lost at what I even hit. It's just so dark. I hate playing this game at night. I don't know why they code it in nighttime during the game. They're probably not the best way to try to land um plane, I will admit, but geez. Okay, I don't have to kill all 12 targets, but I still have to kill six targets, so that's still annoying. Okay, now let's try to land this thing again. I am going off from the other side of the airstrip, and okay, yeah, we landed that time. We should need to make it to the end of the runway, and the volatile should be delivered, and we should be able to start up the finale. All right, there we go. Set up pass. Finally, we can start up the finale. So I'm at the payout room right here, and I could get 85%, but this guy stayed in for a very long time. This is the same guy that we had since the second setup. So I'm going to bump mine down to 75%. I'm going to give him 25%. I think that's actually pretty fair for all that he's contributed. So Dr. Crush can be nice to his teammates every once in a while. I know it's a very rare sight, but this guy deserves it. Now, if he leaves during this heist out of frustration and someone else joins, that person's getting 15%. But this guy is going to get 25. All right, here we go. The doomsday scenario, act number three. Oh, this is going to be a fun time. Oh, yeah. We did all the setups on normal difficulty. Now we are doing the finale on hard difficulty. So no spare lives. All right. So we've made it over here to what vehicle we can use. And I always let my teammate pick. Pick. Oh, okay. 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 So he shot there. Okay. That's enough of an indicator. That's fine. He wants to use a tank. <laughs> oh, that was a sweet 360 with a tank. Some people are just like, oh, I don't know what to do. I'll just go with the barrage. And then we go with the barrage and then it's painful. Oh my God. I just remember there's a part during this heist. I usually like to get kills with a grenade launcher. I don't have a grenade launcher. I mean, I can throw grenades, but it's just not the same. I'm going to have to throw so many grenades. I might need Tommy John surgery after this. All right. We've made it to the tunnel entrance. 
then, yeah, let the fun begin. All right, so we have to just drive all the way to the end of the tunnel. There's going to be a few guards or whatnot in the way, like right here. I mean, like, I can just go like that. Oh, I didn't even get a kill right there. I don't know how I didn't get a kill, but whatever. But even if I don't shoot, I can just drive right past them, so it's not a big deal. Look at this. Haha, <laughs> loser. Think they could stop me with their insurgent? Yeah, nah. Nah, you can't. You can't with your insurgent. Just pew pew, move forward. All right, so we've made it to the end of the tunnel, and look, Juggernaut. Oh, hey, bud. Hey, hey, I missed you, Juggernaut. Um, yeah, but luckily, since we got the tank, I can just easily... Well, how did I miss that one? Anyways, I can easily just go and just kill him with the tank, so that's nice. And now, this is where the real fun begins. We have to take out all these people, and these people, honestly, don't miss a lot of shots. I did most of these setups with this teammate, and honestly, this teammate didn't die a lot, but he didn't do a lot to help me, to be honest, aside from not dying. Not dying is always just helping me, so I don't know how this is going to go, to be honest. I'm just going to start throwing grenades, because there's a juggernaut that comes in this way, so I'm just going to keep throwing grenades till that juggernaut dies. Oh my god, he died. Okay, good. I guess that's going to be my strategy for this. Usually, I just do a grenade launcher. My team is getting a few kills. I see that. I see you. Definitely feel like I'm getting the majority of the kills, but I'm okay with it. Alright, so now I have to destroy supply boxes. Um, There's a supply box in here, so the little grenade in there. You know the drill. Alright, so two more supplies have been taken out. Um, Yeah, honestly, my teammate's doing good. He is assisting me. Kind of surprising, to be honest. Alright, here we go. Here's another supply crate. So now I need to get one more supply crate. Alright, there we go. All the supply crates have been taken out. So now we need to get to the control center, but we have to take out two more juggernauts, or they're gonna be at least in our way. So, here we kind of have to take them out. Alright, so I have to take out some more juggernauts. So, yeah, this is gonna be fun. Oh my god, I just did that. I just did that. Oh my god. Now, to be fair, my teammate was not hiding in a good spot right in front of the juggernaut, so I don't think he would have survived, but at least I would have liked to have seen that. This part, all he has to do is just, just pretty much sit back. Just let me get in the tank, and I'll take care of things. All right, there we go. Enough of a path has been cleared now, so let's go through the tunnels. Oh, I, okay, I killed the juggernaut there. Nice. All right, so now let's just walk and shoot, walk and shoot. All right, so once again, I just have to take out all the... Hey, I swear I thought that guy was dead. There was no one on the minimap. If no one's on the minimap, I shouldn't have to worry about him. All right, so the first two attempts, I've died stupidly twice. That's not good. I'm not playing well right now. I'm gonna say it. I definitely yell at my teammates for being stupid, but if I'm stupid, I gotta hold myself accountable too. And right now, I'm playing stupid. I need to clean up my act. Definitely have to clean up my act. I've done this heist plenty of times. Well, maybe not plenty. I've done this heist enough. Still not easy, but I should be able to hold my own. And right now, I'm not. So I have to take care of that. To not shoot homing missiles right at the wall and front of me that'd be nice maybe make sure everyone's dead before moving forward that'd be nice my teammate hasn't died once we gotten past that first part that's kind of a surprise especially for a low level like he is oh my god how many okay there we go a lot of grenades have been thrown but they finally died all right i'm afraid to move forward but i'm gonna take out that thing okay this guy died that time all right cool Oh my, no, 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 no. I'm not a fan of that. I'm just not at all. I had very close to full health and it just gets all shelled out in less than a half second. Yeah, no, I'm not a fan of that. I'm not a fan of that at all. I don't know who would be a fan of that. What if I do a homing missile from here, huh? I'm always afraid of this homing missile now with these juggernauts, but I just don't have the good weapons that I like to use. Okay, there we go, juggernaut dead. The grenade tactic has been working. I gotta keep doing that. All right, there we go. All the supplies have been taken out once again. So now we just have to make it to the control center. Last time we made it this far, I shot a rocket right in front of me and died. That's not going to happen again. I'm not going to pull out the rocket unless if I'm 100% certain that I can get it past the wall. No, no. Who? Where? How? Oh, my God. Where? Who? What? When? Where? Why? The art of storytelling, what I just laid out. The story of that last attempt, there is a lot of those who, what, when, where, why that is left unanswered. Because how the hell did I die? Dude, when will this juggernaut there again? No, no, I'm dead. I'm I can't move. Oh my god. I try to get out the way. Oh my god. God, I miss a grenade launcher. I'll give it to my teammate. He is not dying. How is he? How? How? Oh, he did finally die. Jeez, man, that's the first time he died stupidly. I can't get so mad at you. 
holy crap i almost died because of that jeez that was a little risky what i tried to do but got it done all right i'm not going that way i've died too many times going that way i don't know if my teammate no my teammate does not recognize what i'm doing he might die honestly i think at that point i get surrounded so i want to go back here and kind of tackle it from one side moving over my teammate's not dead which i'm kind of surprised i mean he hasn't died but he hasn't been killing a lot so definitely kind of surprised that he's still alive oh my god i think he killed pretty much everyone except for that one guy right there that was really far away okay yeah he's holding his own still died a lot less than i have i mean he's incredibly cautious that's definitely part of the reason but i mean usually i play with low levels that are like heavily aggressive which it's not good this guy is at least allowing me to screw up instead of the other guys aren't even allowing me to screw up if i even will screw up if that makes any sense no, 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 no. That is the second time that ex same exact thing happened. That same freaking guy can just shell me so quickly. He acts like a juggernaut. He's not. He's a normal agent. All right, there we go. Destroyed all of his supplies once again. Now, I need to kill that one guy that keeps killing me at this point. That guy is right there. I think that's the guy. I don't know. I can't really tell. Yeah, that was the guy. All right, cool. All right, now I have to take out some more juggernauts. Um, Oh, my. God, I almost pulled out the homing missiles again. Yeah, no, nah, we're not doing that right now. See, my teammate's not in a good... Yeah, uh, yeah. That's what was going to happen. The first attempt. Wow, that's kind of sad that this is the best attempt since the first attempt. Jeez. But anyways, I'm not mad at him at all. I'm not. I have a feeling this guy's smart enough where he'll see that mistake that he did and he'll learn from it. He's a low level. He doesn't kill a ton of people. Well, actually, that time he had 19 kills, but he doesn't kill a ton of people. He is very smart about it, so I had to give him props for that. No, 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 no. No, no. From where? Mars? Narnia? Jupiter? Probably from Jupiter, because everyone that makes this game is stupider. God, that was a stupid joke. I'm just so frustrated at this point. All right, there we go. All the supplies have been taken out once again. Yay. Um, can we actually, like, complete this? <laughs> okay, there we go. I got that guy who's, like, the juggernaut wannabe. All right, so I'm a little lost still on how I'm going to kill these juggernauts. Just a little lost, because I don't think these juggernauts will, like, move close to me. What if I just blindly shoot and just hope? I literally have no other idea because that juggernaut's aiming right at me too. Maybe if I go this way. No, he's still going to shoot me that way. Yeah, I'm going to have to do something like this. This could be a while, honestly, because we learned from the first attempt we can't use a homing launcher here. I can't throw grenades that far. I don't have any other weapon that can really do any damage from this far away. Maybe do a little risky. Just a little beep, beep, beep. A little risky. Eat some snacks. Reload. Risky, risky, risky. Oh, okay. There we go. That's one down. Such a weird spot to hide. Oh, my teammate got the kill okay no oh my god i almost died there dude this dork this dork you know what no 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 yeah you you're not gonna play around with me like that god i have not made it this far yet can we please hit the checkpoint we're so close oh wait am i going the wrong i think i'm going the wrong way i think i'm being stupid that's okay that's what happens when you're just mentally destroyed after these first i don't even know how many attempts it's been a lot okay there we go we need to go this way why is there two ways maybe gta should have a little update or something Thing where we can go the other way for something teammate come on control center now we did it we've made it to the control center this is a checkpoint oh my god we hit a checkpoint all right now let's go to the second part right once we get up to the second floor it gets a little bit easier in my opinion just a little bit it's still pretty difficult i have to do some hacking and it's a pretty tough hack but I've, I've gotten used to it at this point at least i think i've gotten used to it okay my teammate died but it's okay i'm just happy we made the checkpoint you know i will say something i am surprised my teammate has not left yet after the amount of times that we've attempted this i don't know how long it's been it's been a while it's definitely been over an hour okay my teammate's dying yeah he just doesn't know the right route at this point which i think is fine he'll learn he showed that he can learn from his mistakes it's the second time he's done that now he, he'll learn he'll learn i have faith all right i think i've cleared out a decent enough path for me to make it to the second floor all right so now at this point i just start sprinting to the server and hope my teammate can survive which i mean he's done a pretty decent job at until recently so hopefully he can pull through now yeah this hack is a little bit difficult but i mean i'm so used to it at this point that i should be able to complete this pretty quickly see i think this is my teammate's first time doing this heist noticing by some of the mistakes that he's made so i'll take care of the hacks all right so now we have to go to the next server we have to go through four servers which is going to be fun all right there we go here's the second server let's start hacking oh, okay he died it's a little tough for a level, what is he, 26 at this point? He's level 26 to defend himself, but I mean, it's the first few attempts, so I'm gonna cut him some slack. He's gotta get used to it all.
Are you kidding me? I didn't even squat down yet to hide, and I die. Like, I'm not even given an opportunity to try to survive at this point. It's just, you walk in, bang, dead. It's not walk in, ooh, maybe you can escape out of this if you play well. No, it's just walk in, dead. Why? I don't like this hack. Dude, of course, this is the one that my teammate is actually, like, falling out onto. I cannot figure out this hack. I do not know why I cannot figure this out. I usually figure it out. Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. Maybe I'm figuring it out right now. Yeah, okay, I finally figured that hack out. That was such a weird way to complete this. All right, there we go. Is that the first one? Yeah, that was only the first hack with this attempt. I feel so bad for my teammate on this attempt. He's gone through hell, and I'm just out here failing that hack. No... Okay, 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 okay. So what we've learned here is my teammate can definitely survive the first hack because I spent, I think, over five minutes at that first hack. That's embarrassing. I'm even saying that. He cannot defend himself anywhere else from the looks of it. Did he just die? Oh my God, I didn't even make it to the first hack. Okay, come on. Come on, teammate. You've done so well up until this point. You figured out a lot too. Come on, come on. Let's put the puzzle together, please. I'm going to say it again. Who, what, when, where, why. None of those were answered right there. Okay, maybe the when. Did you get mowed down so quickly? Like, come on. Like, not even giving me a chance to even... I'm going to say it again. Who, what, when, where, why. The art of storytelling. There's not a story there. There's just not. Damn it. My teammate quit. Damn it. Man, I don't blame him. He seems like a nice guy. He just messaged me. He says 5 a.m. wherever he is. I'm so sorry, man. I'm so sorry. I got to stop too today. I got to come back another day. After how long? Six hours of recording. <laughs> and I have to do that first part all over again. All right, let's try this again. Act number three, the doom day scenario instead of getting a 75 percent cut like how i did the first time with that other teammate we are getting now a 85 percent so i would really like to complete this all right it's a new day for me and i'm filming this on sunday and well you know this time of year if you live in america on sundays football is playing and i enjoy watching football so i'm gonna be doing this heist a heist i've been struggling with a lot while i watch football so this is going to be great all right so we've made it over to the vehicles that we can choose. I would like to get in the tank. I would like to finish this quickly, so I'm going to convince... Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I want him to drive, because I need to put on a good game to watch, honestly. Hold on. Alright, so we finally made it to the tunnel entrance, and yeah, let the fun begin. Alright, we've made it to the end right here. Uh, my teammate, can you please move forward? I can't see anything. See, this is why I shouldn't have let him drive. Oh my god, he's gonna get out. Well, let's watch this. Oh, I'm gonna be the one that dies, because I get out on the other side. That's great. Okay, whatever. He didn't set that up right, so that's a great start. He could have driven up a little bit closer so you know you could use the tank to kill someone but it's fine all right now this is the real first attempt this is where the fun begins um i do not want to do this more than once i would like to complete it now is that possible i doubt it oh god my teammate died like immediately oh no don't be stupid i might have forgotten to get snacks in between i turned my xbox off <laughs> right after yeah and I, I definitely used a lot of snacks i might run out of snacks very quickly so that's going to be fun what hey there's no supply box in here oh now there's a supply box in there oh okay love it yep i've already run out of snacks oh my god that's not good yeah i, I literally just have to sit here and just wait for my health to regen dude i hate doing this with like no freaking health i literally just have to sit here and just wait for my health to regen or risk it so stupid i should have definitely gotten snacks i definitely had an opportunity to which sucks well honestly my teammate's kind of pushing forward now and he's not doing a bad job he's not dying who what oh my god okay my teammate died right there too um yeah i cannot do this without snacks i'm gonna have to leave and do this again all right let's try this again i have a new teammate because the teammate from last attempt when i didn't have snacks he, um, he didn't want to join back unfortunate but i got snacks so that's nice and then this teammate right here he's at level 400 so a completely different ball game and he said hey let me go get some snacks too and get some armor that already tells me he knows what he's doing so i'm very excited could this be a first attempt completion Maybe. Maybe. All right, all right, all right. We've made it back here. Since we have a good teammate, I'll let him pick. No, no, no. Pick. Pick, 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 pick. Okay, okay, okay. He's kind of nudging his way this way. So oh, we're getting the tank once again. We're not going to play around with the barrage today. Did I just fling him over? <laughs> I think I flung him over with the turret. My bad. All right, we're back at the tunnel entrance. I am hoping this is the last time we go to the tunnel entrance. All right, so we made it to the end of the tunnel and let the fun begin. Hello, Juggernaut. I have missed you. All right, I have snacks now and I have brought a high level this time. 
Oh yeah, by the way, I'm still getting 85% duty, except at 15%. Kind of shocked. I would have paid, honestly, but part of negotiation, am I right? All right, so how is this going to work? Um, I'm going to start throwing grenades, but is my teammate going to do something? I mean, my teammate's just sitting back. Okay, he's just letting me take care of it, I guess. I would trust this teammate, at least, if he wanted to take care of it. Dude, this guy's killing a lot of people. I think it's pretty even as far as, like, how many people we've killed, and I am a fan of it. Our teammate from the first attempt, we definitely should have completed it with him, honestly. I feel kind of bad, but this guy is pretty great, too. I mean, this has been a great first attempt so far. God, this is so fun. Just using my combat MG and just hoping something hits. Oh my god, I got it. Okay, nice. I got that kill. Alright, let's keep going. Good lord. Okay, a lot of explosions, but we've made it to the controls that are on our first attempt. This has gone swimmingly. Alright, so now we're here at the control center. To this teammate is killing a ton of people, and I am so happy about it. Dude, he's even taking my kills. The kills I usually get. Uh, this is so great. It's like a little battle to see how many kills each of us are going to get. Like, this, this is great. All right, well, he's going to get more now because I'm going to start hacking. Now, this is a guy I definitely feel like can... Well, we've already seen it, but he can definitely defend himself. Dude, can we go from, like, struggling on this heist to, like, getting the elite challenge? Like, we're starting to get into that territory. Like, you might think I'm joking. I think it's more reasonable than you think because this is still our first attempt. Most of my kills have been headshots, or at least a good percentage of them, and I think that's one one of the things for the elite challenge. All right, there we go. Hack number one done. He is still alive. He is thriving. I am thriving right now. Let's head over to the second server. All right, there we go. Another hack done. That one took me a little bit, honestly. But there we go. Holy blood. Look at all the blood everywhere. Or right, whatever. Just keep moving. Keep moving. All right, there we go. Another hack done. That one was very quick. That one is an easy hack. All right, I have to get one more hack done. All right, there we go. Fourth hack done. That's all the hacks we have to do. This is still our first attempt. I'm getting shot, though. Oh, uh, yeah. Now we just have to take out Avon's goons, the remaining ones, I think. All right, there we go. We should have to go to the top floor now. This is where it gets easier. This is so great. I am so happy right now. All right, so now we can just go to an orbital cannon. We just have to take out the mobile cloud servers or something. All right, here we go. Here's the first mobile cloud server. All we have to do is just go pew pew. There we go. One down, three more to go. All right, I'm at my next one. My teammate got another one. So we just have to get one more mobile cloud server. And I'm pretty sure my teammate's probably going to get that one. No. No! No! There's no way he did that on purpose. There's no way. There's no way he did that on purpose. No, that was like the smoothest run I've ever had. I assume he lagged out. No, that was so good. That was literally the smoothest run I've ever had. And then something happened. I don't want to say he left. I doubt that was on purpose. All right, he said his internet disconnected. I trust him. I trust him. I'm inviting him back. And I'm going to give him more money too. I will give him more money because that was such a smooth attempt. All right, I'm back here. I am giving him 5% more. He deserves it. That was such a smooth first attempt. I expect nothing less this next attempt. My expectations are very high now. I actually did look up the Elite Challenge, too. Honestly, everything with the Elite Challenge is doable, like, without thinking, to be honest. Aside from getting 75 headshots, that's going to be the tough one. It's definitely going to be the tough one. But we have to kill, like, 150 people. We're definitely going to have opportunities. Like, last attempt, I think we killed 150 or close to to it between the two of us. I think I had 67 kills. He had 74. The other challenges are completing it in less than 30 minutes, which I don't know how fast it usually takes us, but I feel like that's doable. I mean, that just sounds doable. Um, And then it's don't die, obviously. And then you don't fail a hack, which I can take care of that. That's not an issue. So yeah, honestly, as hard as this heist is, I feel like this elite challenge is very doable. I went from absolutely just sucking for like two hours straight yesterday to like actually having the elite challenge in my mind right now of actually actually completing it. Well, that would be such a turnaround for one day to get the elite challenge. We'll probably complete it first attempt. We'll get all the objectives. Then I'll only get like 74 headshots or something stupid like that. It's probably gonna be something stupid. All right, there we go. We have made it back to the vehicles. I'm just jumping straight into the tank. I assume the timer starts like literally when the heist starts and then until we actually land at the observatory to complete this heist. I assume that's how it works, that timer. Oh, you know what? I don't think this could apply here, but I think when you get like a challenge, it's like 75 headshots or something like that. Like, I could get headshots on these, like, civilians right in here. I, I think it would count as headshots. I think there's, like, some stupid loopholes that you can do. But we're not going to take any loopholes. We're going to do it the legit way. All right, so we're inside the tunnel again. Let's make it all the way back there. No! No! Stop! 
Dude, oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, the internet is starting to just become a potato at this point for him. I don't want to attempt this with anyone else, to be honest, at this point, because I know this guy can actually complete this. But we gotta stay in. Oh, 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 oh. I thought it was 75 headshots. It's 150. Okay, that is a lot worse. <laughs> Oops. All right, we're back at it again. Uh, we have the same teammate. I talked to him a little bit. He doesn't know if his internet can honestly hold up throughout this entire heist. And I told him I'm gonna give him one more opportunity. All right, we're back in the tunnel. I hope this is the last time I'm gonna be inside of this tunnel. All right, back at the end of the tunnel. Hello, Juggernauts. I've really missed you. Um, Y'all need to go. Ah, let the fun begin again for like the 20th time. Honestly, probably like more like the 100th time. My teammate is still in the tank. That's not a great sign. Does that mean that he's gonna lag out? Okay. Oh, never mind. He's out. Just kidding. The Juggernaut's dead? I don't know how the Juggernaut's dead. I guess my teammate killed the Juggernaut with the combat MG, which I'm a little surprised by. All right, I'm splitting up from my teammate this time to try to do this a little quicker. I choked. God dang it. I'm just trying to do this so quickly. That's on me. I'm just trying to do this quickly so he doesn't lag out. Dude, no, 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 no. Why in the world? Oh my God. Good thing I booked it out of there as quickly as possible. All right, there we go. All the supply crates have been taken out. I'm a little bit ahead of my teammate right now. I might honestly need to just chill out a little bit because this next part with the juggernauts is just a little bit nicer to do with the teammate. All right, I'm next to my teammate again. So now let's go to this next part. One jug down. Oh, I think my teammate just got the other one. Nice. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. All right, there we go. We've made it to the control center again. All right, all right, all right, all right. Been here before. Before, and we've done this pretty easily. All right, we're back in here again. I need to eat some snacks so don't die, you know. I made it up to this floor. Um, Yeah, I got to start hacking again. I got I to do these hacks quick. All right, there we go. First hack done. Let's move on to the next one. There we go. Hack number two is down. Uh, that took us a little bit longer than I wanted it to, but uh, it's okay. Just keep going. All right, there we go. Another hack down. One more hack to go. All right, there we go. The last hack is down. All right, so we just need to take out the remaining goons that are here. All right, there we go. Everyone's taken out. We need to go to the top floor and go destroy some mobile cloud servers. Again. All right, there we go. One mobile cloud server taken out. Three more to go. All right, there we go. Another cloud server is taken out. My teammate got one of them, so we have one more to go. And there we go. He got the last one, so let's get out of here. Let's get out of here now. All right, so I'm here at the lab exit, and we have to take out just a few more people. Ha-ha. <laughs> Love taking out all these goons. Huh? Dude, he wasn't on the minimap. I guarantee you he wasn't on the minimap. What the heck? It's annoying. Would like to be done with this. I hope that was a checkpoint. I don't remember. I usually don't fail at this spot. Okay, it definitely was a checkpoint. That's nice. That's very nice. Thank you. All right, where is this mystery person that killed me last time? Oh, he's dead now. Oh, okay. We're almost to the silo. We just need to keep making our way through here. All right, we've made it to the silo. We are so close. We are so close to completing this. Oh, Avon, you clown. I don't like you. I do not like you after all this. We need to do our best Jimmy Neutron impersonation and go after him and, you know, I gotta blast and go get him. Alright, so there's some helicopters coming our way. We have to take them out. Dude, is this what it really feels like to be Jimmy Neutron? Okay, my teammate killed Avon Hertz. Why can we not hit this helicopter? It's literally right in front of us. Thank you. I've literally just been sitting there trying to get that helicopter for the longest time. I don't know what the heck that was, but whatever. Can we just get out of here, please? I don't think I had to even take out that helicopter. Just fly to the observatory and let's park this jetpack and let's get the final cutscene and give me my money and give me that mission passed cutscene or no it's heist pass i don't care just give me something passed all right all we need to do is just land we just need to land the thruster right here oh my gosh we're finally getting the final cutscene thank you finally heist passed somehow i got platinum i don't even know how i got platinum but whatever well i got an achievement a world worth saving um i don't know after all this but we got one million eight hundred thousand dollars for that um we did not do the elite challenge i screwed that up um i completed the heist for the first time so i got fifty thousand dollars extra hey wait 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 wasn't i supposed to get more hold on i completed the entire thing in order all right i got the objective all in order number two where's my money for the all in order number two i got fifty thousand dollars extra okay honestly i was expecting a little bit bigger of an extra bag than what i got yo where where's my bag all right whatever i still made a lot of money so now at three million nine hundred and eight thousand dollars which is well over the amount I need to have in order to get the buzzard attack chopper. So let me go purchase that. All right, here's the buzzard attack chopper. Once again, let's purchase it. And there we go. So after that purchase, I now have $2,158,000. So we're pretty much kind of like halfway there to buying the nightclub next. All right, so getting the buzzard attack chopper is really
really nice because I can go and click my Securo Serve CEO interaction menu. I can go to CEO vehicles and now I can call in the buzzard for absolutely free instead of having to pay $25,000. And then it just spawns in right over here. And yeah, this is my new buzzard attack jobber. And this is going to be probably my main vehicle for going from one point on the map to another. We're taking things to the sky now. Back in August, I started as a level one on a new account in GTA Online. And the only way I've made money on this account is by spinning a wheel determining what I should do to make money. So today in this video, I will spin that wheel again to see what I will do in this episode to make money. So welcome to the 18th episode of season number two of Loser to Luxury. And without further ado, let's jump into it. So currently right now, I am on the wheel of quick cash. But before I spin the wheel of quick cash, I just want to remind you that we are trying to buy the Del Perro nightclub next. For what I want to buy in this nightclub, I need a total of four million and two hundred dollars thousand dollars and currently right now i have two million one hundred and sixty one thousand dollars so we're pretty much halfway there to buying that del perro nightclub but how are we going to start out this episode in order to make money so the wheel is spinning and it looks like we are gonna have to go out and do a junk energy time trial so now i'm on the wheel of making money so what are we gonna have to do in this episode in order to make money and it looks like we have the pleasure of getting to join a random heist and this is not including the original heist okay so now i'm on the wheel of random heist and this is going to determine what heist we have to join so on this wheel we have the kyle perico heist the diamond casino heist and the doomsday heist so what heist are we gonna have to join in this episode as a guess and it looks like we are gonna have to go to the diamond casino for the first time and just rob the place so i have to join a random diamond casino heist but what else in this episode am i going to have to do in order to make money and it looks like we are going to have to do whatever we want but it is only determined by melee kills within a span of 10 minutes so i get to do whatever i want but it is only determined by melee kills in 10 minutes but then I have to join a random diamond casino ice as a guest but first i have to go do the junk energy time trial all right so i'm here at the junk energy time trial and this one is the marlo vineyards time trial so let's get into it all right can we get a first attempt completion that'd be incredibly nice it really should be first attempt i do have maxed out stamina so shouldn't be an issue but it is raining of course whenever i try to do something it's raining well, at least that's how i feel usually did i just screw that i just screwed that up i already screwed this up i went the wrong way i'm gonna keep going I'm just going to get back on the road right here. Yeah, yeah, that definitely was not how I was supposed to do it. I didn't hit that right, but whatever. It's fine. All right, I feel like since that one screw up, we've been doing pretty well. I've done this one before, but don't remember this one having too much issue. Oh, here it is. Here's literally the checkpoint. There we go. Boom. With 10 seconds to spare. I screwed up right at the beginning, and I still do pretty well. So I made $52,000 off of that time trial. So now I have $2,213,000. But now it is time for me to go into a public session and try to get melee kills. Okay, so currently right now, I'm in a public session and I'm gonna explain to you how this is going to work. So we have to try to get as many melee kills as we can in a span of 10 minutes to see how long I'll have to do whatever I want just to make money. So every melee kill, we get an additional 10 minutes to do whatever we want. And we start out with 20 minutes. So let's just say I get three melee kills. Well, that'll be an additional 30 minutes on top of the 20 minutes that we start out with. So in total, I'll have 50 minutes to do whatever I want. And how we're gonna get these melee kills is that I'm gonna go on my body 801 right here and have my stone hatchet in my hand and I'm just gonna go and I'm gonna die. That's probably what's going to happen. Um, I'm going to die a lot, but no, that's not a melee kill. Just in case you thought that was a melee kill, that's not a melee kill. So here, I'll show you. Look, ready? That's a melee kill right there. Oh, I'm getting sniped at. Dude, let me intro this. You know, that guy's a little early on trying to kill me. Like, just let me intro this. I need to show the people how I'm going to do this, and then you can start killing me. Anyways, I'm going to get on my body 801, right? I'm going to pull out my stone hatchet, then I'm going to go here, and then I'm just going to bam, bam, bam. And that we're gonna get a melee kill like that. Why are you taking a photo? No, no, don't take a photo of that. You're dead too. Great, now the cops on me. Jeez. I just want to get this started. So yeah, 10 minutes is on the timer. And well, I think we already have a target to go after. I'm probably not gonna get a kill on this guy, but I would like to give it a shot. But let's start the timer right now. All right, clock is running. Let's go after that orange guy that tried to kill me. There's literally a guy just sitting right there. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm not allowed to get anyone that's AFK. No! 
That was pretty close. I, you gotta admit, that was pretty close. Oh, great. Look, he's gonna peer around the corner. I have to get a melee kill. Yeah. You're doing great, guy. So, essentially, that guy is screaming out to the world that he doesn't have a life. I mean, that, that's cool. If you want to put that on display, I mean, that's fine. I feel like I should go after that guy one more time just for the people, you know? If I wasn't recording, I probably wouldn't go after this guy again. Probably just do whatever the heck I want. But, I mean, it's for the people. I haven't done this before, but I am gonna go off the radar. That's right. I'm gonna go off the radar. He's literally destroying product. I see it on the mini map. All right, $500 to go off the radar. No, he killed himself right as I got close to him. That was like my great opportunity. Oh, he's literally right there. Hold on, hold on. Okay. All right, yeah, this is just not going to work. It's just not going to work. It, nope, 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 nope. How much time is left on my clock? God dang it. I've wasted like three minutes trying to go after this guy. That was smart. Wasted 500 bucks to go off the radar, so that's great. And we're trying to make money, too. I have to wait to call on my vehicle. He's trying to blow me up again. I just want to leave. I need a dip. Please spawn my vehicle away. Yeah, he's bum rushing me. I just need a bum rush out of here. All right, all right, all right. We're taking the higher road here, and we're going to walk away with some integrity or bike away. And we're going to bike away without any kills. That's great. If he comes after me, I'm going to be pissed. Okay, so there's some people over here. Um... Oh, wait, that guy's AFK. Okay, no, I don't count. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We're not counting that. That is not a kill. My rule is I would like to see proof of someone moving before I can kill him. I didn't get proof there, so I'm not counting that. Well, thank you. That was great. I need someone to go after. I don't know who to go after in this session. This has been a terrible star. That guy goes after me again. I'm going to shoot him. Yep, here he comes. Yeah, yeah, you're dead. You're dead. How armored is this thing? Oh, I did kill him. What? what? Okay, obviously that doesn't count either because that's not a melee kill. I would just like an opportunity to get someone. I have zero kills so far. No, 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 no. Come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. Yep, here we go. Here we go. Bye-bye. Okay, yeah, okay. That's gone. He's not going to be able to call that in for a while, so that's great. What? He became ghosted to me. What a clown. You're the one trying to run me over. Whatever. Whatever, man. We have less than four minutes. Awesome. I still don't have a kill. This has been great. All right, here's a guy that's definitely AFK. Looks kind of griefery to me. Can you please show that you're moving? Show that you're moving. Show that you're moving. I need something. So this guy's not moving. There's a guy on the beach. I think that's going to have to be my hope. We have just over two minutes. I've done this probably around like, I don't know, like maybe six or seven times over the course of like two Loser to Luxury series. It is not been this bad. This has been just awful. Here's a guy right here. Dude, are you also AFK? Can you show that you're here? Dude, show that you're here. Okay, this has gone terrible. Dude, I'm gonna have to camp this guy. I mean, I'm gonna have no other shot. I have 40 seconds. How am I gonna get this guy's attention? I'm gonna just keep running into him, maybe? I don't know. I need to get this guy's attention. Maybe, like, wake him up or something. Please wake up. Please! Dude, we're actually gonna get zero kills. I've never had zero kills. And there there goes there goes our timer wow wow this is great um thanks for not doing anything this is the guy in the vigilante he says why are you so obsessed with me first of all great spelling second of all he came after me first so jokes on you so yeah that's great only 20 minutes to get to do whatever i want that's awesome all right so right now i only have 20 minutes on my clock and honestly there's not a ton of options for me to get a lot of money in a span of 20 minutes with this account see i would do the time trials if one i hadn't already done it for this week two episodes ago but two if it was like the last video i make before the next update but none of that's true so can't do that i already did the junk energy time trial for today oh wait i have a whole wheel of quick cash hold on i might need to actually like study my wheel of quick cash to actually figure out what i can do okay never mind this really didn't help i'm not gonna sell to a street dealer that's one of the things um I'll collect G's cash and I'll go to the diamond casino wheel. And then I'll also do a full against job after I do this selling off excess weapon parts. Aside from that, I don't know what else I can do. As soon as I get into this dune loader, we are going to start the timer. All right. So the timer starts now. All right. Clock's running 20 minutes on the clock. How much money can I make in 20 minutes? All right. So we have to deliver these weapon parts to an ammunition. And pretty much all we have to do is just drive like two miles. And that, that's pretty much it. This is going to be an easy first thing that we can do. And then probably right after this, I'm going to immediately call Dax so we can do a full against job. All right. And there we go. We have made it to the ammunition. That pretty much took me two minutes. And there we go. Contract complete. We made $50,000. Oh, I th actually think we're pretty close to G's cash. I think we're going to do that next. All right. So I've made it to G's cash. 
match. So yeah, let me get out my buzzard. Let's start looking for this thing. Is it up here? Oh yeah, it's up here. Okay. So let's collect this. And boom, there you go. $18,000 plus ammo and snacks. That's great. All right, Dax, you better give me a good full against job to do. Which one do we get? Liquidized assets. Um, That's a good one. That's a very good one. A very quick one. That's good. And we got the better location too. We don't have to go all the way to Pleto Bay. All right, so I've made it to the grass farm. I just need to take out these guys pretty quickly. All right, there we go. Everyone's taken out in here. So now I got to contaminate the water supply. Then I have to just turn on the irrigation system. And now we have to exit out of the grass farm. But we have to run into the chemicals because Dax wants us to. And then we get to see pretty colors. And then we just start hallucinating. So this is fantastic. Uh, we need to go on top of a roof somewhere. Forgot where there's a roof I can climb onto over here. All right, there we go. I found a roof. And then, yeah, I just sit here, eat snacks, make sure my health is full. All right, there we go. We finally passed out. All right, there we go. Mission passed. I got another 50K. I need to go back to the city so I can go to the Diamond Casino before I rob the place later on in this episode and spin the Diamond Casino wheel. All right, so I've made it to the Diamond Casino. Now, I'm going to go over to the Diamond Casino wheel. And, well, if I don't land on a vehicle, I'm just going to rob the place. All right, so you better give me that vehicle right now. All right, so the wheel is spinning right here. Oh, uh, let's see. We're going to land on vehicle. Oh, nope, nope. Oh, ooh, even better. A piece of clothing. Oh, a sweater. Oh, wow, a sweater. Oh, yeah, you're getting robbed. You are getting robbed. Just wait. Just wait. All right, so bad, bad, bad call by the people that run the casino. They're just praying for my downfall, as you can see. But anyways, I just kind of looked up another thing I could do, which I don't even think I've done in a loser to luxury episode before. So I'm going to do that right now. All right, so I've made it over here and there's like apparently something hidden that I can get money for. Oh yeah, there's like a little hidden chest. Um, boom, there we go. $25,000, not bad. Um, I think there's one thing I can maybe do. All right, so I'm here at Solomon Richards' office at the movie studio and I want to collect movie props. That's what I want to do with my remaining time. I'm definitely not going to be able to collect more than two. How much time do I have left? Three minutes-ish? Yeah, recover the stolen movie props. Yeah, thank you, Solomon. I know the gist. And one movie prop is really easy to find. It's over here by this trash can and boom, there we go. And I have to return... Oh, jeez. I have to return the movie prop. Oh, gosh. Okay, that's going to be a little bit annoying to do for the next ones, but you get $10,000 per. Um, That one's pretty easy and there's definitely one more that I think is pretty easy. And we have to go back to the Diamond Casino, unfortunately, which I was kind of already there, but didn't think about that. That was kind of dumb on me. Oh yeah, if I had a little bit more time, I could have maybe done the Junk Energy Skydives because they're double money and RP for this week that I'm recording this, which I haven't done that in so long because it, it's kind of boring, but I don't have enough time to do that. So just in case if you're thinking, oh, you could have done that and nah, not really. I don't have enough time in 20 minutes to do it. All right, so I'm back at the casino. Um, No, I'm not here to rob you just yet. I have to go and use the restroom, wink, wink. Don't know why I'm winking. Winky, winky is because this thing that we're trying to find is in the restroom. I think it's this one, if I remember correctly. Yeah, this thing right here. Boom. Very nice. So now we're going to have to try to run all the way back to Solomon Richard's office to deliver it. Hopefully I can beat that within the amount of time, but I don't know. I'm not looking at my clock right now. <laughs> oh my God. I have 22 seconds. Um, all right, all right, all right, all right. You know what? You know what? You know what? Okay. Okay. I'm giving myself credit for this. You know, I'm not going to be able to complete it within the time. I, I already stopped my timer. I'm giving myself credit for this because you know, I've collected it. Let me just fly back to Solomon Richard's office and then we should be good to go. All right, there we go. Another $10,000. So after only 20 minutes, I was able to make $163,000 with the limited amount of things that I was able to do, which is honestly not bad at all. So now I have $2,373,000, but now it is time me to get revenge on the Diamond Casino. You want to give me a sweater? I'm just going to rob you. All right, so we're getting this cutscene right now, and that pretty much means that the leader has never done this before. But anyway, oh my god, no, he did not get the location all the way in Polito Bay. No. Oh my, this guy got the Polito Bay location of the arcade. I've never seen anyone get this. Oh my god. All right, so we're doing the aggressive approach for this heist. We're just going straight through the front door. The same way we've been going in the first two times that we've been inside the Diamond Casino in this video, just straight through the front door. They're not going to expect anything. You know, I'm dressed a little bit nicer for this heist, and then I'm just gonna go wow on them, you know, and I'm gonna steal everything they have. I have no idea what we're stealing, to be honest. I'm also getting paid 15%, so it's not gonna be a crazy amount of money. All right, so we've made it to the Diamond Casino finally. What loadout do we have? Um, SMG loadout. That's not terrible. That's not terrible. Wait, what the heck? Oh, freaking Carol wants to get a photo with Gerald. Oh, cheese and crackers. What's up? What's up? You wanna hand me?
me a sweater? Uh-uh. No sweaters. No more sweaters. Look, it's that guy. This guy wanted to give me sweaters? You think I like sweaters? No, I don't like sweaters. Okay, honestly, this guy didn't do the Duggan shipments setup. So, yeah, this is going to be pretty hard. Because now all these guards are, like, very heavily armored. And honestly, the revolver might be my best friend here. Oh, yeah, someone already died, too. So, that's even greater. Man, I just did it very hard heist. Now, we have to do this heist a lot harder than it has to be. Especially with the aggressive approach. Yeah, going through the main door is kind of fun, to be honest. Because you get that fun cutscene or whatever. The cheesy crackers cutscene. But, you know, all these guys are incredibly armored. And we have to make our way all the way down. Yeah, I don't think my teammates are that good, to be honest, too. All right, so we have a level 46. I'm a 52 and then a 53. So, I am the second highest level. It's not a great sign. Yeah, I'm just literally just trying to pop them with a the revolver. The revolver just has more firepower. It deals more damage. I have to go with something that deals a lot of damage to these guys instead of the SMG. SMG would be nice if, like, you know, these guards didn't have a lot of health, but the, these guards have a ton of health. This is a slow process. It usually takes these guys, like, three revolver shots for them to die. All right, so we're gonna head through the staff lobby. Oh, are we getting another cutscene? Oh, okay. I guess we're just gonna walk through it. I forgot there's a cutscene. I don't do it this way this often. <laughs> All right, so now we have to make it all the way to the basement. Oh, okay, we're back here. Oh, love this place. Okay, I just meleeed that guy. There's not a lot of room right here. Let's just put it at that. Okay, well, I have two melee kills. Oh my god, I need to get this melee kill. Alright, that's number three. I literally have three melee kills. I'm not even trying to get melee kills. Oh, I ran out of snacks too. How did I run out of snacks? I got the G's catch. I thought that maxed out my snacks. Or that might have been a lie. I hope that wasn't a lie. Well, now I'm not gonna be that helpful, to be honest. Or I can die. Okay, one of my teammates died. Um, well, I think that's a checkpoint. I think. I don't remember, to be honest. This is the second video in a row. I forget to like max out my snacks, but to be fair, I thought G's catch fully maxed out my snacks, but I don't think it did. Man, if this guy would have only done the Duggan shipment setup, it would have made this so much easier. But we have to, like, slowly make our way through here now. <laughs> Just not fun. Okay, my teammate died. Awesome. Okay, my teammate died again. This is great. Good job. Wait, if I'm remembering correctly, couldn't this guy have chosen, like, a revolver loadout or a shotgun loadout? Because if that's the case, I think the shotgun would have been a little bit better. At least it this point because everything is very close range from this point on until we get outside again. Oh, and my CEO dude, no wonder you haven't freaking completed this heist yet because you literally take like two attempts and you die half the time and you just quit. Okay, fine. I'll just do this with someone that actually knows how to do it. Alright, so I was able to join another casino heist and once again doing the aggressive approach and once again we're actually going through the main door. I don't know what is up with people today and going through the main door. The crazy thing is that we have some high levels. The leader is on level 95. They have a level 130 and level 196. So yeah, we have to go through the front door with a bunch of high levels. I mean, it should be a lot better. And someone left. What? Or, what? Never mind. Just never mind. <laughs> Gotta love trying to join a random heist. All right, we're joining another heist where it's the leader's first time doing it. So we get this beautiful cutscene again. And this time it's the big con approach. As you can see, we are in Buckstar uniforms. And another thing about this heist too is that we're going to get a 25% cut instead of the usual 15 because the leader just decided to. So very generous from the leader. Very nice. Um, there's four of us. So we're all going to get 25%. Honestly, the leader is getting the worst end of that deal because he had to put in all this time and he had to pay setup costs. But he's a very generous guy. Really appreciate it. So let's do it for him. Let's do it for the guy. All right. So the first time we try to do it, we try to go straight through the front door. It didn't necessarily work out too well for us because our teammates decided they wanted to die and then quit. So now we are in Buckstar vans and we're going to try to like, you know, sneak our way through. There are expecting the Buckstar van to come in and fix a little termite problem or whatever. And yeah, we're supposed to be the ones fixing that problem. Okay, so here we are. We're inside the casino now. So now we just need to go to Agatha Baker's office right now. And this is the big con approach that we're doing. And honestly, this is not even the best big con approach that we should even do. The best one to do is the group sex one. But unfortunately, we are not doing that one. It's going to be a little bit more difficult for us. I don't know. Let's just see how it goes. All right, so this is Agatha Baker's office right here. You can take a look on the floor and like, ew, nasty. All these bugs and whatnot. Like, come on, Agatha. What are you doing? All right, but anyways, I have to go in and I have to hack this keypad so we can go to the basement. All right, there you go. The final hack has been completed. Oh, yeah, we're doing this with a level 37, 173, and 69. Uh, the level 37 is the person that's the leader. All right, but here we go. We have made it to the basement right here. So now this is where this heist gets a little interesting because we have to sneak around to the vault. I guess I'll try to do this. I don't know. Well, bam. Okay, that works. Let's keep going. <laughs> I don't like to do... 
I screwed up. I screwed up. I'm sorry. I don't know the best route. I'm sorry. I I'm just gonna die. I'm literally just gonna die. Let's just restart. I want to get another shot at this stealthy. Okay, my teammates are literally just carving out of it. Okay, we're guess we're not doing this stealthy. Okay, let's just do this the aggressive approach then. Oh my god, I forgot to get snacks again. All right, whatever, whatever. Hey, we'll just do this the aggressive approach, even though we're doing this the big con approach, if you know what I mean. All right, one of my teammates died. That's fantastic, dude. Can this guy not complete this? Who is doing it? Oh gosh, it's a level 37 doing it. That's great. All right, I think we've literally been sitting here for like three minutes and this guy still hasn't been able to complete this and he alerted the guards because he failed too many times that's fantastic oh my god he failed so much that he alerted the guards now we have to go through this way this will be fun i mean this will be a huge comeback story you know the story writes itself right here we have an idiot that can't complete a hack Okay, never mind. The story does not write itself. The story writes that I just immediately die because there's a guy with an assault shotgun sitting at the bottom of the steps and another one of my teammates died literally right after I did. So that is why we get a heist fail. All right, I've made it to Agatha Baker's office first this time. So I can actually do the hack on this keypad. That took me just over 30 seconds to complete. Wow, that it took that other guy like three minutes. <laughs> no, he didn't even complete it. But it's okay. I can't say so much because this guy's giving me 25% pay. I can't say too much. Okay, now we have to get to the vault. Um, let's try this again. Hopefully, we can do this stealthy this time. All right, we're gonna get that guy. Nice. Dude, I don't know the best route. Just get me through here. Get me through here. Oh my god, I made it through stealthy, kind of. I think my teammates are gonna get caught. Okay, that guy didn't get caught. Okay, good. That'll work. That'll work. That'll work. That'll work. All right, there we go. We unlock the door. Now, we just have to make it to the man trap. Um, I don't know where my teammates are. I mean, they're still behind. I know that, but they might be just still sitting in that one small room. Oh, we literally have to wait for my team to enter the man trap. That's an issue, because they're not at the man trap. Okay, well, my teammates are here. They need to make it here. They need to make it over here. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. You're so close. You, you have to go like 20 feet. Well, I heard a lot of shooting and one guy died. It's fine. Whatever. Let's go. Just please get here. Oh, no. This teammate's paused. Please do not leave. Come on. Just have faith. Have faith. Come on. Come on. Come on. You get 25% gun. Just don't leave. Okay, this teammate didn't leave. Okay, cool. Little afraid. The leader is going over here and I don't know what he's doing. Oh, now he's paused. Don't leave. Or are they communicating? Oh, okay. Oh, good lord. Now this teammate's running back. Oh, it looks like we're gonna have to save the day. All we have is a ceramic pistol. So we, we can't really save the day so much. And it didn't look like they did any of the dug and shipment prep work. So that's even better. What happened? Out of lives. Okay, awesome. Okay, one person left. We could still play this with one person gone. So that's fine. As long as the leader doesn't leave. Dude, what the heck happened here? How did y'all get caught so early this time? You know, it's Monday Night Football tonight. I would like to, you know, watch that. But we're just gonna keep failing and then we're just gonna have to push that back. Thanks. All right, I watched a video. I watched a video in between attempts. Still definitely take out this guy. Bop. Okay, okay, that works. Um, And then I'm supposed to go over here. Then we're supposed to go over here. Okay, never mind. I can't go over there. Uh, Whatever, let's just go this way. The guy that I watched... That's on me. Are you kidding me? That's why I wanted to go in that room. The freaking guy in that room saw us. That sucked. That's literally why I wanted to go in that room just to take out that guy. So that wasn't a potential way for us to get caught. And then we didn't get the key card so we can get in the way I wanted to get it. Dang it. I have it down. I have down the strategy. I can carve out a path. And I think the low level leader was actually following pretty well last time. So I think this could be the attempt right here. If I was a betting man, Man, I'd put my life savings on this attempt right here. Bro, if he keep messing up. Okay, this is my other teammate. Um, Yeah, I was the one that messed up last time. You think it's our other teammate screwing up? It is some of my fault. I, we we got to be honest here, all right? You know, I'll take care of it. I'll take care of this attempt right here. He literally thought last attempt was a low-level teammate. Thought it was his fault. It, it's not his fault. That, that was mine. Okay, that guy's dead. Can we go over here? Get that kill. Okay, now we keep going. All right, so then I just make a run for it. Who? It was literally that teammate that just said if he keeps screwing up. And he was the one that screwed up. Come on, guy. Sorry if you actually put down a bet on me completing it there. I figured out the strat, at least for what I need to do. Let's hit it, me and you. You'll just be me. You just failed last attempt. I figured out everything I need to do. And he's not even helping me what, what I'm doing. I'm doing the hack. I'm carving out the path to make it all the way 
to the vault. Oh my God, the MC president quit. Yeah, um, that sucks, man. We're gonna get 25% pay cut. And once I started putting the puzzle together on how we we're gonna complete this, that other teammate just started failing, unfortunately. That sucks. We're doing another Diamond Casino Heist where the leader is doing it for the first time. That's the only ones I can join today, but we're getting a different approach this time. Well, I mean, it's the same approach, but it's the different style of approach. I don't know. It's hard to explain, I guess. It's a different disguise. That's the word I'm looking for. We're using the group sex disguise, which is by far the best approach. So I am very happy with that. All right, so we've made it to the casino and we're going through a different entrance. We're going through the entrance underneath the track. All right, so we've made it to the loading bay right here. All right, so here we go. Let's do this thing. So we have to go to the basement. All right, so now why the group sex disguise is the best disguise for this is because we can literally just walk right past these guards because they think that we should be down here. You know, with the Bug Stars outfit, you know, as bug exterminators, we weren't supposed to be down here. So that's why they're kind of like, hey, what the heck? They pull out their guns and go pew, 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 and then I die. But with the group sex, we are supposed to be down here. All right, here we go. We've made it to the vault door. And here's our boy, Benjamin. Benjamin is going to open up the vault door for us. All right, thank you, Benjamin, for opening up the vault door. And have a good night. All right, here we go. We are inside the vault for the first time. That's kind of crazy because it's been like an hour of me doing this. All right, so yeah, let's try to get as much of this as possible. Oh, yeah, I forgot to say, our loot is going to be cash, so we should have to collect all this cash. I do not know if we have enough time to collect everything with just the two of us, unfortunately. All right, there we go. We only have like 11 seconds left. I'm just getting out of here so we don't trigger the alarm. Okay, my teammate's right behind me, which is nice, so we're not going to trigger the alarm. We're kind of cutting it a little close. We're still under the radar. Oh my god, we still made it under the radar. My teammate barely made it. Alright, so now let's just try to make it out of here. Alright, so still we can walk past these guards like nothing's happened, you know. Wait, how did we get caught? I don't even know how we exactly got caught, but we got caught. Let's just get out of here. Okay, well, even with us being caught, we are still making it through and I've already made it to the staff door. Alright, here comes all the cops, you know. They're like, oh, Dr. Crush is trying to escape out of here after robbing the Diamond Casino because all they gave him was a sweater? <laughs> yeah, I'm still getting out of here, class. Clowns. Watch this. Wait, this guy purchased Getaway Driver. What in the world? We have something over here. What the heck is over here? Oh, nice. My teammate died. What in the world? I have never seen this before. We can use these as a getaway vehicle. The most interesting looking vehicles. The Zaba. Oh, my teammate died again. Okay. Okay, teammate. We're so close to completing this. We just need to make it to the Zaba and then just get out of here. All right. So let's make a run towards the Zaba. Jeez. I've never used a Zaba during this heist, but our teammate purchased it. So I guess let's use it. Oh, yeah. And before he died, it out. Yes, I do know you can use the helicopter, but I mean, we have a Zaba. Like, come on. Maybe we'll at least drive to the helicopter with the Zaba, you know? That'd be kind of fun. Come on, teammate. Get in. Get in the Zaba. Get in the Z Really? 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 I mean, you could have gotten in my Zaba. We could have been like a team, you know? But fine. Get your Zaba. Okay. Yeah, yeah, sure. Just act cool in your Zaba. I'm going to get in my Zaba. Then I'm going to get into the helicopter. I'm going to fly away. And then you're going to be jealous of me. All right. So, yeah, I've made it to the location where the helicopter spawns in. So, let's get out of the Zaba. They paid that much money to get a Zaba, and I'm just going to get a helicopter and take my talents to the sky. All right, so here's the helicopter right here. So I just need to get in this helicopter and just kind of fly away. Where is my teammate? Is my teammate underground? Oh, yeah, I think my teammate's underground right now. If that's what he's doing, then that's a good strategy. If not, then good luck because I'm just going to fly away. All right, so I've lost the cops. I've made it to the dealer. So yeah, pretty much I'm just going to sit here and wait for my teammate to get here. My teammate's literally just off-roading right now. He's still by the casino. That's awesome. So yeah, I'm literally just going to chill out. Yeah, you, know, you can have fun with that. Yeah, he left the Zaba, and now he's on a different vehicle. <laughs> I'm just sitting here. I'm like, come on, man. We could have carpooled together. He's just like, nah, I don't want to carpool. Oh, there's our teammate. Don't run me over. Don't run me over. Okay, there we go. Finally. Finally, we could complete this cheese. That might honestly have taken like 10 minutes for him to finally make it there. But there we go. Heist passed. All right, so we had a take of $1,055,000. I got 15% of that, so that's $158,000. And uh, I think that's pretty much going to be it because I think the challenge for this is that I had to have complete the heist without alerting any of the guards, which is what I kind of did at the end, but whatever. Oh, we get the beautiful cutscene. <laughs> we get this beautiful cutscene of Lester. Oh, oh, hey, hey. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 10 out of 10 Riz for my boy Lester. Whoa.
So after that casino heist, I now have $2,551,000. Honestly, we didn't make a lot of money this episode, but hopefully we can make some more money in our next episode. Make sure Last month, I started as a level one on a new account in GTA Online. And the only way I've made money on this account is by spinning a wheel determining what I should do to make money. So today in this video, I will spin that wheel again to see what I will do to make money. So welcome to the 19th episode of season number Number two of loser to luxury and without further ado let's jump into it so currently right now i am on the wheel of quick cash but before i spin the wheel of quick cash i just want to remind you that we are trying to buy the del perro nightclub next and in order to purchase everything to make the nightclub actually viable for us we're going to need four million and two hundred thousand dollars and currently right now i have two million five hundred and fifty two thousand dollars so we are over halfway there to buying this del perro nightclub but how are we going to start out this episode in order to make money. So the wheel is spinning and it looks like we are gonna have to go and try to find G's cash. All right, so right now I am on the wheel of making money. So what are we gonna have to do in this episode in order to make money? And it looks like we are going to have to do what is this going to be? It looks like we have to do another original heist. We can finally replay the original heist. We're not doing it in order anymore. So we're gonna spin two wheels now. And this wheel is gonna determine what heist we are going to do in this video. So what original heist are we going to have to do in this video? So the wheel is spinning and it looks like we are going to have to do the fleece job. Jeez, nice, nice. It's definitely called the fleece bank. Yeah. But anyways, we're doing the fleece job in this video. And now we are on a wheel that we haven't spun this season of Loser to Luxury. And that is going to be the wheel of heist challenges. So I'm going to introduce this for every time we replay one of the original heists and also for the doomsday heist also since we just completed those. But let's spin the wheel and let's see what heist challenge that we are going to have to do for this fleece job and it looks like we are going to have to are we playing in first person um I'm okay i may be a little dizzy but that's okay but what else in this episode am i going to have to do in order to make money and it looks like we are going to have to do what's this going to be okay we have to do three to five full against jobs all right so now i'm on the wheel of three to five so let's just see how many full against jobs that we are going to have to do in this episode and it looks like we have to do four full against jobs in this episode. So I have to do four full against jobs in this episode, and then I have to do a fleece of job in first person. But I also have to go and try to find G's cash. So I'm gonna get into my first full against job right here, and then we'll find G's cash. All right, so let's go over to Dax right here on my phone, and let's call him up and let's just see what full against jobs that we're gonna have to do first. All right, let's see. Oh, this is so fun, but I'll do it. Hey, no, no, you do not just get to run into my freaking helicopter like that. Did you just see that? How did that car survive that homing missile? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Makes sense. I get... Are we really doing this today? Are we really doing this today? Uh-uh. No, no, no. You're done. You are done for. I actually pulled right trigger. Okay, there goes my helicopter. That's awesome. Well, that's a great start, but we still need to do this full against job. So let me just get over there. All right, so we've made it to Sandy Shores Airfield, and I have to take out a few people before I can get into one of the crop dusters. You know, my favorite vehicle in the game. Haha. -ha. All right, so here's the garbage crop duster right here. So now we need to go to three grass farms, and then we just have to contaminate these grass farms. I know, exciting stuff. All right, so my plane is already smoking. That's awesome. But we've made it to our first grass farm, so let's start containing contaminating all the grass. Oh, exciting stuff right here. Man versus grass. Oh, there we go. One grass farmer has been contaminated. The crop duster is on fire. That's awesome. So I think I'm just going to cut my losses right here. I'm just going to freaking crash like this. I think I respawned back at the airfield once, if I remember correctly. Yes, that is correct. I hate the crop duster so much. I hate this vehicle. It is so, so bad. <laughs> I know I should be using the runway to like actually take off, but like, come on. It's just so bad. All right, so we've made it to the second grass farm finally after ages. We just need to contaminate all this grass and just go to the final one, you know. Snooze fest, am I right? Worst mission in the game. There we go. Another grass farm contaminated. We have to go to one more grass farm. All right, so we've made it to the final grass farm. So yeah, let's just contaminate this thing and... 
Let's just finish this stupid mission off. They actually sat down and they're like, this will be a fun mission to put in the game. Let's get the slowest plane and let's just contaminate a bunch of grass. What? They actually thought of that. That's crazy. Anyways, we got that last form. Uh, what are we doing now? Ah, we have to destroy a tanker and I have a perfect way to do it. So what I am going to do is I see this tanker right here and I see me crashing right into that tanker and there goes the tanker. Dead. I just have to leave the area and I should be good to go. All right, there we go. Mission passed. Jeez, that was terrible. But anyways, we got $50,000 for that. All right, so we have to do three more full against jobs. So I have to wait 48 minutes in between full against jobs. So that is awesome. So what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to go and do G's cash. And then after that, I'm going to start setting up the fleece of job. All right, I've made it over to the G's cash location. So I just have to run around here and try to find wherever the heck this G's cash is. Where did you put it, Gerald? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, is it up the half pipe? Is it really up here? How do I get up here? But you can okay, I can jump up here. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, yeah, it's right here. It's an annoying location, but there we go. Got $19,723 out of that, plus ammo and snacks. All right, so as I wait to do our next full against job, I'm going to start setting up the fleece of job. Now, from now on, every time we do an original heist, I am not going to show the setups anymore, just because if you've been keeping up with the series, you've already seen me do the setups. So we'll just jump into the finale every time we do an original heist from here on out. So yeah, I'm going to start setting that up now now while I wait to do my next fool against job. All right, so it's been 48 minutes since the last fool against job that we've done. So let me call up Dax and let's get into our next fool against job. Hopefully we don't get crop dusting again because I do not want to do that. Okay, at least we get a good one. Liquidized assets. Dude, we keep getting the alter location. I usually never get this location. Now it's just all of a sudden we're getting it a lot. And I don't mind this is in the city. I usually get the Plato Bay location, which sucks. All right, so I've made it to the grass farm right here. So I need to go over here. And I just kind of need to take out this guy and then i need to take out everyone else all right there we go i have taken out everyone so now let's go over to the water supply and let's just contaminate this thing all right there we go we contaminated the water because i don't know i hated the water here or something i don't know and then we're just gonna turn on the irrigation system because i also hate the plants that are in here uh-huh i don't know i'm just trying to get creative with this but we're just gonna run into the water because um i want to see some pretty colors i guess so now i am in this hallucination and i just need to survive this hallucination somehow and i'm getting beat up by something uh climb up the ladder run away and just sit and eat snacks what i got blasted hey fine i died i've been not dying during this for the last few times but i guess today's the day i'm gonna die during it all right so now i'm on a roof so i can literally just sit on the roof eat some snacks and we should be good to go and there we go mission pass another fifty thousand dollars in my pocket so i gotta wait another 48 minutes to do another full against job but in the meantime i am actually going to go and complete that fleece of job and remember i have to be in first person all right here we go we are jumping into the fleece of job we have a potential cut of $150,000. I need to get into first person right here and let the nausea begin. I am not used to just walking around in first person. I don't play a lot of first person shooter games either. But luckily, this is like the easiest heist in the game and I just already wrecked really badly. All right, there we go. We've made it to Lester's factory. So now I need to get into the chroma. I'm going to be in the passenger seat because I'm pretty sure I am the driller. Yeah, I'm the driller and well, my teammate right here is the driver because he's well driving. All right, so now I need to do a hack. It's a simple hack. Not as bad as the last two episodes when I had to do the Doomsday Heist hacks and then last episode with the Diamond Casino Heist hacks. All right, there we go. We've made it to the Fleece of Bank. So now I need to unlock the vault right here with Lester's face on it. All right, so now I need to put on a mask and let's go in and let's go to the safety deposit box. If I can somehow make it there, where am I going? Okay. All right, so now we've made it to the safety deposit box. So now I just need to drill into the safety deposit box and we just need to get whatever's inside of the safety deposit box. Um, Honestly, I I kind of forgot what we're technically trying to steal, but all I know is we're trying to steal something and I'm going to get paid for it. And there we go. We just drilled into that safety deposit box, got that box, put it in our bag, slammed the door shut. Now let's get out of here. All right. So we're inside of the car now. Let's just get out of here and hopefully my teammate can actually get to the pickup point smoothly and we can just fly out of here. All right. So we've made it to the bridge. All we have to do is just drive underneath the cargo bob and hopefully my teammate can do that. Some people just don't understand that. Right, his teammate seems 
like they're doing a good job. And yeah, we're off the ground. Well, that was a pretty easy heist. And there we go, heist passed. All right, so we made $251,000 total. I get 60% of that, so that is $150,000. Did not complete it in under five minutes and 20 seconds. And vehicle damage was a little bit high. My teammate did keep running into things. So maybe one day I'll be able to complete the Elite Challenge, but not today. All right, so we still have to do two more full against jobs. So I'll see you when I'll be able to do the next full against job. All right, so it's been another 48 minutes, so I get to do my third full against job right here. So let's call up Dax. And this time we are doing heavy metal. This is one of the easier ones, so I'm definitely okay with it. All right, so I flew all the way to Stab City. We have to find and eliminate the rival boss. So I'm going to parachute out like a boss. And the rival boss is in this trailer over here. Oh, I did not mean just to throw a random punch. I meant to shoot somebody. I swore I had a shotgun in my hand. I can't see because it's dark. This is the second time in this video that's happened. All right, anyways, I've made it here. It's in here. Uh, I killed him. So I need to take a picture and send it to Dax because Dax loves photos of dead bosses, I guess. I don't know. I mean, I do know. He wants proof that the person's dead, but like, he's also going to need proof that I died for a second time now. All right, so now I need to recover the stolen goods. Then we just need to take the stolen goods to the drop off. All right, so here are the stolen goods right here. In the back of this pickup truck so now i need to drive just under four miles to make it all the way to the location and i have to make sure that our stolen goods health bar on the bottom right doesn't run out and there are some enemies coming after me like those bikes right there but i just ran them over because that's fun dude they are taking a lot of damage out of this today why okay well okay i put one shot on that guy and he just fell off his bike that's nice i don't know with this location sometimes like they just destroy the stolen goods health bar all right and there we go we have made it to the drop off delivered the stolen goods and there we go, mission passed. Another 50k in my pocket. So now I gotta wait another 48 minutes once again before we can do our final full against job. So I'll see you then. All right, so it's been another 48 minutes. So we can finally do our final full against job right here. So let me call up Dax. Hopefully we get a good one. And we get liquidized assets again. Okay, that's honestly pretty easy. Once again, we get the Alta location. I don't know what is up with me and getting the Alta location all of a sudden nowadays. As far as the location is concerned, luck is going my way. Well, that was a smooth landing. I literally just died on a dumpster. That's definitely not a metaphor or anything like that. It's not there to symbolize, like, how good I am. These trash bins do not symbolize my skills at all. Just don't put that in your head. All right, anyways, I am inside of here, and I've already done this once. I'm kind of bored right now, so I am going to take out everyone with a melee weapon. I'm going to take them out with my stone hatchet. All right, that was a bad start. That was a bad start. <laughs> you know, last episode I only got... No, I didn't only get... I got nothing. I got zero kills with a melee weapon. I need to get that guy. Okay, that guy's huge because that guy has an assault shotgun. Oh, wait, the stone hatchet ability. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This stone hatchet ability is incredibly nice. You pretty much don't take that much damage at all. No, you take, like, no damage. And then every kill you get during this ability, the ability resets. So this is actually pretty fun. So I might not even die after that first failure. No, no, no. It didn't reset. It didn't reset. We were so close, though, to completing that. Dang, I want to see our shirt at the end. Our shirt was so bloody. Oh, I got him. I got the guy that was going to kill me. We got another. Oh, okay, okay. Stone hatchet ability on. That means everyone is dead, essentially. Yeah, Um, take that, lady. Um, sorry that had to happen to you. As you can tell by my shirt, nothing happened in here. There's nothing. See, look, backside, it, completely normal. Um, I know you see, like, the bullet holes and the blood stains and all that. Dude, that's the print of the shirt. That was purposely put on there. I think it's kind of funny, you know, like, ha, 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 ha. It's so funny to see all these bullet holes in the back in front of my shirt. You know, it's, it's just funny. It didn't just happen. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, uh, let me turn on the water and let's wash off the blood stain. I, oh, oh, I forgot. I put chemicals in the water and now I'm seeing pretty colors. All right, now we're outside again. Um, I just need to get to the top of a building and I am pretty much just going to chill out. Ouch, I got hit. Dude, there's a ladder in here somewhere. Oh, there's a ladder. Literally, the clown was boxing out the freaking ladder. All right, there we go. I'm on the roof now, so I can pretty much just chill out. All right, there we go. We're spawning back in and we're all the way in Sandy Shores. That's awesome. But there we go. Another 
$250,000 in my bank account. So after all that we did in this episode, I now have $2,870,000. So we're still creeping our way up to being able to purchase the nightclub next. Back in August, I started as a level one on a new account in GTA Online. And the only way I've made money on this account is by spinning a wheel determining what I should do to make money. So today in this video, I will spin the wheel again to see what I will do in this episode to make money. So welcome to the 20th episode of season number two of Loser Luxury. And without further ado, let's jump into it. So currently right now, I am on the wheel of quick cash. But before I spin the wheel of quick cash, I just want to remind you that we are trying to buy the Del Perro nightclub next. Now for all the upgrades that I want to put on this nightclub, it's going to cost us $4,200,000. And currently right now, I have $2,800,000. $41,000. So we still need to make just over a million dollars so we can purchase this nightclub with all the upgrades I want to put on it. But how are we going to start out this episode in order to make money? And it looks like we are going to have to use this going to be selling X's weapon parts. Yes, it is. So I have to go to my bunker and sell off excess weapon parts. Okay, so now I'm on the wheel of making money. And since last episode, we are on a new event week. And this event week actually has some fun stuff that we haven't really done and probably will never do ever again if it's not this boosted. So because of that, I have added three new things to the wheel. Now, the first thing is going to be flight school right here. And this is not boosted for this week. I just thought it'd be fun maybe one day to do the flight school. We did it in season one, like very early on, but I don't know, maybe we'll get around to that one day. The next thing is going to be the community series. And this is four times money this week. So that's pretty cool. And we have the Trevor and Lamar missions. So if we land on this, I will do the Trevor missions and then i'll do the lamar davis missions not the lamar lowriders missions i'll do just the lamar missions but if i land on it we'll do that and i'm thinking this is going to give me a lot of money but i'm not a hundred percent sure on it i just know it's quadruple money so i'm thinking a little bit like above sixty thousand dollars per mission but i don't know we'll have to see if we land on it but what are we gonna have to do in this episode in order to make money and it looks like we are going to have a a pretty fun time today because we have to do one of the doomsday heists. And since this is such a good wheel spin, we're going to have to forfeit our next wheel spin. All right. So since we have completed every single doomsday heist act at least once, I am now on the wheel of one to three. And whatever number we land on is going to determine what act we are going to do in this video. So let's just spin the wheel and let's see what act we are going to have to do for today in this episode. And is this going to stay on two or is this going to be one and it's going to be act number two the easiest of them all thank you so we have to do act number two of the doomsday heist but first i have to go all the way to my bunker and sell off some excess weapon parts so let me go do that all right so i've made it all the way to my bunker right here and as you can see me we have the dune loader right behind me so yeah all we have to do is just get inside this dune loader and we just sell off these weapon parts all right so i have to drive four miles to my destination and we're just driving this thing to an ammunition and that's pretty much it nothing too crazy here so i guess i'll see you when i get there all right there we go i've made it all the way to ammunition and boom there we go fifty thousand dollars in my bank account so after that i now have two million eight hundred and ninety one thousand dollars but now it is time for us to get into act number two of the doomsday heist but right now i'm going to do all the preps and i'm going to do all the preps right now because the preps are very boring to do but i'll see you when i have all those preps ready to go and we can actually start doing the setups for act number two of the doomsday heist all right so i'm back after completing all the preps so now we can actually get into doing these setups so first setup we are going to do is going to be the avenger setup and while well, this setup is a uh, fun time i will have to say yeah let's jump into it all right here we go we're jumping into the first setup we are doing the avenger setup all right so we've made it to the hangar right here so we have to go inside this hangar we have to try to steal an avenger all right so there's the avenger Avengers. Let's go grab it. And I think we should be good. Oh no, the lights went out. All right. So we have to turn on night vision and we have to take out a ton of people. Oh yeah. By the way, these setups that we're doing right now, we're going to be doing them on normal difficulty, which is the lowest difficulty. There 
there's no easy. Oh, yeah. And my teammate died. And that reminded me, I am playing with a level 21 teammate right now. Uh, he was the first person to join. No one else wanted to join after that. So he is the lucky winner. And hopefully I am not the lucky loser. There's so many people we have to shoot here. It's so annoying. They're all in these like nooks and crannies. I can't even find where all of them are. My teammate's shooting flares. Do you think he's shooting flares? Because he's stuck like in this mode. You know, he doesn't have his night vision on. He's a level 21. Oh, we're only speculating here. But I, I don't think that's that far-fetched. I mean, is it stupid? Yes. And did he die? Yes. Did we fail? Yes. Are we gonna re-attempt this? Yes. Oh, there he is, shooting flares again. Yeah, that's gonna get him. I'm so glad he's shooting flares. I can now see. That is so great. Thank you. Oh my god, now he's right in front of me. It's bad that he's shooting flares. Um, okay, well, he died. It's bad that he's shooting flares. If it's because he wants to see, that's really bad, because he has night vision. If he's using it because he doesn't have another weapon, that's really bad also. I don't know. This is interesting. Yeah, no, this is definitely Definitely the hardest setup for this act, act number two. The next one's pretty difficult also, but it's not horrible. This one's pretty bad. I usually have issues with this one. It doesn't help that I'm doing this with a low level teammate. Yeah, this guy literally retreats right to where I am and he just dies immediately. <laughs> Okay, there's a guy that keeps shooting me over there, and, and it's a little annoying. Oh, oh, it's only me that's in this loading screen now. I think that is a great sign. Hold on. Let's just load into this setup, right? And yeah, we, we get to do this all alone. Ha, 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 ha. No, they don't allow me to. <laughs> Let me go find another teammate. <laughs> what a great start. Ha, <laughs> ha. All right, here we go. I have a new crew now. Let's try this again. Hopefully, we can do this with this crew, because I don't want to sit here for five hours trying to do one setup that's really not incredibly hard all right we've made it inside the hangar once again and there goes the light I was expecting it that time someone's literally just running straight for it let's watch that guy die i guess oh he's still alive oh my god i think he actually tried to get into the avenger nah <laughs> he fell for it that's unfortunate for that guy so this time i'm doing this with a level 30 and a level 64 so a little bit of an upgrade and i have actually more than one person so hopefully all that together will turn into a pretty easy setup pass. Oh my god, one of my teammates is already upstairs. Oh my gosh, hold on. Uh, wait, calm down. I want to help. Oh, he died. But did he not? No, wait, no, it was the other guy on the ground. Oh, okay. Well, that's fantastic. Wait a minute. Oh, it's the level 64 that died. The level 30 is the one that's carrying right now. I wasn't saying anything before he got into the hangar, but I mean, like, he was pulling out, like, good weapons and stuff, and well, okay, okay never mind. He died. Whatever. But he was pulling out good weapons. Like, he had a rail gun and stuff, which I wouldn't have pictured a level 30 to already have. Do you want to carry your Wait, cool me. Oh, oh. 17 to 4 to 4. Okay. All right. All right. So they're not doing much. It's me carve path and they run through path, I guess. Ugh. I wish we could complete this setup very quickly. You know what? Maybe, maybe you can help me, right? Yes, I'm talking to you. Maybe if you subscribed, just maybe we can actually complete this. Why don't y'all try that, right? Right? If you haven't done so already, you just click that red button that says subscribe and boom, maybe I'll actually complete this setup right here. I don't know. We'll have to find out. No, but seriously, though, if... Dude! All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. See, see, see. You, you, yes, you. You were a little late to subscribe, so it's okay. It'll carry over into the next attempt. Uh-huh. It's gonna carry over to the next attempt. Do you hate this? I mean, look, look, like, I'm trying to kill this guy, and then he just doesn't die after you put, like, 50 shots in him. Anyways, one teammate, I think, is pushing up right now. I'm getting drilled right now by a ton of people. Don't know exactly where everyone's at. There we go. That guy's finally dead. Dude, I am eating eating so many snacks right now. I'm trying my best. The guy right here. Look how realistic this is. Look, 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 look. It's just a railing. It's just a little railing. You can't shoot right through it. See, I'll even do this and he won't die. Yeah, that's just, oh, he's on fire. Okay, that worked actually. <laughs> okay, my teammate's upstairs. So I hope that guy is turning on the backup generators. I don't know how many kills I have. I don't want to see how many kills I have. If I don't know how many kills I have, it's because we completed this setup. So I don't care how many kills I have. I care when we fail and it's not not my fault. All right, there we go. Lights are on. Let's get into the Avenger. Oh my God. Okay, well, that was smooth. But yeah, let's get into the Avenger and let's fly out of here. I'll fly the Avenger because um, I've flown an Avenger once in my day. All right, so we're exiting the hangar right now. So now all we have to do is just deliver the Avenger to the drop off and we should be good to go. Oh my God, dude. Do you love teammates that just absolutely just hold down the trigger and just absolutely shoot randomly? You probably don't even recognize it too, too much. It's just absolutely just shaking the heck out of my controller. I mean, look at this guy. He just pew, 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 just shooting at 
that grass? Like, okay, cool shot, I guess. I don't know. Dude, this guy is still shooting. And we have to, dude, dude, oh my God. I hate getting out of VTOL mode. <laughs> it just starts dive bombing down. More Ron. More on. How am I supposed to be respectful to that guy? I, I have literally no earthly idea how I'm supposed to even say anything respectful to that guy. It's just stupid. I hope we hit a checkpoint because then this would make this not horrible. If I have to do all that killing again, that's stupid. Um, We're back in the hangar. Can we just get into the Avenger? That's all I want. Just let's get in the Avenger. Let's get out of here. Okay, I think we can just jump into the Avenger. I have to fly. I have to fly. I don't trust these idiots to fly. All right, I guess let's fly all the way back to Polito Bay again. God, I love flying all the way to Polito Bay. I loved it so much, I wanted to do it a second time. All right, we made it all the way back to Polito Bay, and guess who hadn't shot a single cannon this time? Whatever the teammate's name is. I don't even remember his name. He hadn't shot this time. Good. That's what you should do. And there we go. Set up pass. Let's move on to the next one. All right, we're jumping into the next setup right here. We are rescuing ULP because ULP, just like that last guy we did the last setup with, is a moron. Anyways, we have a new teammate here and this teammate is a level 237 so i am hoping we can do this very very quickly and i am hoping that this teammate will stick around maybe you know a nice competent teammate um 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 maybe he's not the best driver because he just drove off a cliff um yeah there he is at the bottom in the ravine right there maybe not the best driver but hopefully he's good with the gun in his hands that's all i need all right i made it here to the courtyard there's some nice fellas right here um die Oh, you want to run at me? Why do we have to break a window after we just shot the first guy? Okay, whatever. Just keep going. I just realized I forgot snacks before this, so hopefully I don't run into a problem with snacks. You know, I shouldn't have to use snacks if ULP was actually smart, but no. ULP decides he wants to be a little reckless, so I have to go and save the day. He got captured. I think he was trying to study the Russians. And to be honest, I forgot if we even, like, use what, like, ULP was trying to, like, investigate to, like, our advantage. He could have been pretty worthless. He might have said he did something no 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 ULP does nothing you get captured trying to watch Monday Night Football and a guy sneaks up behind me it's annoying just Bryce Young running around like a headless chicken but it's fine whatever it's not what we're here for we're here to do act two of the doomsday heist all right anyways I have to go over here and there's an agent right here I just have to take out or not an agent um a Russian person and now we have to clear a path for agent ULP Oh my god, ULP is like actually killing this guy. Oh, you didn't finish him off? Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. ULP, you got this. Yeah, no, you got it, ULP. Oh my god, my teammate died, but ULP got that kill. Hey, stop. There we go, that guy's dead. Um, ULP is gonna not matter right now because my teammate died again. My teammate was doing so well then. Right at the end, they just died twice pretty quickly. All right, I think that was an unfortunate spot to end at too because I think I have to go through that entire place again. Or can I just take ULP? Oh my god. Oh my, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. We can just collect ULP and deliver a ULP somewhere. Okay, so that was very fortunate. ULP is attached to my other teammate, which is freaking awesome because my teammate's not doing anything right now. Hey, ULP. Hmm. What does ULP stand for? Hmm. Oh my god, I got it. ULP. Utterly lame person. I don't know. It's the best I can come up with. All right, utterly lame person. Can you please get into my vehicle? It's not even my vehicle. Can you just get into the vehicle? Like, is there a way that I can just get ULP to just come with me because honestly my teammate doesn't have to do anything right now to be honest okay hold on hold on yeah okay okay we're gonna try something because yeah ulp for some reason loves this other person so i'm gonna die i think i got ulp with that explode what did you see that ulp just ate a grenade shot you're so annoying, ULP. Here, just take that, and there we go. Agent ULP was killed. Um, about time. All right, ULP needs to get attached to me. It is so inconvenient that my other teammate is the one that ULP is getting attached to, because, well, I'm the one that's kind of here and actually playing. I mean, you can sit AFK as long as you don't lag out, then I can just take care of this. Where's ULP? Where is ULP? Oh, he's over here. Me, 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 me. Why do you get attached there? I literally sprinted right for you. I get spawned in. I think like somewhere like right in here and ULP is just sitting over here. Therefore, he's closer to my other teammate. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What if I just kill my teammate? What if I just run over my teammate? My teammate dies. That could be smart. Hold on. Die, 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 die. Dude, how many shots are you going to take? Die? How are you not dead? You know what? Fine, 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 fine. I'm going to get a huge running start. How are you alive? 
I am throwing you around like a rag doll. All right, all right, all right. I'm going to have to get really creative. This is so dumb. This is not in the scope of work for me for this setup. So this is a little frustrating. Anyways, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put a sticky bomb right there. And I think that's a big enough explosion radius to hit my teammate. Either my teammate was not affected or it didn't matter. Oh, oh, my teammate's moving. My teammate's moving. All right. Can you just deliver ULP at least as I've been trying to wake you up? I guess I finally woke you up. ULP, I hate your guts. You're annoying. Utterly lame person. Am I right? Oh, now you want to get into my vehicle. Oh my God. I mean, I guess I get it the first time when, like, you know, I kept running you over. But, like, come on. I was doing that to wake you up or kill you so I can get you LP. All right, now I can actually start going. And, oh, my God, we have another person that's just holding down the trigger. Luckily, it's not an explosive cannon or anything like that. But still, annoying for my ears. All right, there we go. We have made it to the drop-off, finally. And there we go. Setup pass. We have two more setups to do before we can do the finale. All right, we're jumping into the third setup right here. We're doing the salvage hard drive setup. So, if you get into this RCV and then we have to go and rescue some hard drives. All right, so we've made it here. So essentially, there's like some vans on fire. Yeah, there's a van on fire right here. And we have to extinguish this van of this fire. And then there's supposed to be like a hard drive inside of it. And we're supposed to collect that hard drive. All right, there we go. Now, my teammate needs to go collect the files. I don't know if my teammate recognizes that he has to go get the files. Maybe I'll just kill some people. And maybe he'll recognize that his job is to collect these files. All right, there we go. My teammate collected the hard drive, so we need to move on to the next location. All right, there we go. We've made it to the next location, so same ordeal. We have to extinguish some fires and collect the hard drives. All right, so my teammate collected the other hard drives, so now we have to go to another location. All right, there we go. We're at another location. We have to extinguish four more fires. Oh, my God, I'm getting lit up, though. Awesome. Oh my God, how many people are there to take out? Dude, this is getting annoying. My teammate's not even getting these last two hard drives over. Oh, my teammate has like three hard drives. Left. Oh, I completely. Oh my God. I'm being stupid. I'm actually being really dumb, right? I have to extinguish more. Sorry. Sorry. I'm trying to watch football. That's my fault. That's my fault. As you can see, target C is about to die. Oh my God. I think I got target C. That was a little close for comfort there. All right. There we go. Um, I saved all the targets. I am so sorry. All right. There we go. We have all the hard drives now from here. We have one more location. I think we have to go to. All right. So I've made it over to the final location and yeah, I have to remember to actually extinguish the fires. All right. I extinguished all the fires. Yay. So now my teammate needs to collect all the fires. Fires. Yeah. Collect the fire. Being stupid. My teammate needs to collect the hard drives. Oh, my teammate died. That is awesome. Um, I don't want to die either. Let's just let's just put it at that. I don't want to die because then we'd have to reset. I don't know where we'd reset to, but let's not find out. I'm doing a great job defending you, teammate. You need to get your stuff now. Get the hard drives because I have killed probably like 20 people over here. Dude, what is my teammate doing? My teammate's just running around doing nothing. I think my teammate thinks we can kill every single one of these people, but uh, we can't. They just keep respawning. I'm going to have to message him. This is so stupid. No, no. <sighs> That's just so frustrating. That's on me, but oh my God, that is so frustrating. We spawn in at the third location. So I think all we have to do is get the last location. Okay, yeah, we only have one more location to go to, which is nice. But my team needs to quickly get the hard drives. All right, my team is actually collecting stuff this time. That's very nice. All right, so my team finally collected all the hard drives. So now we have to deliver the RCV to the drop-off and we should be good to go. All right, there we go. We deliver the RCV to the drop-off. Wait, what? Wait, how did we fail? How does that make sense? What? How did we? Did he leave? There's no way. There's no way. That's so fun. That's so fun. If that was on purpose or on accident, that just is just fun. Yep. Yep. Just spawn in here. Um, that's fantastic. I hit the checkpoint. Dude, that's the stupid thing about it. I hit the checkpoint. There's just people talking like blah, 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 blah. And then he just either accidentally or purposely left. All right. I found another teammate. Um, yeah, I'm not going to really show this setup again. I'll just show you if I am able to complete this setup or not with this teammate. Hopefully, I see you again when it shows mission passed on my screen. All right, I've made it back to this location again. Please do not leave. I shouldn't have to ask anyone that, but please don't leave. Um, okay, the guy's running around towards the other people. He's even getting in the car. He's driving the car away. Now he's running over people. Um, please, just give me the pass. Just give me the pass. Thank you. All right, one more to go. All right, here we go. We're doing the final setup right here, the submarine recon. I'm doing this with the same teammate I did the last setup with. He's a level six 
695 definitely held his own last setup so I'm very happy that i'm doing this setup with him but it really doesn't matter honestly for this setup. this setup is definitely the easiest one that we have to do for this heist dude me recording videos while watching monday night football it is a dangerous ball game all right i'm kind of dialed back in now i'm still trying to drive to destroy the convoy i'm trying to watch this game and well big things happen i just gotta stop the car but luckily my teammate looks like he's doing an all right job all right my teammate took out all the convoys so i need to go to Polito cove and go swimming all right there we go i destroyed all 10 sea mines so i need to scan the submarine you know pretty easy stuff here all right there we go submarine's been scanned i think pretty much all we have to do is just leave get out of here and we should be good to go all right there we go we've delivered the strongbergs back Back to wherever we're supposed to deliver them. I don't know. And there we go. Set up pass. Let's move on to the finale. All right, here we go. We are jumping into the finale right here. The Bogdan problem. I'm getting 85% of the cut and it's going to equate to $1,500,000. It shouldn't be too hard at all. This is definitely, in my opinion, the easiest act of the Doomsday Heist. All right, I forgot to mention too, we're doing this on hard and I have a new teammate. The teammate I've done the last two setups with didn't join the finale for some reason. So I'm doing it with a level 41. All right, I've made it all the way back to Polito Bay. I need to get into a Stromberg. And now I have to go to Polito Cove and go to that submarine. And I have to take out everyone that's on board. All right, let's head on into this submarine. This big, bad submarine. Like, what, what is this submarine going to do? Like, come on. Apparently, there's like nukes on this submarine. Like, psh, please, you won't press the button. Well, definitely now they won't press the button because I am absolutely just going to kill everyone. All right, here's a contact we're supposed to go to. Not very hard to get to this contact at all. All right, so now apparently we need to go to the control room. Ha, ah, ah, ha, ah, ah. ha. I got stuck on the railing. Dude, the first time I did this on this account, I freaking died. I should be dying on this. All right, let's try again. This shouldn't take two attempts. This really should not take two attempts. I'm taking full accountability. This is bad. This is bad. Oh my. Oh my. What is up with me? All right, focus. I don't know what I'm doing. This is bad. This is really bad. What? What? Who? Who? Okay, 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 okay. I don't know who attacked me that time. I got hit from behind. I always say this is the easiest act. I will say, if I take my performance out of this act and copy and paste it onto any other hack, it would take me five hours. This is still going to take me 30 minutes, probably, but still, it's not good. Not good. Not good by me. All right, I've finally made it to the control room. There's just a few people I have to take out. I'm not trying to make excuses for myself, but like, this is affecting my aim a little bit. The aim is not 100% up here it has like you swaying like you're on an actual boat which kind of makes sense okay okay finally I hit the cutscene so yeah my shooting was a little bit off but still and that was just terrible by me i'm so glad we finally get this cutscene oh man i just got to this point oh and then my teammate left okay okay i don't blame him i don't blame him that's on me that's on me that is not on you i apologize all right let's try this again i'm still getting the same pay cut 85 percent and um we're still doing this on hard even despite all of my difficulties but this attempt is going to be extra special and it's extra special because we are doing this with a level one a true level one yeah i had like three people join and usually if that happens i would just kick the other two and keep the highest but then i saw a level one i'm like this is pure gold this is pure gold i'm gonna give this level one the opportunity at life-changing money for him just like a quick three hundred thousand dollars for him all right i am back at this submarine all right i made it back to the control room this is still our first attempt this has been a lot better of a run uh the level one teammate seems like he's doing all right i'm trying to plug clifford into the console okay now they're finally letting me do it and we get a cutscene no, no, I'm not even paying attention. And then I look up again during the cutscene and just boom, fail. Dang it. Well, our level one turned into a level three now. Oh, okay, okay. I thought I was going to have to kill everyone again, which I did not want to have to do that for the 20th time in this video. Oh, no, the submarine is about to self-destruct. Oh, no, I have to get out of here. Yeah, blow this thing up. I hate this thing. I hate this submarine so much. Okay, this is a little interesting. My teammate is in the water. My Avenger is over just on this peninsula. And what happened here? <laughs> I thought it'd be fun to get a low level into here. A level one, to be precise. But at the same time, I don't know what the heck he's doing. <laughs> what happened? Did he just get out? Go for a swim? All right. Um, I guess I will fly the Avenger. I'm cool with flying the Avenger. All right, the level one's finally getting into the Avenger. Um, yeah, let's get out of here. All right, and there we go. We have made it to Devin Weston's hangar. All right, and there we go. Finally, heist passed. All right, so I got 85 percent of the earnings so that's one million five hundred fourteen thousand dollars
dollars we had a quick restart unfortunately but it's all right i'm just happy we're done with this all right so after that heist i now have four million four hundred and four thousand dollars so now we are able to purchase the del perro nightclub so let me go purchase that all right so here we go we need to get this nightclub right here it's a starting price of one million six hundred forty five thousand dollars but with what i want to get it's going to cost us right around four million two hundred thousand this is probably the one business i'm going to invest a lot right when i purchase it because i am going to buy one million seven hundred thousand dollars worth of storage max out the storage because this business is very different from any other business i'll explain it a little bit later um yeah that's pretty much all i want right now so yeah let's purchase this all right there we go all right so now i have to like set it up a little bit before i can buy the rest of the stuff that i want so let me go do that all right cheese after what like 30 minutes i actually fully set up the nightclub this is the most annoying business to set up it's such a good business what do you have to do three different setups in order to fully set this thing up but hey, we're done with it all right so we finally got out of that cutscene. so now i want to go over here and i want to purchase our last thing this is what i wanted i wanted to hire four extra technicians so i already purchased one and they get increasingly more expensive so that's two right there that's number three and this final one right there there we go we have five technicians but we only have one product that we could manufacture right now and it's sporting goods and that's because we have a bunker we're still very early on as far as like all the businesses that we do have all these businesses right here correspond with a certain business in the game the sporting goods one the one that we can do we can do it because we have a bunker um cash creation this is a good example cash creation you can unlock this when you purchase a counterfeit cash factory so yeah when later on down the line once we get those businesses we can come back here and assign a technician to one of these so we can start producing these products but yeah we definitely want to assign one of them to sporting goods and the other ones can just sit there i guess all right so since we purchased the nightclub we have two new wheel spins we have one on the wheel of quick cash and one on the wheel of making money the one on the wheel of quick cash is for the thing in the bottom right and that is going to be our wall safe and we can hold up to two hundred fifty thousand dollars in our wall safe and we're gonna get paid based upon our popularity so right now our popularity is maxed out we're gonna get a pretty big payment for our first wall safe money that's going in and then the next wheel spin that i added was on the wheel of making money that's going to be selling off our nightclub but next episode we are going to spin the wheel of luxury to determine what item we are going to buy next one month ago i started as a level one on a new account in gta online and the only items i have bought on this account have come through spinning a wheel determining what i should buy next so today in this video i will spin that wheel again to see what item i will buy next so welcome to the 21st episode of season number two of loser luxury and without further ado let's jump into it so right now i am on the wheel of luxury and i'm on the wheel of luxury because the last item i bought came off the wheel of businesses and that was the nightclub and then the last time i spun the wheel of luxury i landed on buying a buzzard but what is going to be the next thing that i am going to buy off the wheel of luxury and it looks like we are going to have to buy the avenger all right so here's the avenger right here and its stock price is going to be three million four hundred and fifty thousand dollars but with our last update which it wasn't a great update rockstar did add a new thing called the operations terminal inside of the avenger so when i do purchase this i am going to buy it with the operations terminal which is going Going to be an extra one million four hundred fifty thousand dollars so in total this is going to cost me a lot of money aka four million nine hundred thousand dollars and currently right now i have one hundred and fifty five thousand dollars so we have a long long ways to go before we can actually try to buy the avenger okay so now i'm on the wheel of quick cash and as you can see right here we have a new wheel spin on the wheel of quick cash because of the last business that we bought and the new wheel spin is going to be collecting our nightclub wall safe but that's pretty self-explanatory but how are we going to start out this episode in order to make money and it looks like we are going to have to do we're going to have to try to find g's cash once again all right so right now i am on the wheel of making money and right here is going to be our newest wheel spin to the wheel of making money which is going to be selling off our nightclub but what are we going to have to do in this episode in order to make money? And it looks like we are going to have to do what is 
is going to be? Is it going to be the Trevor and Lamar missions? Yes, it is. All right, so I'm going to have to explain this one a little bit. So you're seeing this on Tuesday right now, but I'm recording this six days before this releases. So currently right now, the event week is Trevor and Lamar missions being quadruple money. And that is why this wheel spin exists. Now we're going to do both the Trevor and Lamar missions, which I think in total is going to be right around 20 missions or something like that. Just due to how long this is going to take, we are going to forfeit our next wheel spin. All right, so I have to do the Trevor and Lamar contact missions, but first I have to go over and try to find G's cash. All right, so I've made it over to the G's cash location for today. They're so here at the beach, so I just have to go around, try to find wherever this is. Hopefully this doesn't take me too long, but you know, you know how this goes. I'm thinking this is one of the G's caches where I just can't find it. It's clearly somewhere I haven't even run to yet because you usually can hear it. Or usually, you, you're supposed to hear it. You're like a little beeping. I haven't heard any beeping. Oh, I don't know why I can't hear it. It's right here. My controller was vibrating. I know there's like an action figure or something like that over here, which that usually makes your controller shake too, but whatever. Um, Yeah, here's G's cash and there's my money and the cops are back on me. Um, That's fun. Let me get away from the cops and then we'll jump into one of the missions. All right, so it's pouring down in GTA. I hate that. But anyways, so I looked it up and the Lamar missions, there's nine of them and the Trevor missions, there's also nine of them. But for the Trevor missions, there's like two missions that I need more than one person for. I'm probably just going to skip those. So in total, we're probably going to do 16 missions. But anyways, we're just doing the normal Lamar Davis missions. I know Lamar has his Lamar Lowriders missions. We're not doing that. We're just doing the normal Lamar missions. So yeah, let's just jump into our first Lamar mission. Hold on. Did Lamar have some missions like removed or something? I already checked two. Yeah, no, no, no. He just had two removed. Okay, okay, okay. All right, and Trevor had one removed. So that makes makes it now 15. We have to do 15 missions. Okay, so the first one we are going to do is Bala's to the wall. Oh yeah, by the way too, we are doing this on hard because we are not cowards. We are going to do this on hard so we can get as much money. That's the main reason, but we're not cowards either. All right, here we go. Bala's to the wall. Oh my God. <laughs> Well, this is a great spot to start. I'm just chilling out right now on top of the building that I set this up on. Oh, I luckily have a parachute. Nice. I thought it was going to just splat. Now, honestly, I don't think I've done any of the Lamar missions. If I have, it's been a long, long time. And I've done like a handful of the Trevor missions like less than a year ago, I think. Something like that. I even made a video about it. And that was like before I kind of like blew up on YouTube. And because of this event week, that one video that I made over a year ago that really didn't perform that great is actually performing forming now because no one knows what a Trevor mission is. And honestly, I didn't either until I was just scrolling through missions one day. I mean, nowadays in GTA, you, you do not do these missions. I mean, these missions are pretty much useless, except for this week. Um, There's some bad people here. Um, I'm going to just use my Torador. I haven't honestly used the Torador that much. So, I mean, it's kind of nice I get to use my Torador, at least a little bit. I collected the Shafter and I just have to take this to the dealership. This is really all I have to do for this mission. This would be crazy if this is all I have to do because... We're going to get a ton of money for two minutes of work. All right, so we've made it to Simeon's dealership. Is that it? Is that literally it? Oh, hey, Simeon. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well done to you, too. Oh, my God. That was it. Okay, honestly, I thought I was going to get paid a little bit more than that. I really thought I was going to get paid more than that. What? Well, what I'm looking at right here, it said I was supposed to get $18,300. I don't know why I didn't get that much money. I mean, it makes kind of sense, though, because we barely even did anything. But, um, yeah, I guess let's just jump into our next mission. All right, the next mission that we're going to do is going to be Sand and Andrea's soul. Uh, maybe we'll get paid more than $27,000. I mean, $27,000. I need to stop complaining. $27,000 for pretty much like two minutes of actual work. It's not bad at all, but maybe we'll get paid more than that. All right, we're jumping into our next mission right here. San Andreas soul. We have to steal a tanker. Okay. You know, why is Lamar stealing everything? I mean, the first mission we had to steal a shafter. This mission we have to steal a tanker. What's next? We're going to steal. Hmm. Let's see. What are we going to steal? We're probably going to steal Lamar's pride because we're doing all of his work for him. All right, we've made it here. All we have to do is literally just steal a tanker. So um, you just go in, you get in the tanker, and then we drive two miles and voila, should be mission passed from the looks of it. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. There's a little ripple to this mission. We have to lose the cops. Okay, I can handle losing the cops. Bro, why? Why? All right, well, I'll just lose the cops this way. <laughs> I'll just leave the tanker up there while I get away from the cops. Oh, I lost the cops. I was looking at my phone. Nice. Just do the little cheesy strat of just going into the subway and voila. It's so funny. The metro is just stuck because, you know, there's a gas tanker in the way. <laughs> here, here, I'll help you out. I'll help you out, metro. See, here, I got you. I got you, metro. We just back it up. We 
we back it up and boom yeah yeah yeah. now you can go do your metro things and i'll go deliver this tanker to the depot and i should get paid something all right i have made it to the depot we got a fun cutscene the first time do i get a cutscene this time? nope all right whatever mission passed how much money oh oh okay okay that's better that is a lot better now to be fair this mission took me a little bit longer and it's pretty much just mainly me trying to lose the cops but there we go that's what i was kind of more expecting now to be fair these missions so far have been really really boring i know the trevor missions are a little bit more exciting but right now the lamar missions are kind of boring hopefully they get more exciting as we keep going through them all right so the next one that we're going to do is going to be ticket to elysian i think the order that i'm doing this in is supposed to be the order that how it's supposed to be played i don't know though because well who the heck plays this but i don't know let's just get into ticket to elysian all right here we go ticket to elysian what are we doing stealing another tanker let me guess it's going to be in del perro ha <laughs> <laughs> no, it's probably an Elysian moron. Oh, 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 we have a new ripple this time. This tanker is on the, the run. Oh, oh, I then I can't use this vehicle because I'll just blow it up. Hold on, I need a new vehicle. I don't think anyone thought about someone having a Torador during this mission because the Torador wasn't a thing back when this mission was made. But anyways, I have my virtue now. This tanker's literally coming straight for me. All right, all right, setting up a blockade. That's a good enough blockade. Excuse me. No, no, thank you, auto-aim. All right, anyways, you need to die. Oh my, I can't aim because this isn't auto aim i'm the auto aim king but like oh i took the exit the tanker took the exit just to get back onto the interstate it's just cheesy yes too easy first try all right so we need to get into the tanker i assume we have to lose the cops again oh my god can i actually like remove my wanted level i didn't think i could call lester to remove my wanted level during this but i guess i can all right so i've made it back to the depot and we're seeing right here that the story is progressing a little bit because we now have two gas tankers that we have delivered to the depot and there we go mission passed now what are we going to do with these gas tankers i don't really care but i made thirty eight thousand dollars for that that's still not bad at all especially for how long i spent on that which really wasn't that much time at all all right, the next one that we're going to do is going to be going down to the GOH. I have no idea what that even stands for, but I guess we're going to find out. And yeah, let's just get into it. All right, here we go. Mission number four for us, going to the GOH. And look at that. We have to steal another tanker. How many tankers does Lamar need? What is Lamar planning with all these tankers? They're trying to develop some sort of story with these tankers. What is the story? I'm a little lost. I'm not really given a whole lot of information. I'm just going to assume I'm going to be delivering these tankers all the way back to the same location again. Like, what are we doing with these tankers? I'm a little lost. Okay, we have made it to the tanker. Oh, oh, this guy's shooting at me now. Oh, you think you're cool, huh? I die, die, die. Okay, I, I killed his friend. Oh, that was kind of clean. That was kind of clean. Let me guess. Deliver to the depot. Ah, deliver the tanker to the depot. Okay, same old, same old. No, no. I was sitting back in my chair thinking that this is going to be an easy drive, but no, not today. It's not. You know what's kind of concerning? They've been shooting the back of this tanker a lot. You can kind of see the bullet holes right there. This tanker still hasn't exploded yet. Why do I talk? Okay, 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 okay. Let's go over what happened. That wasn't because of those gunshots. That was because I was a moron and ran over a light pole. But to be fair, driving over a light pole usually does not mean your gas tanker explodes. But today it means the gas tanker explodes. And oh, I have to go steal the gas tanker again. Okay, these missions are boring so far. I hope they get better. I mean, I've already said this before. I know the Trevor missions are at least a little bit more of like a challenge or at least like a little bit more of a storyline or whatever i mean we have a very basic story so far we're delivering tankers to a depot and it's not the home depot sorry that was stupid but yeah we're delivering tankers to the depot but like why we don't know why all right let's not run into any light bulbs let's just not run into anything and hopefully none of the enemies like shoot it to the point where this thing blows up all right once again we've made it back to the depot with a tanker please take the tanker thank you all right so we made thirty-eight thousand one. Once again, that first mission, I kind of took it for granted. We got a little cutscene with Simeon. But since then, it's just been boring freaking taking stupid tankers to a depot for a reason I don't know. All right, the next one that we're going to do is going to be caught napping. And honestly, if we have to take another tanker and bring it all the way back to this depot, I am going to be caught napping because I am going to be incredibly bored. All right, here we go. Caught napping. What are we doing? Rescue Leroy. Okay, 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 okay. I'm like a little more than stealing a tanker um leroy is 
is going north on the map, aka further and further away from me. So I am assuming I am going to have to rescue Leroy and take him back to a location in the city. Okay, I've made it all the way to Leroy. Um, he's in this van. Um, I guess he wanted some candy out of the van. Moron. All right, cool. Leroy, I got you. Take Leroy to his store. I would like to take Leroy and I would like to just absolutely drive him off a cliff. That's what I would like to do because Leroy has proven to be a moron by being kidnapped. But it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I have no fear. Dr. Crush is here to save your butt. You know, Leroy, you know, one way that could have prevented you from being kidnapped is if you were subscribed to Dr. Crush. Yeah, that's right, Leroy. If you would have just hit that subscribe button down below and maybe hit the like button while you're at it, maybe you wouldn't have been kidnapped. Yeah, I bet you Leroy right now, if he had the ability to, he'd be smashing the subscribe button right now. And you should probably do the same. If Leroy's going to do it, oh, you know you have to do it now. So make sure you subscribe down below if you're enjoying the content and leave a like down below while you're at it. If you enjoy me crashing into trees because, well, the trees are in my way. Like, get out the way, tree. It's a joke. It's a joke. Anyways, awesome gameplay we have here, right? You know, just me driving, um, taking Leroy to his store. Pretty much it. Oh my god, just freaking NPC cars just get in my way. That's another thing that's happening. All right, Leroy, here's your store. Leroy's electricals. Mission pass. All right, there you go. Goodbye, Leroy. We get paid 38400 again for that. All right, so we only have two more Lamar missions to go, which I didn't even realize that. We've been going through these quick, but this one's going to be Lost MC Rip and the little thumbnail for this mission is the graveyard. Maybe we're going to send all of these Lost MC members into the ground like all these people. I don't know. We'll just find out, I guess. All right, here we go. Lost MC Rip. R.I.P. Go to the cemetery. All right. We are going to go to the funeral of the Lost MC because at least with the first dose missions, we kind of absolutely destroyed the Lost MC numerous amount of times. Okay, I'm here. What are we doing? Wow, we actually have to like take out like people legitimately, not like while they're in a car or whatever. Oh, they're like chilling. They must actually be at like a funeral or something. It's so sad. I just feel weird about this. Like there's no way they're just hanging out here. But then again, that's what it did say. I, d I don't know. It's my opinion. Objective. I have to take out these people. Just hold on. Dude, all these lost MC members usually just have pistols. Like, come on, guys. You can do better than that. No wonder I keep destroying you in, like, a bunch of missions and whatnot. Looks like we have two more people. Oh, no. There's more spawning in. Okay. I don't know why. I'm just gonna kill you, but it's fine. Dude, this cemetery's gonna have to expand quickly. They're gonna have to buy some land. Oh, my God. I almost died there right after I said that. It's okay. Don't worry. Nothing happened. There we go. Mission passed. Really? I get paid less for a harder challenge? I think the pay is honestly determined by how long you're in these missions. I'm not 100% sure on that. Like, the first mission was so quick. I got paid by far the least. That one was pretty quick also. And I paid out the second least. I think that's how these missions work, which is kind of weird. All right, so this is going to be the final Lamar mission. There is no story to be told right here. I mean, we've done absolutely nothing, pretty much. Anyways, this one's called No Smoking. So yeah, let's just jump into it, and maybe we actually have a little story to go along with this one. All right, here we go. No Smoking. Uh, We have to get to the Elboro Heights train yard. Now, essentially... I'm gonna spoil this a little bit before I get into it, but it's okay. You'll see it in like a few seconds. Lamar wants me to steal a trailer full of cigarettes because he wants to make a buck off of cigarettes that he doesn't have to pay taxes for, essentially. But then after that, this mission gets a lot more spicy. And you'll see why once I stop running into things. All right, Lamar, I've made it to the train yard. I have to steal the trailer. Uh, people want me to get out of here, and I will get out of here. Just hold on. I will get out of here with the trailer. All right, and look where we have to take this trailer. To the depot! Oh, wait, wait. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, wait, wait, hold on. This is actually a different depot. What the heck? Oh, 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 never mind. I thought we had to go back to that same depot we'd been going to this entire time. No, there's a new depot. I guess it makes a little bit of sense since we're not hauling gasoline anymore. I think that's what we were hauling before. I have no idea. It was a tanker. Tanker of something. I don't know what we were hauling. No, 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 no. Well, this got interesting. Okay, okay, this this mission's interesting now. What is that gang? I don't know what gang that is, to be honest, but they're a bunch of morons. Wait, are they the Vagos? I don't know. I don't care. They're a bunch of morons. Okay, we have the trailer. Um, I don't want to back up. Can I really? Maybe I can't back out of here. Hold on. I'm going to try to back up. Oh, God, no, no. Backing up with the trailer. It's not fun. This mission shouldn't be this hard, but I'm making it this hard. Can I? Okay, get me out of here. What? What? The trailer was just... Man, man, no. Mm -mm. That wasn't me. That was not on me. Nope, 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 nope. Wait, was it my fault? I don't even remember. Like, was it my fault that I, like, flew all the way down in there? I feel like someone crashed into me, but I don't know. Whatever. Oh, there's, like, no checkpoints during these missions either. All right, you know the drill. I just walk in. People are like, what the heck are you doing? People start shooting at me. I'm going to eat, like, a few snacks, and we are going to steal a trailer, and then we are going to deliver 
through this trailer to the depot with some more success this time. Okay, we have made it to this depot. Ta-da. Now, is that it? All right, these missions sucked. These are so bad. Oh, I don't even get paid that much either, too. That's for four times the normal pay. Oh, my God. Well, you're probably asking what story was told during the Lamar missions. The answer, nothing. We stole stuff for Lamar. Why? I don't know. We didn't even get to see Lamar. I mean, that's crazy. We didn't even get to see Lamar. A spoiler alert, I know with the Trevor missions, we get to see Trevor. But yeah, we pretty much made like $250,000 off of those Lamar missions. I mean, that was kind of quick. Yeah, there goes Lamar. Oh yeah, the homie got it done. Holla at your boy sometime. No, I'm not hollering at you for those stupid missions. So annoying because Lamar is a, such a funny character in GTA 5. Terrible missions. Terrible missions for Lamar. I know he has more missions, but those specific set of missions, terrible. Now it's time to do the Trevor missions, which I know they're actually a little bit more exciting. So let's get into those. All right, the first mission that we're going to do for the Trevor missions is going to be Lost My Mind. And once again, these Trevor missions, like the Lamar missions, are going to be four times money and RP. So yeah, let's get into Lost My Mind. Hopefully I don't lose my mind during these Trevor missions. I'm going to have a better time. I know that, but hopefully I just don't lose my mind. All right, here we go. We're jumping into the mission Lost My Mind. I have to go all the way to the Lost Hideout, which is incredibly far, far away from where I'm at right now. So let me go on a joyride. All right, after our beautiful joyride, we have made it to the Lost MC. And yeah, now we have to take out the Lost. And already this is like more action than pretty much all of the Lamar missions aside from that one at the cemetery god these guys are being so annoying don't finally got one you need to die yeah you okay there we go oh okay now we have to go steal a methodology from somewhere there's a lot more layers to this mission than pretty much all the other missions with the lamar missions combined already all right i've made it here um the methodology is on the run okay someone has to have it there's no way it's just running okay yeah someone definitely has it who who what do you look like just some guy you just look like some guy dude no don't run Hold on. No. Oh, my God. You're pissing me off. You're dead. You're pissing me off. Okay, there we go. The methodology has been dropped. Okay. All right, there we go. We now have the methodology, and we're going to deliver this methodology to Trevor. No, 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 no. I need to put bulletproof tires on this thing. I was so focused, and then I just hear my tire get shot out. That's so fun. Now I'm pretty much ice skating on a road. This is great. No, uh, okay. Lost MC made me, um, lost my tires. I don't know. Okay, I can kind of go in a straight line. Okay, good. We're almost there. Oh, braking is so fun. I wonder if Trevor has some spare tires that he can give us. Okay, look, we get a cutscene. Thank you. No, 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 Trevor. Thank you because we got a cutscene and we got paid fifty three thousand dollars for that oh my god see like already we're getting paid a lot more for these missions you see even that small cutscene that we got was a lot more than what we got during the lamar missions we had one cutscene in the lamar missions of simian it's not even trevor it was simian all right the next mission that we have to do is going to be crystal clear out um yeah let's just jump into it let's see what we have to do all right here we go crystal clear out uh we have to go to a cola factory okay see already we have a little bit of a pattern for the Trevor missions. We have to steal various drugs and give it to him, I guess. I mean, for the Lamar missions, we stole tankers, and I don't even know what was inside the tankers. All right, I've made it to the cola factory. Um, 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 already people are mad at me. You know what? I probably am going to die. I probably should have taken a Karuma, honestly. I, I didn't realize I just had to go straight to killing people. You know what? I spawned in here. I feel like I can just kind of go around these guys and, you know, still not have to kill anyone. Oh, gosh. Okay, I'm being being shot i'm being shot no 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 i didn't do anything wrong oh my god there's people on boats oh they're shooting me too okay all right so we just need to steal this package right here boom and we just have to deliver it to trevor's trailer and i think that should be it but i have to get out of here because well i'm getting shot okay we're getting like low-key lit up dude 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 oh my god this is a lot harder than lomar missions this is a lot more interesting i am up for a challenge no, 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 no. Are you kidding me? The stupid blockade. Oh, man. This would be such a great Karuma mission. This would be a great Torador mission. Well, that's probably the way to go to use the Torador. All right, no more messing around. I brought my Torador. I think this mission came out even before, like, even an armored 
Kuruma came out. I'm not 100% sure on that. I actually expect people to get all these kills even back then. That's crazy. Well, now you don't have to because you can just sit into a Torador. You can sit in a Kuruma. You can sit in a Vigilante. My tires have already been shot out. Dude, oh my God. They're still fighting back kind of effectively. Ah, these people are annoying. Dude, there is still a ton of people that I need to kill. And they don't have one of my tires on my Torador. All right, I think this is good enough anyways. Hey, 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 hey. No, 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 no. Okay, I think I ran out of snacks. I think I've run out of snacks, which is not a good thing. All right, there we go. I got the package this time. Now we just need to deliver this to Trevor's trailer. You know what? You know what? I have the Torador now. One of my tires have been shot out. And you're probably thinking, wow, Dr. Crush, the odds are so stacked against you right now. And they might be. They might be. But I can go swimming. I'm just going to bypass all the blockades that the Vagos are going to put out for us. And we're just going to swim there with our Torador. This definitely was not accounted for when they made this mission, which that is okay because they made this mission, I think, back in like 2013. The Torador probably wasn't even thought of yet, much less put into the game. All right, Lando. Now let's just make it all the way back to Trevor's trailer and we should be good to go. All right, howdy, Trevor. I am back. Hey, hey, hey. Look who it isn't. It isn't Mr. Fun. What? What do you mean, Trevor? I think I'm pretty fun. I think you're pretty fun. Okay, honestly, a little stingy with the pay cut. But, I mean, you're not Lamar, so you are a little bit better in that category. All right, the next mission right here on the list is going to be Chop Chop. And I need at least two players for this. And, well, I am not going to do that because I'm not in the mood to try to get another person to join this. So, we're just going to jump to the next one. And the next one is going to be Out of Harmony, which, if I remember correctly, I think think this one is going to be a little bit challenging but i don't know let's find out and let's get into it all right here we go out of harmony oh yeah yeah no, no, no. this is going to be a challenging mission for sure this is definitely going to be a challenging mission so we pretty much have to go to cement works right now and once we get to cement works it's going to get a little bit interesting oh wait no i can't really use my torador honestly i think i'm gonna have to do this legitimately i mean maybe i could have taken a karuma that probably been the best way to do it but i mean who cares we're just coming to cement works and we're just gonna crash we're gonna crash pretty much right as we get there that's so fun and this car for all the troubles that this car went through because it just got smacked into by a torador will be put out of its misery all right anyways we are here at cement works and the clock is running we have a clock we already have a clock trevor's saying the buyer's getting jumpy you need to get the shipment here real soon aka six minutes soon essentially we have to steal a trailer but this isn't a lamar mission we're actually gonna have to like be on our best behavior when we have have this trailer oh i don't have any snacks oh gosh oh gosh i should have gotten snacks before this i mean honestly it's not that much killing but still ah stop don't charge me i didn't charge you all right all right well i'm just gonna get into the truck right now this might be a little risky because i might get shot while i do this but anyways we need to get this trailer right here and we need to deliver this trailer to the boatyard within the amount of time and we pretty much have to travel like just under four miles and we only have like four minutes and 30 seconds left so this is pretty much the reason why this mission is a little bit difficult. Not that shooting part. I mean, I, I shouldn't have died there, but I ran out of snacks. This is the part that makes this mission kind of tricky because we have to make it all the way to the location within the amount of time. And we're not driving, you know, like my virtue. We're not driving a Torador. We're driving a tractor trailer. I mean, so far, I think we're pretty much on pace. You know, nothing crazy is really happening. I know the Lost MC is like after me, but I mean, you know, it's the Lost MC. We've already been over this this episode. You know, Lost MC kind of stupid. It, don't know what they're doing. I mean, yeah, they're just kind of like driving behind me, trying to kill me or whatever. Like, no, 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 that's not gonna happen. You might as well get a new hobby. Maybe like, I don't know, instead of like trying to come after me when I'm trying to deliver this trailer to the boatyard, maybe they should like create their own fantasy football league. I don't know. Do something. Get invested in other places, right? Because like, it's just pointless at this point because I'm just gonna steal your trailer, deliver it to the boatyard, and laugh in your faces. Like, what can you do? All right, so we're pretty much almost there. Um, I don't know why why there's just like a normal NPC car driving down here. I don't know what this NPC would be doing, but anyways, we should have to deliver this trailer to the boatyard and voila, there we go. Oh, I forgot. We have more things to do. All right, so yeah, we have to protect the shipment. I forgot. You know, a Lamar mission would never have anything like this. Oh gosh. Oh, okay. Okay. Doing this without snacks suck. I literally have to sit here and wait for my health to regen. We have to be a little bit smarter with how I'm going to get kills. 
Well, that's not how I'm gonna get kills. You don't get kills by dying. No, I forgot. Does this have a checkpoint? Oh, <laughs> no, it does not. We have to literally just go to Cement Works and do that all over again, pretty much. Die, die. Do I have snacks again? No, okay, Um, just how about, let's try to do this. While I'm dead, I guess. Why was this the mission? I forgot to get snacks. That's not good. I'm just gonna try to go now. All right, I'm just gonna hold down the A button. Just keep ducking, keep ducking. Do this quick. I completely missed the trailer. Awesome. All right, I'm getting shot. Oh, why? Why? Why do I have to be stupid here and not get snacks? Oh my god. I, I'm, I'm so tempted to just do this without snacks for like an even greater challenge. Okay, I'm gonna move up a little bit. Oh, didn't realize there's this many people here. There's no good place to hide either. That's fantastic. Dude, this mission came out so long ago. So they definitely expected people to do this pretty much without the efficient way that we have nowadays to eat snacks. I don't even think the Karuma was even in the game at that point when this mission came out. I mean, they expected a lot out of a GTA Online player back in like 2013 to complete this mission. All right, we pretty much made it to the boatyard once again. Again. When I did this almost a year ago, I thought the hardest part about this would be the timing to get the shipment all the way here, but it's not been the case today. It's been the enemies. Okay, this guy that I'm standing next to right here, we're apparently delivering this shipment to him. Okay, okay. I think we're doing all right so far. Find a little bit better of a hiding spot. I am in the same position as far as I really can't afford to die because I don't have any more spare lives. Um, I'm in red health. I have to like wait for my health to regen. Oh no, there's another guy that's like flanking. Oh, there's like a group of people that are flanking on the other side of the building. All right, my health has regen a decent amount. Oh my God, they're shooting that guy. <laughs> they are shooting that guy. I think that guy can die. But anyways, mission pass. Please give me a fat paycheck. 50,000, not bad at all. Um, Yeah, let's move on to the next one. All right, the next mission that we have to do is going to be satellite communications. And yes, I know you were worried about it. I did get snacks in between missions. So that is not gonna be an issue anymore. But yeah, let's get into this mission. All right, here we go. We're jumping into the mission satellite communications. Oh, we have to steal a trailer. What trailer? Oh, oh okay. All right, so it's kind of nice that we kind of spawned in over here at my facility since we're kind of close to where we have to go kind of maybe i could even take a nice shortcut if you know what i mean i think you know what i mean if you know what i mean you know what i mean i know you know that i know that you know okay so yeah our shortcut is essentially going to be flying our trajectory was not accurate at all <laughs> not where i intended to go we'll get there eventually just hold on God, the torador is so fun kind of a useless car to be honest because like can't really use it in missions or whatever aside from these silly little contact missions but like such a fun vehicle all right we're pretty much have made it is we have to go like somewhere in here oh my god there's a lot of people oh my god i was not prepared for this okay okay not prepared not prepared i don't know why i thought there would not be that many people if any no there's a ton there's a lot of people i think i got snacks in between no i was trying to eat those snacks i just acquired but okay fine no, no, where, where was that guy? I knew there was a guy nearby. I could not find where that guy was. And I just died. Dude, there's a guy that's just hiding right there. Oh, he literally just peered the corner right as I threw that. All right, I think we've killed most everyone. We just need to kill like that guy and that guy. I think that's pretty much everyone after that. All right, so now we can easily just take the trailer. And now we have to deliver the trailer to the gas station. Yeah, I'm feeling a little risky. I'm going off-roading with the trailer. This honestly could be really dumb. You know what? That, that might actually be really dumb because there goes the trailer trailer i know the trailer can get destroyed i guess pretty similarly to how it did that one attempt during the lamar missions yeah i think that was really dumb i really wish i didn't do that because i have to flip it over if i can even do that i don't even know if i can okay this trailer does not want to flip over and it's kind of pissing me off it wants to spin around it just doesn't want to flip well i am going to take the l on this one i am going to throw a sticky bomb on it and we'll boom yep vehicle destroyed um because i'm stupid that was so dumb and we spawn back here and i have to kill all those people again which takes a while all right i think we have one more person we have to kill it's this guy right here yep you all right all right everyone's dead all right so we are gonna keep this trailer on asphalt this time we are not going off road all right we pretty much made it all the way to the gas station and no we did not go off-roading this time all right there we go and boom 
boom. Mission pass. How much money do I get for that? 51k. Um, not horrible. Well, it's not horrible. It's actually really good compared to Lamar missions. Gosh, Lamar, take notes. All right, so I have some bad news. The final three Trevor missions we cannot do. The next one that we have to do has two problems with it. One, it needs at least two players. And the other thing wrong with it is that we need to be a level 65. And right now I'm only a level 62. And then the final two missions, you need to be at least level 70. And well, it looks like we're just gonna have to stop it here. I mean, Trevor missions are way, way better than those Lamar missions. But anyways, in total for all that, we made $480,000. So now I currently have $624,000. So we are still pretty far ways away from getting the Avenger next. Back in August, I started as a level one on a new account in GTA Online. And the only way I've made money on this account is by spinning a wheel determining what I should do to make money. So today in this video, I will spin that wheel again to see what I will do in this episode to make money. So welcome to this 22nd episode of season number two of Loser to Luxury. And without further ado, let's jump into it. So currently right now, I am on the wheel of quick cash, but before I spin the wheel of quick cash, I just wanna remind you that we are trying to buy the Avenger next with the operations terminal. And all that together is gonna cost us $4,900,000. And currently right now I have $625,000. So we have a long, long ways to go before we can actually purchase the Avenger. But how are we gonna start out this episode in order to make money? And it looks like we are going to have to, do, what is this gonna be? We have to sell to a street dealer, but I have to spin a wheel of one to three to determine how many street dealers I'm gonna sell to. All right, so here we go. This is the wheel of one to three. So let's spin the wheel and let's see how how many street dealers that we are going to have to sell our product to and okay we get the best case scenario here we have to sell to three street dealers all right so right now i am on the wheel of making money so what are we going to have to do in this episode in order to make money and it looks like we are going to have to do is this time trials oh oh boy this is going to be fun last time we got time trials the normal time trial gave me a lot of fits let's just put it at that so this could be very entertaining but what else in this episode am I going to have to do in order to make money? And it looks like we are going to have to sell off our maxed out asset lab. All right, so we're going to start out by doing time trials and then we're going to go and sell off our maxed out asset lab. But first I have to go to street dealers and sell products to those street dealers. All right, so behind me is going to be the first street dealer. And well, we can only sell one type of product to the street dealer. So we're going to have to sell this product to all three of the street dealers. And the one product is going to be acid which we are going to sell off later on in this video too so we're going to sell a total of 10 units of acid to this guy for thirty thousand dollars pretty much and boom there we go that's one dealer um i didn't mean to try to kick you but i guess that happened is this gonna blow up hold on Dude, this guy just doesn't care. There's just like a fire right next to him. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Is he gonna catch on fire? Or is the fire just not gonna spread to him? Really fire? The fire didn't spread to him. Okay, okay, that's annoying, but well, whatever. Let me get to the next street dealer. All right, so the next street dealer is right here. So we're gonna walk up to him and we're gonna sell 10 more units of acid to this dealer. Oh yeah, I forgot to say the other dealer also, he was buying acid at a premium. So we pretty much got two times more money roughly. But yeah, anyways, we're gonna sell 10 units of acid to this dealer for $14,000 and well, I keep accidentally just spamming the B button and I just try to kick him. I now really want to kick you. See, See this guy's invisible. You just, just punched him and he just ate it. But anyways, let's go to the final street dealer. All right, here's the final street dealer right here. So let's walk up to this Mohawk guy and then we can sell 10 units of acid to this guy for pretty much $15,000 and boom, there we go. Oh, oh, I kicked them again. I just keep spamming the B button. I don't know why. All right, so for selling to three street dealers, I made $60,000. So now I currently have $685,000, but it is now time for me to get into the time trials. So first I'm gonna start out with the junk energy time trial. So let me head over to that time trial. All right, so I'm going to do the junk energy time trial right here. It's going to be the mirror park time trial. So yeah, let's get into it. I've done this one plenty. Uh, I don't really think this one's all that bad. As long as I don't be stupid, I should be able to complete this pretty easily. But you know me in time trials, I decide to be stupid. I don't know why. You shouldn't take that long. Like in theory, if you're really good at these, it should be quick. But then there's me who, um, I don't know, I do stupid stuff. I mean, right now we're doing great. So gay me. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention too, there's four Four different time trials that we can do, at least in GTA Online. Oh, oh, there's a little mistake. Oh, okay. Um, I was gonna. 
This is fantastic. You know, I'm going to try to keep going. All right. Anyways, there's four different time trials in GTA Online, but we can only do three of them. And the one that we can't do is going to be the RC Bandito time trials because we don't have an RC Bandito. But all the other time trials we can do, even the HSW one, because, well, we have an HSW vehicle. To be honest, it's not a great HSW vehicle, but I do have an HSW vehicle. Oh my God. I do not know if I'm going to be able to complete this. This is going to be really close, I think. No, it's not. We're not completing. Oh, wait, wait, wait. This is the last so close that's so close wow what a great start to the time trial the easiest time trial that we're going to do today is gonna to be the one that i fail on well okay all right i'm gonna be honest here i checked the other time trials the hsw time trial and the normal time trial and well i have had some personal beefs with those specific time trials like those specific locations that they're at today i don't know you'll see when we get there but the last video that we did as far as time trials are concerned on the loser to luxury series might be a piece of cake compared to today let's just put it at that car car i needed a written apology from that specific npc that is so embarrassing like obviously i have the right of way like come on i am doing a time trial obviously cut <sighs> the white hummer almost just ran me over oh my god oh my god can i still complete this can i please 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 adversity oh my god we've overcome adversity oh wow all right so that one paid out fifty one thousand dollars that's not too bad at all but now it is time for me to get into probably my least favorite hsw time trial all right so i've made it over to the hsw time trial it's going to be the pacific bluffs time trial and yeah my least favorite time trial this time trial is so annoying and it takes a long time too you can see the part time right now for me it's three minutes and 46 seconds that is a long time wait hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on before i do this time trial i think i see something yeah there's something on the mini map as you can see there's like a little blue blip um it's a movie prop okay i'm doing this right now i'm sorry i did make a rule and i haven't really utilized this rule a whole lot but i was going to say if any blue dots on the map appear while i'm in the middle of recording i'm going to do whatever that blue dot entails because usually it gives you money now this itself is not going to give me a lot of money but this is the movie props if we collect 10 and movie props will get a cash reward of like a hundred thousand dollars and this specific movie prop along with two others they're not at a specific spot on the map they have to spawn in at a certain spot but this one did spawn in yeah i'm just gonna cash this in now and then we're gonna go back to probably my least favorite time trial <laughs> yay all right here you go solomon all right there we go another movie prop all right now let's go have some fun with this time trial god i love this time trial so much all right here we go we are going to do this hsw time trial with prop probably the weirdest hsw vehicle to drive at least it's the weirdest that i've driven i've driven a handful of them but here we go let's get into this time trial we have a poor time at three minutes and 46 seconds okay great start i'm already restarting oh my god this i'm gonna hate this i'm gonna hate this so much all right here we go can we get a little better of a start please i'm gonna go this way i'm gonna do this route don't think the arbiter gt is great off-roading but um well 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 that wasn't bad that really wasn't bad at all god this vehicle does not like to turn at all i am telling you oh yeah when i made the video of showing off how to get a free hsw vehicle this was the hsw time trial when i recorded that video oh my gosh with the sentinel xs it took me like two hours legitimately to complete this time trial and part of it is because the sentinel xs is not a great hsw vehicle but still two hours yeah i think a lot of it has to do with this specific time trial it's honestly not a horrible time trial once you get onto the interstate but i have to get on the interstate before i really start making progress which we're about to get to the interstate here but i've already wrecked like a couple of times this is where the arbiter gt is at its best going in a straight line see even that i'm trying to thread the needle there and i can't do it as well as i can i don't know let's just say the ocelot virtue that free vehicle that i got for completing the last dose missions like i can easily thread the needle with that vehicle just because it's a lot easier to control i'm gonna give this one a shot just to see how perfect i really do need to be during this like can i afford to wreck once because with this vehicle i'm going to wreck a lot you know what now that i'm thinking about it with this vehicle i actually feel like we're making up a lot of time since that last wreck on the interstate i feel like we've been absolutely flying all right so we have to get all oh, cars <sighs> See, it prevented me from doing a perfect turn there. That's fantastic. But anyways, we're off the interstate. Now we're on the back roads, but that's not good for this vehicle. I need to just stay on an interstate with this vehicle. Oh my, oh, okay. Good save, good save. Dune Loader. I hate you, Dune Loader. I need a written apology from the Dune Loader. That's two written apologies that I need. Oh my God. Oh, dude. Okay, okay. We have less than 10 seconds. This is gonna be really close. One, two. Oh, 
we actually completed it. You know, when we wrecked twice, I really didn't imagine that we'd be able to complete this. But we completed it by like four seconds, I think it was. Wow, I am very, very shocked that we completed it in our like first good run. But anyways, for doing that, I made like 250-ish thousand dollars. But we still have to do the normal time trial for this week. So let me go ahead over there. All right, so I've made it to the normal time trial. And the normal time trial is going to be down Chiliad, which the one time I attempted this for a video probably like eight months ago, something like that, I didn't complete it. I didn't complete it. Now, to be fair, I was giving myself a time constraint, but I guess today is my redemption arc. Um, Let's go. I'm in a body 801 and I'm going off the mountain. Going down Mount Chiliad. <laughs> Please respawn me quick. Okay, nice. No. <laughs> no. So the issue is that right as I was respawning, I crashed and I flew off my bike and I respawned up here, but my bike is all the way right here. That sucks because I can't request my personal vehicle here. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I might be a genius. No, never mind. I wanted to see if my delivery bike can come all the way up here, but no. This is gonna be so fun. Every time I fail this pretty much, I'm gonna have to go all the way down the mountain to get my bike just to come all the way back up the mountain. Like we might not even find out if this time trial is actually gonna be like difficult or not, just because of how many attempts it's gonna take me just to try to get back up the mountain. 2,000 years later. Okay, I have made it all the way back to the time trial. All right, attempt number two. Let's be a little bit more controlled, okay? Um, So far, so good. I mean, we just have so much velocity going down this freaking hill just because, well, we're going downhill. Okay, okay, I feel like we're doing pretty well. I don't know why. I feel like we're doing pretty well. Can't see the path? Great, that's a rock. I can't see the path great because, like, you know, the sun's setting. Okay, I don't think we're completing this time trial. Oh, yeah, definitely we're not completing this time trial, especially when you wreck like that. My bike is sliding down the hill, and I won't be able to respawn. Yeah, I'm not going to get my bike in time. See, there's a little timer in the bottom right of me being off the vehicle, and when that timer expires, the time trial expires. Um, bike, you're going to have to move. Bike, you're going to have to... Oh, oh, what? Oh, my God, I just... Look at what we're doing. Why are we in the back seat? Oh, Rockstar. Okay, yeah, this makes a lot of sense. Yep, just keep getting on the back. Oh, yeah, probably not the best spot to have a bike that's wrecked. Stay. Please come here. Oh my god. I'm literally going to have to freaking return to storage. I'm going to have to somehow go all the way down to the road all the way down here. I have to get down to this road and call it back in and then bike all the way back up this mountain. Okay, back on top of the mountain again. Are you ready for attempt number three? Because I don't even know if I am. Okay, control. Control. We have to be controlled going down this mountain. I'm going the wrong way. No, bike, bike, no, 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 no. Why would you do that? I thought that wasn't going to be that bad of like a restart, but no, the bike just fell all the way down here. I have to go retrieve it and then go all the way back up the mountain instead of just respawning. Okay, back up here again. Attempt number four. Can we complete this time trial? I really want to because I hate having to go all the way back up the mountain every time I fail. All right, control, control. That's a rock. Thank you, bike. I'm not even mad. I'm not mad at all. Let's go to attempt number five. See, I can just respawn right here. That's just such a beautiful thing about respawning right at the starting point of a time trial. There's just something beautiful about it, especially on this time trial when I'm probably not going to be able to do that too often. Um, stop. Ow. No, 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 no. Well, we're not going to be respawning here. We're just going to be slowly just flopping down the mountain. No, no, no. It's fine. Keep going. No, you're good. No, it's fine. No, you're good. No, no, no. Just a few more flops and you're good. Yeah, uh-huh. Wow, we're just getting on our feet now and then we get the time trial failed thing. Okay, attempt number six. We're still doing this in the dark. Dude, I hate this narrow, stupid path and I hate how there's like a little fork in the road too and I just have to go to the left side. The most inconvenient way to go. Can we please hit the... No, that's gonna be a rock. Uh... No, I didn't mean to do that. See, I clicked Y to try to respawn and I didn't hold it down long enough. See, with this time trial, there's not a lot of like trial and error, at least that I can do here, you know? Like with the other time trials, if I keep failing over and over, I could be like, all right, I have to change that. I have to change that. With this, there's not a ton of that. Just because we fail so much and it's such a long process to get back to this starting point. All right, what is this? Attempt number seven? Um, it feels like attempt number freaking 100, but it's 
really only been seven. No, 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 no. Respawn now before I die. Yes. Okay, 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 okay. Attempt number eight. Let's go. <laughs> Thank goodness that we respawn before we crash and burn. Okay, hook left. Now, hook left, hook left. Okay, okay, wow, okay. That was like the first time we've actually like hit that path correctly. And we're not hitting the path correctly anymore. Uh oh. I mean, I'm just kind of freestyling it at this point, and we're not doing a half bad job, to be honest. Uh, I feel like we're gonna wreck soon, though. Like that. Ouch. Ouch. And we died on a tree. Thank you. All right, I'm back up the mountain, and the sun has risen since the last time I've been up here, so maybe I'll actually be able to see the path. I haven't even been close to completing this time trial. Oh, and we're still not gonna be close to completing this time. No! That's okay. Keep falling. It's fine. Keep falling. Falling. No, 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 no. It's fine. Keep going. Keep going. Yep, uh-huh. Yeah, that's right. No, you're doing great. Yeah, you're doing great. You're doing great. Uh-huh. Yeah. No, it's all right. Yeah, yeah. Just there we go. Wow, that took, like, probably 25 seconds for my character just to ragdoll all the way down the mountain. All right, I'm back on top of the mountain. That took me a long time. But anyways, let's get into it. I don't want to wreck here. I want to get this over with because this is terrible. And we're going... Um, all right, just restart already. All right, yeah, I knew that one wasn't going to go well. As soon as we started, we just started going all over the place. Hopefully, we don't have another attempt like that. But we have another attempt like that. I think pretty much the exact same way or pretty close to it. But we can at least do like back-to-back -back attempts. So that's awesome. And and we're going the wrong way. Okay, okay. Just break, break, break. Okay. Hey, 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 hey. I'm okay with that. If we fail that way, I'm cool with that. Because we can easily just do it over and over again. If that's how we are going to fail. But we're going down Mount Chiliad. So that's probably not how we're going to fail a lot of the time. We're going to just smack our face into a tree. All right, let... Dude, okay, that turn. No, no. Bike, bike, bike. That's the second time that exact same thing happened. See, this isn't fun because now I have to go all the way down. I have to go retrieve my bike. Then I have to go all the way back up. And then I have to restart that time trial. All right, another attempt. Yay. Um, let's stay on the path. The path. This might be the worst time trial in GTA Online. I might just, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yeah, this is. Uh, please, please, please respond. Thank you. Oh my God, we're about to die. All right, let's go. Let's do the time trial. Let's stay on the path of the worst time trial in GTA Online. Honestly, I don't know how much I should be accelerating. That's another thing with this time trial. I've never done it before. I don't know if I can get away with, you know, not accelerating. Um, I don't know if I can get away with absolutely just falling down the mountain. And can I restart, please? Okay, okay, fine. All right, let's try this again. Um, yeah, I don't know if I really need to accelerate. I mean, I definitely do to some degree, but like, I don't know. I don't know if I need to like do it the entire time. Well, okay, I definitely don't need to do it the entire time. You know what I mean? Bike, bike. Okay, you're being annoying, bike. You need to stop. All right, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, respawn. This sucks. I hate this so much. This is such a bad time trial. Why? Like, who is the mean person that wanted every GTA Online player to suffer through this? Turn. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, but whoever that guy is... Like, why? I think someone needs to have a sit down with him and just talk. Like, what has happened in his life for him to have the bright idea of this time trial? Please, please, whoever created this time trial, let me complete this time trial, this attempt. No. <laughs> I think the guy was listening and just laughed at my face and wanted me to die. All right, I'm back. And yeah, the sun is setting. That's fantastic. I think we started this pretty much at night. Then we saw the sun rise and then we're seeing the sun set. And I still haven't completed this time trial. This is so fun. No, that's a rock. I can't. <laughs> All right, I'm back up here. And yes, the sun has fully set now. It is full on nighttime. And I just want this to be fully me completing it. All right, I need to turn here. Okay, okay, okay. I'm starting to figure out that turn. But now it's this part. Not been here too often. And I think I've wrecked into that rock definitely a few times now. All right, here we go. I hit a rock. You know, whoever made this time trial, like, could you at least move the rocks out the way? It would be very nice if you could just move the rocks out the way. They make it a little bit easier. I've gotten comments in the past where they're like, oh, you know, you could have used the HSW vehicle to do a normal time trial. Okay, let's take out the Hakachu drag. The Hakachu drag would be fine. Aside from the Hakachu drag, what other HSW vehicle can you legitimately complete this with? Because I think there's none. I do not think it's it's even possible like this is definitely a bike time trial like if you do not have a bike and you're gonna try to do this time trial good luck well then again i have a bike and well i am failing over and over again okay 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 control control please okay okay wait 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 no 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 stay on the path this might no 
Why? That was like our best attempt. Like legitimately. Hold on, hold on. Like where do I even have to go? Like once I get down to the bottom of the mountain. I don't know. Maybe I don't have to go really that fast. Just looking at it though. Maybe I'll try to be like hyper control. Maybe I'm going down the mountain way too fast. You know, like we got off the path. Like just slow down. Let's get back on the path and let's keep going. You know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to do this slow. This is the story of the tortoise and the hare. I try to be the hare, you know? Just try to beat it as quick as possible. No, 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 no. Slow and... Okay, no, no. We're just screwing up too much. Hold on. All right, all right. Slow. Let's, let's go slow. Because it's not that far down. We just have to go down a mountain. You know, when you're going this fast down a mountain, it's not that long. Slower, slow, slow. Calm, breathe. Ice in my veins. Dr. Clutch. Oh, yeah. We have to engage Dr. Clutch. Dr. Clutch has not showed up to the party yet. Dr. Clutch is in the chat. Repeat, Dr. Clutch is in the chat. Oh, God. Okay, I've been going too slow. Hold on. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, yeah, we're not completing that on that attempt. Okay, well, that was our best attempt, but we were going at a snail's pace. We need to go more at like a tortoise's pace. <laughs> oh, it's so stupid because they're not faster or much, if any. I don't know. I don't know why I'm talking about that. Let's, let's just finish this. No, no. No, no, no. We're going to hit a rock. Oh my gosh. All these rocks. And I figured out why I haven't completed this time trial. And it's because you, yes, you have not subscribed. All right. If you want me to complete this time trial, you have to absolutely smash that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And maybe leave a like while you're at it too. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. She, okay. 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 See, you hadn't done it already. I caught you. I caught you red handed. You hadn't done it already. All right. Yeah, yeah. Now smash that subscribe button. I caught you. Now I'm going to complete it right here. Guaranteed. Okay. This is legitimately like a good run. What the heck? No, no, I started talking. No, 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 no. Okay. Okay, okay. Saved it. Oh, I've avoided a rock. Let's keep going. All right, can we get Dr. Clutch to enter the chat? That'd be so nice. I'd feel no, we're cutting left. All right, we need to cut left. Okay, that was our best attempt. Okay, so we're a little slow there. I don't know how to like speed things up though. <laughs> like to be honest. <laughs> that was like my first time getting to that point. I don't know how I was supposed to get any faster than that. All right, we're back on top of the mountain. And as you can see, the sun has risen. Ah, good morning to everyone, I guess. All right, so the last attempt was by far our best attempt. And we were still just a hair too slow. See, that's the issue. Like, I know I have to be faster, but I still have to be controlled. So that's a fine line I definitely have to navigate but i have no idea how i'm gonna do it like see like this no control but it was faster but no control and then you remember that one attempt i don't know if you do because there's been so many attempts where i went at a snail's pace and we weren't even close to completing it see i can actually see the path now Okay, I can't see the rock because it's just underneath the crest of a hill. That's fantastic. Thanks, rock. Oh, yeah. Remember the last time we did time trial? There was a rock that was pissing me off. I don't know why. Every time I do a time trial, it's just rocks that piss me off. Stupid rocks. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. I don't know where I'm going now. <gasps> save? Oh, my. Oh, my save. I feel like I'm flying right now. Um, I need a hook left, though. I have so much speed. Hook left. Hook left. I see the checkpoint. I see it. I see it. I see it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <gasps> Control? We did it. We did it. I am going to smack my face down like that. I didn't die. How did I not die? I landed probably from, looks to be about like 200 feet up in the air. Just straight face first and I survived, but I don't care. Well, I do kind of care because that makes no sense. Anyways, I got like $100,000 for that, which kind of sucks for how much time I put into that. But anyways, for doing all those time trials, I made $415,000. So now I currently have $1,088,000. But now it's time for me to join a public session and sell off our acid lab. All right, so I'm in a public session right now. And as you can see in the bottom right, our acid is maxed out at $249,000 worth of value. And I'm in a session with at least 25 players. So I'll get a 50% bonus on whatever I do sell off. So yeah, let's just go over here. And I named my product Troop Think. And when you do name your product, it'll give you a little bit more money when you do sell it off. But anyways, yeah, let's sell this off. All right, here we go. We just have to take the product to the drop off which it shouldn't be bad at all now i think this is going to be very similar to the one that we did last time where i think we should have to go to a drop off location all right so we've made it to a parking garage is where these usually happen at and someone did comment something which i thought was kind of intelligent so shout out to whoever that was i'm sorry i forgot your name but anyways what they did was they just like threw a grenade into the garage or whatever just kind of spooked the cops or whatever because like yeah there's supposed to be cops in there but we're not close enough off. Hold on. Okay. 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 Hold on. Hold on. That's not working. I saw one of their detective vehicles like right in here somewhere. Yeah. Like these two vehicles right here are just detective vehicles. So you're just having a nice grenade. 
All right, and there we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Their cover's been blown. Ha, 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 ha. Caught ya. Now it's time to lose the cops. So let me go do that. Ow. Oh, my God. I was going to hide in the subway and didn't realize there is cops in the subway. All right, there we go. We lost the cops. So now all we have to do is just deliver the product to the backup drop-off. No, are you kidding me? No, this little detective guy right here saw me. Okay, that's so stupid. All right, all right, all right. No, 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 no. I'm going back into the subway, and I am just going as far away from the airport as possible, because that is annoying. All right, there we go. I lost the cops again. So yeah, let's deliver the product to the drop-off. Why is there a cop here? Oh my gosh, I, if I would have touched that cop car, I would have gotten the cops on me for a third time. All right, so we've made it to the drop-off location, and we actually have to drive right into this truck, and there we go. Now we just have to leave the area. All right, and there we go. We sold off our product, and we were able to sell it off for $374,000. So now I have $1,455,000. So we definitely got a lot closer today in this episode to buying the Avenger next.